The ugliest girl in the class was bitten by a poisonous snake and was about to die in a few minutes, but the students all disliked her ugly. No one was willing to help. Only I endured the sour taste for her to suck out the snake venom, which successfully saved her. And in order to prevent her from thinking about it, I even offered to be her deskmate. Everyone else thought I was crazy to be so nice to an ugly girl, but only I know. Guliani is actually a big beauty. She just bet with girlfriends to pretend to be ugly. She wanted to experience what life would be like on campus after she lost her glamorous appearance. In the original school, Guliani is the whole schoolboys in the heart of the goddess, to where are the object of the stars, but this makes her very bitter, in order to avoid such things happen again, so she decided to play ugly to transfer to my school, and the reason why I know her secret is because I have the ability to see through a woman's mind, so I'm going to rip off this school flower level girl before the other boys even realize it. The next day I just came to my class. I saw a cup of milk tea on my seat, and my classmate Gu Lieni was sitting next to her, blowering. She seemed to be dressed up even uglier than before today. Seeing me come, she lowered her head and whispered. I passed by the milk tea store on the way, so I stopped by and bought you a cup as well, as a thank you for that incident yesterday, not waiting for me to take it. At this time there is another girl walking towards this side, her hand also carrying a cup of milk tea, said it is for me. When the male students in the class saw the scene, they were envious, because this girl is the class president Shui Han Yun, she is not only good academic performance, people also look a little good looking, tall body plus a set of charming fox face, so that countless male students want to fall under her long legs, the only drawback is that the character is a little strong, such as determined to want something, will try to get, I belong to the class grass level in my class, from the first year of high school Shui Han Yun often approached me to talk, and even bought me breakfast and sent me drinks, making me very uncomfortable, because she was not my cup of tea at all. Since then, the class is rumored that Shui Hong Yun chasing me, but what makes everyone puzzled is that I actually did not agree, and after she was rejected, instead of giving up, she posted a vow inside the school forum that she would definitely chase me down. At that time, it caused quite a stir. I was not touched, but a little disgusted with this approach. Just when I was about to reject her good intentions as usual, a prompt suddenly appeared in front of me. 1. Accept the class president's gift of love milk tea, rewarded with cash of 10, 000 yuan. 2. Reject the class president's gift of love milk tea, and find a way to make the class president's favorability towards you decrease. The more favorability decreases, the higher the reward. Currently Shui Hong Yun's favorability towards you is minus 60. I was stunned. Shui Hong Yun's favorability towards me is actually a negative number. Even to the point of hatred, why is he still spending so much effort to pursue me? Could it be that there is some ulterior motive that even my mind-reading skills can't see? Thinking of this, I couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat and chose the second one without hesitation. Since the favorability was negative, what face would be given back to her? I raised my head and coldly said, No need. I don't like milk tea. When the class saw this scene, each one of them was pained to see how there could be such a cold man who could reject a beautiful girl's heart. But what I said next, even more so, everyone sucked in a breath of cold air, you also don't send me things in the future, what's so good about being a humble licking dog, Shui Hong Yun's eyes suddenly froze, these words were like a needle ruthlessly piercing her heart, immediately after, I snatched half a cup of milk tea from Guliani's hand, and sucked it up with a big mouthful, with the fragrance of her mouth still remaining on the straw, Guliani sensed the ambiguity of the atmosphere at this time, her face directly red from the head to the root of her neck, as for Shui Hong Yun, she was already furious because I had embarrassed her in front of so many students. She returned to her seat with a stifled stomach. Congratulations to the host for completing your choice. Successfully making Shui Hong Yun's favorability towards you drop by 30. Current favorability is minus 90. Enhancing the ability to know a woman's heart. As long as the women around you have psychological activities, they will be known to you. And right now, I heard the inner thoughts of several girls in the class and Shui Hong Yun was no exception. Damn Xiang, embarrassing me in public. This matter is not over. When you bumped into me in the first year of high school, I wanted to retaliate by chasing after you. First let you completely fall in love with me, and then when you can't help yourself, then completely dump you, let you experience the feeling of tearing your heart and lungs apart. But you actually love me and ignore me, then I'll let everyone know that I like you first, and then slowly make you lose your reputation. What you did to me today. I will pay you back a hundred times over. I was shocked when I learned what Shui Hong Yun was thinking at this time. What a vicious woman, holding such a grudge against me because of a small matter. 
It's a good thing that I never agreed to Shui Hongyun's pursuit, otherwise I would have been led by her nose. However, after knowing the truth, I was also on guard and must be more wary of Shui Hongyun in the future. Returning to my senses, I said to my classmate Gu Lianyi, I'm sorry, I used you as a shield just now. Gu Lianyi shook her head repeatedly, not a problem, not a problem. I heard her internal activities at this time actually is. Xiang students like this to the class president will not be a little excessive? In order to prevent Gu Lianyi from misunderstanding, I took the initiative to tell her Shui Hongyun's purpose. When Gu Lianyi heard this, she was surprised and said, I can't imagine that the class president is such a person. This is too vicious. I helplessly spread my hands. So ah, now that I'm treating her like this, I'm sure I'll be retaliated by her before long. I heard Gu Lianyi's internal activities at this time again. I told you, how could Xiang's classmates be so excessive? It turned out that the class president was too ruthless. I smiled, while the teacher is not yet in class, and Gu Lianyi chatting up. It turned out that both of us have similar interests. The more we talk more and more chatting, until the teacher walked into the classroom to stop. The first class was math class. The teacher was very engaged in the podium. I had already learned the content of the entire senior year, so my mind was not on the podium. On the contrary, Gu Lianyi listened very attentively, but her comprehension was very poor. A few math questions were answered incorrectly. I was a bit unable to watch, so I secretly gave her answers. When I was reading the questions, I was close to her without realizing it. The distance between their faces was only two centimeters, so I didn't feel anything wrong. On the contrary, Guliani had never let a boy get so close to her before, and her heart was a bit fidgety. Coincidentally, this scene was seen by the teacher. Xiang students, listen well in class, do not say whispers affect others, this question you come up to do. The math teacher said sternly, we all know that he is strict. Once the class does not listen well, we'll be called up to do the problem. If you don't know how to do it, the penalty is just a child's play. Calling your parents is the most severe. I stood up from my seat. Guliani looked at me with some concern. I shook my head, signaling to her that it doesn't matter, and then walked confidently to the podium, picked up a piece of chalk and started to do the questions. There were two questions on the blackboard. I didn't know which one the teacher wanted me to do, so I just did them all. The whole classroom was very quiet. Everyone was looking at me. I was just about to go back to my seat when the math teacher stopped me. I suddenly realized that the math teacher and the whole class were looking at me in a strange way. Gosh, he actually did the formula that the teacher was going to talk about later. No, the teacher has not yet talked about this question. How did Lin Yuan know how to do it? A lot of students whispered underneath. I then suddenly realized. So I said truthfully, such simple knowledge, I will know it after reading it once. The math teacher frowned slightly. Then you come to tell how to do this question. Next I gave it in the easiest way to understand. The math teacher secretly nodded as he listened. Because I went into more detail than he did and it was easier for people to understand. Back in my seat, Gu Lianyi looked at me differently. Lin Yuan student, are you a top student? I revealed a mysterious smile. You guess. As a matter of fact, my grades in class have always been mediocre. But the very day I gained the ability to read minds, I realized that I also possessed the ability to forget things. Which is why my academic performance skyrocketed. Gu Lianyi playfully spat out her little tongue. Don't tell me even. And at this time she thought in her heart, Lin Yuan would be good if he could tutor me in my studies. Although she has a beautiful face, but it is all traded with IQ. Rarely pass the subject. If this continues, the examination of the university is tantamount to a fool's dream. Gu Lianyi tugged on my sleeve, gently shook and said, Lin Yuan students, with you to discuss a matter of good, can you tutor me to learn ah? Of course. I do not let you tutor for nothing. You after the daily breakfast and lunch. I'm all wrapped up. How about it? After hearing this, I thought about it and felt that it was quite good. Host's current situation has been detected. Please begin your choice. 1. Refuse Gu Lian Yi's request. Rewarded with one of the latest Apple cell phones. 2. Agree to Gu Lian Yi's request and have her score in the top 20 in the exam. Rewarding a future news story. I touched the cottage cell phone I bought for a few hundred dollars in my pocket and thought that it was time for a new one, except that I was more interested in the second reward, in case I learned in advance that a certain company's stock was skyrocketing, and I could make a big profit by buying it in time. Thinking of this, I agreed to Gu Lianyi's request. She was so excited that she almost screamed. When the morning class ended, Gu Lianyi offered to treat me to lunch. I took the plate and picked two veggies and one meat, with the free soup from the cafeteria. A meal was no more than 
Then I looked at Gu Liani's plate of fried shrimp, and there were even spare ribs in the soup. This lunch cost nearly 60 yuan. Lin Yuan, why don't you order some more dishes ah? Uh, anyway, it's my treat, and don't want you to pay for it. I charged 3,000 in the meal card. Gu Liani biting chicken fillet, vaguely said. I was startled. A one-time charge so much. Your family has a mine ah? Uh? Gu Liani looked up in surprise. How do you know? I can sort of figure out that my table mate is not only pretty, but also a rich family's big lady. Guliani used her chopsticks to pick up a chicken fillet and put it on my plate. At the same time, several surprised voices sounded behind me. Awesome. What did I just see? Lin Yuan actually ate Guliani's food. Lin Yuan is the face of our class. How could he look at such an ugly girl? Of course, they think so in their hearts. Do not dare to say it directly. I am also too lazy to take care of them. Thinking that when Gu Liani removed the ugly makeup of that day, I hope they do not regret. After school, Gu Liani returned to her residence. As soon as she entered the door, she heard her best friend sobbing, and she hurried over to inquire. Her best friend cried and told her what happened to her at school today, which turned out to be that several punks in her class had called her ugly, and none of her classmates stood up for her and said that ugly girls deserved what they got. Gu Liani, I don't want to play ugly anymore. I'll cancel the bet, okay? What about you? How's it going on your side? Lin Wanching asked. I'm fine. No one says anything about me. And my deskmate Lin Yuan is doing very well in his studies. He even promised to tutor me. I think he is quite good, compared to what happened to her best friend. Gu Liani instantly felt that my image was high. Lin Wanching wiped away her tears and reluctantly revealed a smile. You don't like that deskmate of yours, do you? Gu Liani's pretty face flushed red as she retorted. What are you babbling about? I don't want to talk to you. After that, she got up and went to the bathroom to remove her makeup, and soon recovered her true appearance. Youthful and beautiful, elegant and noble, in the light coming through the window, shining with crystal luster. Looking at the mirror, Gu Liani gazed firm. I want to continue to play ugly, wait until the right time, and then show people with real face, blind those people's eyes. The next day, in order to get the system rewards, I gave Gu Liani a set of tutoring plan which is to use after school time to teach her one-on-one. -on -one. After the first class in the morning, Gu Liani and I were both in our seats explaining in detail what the teacher had just said, and she listened very carefully and easily understood it. The two of us were so engaged that we didn't even notice the strange looks thrown by a number of students on the side. I said this is only a few days. Lin Yuan and this ugly girl relationship so good. He is not good this mouth? It's hard to say. If such an ugly girl sits next to me, I'm afraid I can't even listen to the class. It's really strange, so beautiful class president to pursue him. He has a cold face. Why now on an ugly table so interested? The next few days, Guliani study more and more better. Our relationship also skyrocketed. Almost nothing to talk about. When I learned that his family was very well off, my heart still felt a little bad. Because when I was a child, my real father abandoned me. My mother brought me up alone and suffered a lot. Time flies, and in the blink of an eye comes the first practice exam. Before the exam, I reminded Gu Liani, give me a good test. If the results did not improve, do not talk to me in the future. Gu Liani spat out a small tongue and said, let me rest assured. The examination process is very boring. I quickly finished. Glancing at Gu Liani, I found that she was burying her head in the questions, and it didn't look too difficult. As soon as the exam was over, she couldn't wait to share her joy with me. I felt like I could get nearly a perfect score this time. I gave her a thumbs up in appreciation. As we got along, I realized that Gu Liani was a lively and cheerful girl who was occasionally a bit cute. A day later, the teacher walked into the classroom with the test papers. She swept her eyes over the students on the stage and said, Some students have made great progress in this mock exam, and some students have fallen behind a little. Now called to the name of the up to receive the results. Starting from the worst students, Dai Shengping 21 points, Shen Mingjie 25 points. The class totaled 56 people. At this time there were 30 people received the test paper. Next to Gu Liani's face was filled with nervousness. I raised my hand and patted her shoulder. Don't be nervous, believe in yourself. Shui Hong Yun, 104 points. Gu Liani, 136 points. When the teacher read Gu Liani's name, he was the second to last, which meant he was second in the class, scoring 136 points. I'm not dreaming, am I? Returning to his seat, he felt a bit unreal, so excited that he was about to cry. Looking at Gu Lian Yi's cute appearance, I couldn't help but laugh out loud. At this time, 
The teacher picked up the last test paper and read, Lin Yuan, 150 points, is the only one in our class who scored a perfect score? At that moment, all the gazes of the students in the class fell on me. There was surprise, shock, and disbelief. Only the class president Shui Hongyun's face was gloomy. She used to be the first in every mock exam, and this time she was ranked third, and the first place was still the person she hated the most. Damn Lin Yuan, I won't let you be complacent for too long. I raised my head and swept a glance at Shui Hongyun, immediately discovering the other party's evil thoughts. At this time, a system beep sounded in my head. Congratulations to the host for completing the mission and rewarding future news events. At the same time, I obtained the mystical skill Eye of Truth. I was overjoyed in my heart. This is a very good ability to see the essence through all appearances. When I returned to my seat, I saw Gu Liani giving me a thumbs up from above my seat. Suddenly I froze. Her makeup faded a little in front of my eyes, revealing a face that was too pretty to be true. And it was as if her loose jacket had become transparent, revealing a water snake waist, as well as a convex butt and slender thighs. What is the situation? My eyes looked straight. I knew that she was deliberately playing ugly, but I didn't expect it to be this extreme. It turned out that it was the ability of the Eye of Truth that allowed me to see through Gulliani's disguise, so I had really picked up a treasure. I didn't move and return to my seat to sit down, but my eyes couldn't help but sneak a peek at Gulliani. She was just too beautiful. Lin Yuan student, what are you looking at? Is there something on my face? Gulliani blushed slightly at the stare. In the past if any boy dared to stare at her like this, she would definitely feel disgusted. But now that she was staring so directly at me, she was shy instead of angry. I directly told the truth. I was looking at the big beauty. Gu Liani said shyly, I'm not a big beauty. This matter of her and her best friend pretending to be ugly has never been known to a third person, so she thought I was just a joke. I also timely retracted the line of sight, for fear that I have been looking at it will be exposed. Gu Liani smiled. I can see. After being praised by me is very happy. At this time, an unread message appeared in front of my eyes. It was the system that wanted me to check the future news events. Lin Yuan hadn't forgotten that he had such a reward. He couldn't wait to find out what it would be. Future news event number one. On August 29th, Tianhua Biogroup developed a special drug for cancer, and its stock price skyrocketed 66 points for 18 consecutive days. Future news event number two. August 15th, famous actress Lin Qingyu, while out alone that night, was followed and kidnapped by a male private student, and her body was found in a nearby abandoned factory the next day. Two future news events, both with a few accompanying pictures at the end. The first future news event, Lin Yuan smelled an opportunity to make money. As long as he bought Tianhua Bio Group's stock on August 11th, he'd be able to make a huge profit. The second news event shocked Lin Yuan. Lin Qingyue's popularity was known to almost everyone on the streets. Not only was she beautiful, she sang beautifully, and the drama she acted in all had excellent word of mouth. It was just unexpected that she would be killed a few days later. Based on the address that appeared on the news, Lin Yuan found the location where Lin Qingyu was about to be killed. Surprisingly, it was in his own city, just a dozen kilometers away. And the plant where the murder took place, Lin Yuan knew where it was. Since he knew that the tragedy would happen soon, Lin Yuan decided to go and stop it. Of course before that, it was time to figure out how to raise money to buy Tianhua Bio Group's shares. Lin Yuan didn't have much money and borrowed from his three roommates, but at best he could only borrow a thousand dollars. When he was worried about this, he suddenly thought of Gu Ranin. Wasn't there a rich person beside him? Ranin student, I want to tell you something. Lin Yuan thought that Gu Ranin must have quite a lot of her own personal money, if she could lend herself a little, and then split the money she earned 50-50, it would be a win-win situation for both sides. It was just that he was a little worried that the two had only known each other for a short while, would Gu Ranin lend herself the money? What is it? Gu Ranin was still immersed in the joy of scoring 98 points on the exam, and didn't look back. Lin Yuan was somewhat unable to open his mouth, and finally asked cautiously and tentatively. As for me, I know some insider information through a certain channel, and I know that a certain stock will skyrocket in the near future, but since I don't have much money on hand, I want to borrow some from you. Stocks? Mr. Lin Yuan, how do you know how to play stocks? It's really hard to tell. Looking at Gu Renin's reaction, after hearing the words about borrowing money, she acted as if there was no reluctance. It showed that borrowing money was in play. Lin Yuan hurriedly added more fuel to the fire, that's right, how about borrowing some? I can write an IOU and record a video as proof. Gu Ranin pondered, I'll think about it, but what if you lose money? I won't lose money, trust me, if I lose money, I'll work for you as a cow, I'll pay you back someday. It's a deal. With this too, in three words, Gu Ranin handed over her private money that she had saved up for years to Lin Yuan. 
a bank card. The password is six ones, just return the card to me when you're done using it. Guranin was too troublesome to transfer the money, so she simply handed the card over to Lin Yuan to operate. This was a sign of trust between good friends. Thank you Ranin, love you. Lin Yuan laughed and couldn't help but reach out and pinch her cheeks. In his eyes, Gu Ranin wasn't pretending to be ugly, but rather had a crystalline face that was stunningly beautiful. Yikes. Darn it. Gu Ranin raised her hand to slap away someone's claws, her exasperated look adorable. What love or not, needy death. Gu Ranin clasped her hands to her chest, her cheeks burning as she said, goosebumps are coming out. Lin Yuan just laughed. Pretend, just keep pretending. I already know what you really look like anyway. Having hoodwinked me for such a long time, it's not right to not punish you properly. After the morning class ended, Lin Yuan went out of the school and found a bank to transfer money. Inserting his bank card and entering his password, Lin Yuan was dumbfounded when he saw the balance in his bank card. Crap, so much money. On the ATM cash machine screen, a very long string of numbers was displayed. Lin Yuan counted the beginning one, seven digits. Hiss over a million dollars. Lin Yuan sucked in a breath of cool air. How big was Gu Renin's heart? She dared to hand over so much money to herself with such confidence. But just in time, it was enough to make a big profit of several hundred thousand dollars. Lin Yuan took out all the money, leaving him with a balance of just over three hundred dollars. He transferred the money under his card, tapped on the stock speculation software with his cell phone, found Tianhua Biogroup stocks, and bought all the money for all the stocks. Alright, starting tomorrow, wait for more and more money. Lin Yuan counted the time, and as soon as the 18 days were up, he immediately sold the stocks. With all this last night, he was a little worried, if Renin knew that she directly took the money from her card and bought all the stocks, he didn't know how she would react. He didn't want to hide it, and finally summoned up enough courage to prepare to tell Gu Renin about it in the last class of the afternoon. Renin, that what, I bought the stocks, I bought the Tianhua Bio Group shares. Oh Gu Renin said carelessly. Lin Yuan said apprehensively, it's just that, the money spent is a bit much. He held up a finger and said sheepishly, there's this amount. 100,000 ah. Gu Renin was prepared for this, and 100,000 is not much. It's more than. Lin Yuan said, but I can assure you that after half a month, it will make a lot of money, and then we'll split it 50-50. Good, then it's such a pleasant deal, 50-50. Student Renin, listen to me when I finish, I don't want to lie to you, you have to prepare your heart, it's actually not 100,000, it's. Lin Yuan was about to say that what was spent was a million dollars, not a hundred thousand when the bell for the end of class rang sharply. Class dismissed. On the podium, the teacher said. With a crash, many students stood up from their seats and rushed out of the classroom. After Gu Renin also collected her things, she got up and was about to leave. Renin, I haven't finished yet. Lin Yuan pulled her wrist. Aya, it's not much, it's fine, I still have urgent matters, I'm rushing back. Gu Renin was in a hurry to get back from class. She had an appointment with her girlfriends to treat herself to a big meal. AI. Alas. Looking at the silhouette that left the classroom, Lin Yuan was speechless for a long time. After thinking about it, he still left a message on top of his cell phone to Gu Renin about spending a million dollars and buying stocks today. Gu Renin hurriedly rushed back to her residence, removed her makeup, dressed herself up and wore a white strapless dress. All of a sudden, she was so gorgeous that even her best friend, Ling Wanqin, nourished her admiration. The two quickly went out and the turnover rate on the road was extremely high. Took a taxi to the restaurant with a per capita consumption of thousands to eat dinner. Entering the restaurant, the two found a seat. Ordered some of this restaurant's signature dishes. Ranin, that deskmate you mentioned, really tutored your grades to second in the class? Ling Wanqing spoke of this with envy. How come she didn't have such a good deskmate herself? She was, right now, placed by the teacher at the very back of the class, a role that was ignored by almost everyone. And there was no deskmate. Everyone disliked her and didn't want to share a table with her. Usually after class everyone was in groups of a few, going to the kiosk or to the restroom, while she could only go by herself. Ugh. Ling Wanqing sighed. She wanted to tear off her ugly disguise immediately, and show her beautiful and attractive side in front of everyone. Brighten their eyes. She was beginning to miss the old campus life where she was surrounded by stars. Gu Renin nodded her head and said, Yes, Ling Yuan is awesome. The reason why my grades are second in the class is because the first is Ling Yuan Ah. She was unconsciously wearing a smile on her face. Yo yo yo, is our Renin having a spring in her step? Quickly say it, is she in love with that Lin Yuan? Ling Wanqing's gossipy heart immediately rose, seriously suspecting that her best friend had moved on to someone else. Which is not. Don't talk nonsense. Really? There really isn't, it's annoying. I won't talk to you. Gu Renin beamed her little face and pretended to be angry. At the same time, she also asked herself because of this question. Whether or not she really had other strange emotions towards Lin Yuan's classmates. 
It wasn't possible to say that I liked it, but a good feeling was definitely there. It was considered the first male friend who had a very good relationship, right? Ranin, why is that Lin Yuan so nice to you? Ling Wanqing suddenly asked. This put Gu Ranin in a difficult position. Yes, why was classmate Lin Yuan cold to others, but very nice to her? Not only did he tutor her in her studies, but he also didn't dislike her because of her disguised ugly appearance. What did such a boy want? It's not like he's not good looking when he dresses up ugly, so he can't be so bad as to like her, right? Does he know that you are rich? Ling Wanqing guessed. Gu Ranin said, I invited him to dinner before, said that I had charged a few thousand inside my meal card, and also told him that my family is very well off. Gu Ranin stammered. That's right. Ling Wanqing clapped her hands together and concluded, he must be trying to figure out your money, or else if you look so ugly in your ugly costume, which boy would take the initiative to get so close to you? Let me tell you, if he suddenly wants to borrow money from you, don't borrow it, got it. When Gu Ranin heard this, she neither believed that Lin Yuan's classmate would be this kind of person. But then she listened to what her girlfriend told her, plus the fact that Lin Yuan's classmate really borrowed money from herself today. For a while, she thought wildly. She didn't dare to tell her best friend about her borrowing money. Otherwise, with her girlfriend's character, she would definitely go to her school and personally find Lin Yuan to ask for the money face to face and make it clear. Soon, exquisite and delicious food was served. The two stopped this topic and began to focus on eliminating the food on the table. The meal lasted for more than an hour. The two were satisfied and ready to go back. When it was time to check out, Gu Ranin took out her bank card to pay. Hello, the balance on your card is insufficient. The front desk attendant reminded politely. How could it be? I have over a million dollars in this card. Gu Ranin was dismayed and asked the attendant to swipe it again and again. Hello, the balance is still insufficient, would you like to change your card? The waiter said. Gu Ranin was dumbfounded. How could this be? Ranin, did you get the wrong card? Ling Wanqing inquired. She was well aware of her bestie's family's situation, and it wasn't as if she couldn't even afford this meal. Gu Ranin's face turned slightly white and she cried, looking like she was on the verge of tears, pathetic. I didn't get the wrong card. She then added, today, Mr. Lin Yuan said he wanted to borrow money from me, and at that time, I didn't think much about it, so I gave him this card. She told the events of today, one by one. What? Ling Wanqing's anger came up at once. Gu Ranina Gu Ranin, do you think you're stupid, giving a million dollar card to a man you've only known for a short while, and saying that you didn't like him? I see you just. Hey, you let me say what you good. Gu Ranin was aggravated, tears were swirling in her eyes, ready to come out of her eyes at any time. Ling Wanqing hurriedly helped pay the money and pulled her out of the restaurant. On the way Gu Ranin was sobbing in a low voice, heartbroken, and the image of Ling Yuan kept surfacing in her mind. It was constantly and slowly collapsing. Ranin don't cry. Hurry up and check inside your card, how much money is left? Ling Wanqing was still calm, pulling Gu Ranin to rush to the bank and check the balance. When after entering the password, the balance shown was only a few hundred dollars left, the atmosphere was a little quiet. Shit! Ling Wanqing directly exploded on the spot. A whole million dollars, only a few hundred dollars left. I'll find a way to contact your school now and let them handle this matter. Senior students are also 18 years old, reaching the age where they can be sentenced legally. Defrauding a million dollars, such a significant amount of money is enough to put him in jail, and later on, this stain can't be washed away for the rest of his life. Gu Ranin sounded scared. Wan Qing, just let him return the money, there's no need to do this. What time is it? You're still so protective of a man, what do you really think? Say, what kind of mesmerizing soup did that Lin Yuan give you in the end? I, Gu Ranin was kind-hearted and really couldn't bear to do this. Wait a minute, I have Lin Yuan's contact information, so I'll ask him right now why he's doing this. Saying playfully, Gu Ranin took out her cell phone and opened the chat software. Then she saw several unread messages from Lin Yuan. Tapping on them, she took a look. Lin Yuan, Ranin, I think it's better to tell you clearly, so that you don't misunderstand. Actually, it's not a hundred thousand, but a million, all for me to take to buy stocks. But don't worry, tomorrow Tianhua Bio Group's stock will soar, when that time comes, it will make a lot of money, don't ask me how I know, just wait to collect the money. Thank you for trusting me so much. Gu Ranin stared at her cell phone for a long time without words. He sent you a message? Let me see. Ling Wanqing took Gu Ranin's cell phone. There was a burst of out of breath afterward. It was a bit different from what she had imagined. It turned out to be an oops. But to casually lend a million dollars to someone is too big of a heart. Aren't you afraid that some people will take it and run away? Thanks to this Lin Yuan said on the cell phone, or else the matter will become a big deal, and it will be very bad for Lin Yuan's reputation. Gu Ranin finally landed on a big stone in the bottom of her heart. Classmate Lin Yuan isn't approaching me because of my money. She broke into a smile, leaving Ling Wanqing beside her speechless. 
This chick, she couldn't have fallen for this Lin Yuan, right? Gosh, our Renin is in love. On the way back, the two of them talked a lot around Lin Yuan as a topic. As for the matter of one million dollars, Lin Wanqing couldn't care less, it wasn't her money anyway. It's just nonsense, a million dollars just handed over to Lin Yuan, it's all bought stock. Tianhua Bio Group, I've never even heard of it, he said that this company's stock will skyrocket in the next few days, and you believe it? Just wait, don't come crying to me if you lose money then. Gu Renin was admonished and kept her head buried in silence, pursing her red lips. She had just replied to Lin Yuan with only four short words, I know. Lin Yuan also quickly replied with only two emojis, a kiss and a hug. It just happened to be seen by Ling Wanqing next to her, like a cat that had its tail stepped on, she instantly exploded. Kuda Gu Renin, how dare you say you're not in love? I've already sent you the kissing and hugging emoji, let's see how you're still going to weasel out of it this time. What kind of god is this Lin Yuan, that he chased you down so easily? How could she not have imagined that her best friend had been chased so quickly? Although Renin didn't have any relationship experience and hardly had any male friends, it wasn't so bad that she agreed to be courted for the first time. Don't talk nonsense, Lin Yuan, and I really aren't as complicated as you think. Gu Renin hurriedly explained, but the more she explained, the more unclear it became. At least Lin Wanqing didn't believe it. Now, Gu Renin couldn't wash herself even if she jumped into the Yellow River. Tell me the truth, ask yourself, don't you have any feelings for that Lin Yuan, even a hint of fondness? Ling Wanqing asked, staring at Gu Renin's eyes. Gu Renin's eyes dodged a little, and she hesitantly said, I have a good feeling for him, as for liking. She thought about it carefully and wondered if the kind of feeling she had for Lin Yuan was liking or not. Seeing that she couldn't say it, Ling Wanqing had an idea in her mind. Back at her place, Gu Renin took a bath and went back to her room to rest. You've killed me. She sent a message to Lin Yuan at the first opportunity. It was fine to send herself such intimate expressions, causing her best friend to misunderstand. Lin Yuan? What's wrong, my little Renin cutie? Bah, who's your little cutie, my goosebumps are coming out. Ha ha ha, it looks like we're on good terms. Oomph, I'm telling you, I've given you my entire fortune, don't let me down. Ha uh ha, -huh, if I lose it all, I'll be responsible for you. Blah 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 who wants you to be responsible, disgusting heart. Okay, then to put it another way, I'll be your person from now on. Gu Renin, how shameless. She lies on the bed, smiling like a flower, too amused to laugh aloud. That night, Tianhua Biological Group announced a piece of news. It said that it had developed an effective anti-cancer drug and was preparing for mass production. It was instantly sent to the number one hot search. The next day, Tianhua Bio Group stock skyrocketed. When it closed in the afternoon, it had risen by a full 10 points. In other words, in one day's time, Lin Yuan had made $100,000 with a million dollars. When Lin Yuan told Gu Renin about this, she was stunned. Oh my god. So much. Ah, uh, just wait to collect your money next, it'll continue to rise for many more days. Lin Yuan smiled. After returning from class, Gu Renin shared her joy with her best friend Ling Wancheng. She was also surprised when she heard about it. So much money, hurry up and sell it, $100,000 is enough, you can't be too greedy. Ling Wancheng reminded. But Lin Yuan said it can go up again, there's no rush to sell it, I believe him. Feel free to sell it or not, it's not my money anyway. Day 3 Today Tianhua Bio went up 11 points and made over $100,000. Sell it, it's up so much, I guess it's going to fall tomorrow. No, mister. Lin Yuan said, resolutely not to sell. The fourth day. Wanqing Wanqing, guess how much I made today? How much? 150,000. Fifth day. Wanqing Wanqing, I'll treat you to a big meal today. What, did you earn again today? Didn't make much, it's only $80,000. Day 6. Wanqing Wanqing, go eat a big meal. Renin, I suddenly kind of want to buy stocks. Ling Wanqing was envious these days, and after watching Renin make so much money, she wanted to follow suit. Didn't you say it's dangerous to go up too high and ask me to sell it? How come this time you want to buy it yourself? Gu Renin smiled and laughed, excited like a child who was still a minor. My good Renin. Ling Wanqing hugged Gu Renin's arm and shook it vigorously, pampering her, you're just being nice, ask your Lin Yuan boyfriend if it's not too late to buy it. You, what are you talking about, he's not my boyfriend. Gu Renin said angrily, isn't he? Well, you just help ask if it's okay, or give me his contact information, I'll ask myself. No way. Why not? You still don't recognize him as your boyfriend, your mouth is not your heart. In the end, Gu Renin couldn't say anything to Ling Wanqing and took out her cell phone, asking Ling Yuan for advice. Soon Ling Yuan replied, It's still possible to buy, but the next rise isn't as much as it was a few days ago, but it's still possible to make a small profit. But I have one thing, when I'm going to sell it, that BFF of yours has to sell it together too, otherwise it's none of my business if I lose money. 
Getting the answer she wanted, Ling Wanqing immediately utilized her pocket money and bought Tianhua Biogroup stocks collectively. It was more than $300,000. On the other hand, Lin Yuan took a taxi to the city a dozen kilometers away. Tonight, the famous actress Lin Xingyu, when she went out alone would be followed and kidnapped by a private student, and her body would be found in a nearby abandoned factory. He would prevent this from happening. As for why he's going to do it? Since he knew about the tragedy that was about to happen, Lin Yuan couldn't do anything about it. What's more, he and his mom were both fans of Lin Qingyu, which made it all the more necessary to come to the rescue. Lin Yuan quickly found the abandoned factory that had caused the tragedy. First, he observed the structure and terrain of the place to make sure everything was safe. Then it was time to take out the prepared tools. Super chilly water, throwing sticks, etc. What followed was a long wait. He wasn't sure where Lin Qingyu lived in the neighborhood or where she would be moved and kidnapped. Only knew that the murderer would kidnap her and bring her here. When that time came was when he would strike. It was already 8 o'clock at night, the sky was dotted with stars, and the sound of vehicles driving by could be heard not far away. The abandoned factory was silent and looked a bit eerie. Lin Yuan sprayed some insect repellent on his body and was always alert to the movements in the neighborhood. When the time came to 10.30 at night, a sneaky figure appeared in sight. A stout, very strong man, carrying a woman on his shoulders, walked into this abandoned factory. The man was very vigilant, scanning the surrounding from time to time, worrying that someone might see it. As for the woman on his shoulder, a strand of hair hung down, unable to see her face, but her figure was very good, concave and convex. The woman seemed to be unconscious, being carried so motionless. Then, the burly man walked inside the abandoned factory. There was an undisguised excitement on his face. Lin Yuan hurriedly followed. Trying not to make a sound, his heart was beating fast. With the opponent's size, he was no match at all. So he had to find the right moment to strike, otherwise he would have wasted his efforts and put himself in danger. At this moment, the lanky man placed the woman on the dusty ground. The woman was very pretty, with a beautiful face, walking above the street, she was also an eye-catching target. Especially with her perfect body, even just a single movement seemed to seduce people. Xingyu, I'm going to have you soon. The lanky man squatted down and roughly dismantled the clothes on Lin Qingyu. But it seemed that the movements were a bit rough. Plus the clothes Lin Qingyu was wearing were not common, not only did it take quite a bit of time to put them on, but also to take them off. The man was impatient and his movements were too great, waking up the unconscious Lin Qingyu. Who are you? What are you doing? Let go of me. Don't. Ah. Uh, help. Lin Qingyu screamed, desperately shouting for help. The lanky man panicked and hurriedly blocked her mouth, only whimpering sounds could come out. Lin Qingyu desperately struggled, but her strength was too small to help. She had only gone out for a trip, not expecting to be followed and knocked out. When she woke up, she realized that she was being violently stripped of her clothes by a man, violently. Xingyu, I've liked you for many years, I've abandoned everything for you, and I'm going to get you today. The lanky man revealed himself as Lin Qingyu's personal rice, and had reached the point of obsession for her. Don't be like this, please. Lin Qingyu cried with pear blossoms, incomparably desperate. But there was no one in the neighborhood to hear her pleas for help. Could it be that she was going to be defiled today? The commotion over here was not small perfectly masking the tiny sounds of Lin Yuan's walk. He held chili water in one hand and a throwing stick in the other, quietly approaching behind the lanky man. When the distance between the two sides was less than five meters, the struggling Lin Xingyu suddenly saw that a person had suddenly appeared behind the man who was being violent towards him. Lin Yuan rushed to make a silent gesture. Lin Xingyu wasn't stupid and screamed even louder to help Lin Yuan cover his voice and distract the lanky man. When there were only three meters left between the two sides, Lin Yuan decisively rushed up and with all his strength, he threw the flinging stick hard on the side of the lanky man's face, causing him to scream miserably. With one strike, he immediately sprayed the lanky man's face with chili water. The lanky man had tears in his eyes, holding his face as he continued to wail and scream. Taking advantage of his illness, Lin Yuan didn't stop, he didn't show any mercy, hitting the other man hard with his throwing stick, and he soon got a bruise and a purple patch on his body. The lanky man kept begging for mercy, his legs were broken, otherwise he would have escaped long ago. A few moments later, Lin Yuan stopped. He looked at Lin Chengyu, who was still in shock, and walked over to ask her about her situation. I am fine. Lin Chengyu's face was pale and she hadn't recovered from what had just happened. She hadn't realized in the slightest that her clothes were in disarray, and some parts of her body had already leaked their spring light. Just by looking at it, Lin Yuan had a wild urge of male instinct, but it was quickly suppressed by him. He hurriedly took off his own jacket and draped it over Lin Chengyu. Then he called the police, and soon someone rushed over and took the lanky man away. While Lin Yuan and Lin Chengyu needed to go together to make a statement, the two of them rode in the same car. Thank you, if you didn't show up just now, I might have. Lin Chengyu quickly calmed down, not forgetting to thank the person who saved him. 
he borrowed a cell phone from Lin Yuan and called his agent about what had just happened. The agent was shocked after hearing this and was on his way here. This is what I should do, I can't just see death and save him. Lin Yuan said. He was still nervous about being this close to Lin Qingyu. This person was his idol. Are you Lin Qingyu? He asked knowingly. Lin Qingyu nodded and directly acknowledged it. Wow. Lin Yuan put on a surprise expression. Can you give me an autograph? Sure, but I don't have a pen right now. I'll sign it for you later. Arriving at the bureau, the two of them briefly made a statement and were then told they could leave. What awaited the lanky man next would be a jail sentence. Lin Yuan, on the other hand, had successfully gotten Lin Qing Yu's signature. Being able to get Lin Chang Yu's autograph was already the best reward for Lin Yuan. It could be used as a birthday gift for Mom soon. I'm sure she would be very happy. And Lin Qing Yu's agent arrived late. It was a young woman who made all sorts of inquiries as soon as she came up, and after confirming that Qing Yu wasn't hurt and was just a bit shocked, she was visibly relieved. Thank you for saving Cheng Yu. She expressed her gratitude to Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan laughed, I should. The agent took out a check from her bag and handed it over. This check for 100,000 is considered repayment. 100,000. Lin Yuan looked at the check with some interest. This much money was enough to improve his life a lot. What, too little? The broker frowned and took out another check, saying, is that 200,000 enough? This time it was Lin Yuan's turn to frown. Thinking of him as someone who wanted something in return? At this time, Lin Qingyu also came over, just take it, this is your repayment for saving my life. Host's current situation detected, please begin your choices. Choice 1, accept the repayment of the check for 200,000, rewarded with the title of seeing righteousness and courage. Choice 2, reject the check for 200,000, rewarding the value of 50 million, a riverside villa. Crap, a villa worth 50 million dollars. Lin Yuan was breathing heavily, was there any need to choose? Of course it was choice 2. I'm sorry, I saved people out of instinct, not for the so-called reward, you guys take this money back. Lin Yuan said righteously, no longer even looking at the $200,000 check. It was as if it was just two pieces of scrap paper. Now Lin Qingyu's agent was surprised, had she looked away, there were still people who didn't want so much pay. Sister Qingyu, if there's nothing else, I'll leave first, bye. Seeing that it was getting late and it was already almost 12, Lin Yuan thought it was time to go back. He waved his hand, turned around and left without any hesitation. Wait. As Lin Yuan was about to walk out the door, an urgent voice came from behind him. Turning his head, he looked. Lin Qingyu jogged over, panting. I'm sorry, it was my agent who did it wrong. Since you don't want money, you must take these three tickets to my concert. Saying this, she shoved the three tickets into Lin Yuan's hands. This time, Lin Yuan didn't refuse. Heartily, he accepted them. You saved me, this is the only way I can think of to repay you. Thanks, I'll definitely go see it. Good, I'll treat you to dinner then, by the way, add a friend. Lin Cheng Yu offered to add a friend. Lin Yuan readily agreed. After the two added their friends, Lin Yuan left. Qing Yu, I was remiss, I shouldn't have let you come out alone, causing almost an accident. Just now I also had good intentions, I wanted to repay the person who saved you in this way, he didn't take it I thought it was too little, I didn't expect. Lin Qing Yu's agent came over and blamed herself. Lin Qing Yu shook her head in silence. Those three diamond level concert tickets of yours, didn't you say you were going to keep them? The agent asked. Keeping them for the people who deserve to give them away. Lin Qing Yu smiled. It was already too late to get into the school, so once Lin Yuan thought of a villa he had, it was just the right time to go over and take a look. He took a taxi to the Riverside Villa area. When he arrived at the entrance, he was stopped by the security guard on duty. I'm going home. Lin Yuan took out the system-issued villa key and even the real estate license. The security guard's attitude immediately changed drastically, escorting him all the way to his villa. The location here was very good, with a view of the city's riverside scenery. There was no traffic in the neighborhood and it seemed very secluded. Opening the villa that belonged to him, Lin Yuan was like opening a new world. Luxurious villas that only appeared on TV were now real in front of his eyes. This place was all his personal property. Luxurious leather sofas, crystal chandeliers, solid wood furniture. All kinds of furniture were available. Lin Yuan comfortably lay on the large soft bed, it was hard to imagine that he actually had a villa. This night's sleep was extremely comfortable, so comfortable that he was late for school. As soon as he opened his cell phone, it was full of messages from Gurunin. Lin Yuan why haven't you come to class yet, are you sick? Where the hell did you go Lin Yuan, I thought you asked the teacher for a vacation, but the teacher asked me back why you didn't come, hurry up and get back to me, I'm in a hurry. Lin Yuan did you take my money and run away, whoa, that's my entire fortune, crying emoji. Lin Yuan cried and laughed a little and hurriedly messaged her back. I overslept, sorry. Lin Yuan also didn't expect to sleep in the villa until almost noon. It was too late to rush to school now. 
so there was no use being in a hurry. Due to the location of the villa, which was some distance away from the school, Lin Yuan decided to continue living in the dormitory and occasionally come over for a night or two on vacation. He first went through his cell phone and explained to his teacher the reason for being late. The reason was that he had something to do at home last night and was busy until late, so much so that he was too tired and overslept. The teacher just said a few words and didn't hold him responsible. So then, the afternoon class, he also did not go. Lying beautifully on the big bed, continued to sleep. During this time, Gu Renin returned his message. Pigs can't even sleep as well as you. Lin Yuan returned her a head-banging emoji. As he was chatting, a cartoon avatar friend sent a message. Lin Yuan gave it a note of Big Star Lin Cheng Yu. Big Star Lin Cheng Yu, my concert is in less than half a month. Remember to come. And thank you so much for yesterday. Without you, I'd probably be dead or alive right now. Lin Yuan tapped his fingers quickly on the keyboard and replied, Sis, don't think about these bad things. I'll definitely go to your concert when the time comes. You did say that you'd treat me to dinner. Good, then it's a deal. Aha. I'll get busy first, in the future, if you have any difficulties looking for your sister, if I say a single word of no, I won't be called Lin Cheng Yu. Ending the chat, Lin Yuan smiled. He actually knew Lin Cheng Yu, and had saved her, and had contact information, no one would probably believe it if he said it. Then he checked today's stocks. Tianhua Bio Group stock had skyrocketed for many days in a row, shocking many people. Some fast hands had already bought it, some were still hesitating, worried that after they bought it, the stock would plummet. Doing the math, Lin Yuan had used $1 million and earned over $400,000. If he then split it 50 fiftieths with Gu Renin, he would get more than 200,000 in his hand. Although it wasn't as much as the villa gifted by the system, which was worth $50 million, this villa was real estate, and he couldn't resell it himself, he only had the right to use it for life. Staying at the villa for another day. Early the next morning, Lin Yuan got up early and took a taxi to school. Just entering the classroom, the classroom, which was originally very lively, became quiet all of a sudden. All the students who were there were looking at him with a strange look. Lin Yuan frowned, sensing that something bad was about to happen. Oof, you're finally here, today I'm going to make you lose face and make you a well-known figure in school. Lin Yuan heard class president Xue Hong Yun's heartfelt words. Secretly, he said that what should come is still coming. Just what would the other party's retaliation be? He saw that Gu Renin was already right in the classroom, lying on her desk at the moment. Lin Yuan walked over and sat down beside her. Lin Yuan, I heard that you're in love with Gu Renin, is that true? A male student in the back row who was often a troublemaker, asked with a curious look on his face. There's no need to ask, they're definitely in love, the two of them are inseparable after class, they walk together after school, talking and laughing, the whole class knows that they're dating. Crap, Lin Yuan's tastes are so heavy, Gu Renin is so ugly you can't even get away with it. Admire, admire, admire. A few students who didn't do well and were noisy in the class were up in arms. They had been caused to do so by the class president Xue Hongyun and had taken some favors as well. The purpose was to let the whole class know that Lin Yuan and Gu Renin were dating. Immediately after that, it developed to the point where the whole school knew about it, and by then this scandal would be enough to ruin Lin Yuan's reputation. The point wasn't that the school didn't allow students to fall in love, it was that Lin Yuan had found an ugly girl to be his girlfriend. Lin Yuan frowned. From the conversations these people were having, they knew what was going on. Himself and Gu Renin were dating? Ha! He couldn't wait for that to be true. He was a fair lady, and he was no exception. Besides, Gu Renin's real appearance was enough to become the school flower of this school. If she took off her disguise, there would be a few more suitors and crushes. Renin, don't care about what others say, certain people want to see us flustered. So instead of messing ourselves up, we have to be calm and act as if nothing happened. Lin Yuan whispered in Gu Renin's ear. Gu Renin slowly raised her head. Her eyes were a little red. After seeing Lin Yuan's familiar face, it was as if the aggression in her heart was about to be vented all at once. Don't cry, crying will play right into the hands of those who want to see us laugh. Lin Yuan gently used his sleeve to wipe away the tears that were about to come out of her eyes. In the eyes of her classmates, this scene made them even more convinced that the two were in love, and the uproar became louder. Lin Yuan, I'm the one who caused you harm, I'm sorry. Gu Renin sobbed softly. Lin Yuan was however stunned. Obviously, I'm the one who harmed you, how come it's you who harmed me instead? This silly girl. Lin Yuan's eyes were cold since he dared to spread rumors and slander him and Gu Renin, then be prepared to regret it. In this regard, Lin Yuan had prepared himself for this type of emergencies, so he wasn't very flustered at this point. All of this was led by class president Xue Hong Yun, so it was time for her to wrap things up as well. I don't care who's spreading rumors, and I don't care what you guys think, I'm going to say. Lin Yuan stood up from his seat. He didn't want to involve Gu Renin and decided to fight everything off himself. As for how to go about getting class president Xue Hong Yun punished, 
It was simple, as long as he sold Tianhua Bio stock a few days later, he would get a large sum of money. As the saying goes, money makes the devil work, and Lin Yuan had many ways to make Xue Hongyan regret it. Host's current situation detected, please begin your choices. Choice 1, apologize to class president Xue Hongyun and ask her to stop the malicious rumors about her, rewarding her with the title of patience master. Note, this title will increase the host's endurance. Choice 2, slap class president Xue Hongyun, denounce her underhanded tactics, reward class president Xue Hongyun with criminal information, and increase Gu Renin's favorability by 20. Note, currently, Gu Renin's favorability towards the host is 40, friend. It must be known that if the favorability is 60 and the other party is of the opposite sex, they are interested in the other party. Lin Yuan's words that had just reached his mouth came to an abrupt end. He originally wanted to say that he was the one chasing Gu Ranin and had nothing to do with her, and then take everything down. But since the system had appeared, there was no need for that. He looked towards the seat where Xue Hongyun was. Xue Hongyun had a gloating look on her face, for which she had bought popcorn, and was leisurely watching her masterpiece. Lin Yuan, I can't wait to see you make a fool of yourself, ha ha ha. Shui Hongyun laughed wildly inside, unabashedly showing it on her face. Lin Yuan walked directly towards her. Lin Yuan, I didn't think you could be so heavy-handed, so you like ugly ones, how disgusting. Shui Hongyun's mouth was very poisonous, her ugly face was on display, looking at her made people want to beat her up. Lin Yuan did just that. Without saying a word, he came up and hit Shui Hongyun in the face with a big slap, directly flabbergasting her. A large slap mark instantly appeared on her face. Feeling the fiery pain coming from her face, Shui Hongyun stared wide-eyed, her face full of disbelief. He actually dared to slap himself in front of the entire class. You dare to hit me. Shui Hongyun screamed, madly pouncing over with her teeth and claws open. She was just a girl, she didn't know how to fight at all, and Lin Yuan slapped down again. Shui Hongyun fell directly to the side, knocking over the desk and falling to the ground. The whole class was so stunned that they didn't do anything when the class president was slapped twice. It was only now that they reacted and hurriedly separated the two. Lin Yuan you've gone too far, actually hitting the class president. Too impulsive, this makes things even more serious, Lin Yuan is afraid he'll be expelled from school this time. What kind of skill is it for a man like you to hit a woman? All the students rebuked Lin Yuan. Congratulations to the host for completing his choice, obtaining Xue Hongyun's criminal information, and increasing Gu Renin's favorability by 20. Note, currently Gu Renin's favorability towards the host is 60, she's interested in you. Many more information appeared in Lin Yuan's mind. One on a day in the second year of high school, Xue Hongyun secretly threw drugs into her classmate Wang Yan's water, causing Wang Yan to be rushed to the hospital and left with a lifelong illness. Note, the evidence has been sent to the host's cell phone. Two, during the summer vacation of the second year of high school, Xue Hongyun stole a wallet from a bar, the evidence has been sent to the host's cell phone, please pay attention to check. 3 Yesterday, Xue Hongyun instructed her classmates to slander her classmate, Lin Yuan, by spreading the rumor that he was in a relationship with her deskmate, Gu Renin. The evidence was sent to the host's cell phone, please check. At the same time, Lin Yuan's cell phone vibrated three times in a row. Now, he was even more emboldened. Xue Hongyun, do you still remember Wang Yan who was poisoned by you in your second year of high school and was sent to the hospital to be rescued resulting in a lifelong disability? Lin Yuan stared at Xue Hongyun and coldly said, Wang Yan used to be in the same class as everyone else in the first and second year of high school. In the second year of high school, she was against the class president Xue Hongyun at every turn, and the two of them fought openly and secretly for the position of class president. Just one day somehow, suddenly said stomach pain, was sent to the hospital after already unconscious. Finally rescued, but left the roots of the disease. After that, he dropped out of school. No one knew that this matter was actually Xue Hongyun's evil handiwork. You, what are you babbling about? When Xue Hongyun heard the word Wan Yan, she clearly appeared flustered. Xue Hongyun had thought that this matter would just be over. All the secrets would go with the wind and be buried deep in her heart forever. However, she hadn't expected that Lin Yuan would actually bring up the old matter again and point out that she was the one who did the thing with Wan Yan. How did he know about it? There was simply no second person who knew about this matter other than her. Nonsense, you want to frame me? Xue Hongyun forced herself to be calm. As long as there was no evidence, then it was slander. By then, Lin Yuan's reputation would be stigmatized. Ha! Lin Yuan laughed. You want evidence, right? I'll show you this. With that, he took out his cell phone and found the evidence of Xue Hongyun's poisoning. It was a video, the system had somehow used some method to take the images from that day and record them. Lin Yuan clicked to play the video and then held it up for the class to see. The video footage showed that the class was empty, and that was when Xue Hongyun sneaked into the classroom, holding a small bottle of something in her hand. 
She walked directly to Wang Yan's seat, took out Wang Yan's water bottle from the drawer, and poured the unknown liquid inside the vial into the water bottle that Wang Yan was drinking from. After watching the video, all the students revealed shocked, incredulous expressions. Then all of them stared at Shui Hong Yun. No, it can't be, it's fake. Shui Hong Yun was completely flustered. Before there was evidence, she could still argue strongly, but in front of ironclad evidence, any explanation was pale and powerless. This is the evidence you wanted, satisfied. Lin Yuan looked at Shui Hong Yun with cold eyes. Right, I have other evidence, by the way, I'm showing it to you as well. Saying this, he clicked on another video. Remember, spread the news that Lin Yuan and Gu Renin are in a relationship to the whole class. Also, let the whole school know that the person he's in love with is a girl who's ugly as hell, and that after it's done, it'll be a hundred dollars each. In the video, Shui Hong Yun said to a few naughty boys in the class. At once, those few recalcitrant classmates also panicked. It's none of my business, it was Shui Hong Yun who instructed me to do this. Yeah, she also said that if we didn't do it, she would let the punks outside the school beat us up. Lin Yuan I'm sorry, forgive a few of us, we were wrong, we won't dare to do it again. They were scared to death. If this matter was known to the school, they would definitely have to call their parents. It would be fine if they didn't have to suffer a beating, but it would be serious if they were expelled from school. Lin Yuan ignored them, his gaze still fell on Shui Hong Yun. Looking at her increasingly miserable face, his heart was soothed. Lin Yuan I'm wrong, I'm sorry I'm wrong, please don't give the video to the teacher, I don't want to go to jail. Shui Hong Yun snapped and kneeled on the ground, begging for mercy one after another. She had already turned 18 and reached the age of sentencing. If this matter of her poisoning was publicized, she would definitely go to jail. By the time she came out, her youth would have long since dissipated in prison. Lin Yuan laughed coldly. If there was no evidence, then he would be the one to lose his reputation. When he knelt in front of Shui Hong Yun like this and begged her to let him go, what would she do? Ridicule, ridicule, intensified insults? So, Lin Yuan refused to apologize. Shui Hong Yun, be a good person in the future. Lin Yuan sent the video inside the class group on the spot. Soon after, the class teacher who saw the video immediately replied, Class teacher, class president come to my office immediately. Never mind, I'll come over to the class now. Soon, the class teacher hurriedly walked into the classroom. After briefly inquiring about what happened, he took away the class president, Shui Hong Yun, who couldn't even walk. The entire class became quiet again. A pin drop could be heard. Gu Renin, who was sitting in her seat and witnessed the whole thing, was frozen by now. A crisis that she didn't know how to solve away was so easily dissolved. She looked at Lin Yuan's back, as if as long as he was there, she could stop worrying and being afraid. It's okay. Lin Yuan returned to sit next to her, revealing a soft smile as he raised his arm and gently wiped away the tears on her face. But instead of wiping away the tears, this action brought more and more tears. Gu Renin could no longer suppress her inner aggression, and very much wanted to find someone to vent it out. She buried her head into Lin Yuan's chest and cried loudly. The other students turned a blind eye, pretending not to see. Gu Renin cried for a while before she got away from Lin Yuan. The ugly makeup on her face was splattered and she became even uglier. Lin Yuan looked on wanting to laugh but not daring to, almost suffocating his internal injuries. Gu Renin realized that his expression wasn't right and hurriedly took out the small mirror she had with her and shone it on her face. Yikes! She screamed and hurriedly ran out of the classroom. Her makeup was smudged, and a few freckles had been washed away by her tears. Not long after, Gu Renin reapplied her makeup and came back. The freckles on her face also returned to their original positions. Lin Yuan pretended not to know and didn't go poking around. I just went to wash my face. Gu Renin found an excuse. Oh. Lin Yuan responded indifferently. Lin Yuan, if it wasn't for you just now, otherwise I wouldn't know what to do. Don't worry, I'm here, you don't have to think about anything else, just leave everything to me. Somehow, after this incident, Gu Renin's favorable impression of Lin Yuan increased greatly. Not only was he tall, he was also somewhat handsome. The most important thing was that she didn't mind the way she dressed up as an ugly person. Standing up when he was at his wit's end in solving the trouble. Boys like this were really rarer than pandas. Gu Renin sighed, her future boyfriend, if only he was like Lin Yuan. Thinking about it, she sneakily measured the side of Lin Yuan's face and sprouted an idea. She didn't have a boyfriend by her side, did she? Do you have to go out and look for a needle in a haystack? She was shocked by this thought and quickly shook her head to get rid of it. No way, no way, what kind of girl chasing a boy, this is also too not reserved right. But if, Lin Yuan's classmate wants to chase me, then what should I do? Should I say yes? No, I'm dressed so ugly, how could Lin Yuan chase me? Aya, Gu Renin, what are you thinking, when did you become so whimsical? Next to him, Lin Yuan looked breathlessly at Gu Renin who seemed to be in a daze. He also heard what she was thinking in her mind. Helplessly, he held his forehead. 
This girl, she was really cute, but thinking about whether or not to pursue Gu Ranin, to know, this deskmate of his, not only was she good looking, but her personality was also to his liking. It was simply the image of the goddess in the hearts of countless men. Truly, white, rich, and beautiful. The day's class quickly ended. No one was there to discuss where class president Shui Hongyun went from here. And the rumors about Lin Yuan and Gu Ranin were not broken. Even if the two were flirting in front of everyone, they didn't dare say anything. Lin Yuan's performance today had really scared a lot of people. Gu Ranin was like a little frog, bouncing back to her residence. Then came the daily process. Remove makeup. Restore the original look. Today, she looked great, her eyes were bright, and her pink lips seemed like they could be blown out, making people want to bite them. She walked her snow white and slender thighs, not a little bit of the girl should be reserved, lying on all fours on top of the sofa. Not long after, her best friend and roommate, Ling Wanqing came back. Ling Wanqing looked like a soulless zombie as she slowly walked over and went limp on top of Gu Renin's thighs. Uhu, Renin, it's the same ugly costume, why is there a huge difference between what happened to the two of us? Gu Renin laughed, what's wrong, did they dislike you again today? Ling Wanqing sighed repeatedly and said, he meow, our class ran for class president, my grades were better than another girl, and I had outstanding abilities, but the teacher let her be the class president. Speaking of this, Ling Wanqing was furious. Once again, she sighed, this damn face-watching world. Wanqing, a lot of things happened in our class today, let me tell you ha ha. Gu Renin, told her bestie everything that happened at school today. I go, this Ling Yuan of yours is quite powerful ah, Kalide, this kind of evil class president should be beaten. I say, why don't you just let him be your boyfriend? What a nice boy. Ling Wanqing suggested. I'll really ignore you if you keep this up. Gu Renin pouted. If you get chased by another girl, you won't have a chance. Ling Wanqing advised, think about it, if that day really comes, will you be happy or uncomfortable? Gu Renin didn't say anything. Yup. How would one feel if Lin Yuan was chased by another girl? Should one be happy? Gu Renin felt that she definitely couldn't be happy. It was more of a hard feeling, a small loss, a feeling of having lost something. Could it be that? I really have an interest in him, have that little bit of fondness for him? She asked herself and then got the answer. Indeed so. Seeing this, Ling Wanqing was even more certain that Renin really liked that Lin Yuan. Renin, why don't you try asking Lin Yuan what he thinks of you? If he shows that he's interested in you, then don't hesitate and bravely go after your own happiness. Ling Wanqing egged her good girlfriend on. Gu Renin was indeed persuaded. But, I met him in an ugly disguise, he definitely won't like me. Ling Wanqing thought about it and gave her a suggestion, how about this, you can use actions to tell him that you like him, and if he behaves indifferently, then it means that this Lin Yuan doesn't like you. Gu Renin listened and thought it made sense and decided to try and see. Lin Yuan, who came to the classroom early in the morning, then saw soybean milk buns on his desk. Then Gu Renin was sitting next to her, looking at herself with a smile on her face. What, what's going on today, you bought me breakfast? Lin Yuan was a bit surprised. Gu Renin hadn't bought him breakfast since the end of her first mock exam. The sun had come out of the west today. What, can't I buy you breakfast? Humph. Gu Renin clasped her hands over her chest. Not to mention, with this action, she brought that loose jacket into close to her body, outlining that plump curvature. Lin Yuan couldn't help but look twice more. Stained. Not only did people look good, they even had such a good body. Girls like this were rarer than wild pandas. He didn't move and sat down, picking up a bun to eat although he had already eaten in the cafeteria earlier. After breakfast, Lin Yuan realized that Gu Renin seemed very off today. Twisting and turning was not like her style at all. What's wrong with you today, so strange? Ha? Huh? No, no, I've always been like this ah. Gu Renin opened her mouth to deny it. Gu Renin ah Gu Renin, don't be a whip, be brave and ask Lin Yuan if he has a favorite girl. Try to find out if he means me or not. If we don't act, he'll be snatched away by another girl. Lin Yuan, who was in the middle of making soy milk, almost didn't spit out a mouthful. Stunned, he stared at Gu Renin. She, likes me? Lin Yuan suddenly remembered that after completing the choice quest yesterday, the system had made Gu Renin's favorability towards him increase by 20. These 20 points of goodwill allowed Gu Renin to feel good about him between a man and a woman. However, these favorability points were dispensable to Lin Yuan. Ugh, troubles. Lin Yuan suddenly sighed. What? What's troubling you? Tell me what's troubling you, make me happy. Gu Renin had really taken the bait. Lin Yuan sighed, I'm only 18, and my mom's pushing me to find a girlfriend, don't you think it's annoying? Ha? Huh? Auntie this is too anxious to rush. Gu Renin said, her heart leaping. Ha, huh? so student Lin Yuan doesn't have a girlfriend. Yeah, and there's no girl chasing after me, I really want to experience what it's like to be in love. Lin Yuan tensed his face and stifled a laugh. Wow. 
Classmate Lin Yuan doesn't have any girls chasing after him either. Great. Gu Ranin you have to be reserved. Calm down, calm down. You're dressed so ugly. If I were a guy, I definitely wouldn't chase you either. But you can test Lin Yuan's attitude and what kind of girl he likes. Student Lin Yuan, so what kind of girls do you like? If I know any, I'll introduce them for you. Gu Ranin patted his shoulder, pretending to be old-fashioned. Ni Lin Yuan pretended to think seriously before giving his answer. I like lively, cheerful girls who share my interests. Of course, I don't mind if she's good-looking, even if she's not. And ah, uh, the girl must also have so much like me. When he said those words, he was looking at Gu Ranin as he said them. Gu Ranin's heart kept thumping. Her cheeks were burning and her ears were red. Wasn't this talking about herself? Lively and cheerful, her interests were similar to Lin Yuan's, and she got along. Plus, Lin Yuan said that he didn't mind if his future girlfriend was ugly, or he was facing himself. Kud. The more Gu Ranin thought about it, the more her cheeks turned even redder. Is this a confession in disguise? Shame on me, what should I do? I don't dare to look at him or speak now. Yikes, why is student Lin Yuan still looking at me? I hate it. Lin Yuan was just so deliberately looking at her shy appearance. It was simply as cute as it could be. Renin san tell that BFF of yours to sell the stock in five days. We're going to sell ours as well, and it works out to be almost a profit of about $600,000. We'll split it 50-50 when the time comes. Lin Yuan suddenly brought up the stock matter to ease the awkwardness. Oh, Gu Renin replied absent-mindedly. Tomorrow is Saturday, school isn't in session, I'm going home for two days, so the tutoring homework will be suspended for two days. Aha! The school bell rang in the afternoon. The two waved goodbye and went home. Lin Yuan's home was more than 10 kilometers away from the school. He was taking a taxi back. This was an urban village where renting was cheap. Lin Yuan had lived here with his mother since he was a child and depended on her. As for the father? Long ago, when his mother was still pregnant with him, he was nowhere to be found. Using a somewhat rusty key to open a door that required multiple attempts to open because it was too rusty. In middle school, Lin Yuan often kicked the door panel in anger because he couldn't open the door. Not infrequently, he received bamboo shoots fried with meat. After that, whenever he opened the door before opening it, he would silently pray for the door. Please don't rust. The living room wasn't big. Just big enough for a couch, a TV, and a table and chairs for eating. There were only three rooms, the bathroom, and Lin Yuan's room with his mother. The rent was $900 a month, and this was still the landlord looking at their mother and son's pity and lowering it by several hundred down. Mom, I'm back. Lin Yuan shouted to the empty living room. There was no response. He knew that at this time, his mother should still be working. Even at night, she had to go and work a part-time job for two or three hours, such as a restaurant waitress, dishwasher, and so on. Lin Yuan had also secretly vowed that he would make a lot of money in the future and let his mother live a good life. Now this wish, it seemed, was about to be realized as well. Simply making himself a bowl of noodles and taking a simple shower after eating, Lin Yuan returned to his room and opened his cell phone. The Tianhua Bio Group stock was very well known nowadays, and there were a lot of people who had followed the trend and made a lot of money by buying it. However, if you buy in now, you do make money, but not by much. It can only be said that the water here is too deep for anyone to grasp. One day suddenly plummeted, then can only rooftop see. Lin Yuan, who was brushing the video, had a message pop up on his cell phone. It was from Gu Ranin. Gu Ranin, Lin Yuan, what are you doing? Very often, the two would chat on their cell phones at this point in time. The content could be about daily routines, interests, or studies. Lin Yuan, I'm chatting with you, what about you? Gu Ranin, what a coincidence, I'm chatting with you too. Yeah, what do you talk about? Chatting about what you're doing right now. I'm chatting with you, what about you? I'm chatting with you too, what about you? Omitting some of the nutrient-less chatting, Gu Ranin then got down to business. Mr. Lin Yuan, are you free next Monday night? Lin Yuan replied, who's with whom? Let's talk straight about what's going on. That day is my birthday. I invited my girlfriends, and you. On the other end, Gu Ranin was sending this text under the guidance of her best friend. Next Monday was indeed her birthday. But this time, she wasn't going to spend her birthday at home and had asked her parents for permission. She booked a cake that was just the right size. Just three people. Next Monday. Lin Yuan naturally wouldn't refuse, and he also happened to have nothing to do that day. Okay, I'll definitely go. Aha, uh -huh, it's so happily decided, if you don't come, hmm, I'll ignore you from now on. Okay. The chat ended. Lin Yuan was aware of what Gu Rinin really looked like. So next Monday, he had to dress up handsomer and look cleaner anyways. He couldn't show Rinin's best friend a joke and lose her face. By the way, we also need to prepare Gu Ranin's birthday gift. Now we speculate in the stock market to make money. The gift cannot be too cheap, but it can't be too expensive either. The heart to the line. After racking my brain for half a day, 
I couldn't think of anything, so I'll think about it tomorrow. Outside, there was the sound of a door handle being turned. Lin Yuan hurriedly walked out of the room and saw a middle-aged woman with a haggard appearance and a few strands of gray hair. Mom! Lin Yuan hurriedly ran over and took the bag in his mother's hand, holding her arm as he walked into the living room. Little Yuan is back, how did you stay at school, were you bullied by your classmates, did you do well in your studies? Lin Xiang Lan revealed a loving smile and sat down on the sofa. Lin Yuan, on the other hand, walked behind his mother and gave her a massage to relieve her physical and mental exhaustion. I'm having a good time at school, my academic performance has improved a lot, and I came first in the class mock exam this time. Lin Yuan shared some of the things he did at school with his mother. Hearing that her son had scored first in the class, Lin Xianglan was more or less surprised. My son has made a fortune, ah, uh, he got first place in the class, good good good. It's all because Mother Sama taught him well. Lin Xianglan closed her eyes to enjoy her son's massage service, and soon quickly drifted off to sleep, so she asked Lin Yuan to stop and simply wash herself to go back to her room to rest. Early the next morning, Lin Yuan prepared breakfast, Lin Xianglan ate and went to work. Lin Yuan cleaned up the house once more. Only after cleaning did he see a message from Gu Renin. Gu Renin, student Lin Yuan, I heard from someone that the class president dropped out. Lin Yuan had already anticipated this outcome, so he wasn't surprised. Since this was the case, Lin Yuan didn't mind making a big deal out of it again so that the whole school would know about it. He first registered a new account and posted it on top of the school, including the local official public account, to report this matter, and attach a video of Shui Hong Yun's crime. Most importantly, find the victim Wang Yan's family and tell them the truth. How the events would develop afterward was out of his hands. He replied to Gu Renin's message. I know. After a long time, there was a reply from there. Oh. On the other end, Gu Renin and her best friend were lying on all fours on the sofa, completely lacking the modesty that a girl should have. Ling Wanqing was lying down watching a TV series, grabbing a bag of potato chips in her hand and taking several bites of chips when she saw the exciting part. Gu Renin was much more reserved, although her lying posture was indecent, she at least maintained the image of an unappetizing goddess in some people's minds. She was sleeping with her eyes closed. Wan Qing. Gu Renin slowly spat out her best friend's name from her mouth. What do you say on my birthday? Should I really have Ling Yuan come? Ling Wanqing's attention was completely attracted by the TV. She didn't even lift her head and said, just come, it's not like I don't agree. It's just that I want to take a good look at what that Lin Yuan really looks like, and how good he can be as you say he is. That's for sure, Lin Yuan is really good to me, take me to make money, counsel me to study, and ah. Yo yo yo, the sun came out from the south, when did my family, Renin, also say a boy's good? To YouTube, humph. Gu Renin ignored her, and seemed to think of something, and instantly became bitter. Wan Qing, Lin Yuan still doesn't know that I came to school in an ugly disguise, he doesn't know what I really look like, what do you think I'll look like to meet him if he wants to come? Ling Wanqing said, of course it's the ugly look. Think about it, an ugly man suddenly becomes a handsome man one day, what would you think? Gu Renin thought for a moment and asked tentatively, would be shocked, then surprised, pursued? Right. Ling Wanqing laughed, if Lin Yuan suddenly realized that his ugly girl deskmate was actually a big beautiful girl, he would definitely be shocked and then pursue you like crazy. Gu Renin felt that her best friend had a point and decided not to show her true appearance on her birthday. However, the clothing above, or can be exposed to throw, their own slim body. Then Gu Renin ran to her room and picked out the clothes she wanted to wear on her birthday. Ling Wanqing shook her head. This is her best friend that she has played with since she was a child. The silly bestie who hasn't fallen in love once. She really wants to fall in love? Why is this Lin Yuan? So good to Renin? Ling Wanqing knew how hard it was to find a boy who was small, handsome, and still tall, had good academic performance, was considerate and caring, and was so good to his ugly girl deskmate. At least she hadn't seen a single one during the period she was pretending to be ugly. That's why she was worried that Renin might have been scammed. But cheated of money? That Lin Yuan had borrowed over a million dollars from Renin to buy stocks, and if he split it 50 fiftieths, he had made several hundred thousand dollars. So cheating money is not right. And cheating on sex? Come on, Renin's ugly face is so ugly, a fool wouldn't go after it. But since it wasn't for money or sex, what was it for? Ling Wanqing really couldn't figure it out, but she prepared a ploy and decided to test Lin Yuan on Renin's birthday. That night Renin was going to play ugly, but that didn't mean that she would follow suit. Imagine a very pretty girl and a very ugly girl together, then which girl would the boy's attention be attracted to? The result could be imagined. The reason why Ling Wanqing did this was to tell Gu Renin that men are animals that think with their lower bodies. You can't believe too much in a man's tenderness and consideration, care and concern, and in the face of the world of flowers outside, even the best men will be attracted. Lin Yuan took a taxi to the home of an elementary school classmate. This classmate of his was a big secondary Yuan Otaku girl, 
and her family didn't lack money, so inside her room, she was filled with all kinds of anime character hand puppets. Today, Lin Yuan had agreed with this classmate to purchase one of her king figures for a large sum of money as a birthday gift for Renine. Renine liked to play King of Kings, and the hero she often played was Di Chao. Her skills could be described as pitiful, vegetable and fun-loving. The two also teamed up and played a few ranked games, and every time Gu Renin either zoomed in under the enemy tower or placed a circle haphazardly to send her full-blooded teammates back to the city, often received affectionate greetings from teammates. When once Renin opened voice, teammates will become gentle, saying things like it's okay, girl with me to take you flying, and other such things. So Lin Yuan was prepared to send a white crane beam goddess hand puppet of Di Chao to Renin as a birthday gift. Arriving at the appointment, a milk tea store, Lin Yuan ordered a cup of kumquat lemon, then sat and waited up. Speaking of which, he hadn't seen this elementary school classmate since he started middle school. Even if the two had contact information, there was very little contact between them. They could only know each other's living status through their circle of friends. This time, Lin Yuan suddenly contacted this elementary school classmate, and the other party thought he was here to borrow money. He had made a big mess. Just as Lin Yuan waited for about 20 minutes, a person suddenly sat across from him. Hey, long time no see, Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan subconsciously raised his head. Across from him, a girl with a double ponytail was smilingly looking at him. She was wearing a white loose t-shirt with a certain male anime character printed on her chest. And underneath, there was only a pair of black shorts that reached her knees, revealing a slender calf. If it was someone who didn't recognize her, they would definitely mistake this for some elementary school student. Because it was simply too childish looking. Crap. Lin Yuan's phrase crap. With a surprised tone was enough to show the fluctuation of emotions within him after seeing the other party. That classmate from elementary school seemed to have changed very little by now, still maintaining the same look he remembered at the time. Everyone else is a woman who has changed, Zheng Xiaoqi, how did you manage to not change much? Lin Yuan carefully surveyed this elementary school classmate. Pretty was a lot prettier, it just didn't match up to a 17-year-old girl. Ah, uh, I don't know hey, hey, every time I go out, I'm called a little kid, and when I hitchhike, the driver is dead set on not taking me. Zheng Xiaoqi helplessly spread his hands, this is considered a good thing but it also brings a lot of trouble. For example, often being called little friend, being called sister by people younger than her, as well as everyone's developing breasts. To her, there was no change at all. It was flat and unimpressive. It made Zheng Xiaoqi feel incredibly inferior for a while. The two hadn't seen each other in years and talked for quite a long time, confiding in each other about their respective lives. Zheng Xiaoqi in another high school, academic performance in the bottom third of the class, interest is the second Yuan and Otaku. When asked if she had a boyfriend, Zheng Xiaoqi confessed, I can't even count the number of people chasing after me, but they're all too stingy, they can't even afford to send a 2,888 hand puppet. These words made Lin Yuan sweat. Did you bring the stuff? He opened the door. One hand to pay and one hand to deliver. Zheng Xiaoqi picked up a box from his feet and placed it on the table. I want to inspect the goods first. Doing business is all about integrity, see. Zheng Xiaoqi opened the case and took out the handle. Lin Yuan nodded in satisfaction after checking to make sure there was no damage. During his inspection of the hand puppet, Zhang Xiaoqi suddenly stared straight at Lin Yuan's face and took out his cell phone, looking at him while doing so. Continuously making sounds of nuisance and admiration, his eyes became strange. Why are you always staring at me? You're not looking at me, are you? Lin Yuan teased. Zhang Xiaoqi suddenly got excited and showed him a picture of an anime character inside his cell phone. Look, this is a character inside the latest popular anime doesn't it look like you? Lin Yuan saw that this anime character's face was very similar to his own, and his body was similar, it was so similar, but not to the extent of being very much like him. As long as I dress you up again, put on some makeup, and cosplay a bit, hell, won't everyone gather around you to take pictures when we go to the Comic Con? The more she said, the more excited she got, she was about to drag Lin Yuan home and give him a disguise. Girls have to be reserved. Lin Yuan decisively refused. To ask him to cos anime character roles, there was no door. I'm not selling the hand puppet. Bye. Zhang Xiaoqi was about to leave with the hand puppet. Hey, hey, don't. Let's talk this over. In the end, Lin Yuan was dragged by Zhang Xiaoqi to her home nearby, where he was pressed into a chair and used as a lab rat. During this time, Zhang Xiaoqi took all kinds of makeup tools and painted on his face. Lin Yuan wanted to cry. For the sake of Rin Yin's birthday present, what was a little aggravation. But soon he really smelled good. Looking at himself in front of the mirror, who had suddenly become handsome, Lin Yuan froze. He could be so handsome. Makeup artist Zheng Xiaoqi was at the side, also looking at him with glowing eyes. This elementary school classmate of his, after makeup, was still very handsome. The main thing was that it was really similar to that anime character. 
I'll go online to buy this anime character's clothes, you'll come back to try them on then on the 5th of next month, go with me to the Comic Con to show your face. Zheng Xiaoqi crossed her arms, in a stance that Lin Yuan wouldn't let him go if he didn't agree. Lin Yuan inwardly refused, but after looking at the hand puppet next to the table, he gritted his teeth and endured. Kasan COS, anyway, no one knew him in that place, there was no need to be embarrassed by meeting acquaintances. And so, this matter was happily decided. Lin Yuan left with the hand puppet. The issue of the gift was solved, then the next issue was the mental appearance. He purposely consulted makeup artist Zheng Xiaoqi and then picked a set of clothes that were casual and clean, but also looked stylish and youthful. And enduring the heartache, he went to a high-class barber store and got a good-looking haircut. Everything was ready. In the evening of that Sunday, Lin Yuan came to school early, greeted his three roommates, and would be back late tomorrow night. Monday. On the podium, the homeroom teacher had an announcement to make. It's been almost two months since school started, time flies. The school is preparing to hold a campus singing competition, when the time comes, there will be leaders from above coming over to watch, can any of you who are good singers sign up with me? After a pause, the homeroom teacher added the competition rewards. The first place can get a scholarship of 10,000, the second place has 5,000, the third place 2,500, and the fourth to tenth place 1,000. A few of the better singers in the class had their eyes light up. This money was already very much for them. If they could get the top 10, they wouldn't have to worry about snacks for the next few months. Gu Renin could sing and also took the initiative to sign up. Lin Yuan hadn't heard of singing before, but looking at the way he swore, he was probably sure of being in the top 10. Classmate Lin Yuan, how are you at singing, do you want to sign up? Gu Renin quietly poked Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan knew he wasn't a singing material and shook his head. Detected the host's current situation, please begin your selection. The system's voice suddenly appeared. Choice 1 Sign up for the campus singing competition and win the top 10 places, rewarded with godly singing skills. Choice 2 Enroll in the campus singing competition and win the top 3 places, rewarding divine singing skills and a divine voice. Choice 3 Sign up for the campus singing competition and win first place, rewarded with divine singing skills, divine voice, and a mysterious song with deep lyrics and meaning. Choice 4 Sign up for the campus singing competition and win the first place, fire out of the campus, fire all over the network, the streets and alleys, rewards god level singing skills, god level voice, two lyrics and music meaning in death mysterious songs, the king's hero hoey god level operation technology. This time Lin Yuan was surprised. The surprise wasn't the sudden appearance of the system. Rather, there were actually four choices this time. Each choice was asking him to sign up for a campus singing competition. The higher the ranking, the richer the rewards he would receive. He thought that since he was going to participate in the singing competition, he would choose the one with more rewards. So without hesitation, he chose the fourth choice. After he finished choosing, it was as if something exploded in his head, causing him to feel a stabbing pain and his expression revealed a pained color. The host has completed his choices, the rewards will be released in advance. If the host does not ultimately meet the mission requirements, the reward will be recovered by the system. In his mind, there were two more songs that had not been published, with almost perfect song lyrics and meanings. In addition, Lin Yuan has mastered all kinds of singing techniques. On top of that, Lin Yuan mastered various techniques of singing, including pronunciation, breath, and so on. The main thing was that after being changed by the system, his voice after singing would be extremely good. When Gu Renin saw Lin Yuan shaking his head, she thought that he didn't want to participate in the singing competition. Who knew that the next thing Lin Yuan said made her feel that it was too arrogant? I'm afraid that if I participate, no one will be my match. Lin Yuan looked like an expert in loneliness, and looking at Gu Renin, she wanted to whack this guy hard. You don't even make drafts for bragging, if no one will really be your opponent, then sign up. Gu Renin had disbelief written all over her face. Fine, then I'll sign up, and first place will come hand in hand. You're just blowing it. You don't believe me? No. Then let's make a bet, if I want first place in the singing competition, you promise me one condition, if I don't get first place, I can also promise you one condition. Okay. There was actually such a good thing? Gu Renin agreed in one bite. She was afraid that Lin Yuan would back out. It wasn't that she looked down on Lin Yuan, but she believed in her own strength. Besides, wouldn't the first place be so easy to get? One must know that the school had hidden tigers and dragons, who knew if there would be experts present. Gu Renin was already thinking about what conditions she was going to make with Lin Yuan. Since he had placed a bet, Lin Yuan raised his hand from his seat and signed up for the singing competition with his homeroom teacher. Student Lin Yuan can sing too? All right, add you one. The homeroom teacher added his name. The time for the campus singing competition was in the near future, and the stage was already being built after school that day. It was almost ready tonight. Lin Yuan hadn't forgotten that today was Gu Renin's birthday, so after school, he first went to the dormitory and changed into his school uniform. 
Then he followed Gu Ranin out of the school. Where I live isn't too far from here, it's less than a 10 minute walk. On the way, Gu Ranin explained, her gaze sneakingly sweeping over the gifts in Lin Yuan's hands from time to time. What kind of gift is Lin Yuan going to give me? I'm looking forward to it. Look at the size, could it be a crystal glass ball, or an accessory? Classmate Lin Yuan, what kind of gift did you prepare for me? She simply didn't want to think about it and went straight to ask. Lin Yuan said, not telling you. Forget it if you don't tell, I don't want to know yet. Gu Ranin was tongue-tied. However, she felt that Lin Yuan was much more handsome today after changing his clothes. Soon, the two walked into a residential building and went up to the third floor. Gu Ranin took out the key and opened the room. The living room had been dressed up the day before. There were balloons floating from the ceiling, ribbons fluttering on the walls, and balloons with the words happy birthday. This was Lin Yuan's first time visiting a girl's residence, and he could tell that Gu Ranin loved cleanliness. The living room was neatly furnished and not messy. This is my room. This is my BFF's room. I've asked for her permission so you don't have to worry. Gu Ranin informed that her bestie would be coming back soon this time. Lin Yuan nodded. Next, Gu Ranin prepared to go cook. Let me help you. Lin Yuan came over to help wash and cut the vegetables. When he saw Gu Ranin's skill at stir-frying, he shook his head straight as he watched, grabbing the spatula and doing it himself. Wow, classmate Lin Yuan, you actually know how to cook. Gu Ranin's stir-frying skills were only halfway decent, learned from watching videos, and often the finished product was estimated to be uneaten by dogs. Go wash the vegetables. Lin Yuan was busy frying vegetables and said without looking back. Good drop. Gu Ranin obediently went to wash the vegetables. Soon, several plates of small dishes were brought to the table, full of color and flavor. There was popped green pepper fried pork, fried shredded potatoes, popped fried shrimp heart, maple tofu, fish, and shredded pork. Gu Ranin's mouth was about to water. This was too flavorful. She reached out her hand and wanted to take a piece of meat to taste if it was good or not, but Lin Yuan was quick on his feet and slapped his little hand away. Don't steal food. Gu Ranin was pitiful. Lin Yuan laughed, it's not hygienic to use your hands, take chopsticks. Only then did Gu Ranin smile happily and ran to the kitchen to get chopsticks. She checked a piece of meat, chewed and swallowed slowly, feeling that it tasted better than the ones from the restaurant outside, and threw her thumbs up, marveling at Lin Yuan's cooking skills. Lin Yuan had previously worked part-time in a restaurant as a waiter, dispensing food, and had also learned to cook from a friendly master chef, so his skills certainly weren't bad. Right, why isn't your bestie back yet, any later and the food will be cold. He looked at the time, it was already dark outside as well. I don't know ah, uh, in the past she should have been back half an hour ago. Gu Ranin said back, calling her best friend over. I'll be right back within three minutes. On the phone, Ling Wanqing said. Sure enough, a few moments later, the sound of turning a doorknob came from outside the door. Gu Ranin remembered that she had just unlocked the door and hurried over to open it. The door opened. Gu Ranin saw a black halter dress, snow white delicate skin, painted exquisite makeup, if the red lotus out of the silt, noble and beautiful, is smilingly looking at their good girlfriend, Ling Wanqing. Then, with a bang, Gu Ranin closed the door. Lin Yuan looked over in confusion, what's wrong? Gu Ranin huffed, I don't recognize it, so I guess I went to the wrong door. Very timely, someone outside the door was tapping on the door, Ranin you open the door nah, open the door I want to go in. Gu Ranin wanted to hit someone. BFF surprisingly didn't come back dressed up as ugly, but came back dressed up. Don't you know that I invited Lin Yuan to celebrate my birthday today? And still dared to dress like this. Friendship is over. Jilted friendship. Ling Wanqing, what exactly do you mean? Gu Ranin pressed herself against the door and questioned harshly. She was furious, her two small fists clenched into fists. Listen to me Ranin, I'm also doing this to help you test that deskmate of yours, what kind of person is he? If he can't take his eyes off me as soon as he sees me, acts attentive, and wants to talk to you afterward, or ask for my contact information in person, then this is a man who forgets his friends when he sees sex and has no character. If it wasn't for Lin Yuan being there, Gu Ranin would have probably exploded on the spot. Didn't you say that once I showed my true face, Lin Yuan would pursue me like crazy? Now that you're showing your true face, you also want Lin Yuan to be unmoved by you and not be swayed by beauty. That's too contradictory. She wouldn't open the door no matter what she said. No matter how hard Ling Wanqing talked outside the door, Gu Ranin just wouldn't open the door. She was afraid that once she opened the door, what if Lin Yuan really did look at her best friend? Every man couldn't be perfect, let alone Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan didn't understand Gu Ranin's grudge against her BFF, he just felt that it didn't seem too good. Ranin, that's your BFF right, why aren't you allowed in? Lin Yuan stay out of this matter, this is my grudge of drinking my BFF. After half a moment of stalemate, in the end, Ling Wanqing compromised deciding to come back in after pretending to be ugly. But without waiting for Gu Ranin to breathe a sigh of relief, 
a huge force suddenly came from behind the door and pushed her away. Her best friend, Ling Wanqing, succeeded in her scheme and hurriedly dodged into the room, and now she couldn't stop her. Ling Wanqing, I'm going to cut you off. Gu Renin was furious, her eyes wanting to burst into flames, she could tell that she was really angry. There was a momentary impulse to grab the door and walk out. The big deal was that this birthday was not going to happen. You're that deskmate of Ring Yin's, called Lin Yuan, right? Ling Wanqing came in and saw Lin Yuan sitting on the sofa. After a few glances, as Renin said, he was really quite handsome. This made her even more puzzled. How could such a boy be on such good terms with Renin, who was so ugly in her disguise? Lin Yuan got up and walked straight towards her. Sure enough, you were attracted by my beauty. You can't take your eyes off me when you see me. Renin, ah Renin, you have such a bad eye for people. You even took the initiative to walk towards me, as if my family's Renin doesn't exist, don't you care about her feelings? Forget it, I don't dare to talk too much to this Lin Yuan in front of Renin, I'll just deal with a few sentences, and after he leaves, apologize to Renin and tell her to stay away from this Lin Yuan. At this moment, Ling Wanqing's mental fluctuations were very rich. In fact, she had seen too many scenes like this herself. Once upon a time, with her true face and with makeup on, her face value was even higher, and when she walked on the road whether it was a teenager younger than her or an uncle, 95% of the people would cast a glance. The ones who took the initiative to come up and talk to her were countless. So Ling Wanqing thought that Lin Yuan was the same kind of person. When Lin Yuan heard Ling Wanqing's heart, his first impression was, what a narcissistic girl. Then, he walked past Ling Wanqing and stopped in front of Renin who was so angry that her eyes were red and she loved to cry. It's your birthday today, so if there's anything you're unhappy about, don't think about it for now. Lin Yuan reached out and stroked Gu Renin's hair, comforting her. Of course, if Gu Renin had regained her beautiful appearance, he would have had the heart but not the guts, but for now, he could get over it. You're hungry, come over and try the dishes I made, does it suit your taste? Said Lin Yuan as he pulled Gu Renin's hand up and once again walked past Ling Wanqing who was frozen and motionless. Letting her sit down on the chair, he added food and handed her chopsticks. Then he looked up and realized that Renin's best friend was still standing in place, dumbfounded, and couldn't help but think to himself. Shouldn't be in over her head. You are Renin BFF Wanqing right, come over and eat. Ling Wanqing mechanically turned her head, her expression wooden. Suddenly, she was not confident in her beauty. Just now, this boy actually passed by without taking a glance at her, without saying a word. Sighed without saying a word. Moreover, he even took Renin's hand and passed by again, as if she didn't exist. Come over and eat. Gu Renin shouted in a commanding tone. Ling Wanqing didn't dare to anger this auntie again now, and hurriedly went over to sit down. Eat. Then there was a thin sound of dry rice. The atmosphere seemed a bit awkward. In order to ease the awkwardness, Ling Wanqing took out the prepared gift. A small red box. Renin, a gift for you, happy birthday. Gu Renin took it with a stern face and opened it. It was a very pretty necklace with delicate blue gems hanging from it. Looking again at the box containing the hand jewelry, it was imprinted with the trademark of a certain famous brand. This necklace, without a few thousand dollars simply could not be bought. Aha! Gu Renin faintly hummed, put the gift aside, and continued to dry her rice. Only Ling Wanqing was clear that her best friend was really angry with her for this appearance. She couldn't help but feel chagrined, if she had known, she wouldn't have messed around. When the meal was also almost done, Lin Yuan also took out the gift. Ranin, a gift specially prepared for you. Gu Ranin revealed a smile as she took it and opened the gift with her own hands. The De Chao hand puppet was exquisite and beautiful. The gift was a few hundred dollars, but the key was to give it to the right person. Gu Ranin was very happy to receive the gift, holding the hand puppet and looking at it non-stop. From her eyes it was clear that she really liked it. Wow, nice looking Di Chao hand puppet, Ling Yuan you're so nice. Gu Ranin liked to play king and her usual hero was Di Chao, so from the bottom of her heart, she liked the peripherals about Di Chao very much. Ling Wanqing was instantly skeptical. Carefully selecting a necklace worth nearly $10,000, Ranin didn't say a word of thanks, instead, she was so happy with such a toy. The heart is very bad taste. After all, it was a mistake to pay. Next, is the birthday cake session. Lighting the candles, Gu Ranin closed her eyes and made a wish. I want to be happy in the future, my parents are healthy, I'm getting prettier and prettier, and then it's, the people I like who also like me. The content of the wish Lin Yuan really didn't want to hear ah. Ling Wanqing delivered her birthday greeting, happy birthday Ranin, may our friendship be stronger than gold, forever and ever. Boom. Gu Ranin's anger had almost subsided, finally giving her bestie a good look. Previously, she was worried about how Lin Yuan would behave after meeting Wan Chang. Now it seemed that the worry seemed a bit redundant. Lin Yuan wasn't very good at speaking mushy words, so he simply modified Ring Yin's wish slightly. Ring Yin, may you be happy and healthy for your whole family from now on, may you be a woman and become more and more beautiful, and may the person you love love you back. 
These words were nothing to Ling Wanching's ears, but in Gu Rinin's ears, it was something else. Isn't this the birthday wish I just made? Lin Yuan took the initiative to cut the cake and gave each of the two women a piece. Then he chatted. Lin Yuan, the cake got on my nose. Gu Rinin, oh oh. Wiping it off. Ling Wanching, Lin Yuan, Renin often talks to me about what happened at school, and also about you, I want to thank you for my Renin for taking care of me. I should. Lin Yuan behaved in an unassuming manner, his eyes rarely fell on Ling Wanching when he spoke to her. To be honest, Ling Wanching was indeed beautiful, but compared to Renin, she was still quite inferior. Coupled with the fact that Lin Yuan had the eye of truth, when he looked at Renin, he saw her in her truest form. So beautiful that it made his heart beat faster. Looking at Ling Wanqing, who was also a beauty, he was already immune. Lin Yuan talked clearly, there was no pressure at all to talk to Ling Wanqing. Chatting about chatting or chatting about other things, all of them were able to chat a little bit. It had to be said that Ling Wanqing was indeed a talented woman, who usually didn't show her face in front of Gu Renin, but showed a different side on such occasions. During this time, Gu Renin was peeking at Ling Yuan's reaction. Oh crap, oh crap, damn Ling Wanqing, can you take my feelings into consideration I? She saw the two of them talking happily while she couldn't interject herself on the side, and her jealousy was about to spill over. However, she couldn't show her petty side and give Lin Yuan the impression that she didn't know how to behave. Well, after chatting for a while, the topic came back to the famous actress, Lin Chengyu. Lin Chengyu was very famous, especially for a song she sang that caught fire all over the world. It made many people know her. And in the near future, Lin Chengyu would be having a concert in this province, and it was rumored that the tickets were being sold at a high price. It's a pity that I can't buy Lin Qingyu's concert tickets even if I have money, and even if I did, I'd have to go back to celebrate my grandfather's birthday that day. Ling Wanqing was very bitter, she and Renin could both be fans of Lin Chengyu. Both of them would sing her songs, and when there was a variety show she appeared in, both of them would prepare snacks and sit in front of the TV together to watch it. Yeah, I can't grab them either, it's useless to ask someone I know, others won't sell them even if they have extra tickets in their hands. Gu Renin was angry at the thought of this. If it wasn't for her heartache for money, she would have raised the price to buy one. Last time, the ticket price was still 6,000, and today it became more than 9,000. It was estimated that it would continue to rise, and the original price of the ticket is less than 3,000. If it was a diamond level ticket, it was a ticket that allowed you to sit in the front row, interact with Lin Qingyu up close and mix eyes, but the price was even more expensive, a ticket would cost tens of thousands of dollars, and there is a market without a price, you can't buy them if you want to. Lin Yuan didn't realize that the two of them were still Lin Qingyu as fans, and it just so happened that he didn't have three concert tickets in his hand that she herself had personally given him. He brewed for a while and slowly said, actually, I have three tickets for Lin Qingyu. When these words came out, the two women's gazes instantly looked over. Gu Renin, Lin Yuan, really? You have tickets to Lin Qingyu's concert? Lin Wanqing, really, it's hard to grab the tickets, let alone three of them. You didn't buy the fake tickets from the internet, did you? It was important to know that for the sake of money, some people were desperate enough to sell fake tickets for Lin Qingyu's concert tickets online, and many people had already been cheated. Lin Yuan smiled faintly. How could the tickets personally given out by Lin Qingyu herself be fake? It's real, but there are only three. Gu Renin said weakly, student Lin Yuan, can you sell me one of the tickets? Lin Wanqing also wanted to buy one, but she couldn't get away that day and was quite sorry. Lin Yuan nodded his head and smiled. What are we talking about money? I'll send you one directly when I turn around, it just so happens that I'm also going to the concert, so we can be together then, it'll be a birthday gift for you. Yeah. Gu Renin jumped up from her chair at once, finally she could go to see Lin Qingyu's concert. Don't mention how excited she was. Envious. Ling Wanqing was nothing but envious. Why was the gap between people so big? Why does Ren? Enin had a desk at school that treated her so well, and then look at her, her deskmates disliked her, her classmates disliked her, and even her teachers disliked her. Alas, this is a world of faces. Lin Wanqing still couldn't quite believe that Lin Yuan was acting so blandly towards himself. When he looked at himself, he didn't have that look that other people had when they looked at themselves. She felt that Lin Yuan must have been faking it. Very well, man, you have successfully caught my attention. Not long after, taking advantage of the gap between Renin going to the restroom and not being there, she spread her face and smiled. Lin Yuan, I heard Renin say that you're a very good student, so can we both add a contact, so that in the future, if I don't understand anything in my studies, I'll look for you for advice. It's the same if you look for Renin, right now her academic performance is also very good. Oh, that it's okay to add a friend, you know, I rarely take the initiative to add a boy's friend. Ling Wanqing was shocked, there were actually boys who were not willing to add their friends, not to mention that it was her own initiative to add her friend. Any other guy would have been flattered and hurriedly took out his phone to add it. 
This Ling Wanqing is not a normal narcissist, Lin Yuan thought silently in his heart. It wasn't like he was a licking dog. Originally, he felt that it was still okay to add a friend, but now that he heard Ling Wanqing's words, he didn't want to add it at once. In the end, Ling Wanqing was embarrassed and was more or less upset to see that Lin Yuan didn't seem too willing to add her as a friend. If you don't add it, then don't add it, old me, I'm still not happy to add you. She inwardly reassured herself like this. Lin Yuan wanted to laugh but held it in. The wine was full, the cake still had a small half that hadn't been wiped out, helping to clean up a bit of hygiene, Lin Yuan looked down at the time when it was almost 10 o'clock. If he didn't go back, the school wouldn't allow students to enter or leave the gate. He offered to leave. I'll give you a ride. Gu Renin said, personally sending Lin Yuan downstairs. Parting was imminent, under the moonlight, Lin Yuan gazed at Gu Renin and reached out to rub her head, I'm going back, see you tomorrow. Ah, uh, Lin Yuan student, see you tomorrow. Gu Renin didn't feel the slightest bit that there was anything wrong with being touched on the head by Lin Yuan. After seeing him off, Gu Renin only went upstairs. She then saw Ling Wanqing, who was lying on the sofa, no longer in her previous ladylike image, on her back. Gu Renin was instantly furious. Ling Wanqing, we're not done yet. Renin, why do you have such a good deskmate? Don't change the subject. Why don't you come back as ugly today? Oh, I did it for your own good. For my sake? Oh. Gu Renin laughed coldly, walked close to the front, suddenly stretched out his hand, to Ling Wanqing show that overdeveloped breasts to start revenge. Ah. Gu Renin, you engage in a sneak attack. For a while, the two women fought in the living room, the scene was very erotic. When Lin Yuan returned to the dormitory, all three of his roommates were still awake. Nerdly Wen Kai was reading a book, Lu Qing was having a hot chat with his girlfriend on the phone, and Wang Ping was swiping his cell phone for a video. Lin Yuan took a shower and found the three concert tickets Lin Qing Yu had given him, then put them away and waited until tomorrow to take them to Renin. At this time, Lu Qing had also finished his hot chat with his girlfriend and was sitting on the bed with a sad face. Ugh, my girlfriend wants me to find a way to get a ticket for Lin Qing Yu's concert. Where am I going to get it for her? Not to say whether to get, this a ticket several thousand it, top up my almost three months living expenses. Lying on the bed of Wang Ping speechless, advise you or split it, so do not sympathize with you, but also spend a lot of money, no less than spend your money, what do you figure? Nerdly Wang Kai two ears do not listen to things outside the window, continue to read. I want to be happy, can I? Lu Qing disliked him. Wang Ping didn't say anything was too lazy to talk to Lu Qing. Never reason with someone who doesn't listen to reason. Listening to Lu Qing has been complaining there, saying what this year to save money, mix the free rice with soup in the cafeteria, and buy a dollar squash by himself to get through this senior career. Also to find a way to get a ticket for his girlfriend to go see Lin Qingyue concert. As for himself, he really didn't have the money to buy one for himself. He was satisfied with his girlfriend going to see him. Lin Yuan's ears were tired of listening to his constant nagging. It just so happened that he had three tickets, one for himself, one for Gu Renin, and the last one left, which he originally wanted to sell. It just so happened that Lu Qing had a need for it, giving it away was impossible, selling it to him was still possible. Lu Qing, I have a Lin Qingyu ticket that I can sell to you. What? Lu Qing, who was looking worried, raised his head violently and thought that he was hallucinating when he thought about the tickets. Lin Yuan once again repeated what he had just said. Lin Yuan, you really have Lin Qingyu tickets? Lin Yuan nodded his head. Lu Qing was like grabbing the last life-saving straw and hurriedly came over to pinch his shoulders and pound his back. He was clear about Lin Yuan's character, not the kind of person who liked to lie and joke around. Most likely, he really did have tickets. Even though we're roommates, Lin Qingyu concert tickets are quite expensive. How much are you going to pay for them? Now the price of the ticket is speculated to more than 8,000. Besides what is the relationship between the two of us, how about selling me cheaper, I'll pay 5,006. At this time Wang Ping could not listen. Aren't you prepared to buy tickets for 7,800 on your body? What, you want to take advantage of Lin Yuan? The dismantled Lu Qing's face was a bit embarrassed, and at the same time, he was also upset because of Wang Ping's talkativeness. He had to change his words in a hurry, how about 7,500, leave some for me as pocket money, please Lin Yuan, we have a relationship. Lu Qing spoke bitterly, complaining about all sorts of things, saying that she couldn't afford to buy clothes this year, couldn't afford to go to a small restaurant, and had to save some for her girlfriend to buy her first cup of milk tea in the fall. In the end, Lin Yuan agreed to sell the extra tickets to Lu Qing at a price of $7,500. Lu Qing, who had gotten the tickets, hurriedly called his girlfriend and told her that he had gotten the tickets. Thank you Lin Yuan, my girlfriend is finally not mad at me anymore. Lin Yuan was speechless, so humble? But they were all roommates, he couldn't say anything. The time until the concert happened to be this Saturday and there were no classes. The campus singing competition was still being publicized and the auditions would begin next week.
The number of applicants is close to 100, but there is no shortage of half-assed people who need to be eliminated from the additions. And with the appointment with his elementary school classmate Jing Xiaoqi on the 5th of next month, there was still a long time to go. The next day, when Lin Yuan handed the tickets to Gu Renin, her entire body was stunned. Concert Diamond Tickets Lin Yuan, where did you get this ticket? She had originally thought it was just an ordinary ticket, but she was wrong, it was a diamond ticket. One that was now speculated to tens of thousands of dollars, and there was a price for wanting it. Gu Renin could more or less guess some of Lin Yuan's family conditions. The meals he ate in the cafeteria weren't expensive, the cheap kind, and his clothes weren't brand name, so his family should be very ordinary. Although she didn't mind it herself, she was worried if Lin Yuan would be cheated. You know, there are a lot of fake tickets for sale on the internet. There were many reasons, such as a girlfriend breaking up or something, selling at a low price. Friend is an insider, low price tickets and so on. Lin Yuan smiled, seeing Rin Yin's worry, and said, don't worry, it's guaranteed to be real tickets. As for where I got my tickets, you wouldn't believe me even if I told you. How can I not believe it, tell me. It was Lin Qingyu herself who personally gave them to me. I don't believe it. Gu Renin thought Lin Yuan was joking with her. How could she not think that it would be the truth? In the afternoon, Lin Yuan immediately sold the stock. It made over $600,000. I made so much money in 10 days, I'm not dreaming. Gu Renin was thrilled when she saw her bank card balance. Student Lin Yuan, give me your account number, I'll go back and transfer what you deserve. She hadn't forgotten that half of this money was Lin Yuan's, so naturally she wouldn't keep it all to herself. Lin Yuan gave Gu Renin the account number. With this money, he would be able to improve his family's life. Although he still had a villa in his name and would love to let his mother live in it, how to go about explaining it was a big problem. The end of school time arrived. Student Lin Yuan, see you tomorrow. Gu Renin waved and smiled as she bid farewell to Lin Yuan. The students in the class were not surprised by this scene. They even speculated if the two were in love. Lin Yuan watched Gu Renin walk out of the school gates and went back to his dormitory as well. Just as he entered the dormitory, Lin Yuan looked down and saw that the ticket for Lin Qingyu's diamond concert, which had been torn in half, had been thrown on the ground. The tickets were torn in half and thrown on the ground. Next to him, Lu Qing was sitting on his bed, his face full of anger, and when he saw Lu Qing appear, he got up without saying a word and sternly questioned him as to why. Why did you give me fake tickets? Do you know that my face is completely gone? Today, he was full of anticipation and gave Lin Qingyu's concert ticket to his girlfriend but it turned out that his girlfriend's best friend was also with him, and at a glance, she said that it was a diamond concert ticket. This concert ticket is very difficult to get, and the quantity is not much, the price is even higher to outrageous. Lu Qing was also clear about Lin Yuan's conditions and how he could have this kind of ticket. No need to think about it, it must be fake. His girlfriend was very annoyed and scolded him severely, causing her to lose face in front of her girlfriends and threatening to break up. Lu Qing directly gray face left, his own face cannot hang glory, in front of his girlfriend face loss. He was really angry fire very big, directly to the dormitory to wait for Lin Yuan to come back from class, and asked him face to face why he fooled himself with fake tickets. The tickets are real, if you don't believe me, you can find someone to verify them. Lin Yuan looked at the two halves of the tickets on the ground and said expressionlessly. Originally, he wanted to be kind, they were all roommates, so he took it as a personal favor. I didn't realize that good intentions were not rewarded, the diamond concert tickets that were sold cheaply were treated as fake tickets. In the face of Lu Qing's questioning, Ling Yuan looked indifferent, and the relationship between the two housemates was considered to be over in just a few words. Really? Oh. Lu Qing laughed angrily. What kind of family situation do you have when I'm not clear? Cafeteria eat her cheap rice, wear with her cheap national goods, you say you wear the tickets. If it's true, I'm afraid it's not stolen from somewhere. You even cheated your friend's money, are you still a man? The three words were so hurtful and heavy that Lu Qing was no longer in control and was immersed in angry emotions. Lin Yuan silently picked up the tickets on the ground. Although it was torn in half, it should still work. And then silently transferred the money back. I'll return the money to you. He didn't explain much. Because even if he did, it was still a toss-up whether the other party would listen to him or not. Lin Yuan turned around after doing this and left, telling Lu Qing to calm down. These days, just go and stay at the villa. As the concert was approaching, Lin Qingyu sent a rare message to Lin Yuan, asking him to remember to come. Lin Yuan repeatedly promised that he would definitely go. At the same time, he also told Lin Qingyu what happened today is a joke. No way, your roommate is too unreasonable, even if you suspect the tickets are fake, you can get someone to appraise them. Lin Qingyu, like Lin Yuan, expressed her speechlessness. Lin Yuan returned, he's like this, but this time it's really over, friends can't be made. After chatting briefly, Lin Qingyu said that she had something to talk about first. Lin Yuan put down his cell phone and sighed heavily. 
He went to take a shower first, but couldn't wash away the irritation in his heart, so he simply looked for a few horror movies to watch. A certain luxury hotel room. Lin Xingyu was only wrapped in a bathrobe and had just walked out of the bathroom after a shower. Even though she was close to 30, her skin was as fair and smooth as a young girl's, so soft that she could squeeze out water. She basically had no other schedule or even entertainment except for performances or participation in programs for her. The money earned was great, but there was no more joy. She was lying on her bed looking at her cell phone in boredom. Suddenly, she thought of what she had just chatted with Lin Yuan. Odd enough all roommates actually took my tickets as fake and tore them up. She laughed and took a screenshot of the chat and posted it on top of Weibo. With her level of popularity, it had just been posted for less than a minute, and there were hundreds of comments. Ah, laugh me to death, if that housemate knew that he was throwing real tickets, he probably would have his intestines repenting. The world good roommate ah, diamond concert tickets cheap 7008 sold, actually do not know how to be grateful but also envy, confused ah, please contact me, I'll buy this ticket for $20,000, only 20,000 want to buy diamond tickets, I'll give 50,000. Lin Qingyue did not expect, just send a Weibo, spit a little, did not expect not long, on the top 10 hot search. The comments were up to thousands, the likes were tens of thousands, and it was still growing. The next day, early study time. Gu Renin suddenly handed her cell phone over, look Lin Yuan, Lin Qingyue sent out a tweet, someone actually tore up her tickets as fake, ha ha ha. Lin Yuan absently glanced at it and then froze. Wasn't this his chat with Lin Qingyue yesterday? How did she take a screenshot and post it on top of Weibo? Looking at the number of comments and likes again, Lin Yuan was shocked. Look, it's in the top three of the hot search. Gu Renin added. Lin Yuan. The chat was posted on Weibo by Lin Xingyue. It was a good thing that the avatar along with the nickname was mosaic so no one would know it was him except if Lu Qing saw it. It was also good that Lu Qing never played Weibo, so he shouldn't be able to see it. Have you memorized all the points that your teacher taught you these days? Lin Yuan didn't forget to tutor Gu Renin in her studies, otherwise her grades would have to gradually fall from second in the class. Gu Renin timidly and weakly said, I've memorized it all. She hasn't been lazy, plus she's been personally tutored by her superb classmates, so her grades are no longer bad, how bad can they be? The day after tomorrow is Lin Qingyue's concert, do you want to watch it alone or together? Together, Gu Renin said without even thinking. Good. During the lunch break, after eating, Lin Yuan and Gu Renin were notified that they were going to the audition. The location of the audition was in the school playground, and at this time, a lot of people watching were gathered. I sun dried silence, repentance is impulsive, even if this time. On the performance stage, a sophomore class boy is forgetting to sing passionately. Under the stage, a group of people covered their ears, they really couldn't stand this killing song. Stop stop stop. The audition judges couldn't stand to hear it anymore, and hurriedly called for a stop. Brother, you're here to cause trouble. The three judges uniformly failed to pass and eliminated him. Next, one after another, many people came on stage, with varying strengths, and the number of people who passed was pitifully small. But there was no lack of experts among them, singing beautifully, causing the girls on stage to wow. Next, senior class 6, Gu Renin. The judge looked at the audition list and read. I'm going up. Gu Renin smiled at Lin Yuan. Cheer up. Lin Yuan cheered her on. Gu Renin walked onto the stage and ordered a recently popular song. She was really good at singing, she was in tune the whole time, and it was very nice and emotional. The few judges on stage looked at each other and nodded their heads in approval. She was considered to be the one with relatively the best strength among those who had passed the audition. After the song, intermittent applause rang out from the stage. Not bad, I pass. Nice singing, I pass too. Pass. All three judges passed unanimously. Gu Renin politely bowed slightly to the stage before walking off the stage cheerfully. Mr. Lin Yuan, did I sing well just now? After Gu Renin stepped off the stage, the first thing she did was to find Lin Yuan and show off her singing prowess, wanting to be complimented. Lin Yuan gave her a thumbs up, so good that I'm about to fall in love with you. Gu Renin instantly blushed. Don't you think it's weird to say that to a girl? What about being on the verge of falling in love with me? It's meaty. But she was happy in her heart. Being able to get compliments from someone she liked was a very pleasant thing to be in. Does his sentence count as a disguised confession ah? Humph, whether it is or not, anyway, from this sentence it can be seen that the two of us have an ironclad relationship. Alas, does Lin Yuan not like me ah? If he likes me, why doesn't he chase me? Or is he just treating me as a good friend ah? Thinking about this, Gu Renin was a bit lost. The first time she had a crush on a boy, she honestly didn't even know how to go about it. Wanting to get to know the other person, feeling his joys and sorrows. The care, attention, happiness, and joy he gave himself was like a seed that took root and sprouted under careful care. Perhaps love was planted like this seed. The corner of Lin Yuan's mouth rose slightly. This silly girl, always so whimsical. 
He also wanted to chase after such a cute, lively, and beautiful Gu Rinina, but the two of them hadn't known each other for a long time, and both of them just had a good feeling, maybe a little bit of fondness. He felt that it wasn't enough, that the time wasn't ripe enough. Lin Yuan thought it would be best to let nature take its course and wait until everything came to a head, when it was almost time to pierce that layer of window paper. He would then go and confess. What kind of girl would let a girl confess? I'm just complimenting you on how well you sing. Lin Yuan smiled gently, his eyes soft. Aha! Gu Rinin nodded her head obediently, only being obedient in front of Lin Yuan. She thought, should she stop acting ugly, maybe. She thought, should she gather her courage and be brave for her own happiness for once? She thought, maybe this is pretty good right now. The next student to sing, senior class 6, Lin Yuan. The name was called to Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan reflexively walked towards the podium. Before going on stage, he had communicated with the staff that the song he was going to sing was called Confession Balloon A Song by Zhou Dong, along with the music melody slowly sounded. On the podium, Lin Yuan held the microphone and brewed. Gu Renin off stage only had him in her eyes. Coffee on the left bank of the Seine. I taste your beauty with a cup in my hand, leaving lip prints on your mouth. Wow. Wow ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Just after singing this line, the girls on stage were not calm and screamed. The judges, on the other hand, listened with their ears perked up, with surprise in their eyes. Who misspelled the name of the florist's rose? Confession balloons wind up across the street, smiles fly in the sky. You say you're a little hard to chase, trying to get me to back off. You don't have to pick the most expensive gift, just the fallen leaves of the champs Elise. Oh, I'm not afraid to mess up a romantic date. If I have you, I have the world. The stage gradually quieted down after the exclamation of surprise, all listening to the beautiful song. All eyes were focused on Ling Yuan, and some of the girls were even nymphomaniacs, with stars in their eyes. Gu Rinin gazed at the boy on the stage in fascination. Wow, Lin Yuan's singing was too good. Her ears were about to get pregnant. She had originally thought that Lin Yuan's singing strength was average, but she hadn't thought it would be this good, as if he was a professional singer. No wonder Lin Yuan said he wanted to make a bet with himself. If he got first place in the campus singing competition, he could make himself an offer. At that time, she had foolishly agreed. Now it seemed as if she had been set up. Several hundred students had gathered under the stage, and some had taken out their cell phones to record. Soon, a song of confession balloons was sung. The applause was thunderous and took a long time to stop. Lin Yuan bowed slightly to the stage and waited for the judges to comment. Although the three judges weren't professional singers, they could still hear if the singing was good or not. Student, the singing is so good, your name is Lin Yuan right, I'll give you a pass. A judge wearing glasses, gave him a pass. Lin Yuan's singing voice was sweet and light, it made him can't help but flash back to the images of his youthful love, that was his lost youth ah, pass, pass. Without a doubt, three votes passed. Thank you, three judges. Lin Yuan walked off the stage and returned to Gu Rinin. Good for you, Lin Yuan, you're so well hidden, you sing so well. Gu Rinin patted Lin Yuan's shoulder. Of course, you don't even look at who's at your table. Lin Yuan boasted. Since both of them had passed the audition, there was no need to stay on. Back in the classroom, some of the students who had just gone to the audition site changed the way they looked at Lin Yuan. The singing expert is actually a classmate of mine. There were so many girls who didn't have much to cross paths with, but they were also secretly sizing up Lin Yuan, not knowing what they were thinking. Gu Rinin stupidly didn't notice the abnormalities around her, and was still secretly delighted that her classmate not only had good academic performance, but also sang well. From time to time, she also revealed a silly smile. Lin Yuan couldn't help but look at her. But after she went to the restroom and came back after the afternoon class, her little face was all pulled crotch. Just now, several girls had called out to her and asked if she was Lin Yuan's classmate. Gu Renin of course told the truth. Then those girls begged themselves to help her get Lin Yuan's contact information or to help her pass a note to Lin Yuan. Gu Renin's danger alert was immediately raised. What did these girls want? A sense of crisis swept over her. She pretended to agree on the surface, and on her way back, she opened the small notes those girls had given her. The content on it made her directly tear the note up and throw it away. Hello classmate, I'm Wang Huayu from senior class 4, your singing is so beautiful, can you teach me, here's my contact info xxxxxx. Lin Yuan classmate, I saw you sing during the audition, it really sounds good, that, can you add a friend ah, I'm Sun Xiaoling from the class next to yours. Senior, I'm Lin Jia from senior class 9, I passed the audition with you, I have some singing questions I want to ask you. The more Gu Renin looked, the more scared she became, a sense of crisis filled her, as if Lin Yuan would be snatched away by these girls at any moment. There were even notes that were very blunt, asking Lin Yuan if he wanted to have a relationship. Damn it, Lin Yuan is mine, no one can snatch him from me. 
After Lin Yuan sang a confession balloon, many girls caught wind of it and asked around for information about him. Like there was a famous internet saying, prioritize getting the right to choose a spouse. Gu Renin also realized that her deskmate, after Lin Yuan sang that song, was actually a treasure boy. The little bit of fondness she originally had for him had turned into two bits of fondness. When school was over, Gu Renin walked out of the classroom with Lin Yuan. Suddenly a girl approached the two. Hello Lin Yuan, I'm Yang Xiaoli from the second class of senior high school, can I add a friend? Yang Xiaoli was very pure looking and had white skin, looking like a little sister next door. She was at the campus singing competition audition site today and heard Lin Yuan sing a song. It was really too good, and he was tall and handsome. She, who had always had very high standards for choosing a spouse, felt that Lin Yuan was very much in line with her standards after meeting him. So she came and wanted to get to know Lin Yuan. It wasn't often that a girl who was so proactive was seen. Gu Renin was faced with a crisis, she first looked at the girl in front of her with hostility, and then secretly checked Lin Yuan's reaction. Don't ever agree to her, please please please, she kept praying inwardly. Yang Xiaoli glanced at Gu Renin beside Lin Yuan. Looking so ugly, she wasn't a threat to herself at all and didn't think the two were boyfriend and girlfriend. Sorry, I don't add other girls. Lin Yuan was expressionless and politely refused. Yang Xiaoli was very upset by the rejection and asked, Could it be that student Lin Yuan has someone he likes? You're not allowed to add other girls as friends? She belonged to the class flower level in her own class and had several boys pursuing her, it was never others who added themselves, today she unprecedentedly wanted to add a boy's best friend, and was surprisingly rejected. Lin Yuan nodded and said, yes. Upon hearing this, Yang Xiaoli was filled with loss, in that case, I won't bother you much. After saying that, she walked away. The speaker had no intention, but the listener did. When Gu Renin heard that Lin Yuan had admitted to having a favorite, her entire being was like a thunderclap. Lin Yuan he, so he had a favorite girl. Gu Renin was even more lost than Yang Xiaoli, it was written on her face. That's right, Lin Yuan was so outstanding, there must have been many girls chasing after him in the past. I don't know who was so lucky to be his girlfriend. But when I asked him earlier if he had a girlfriend, why did he say he didn't have one? Could it be that the two of them aren't boyfriend and girlfriend yet, and Mr. Lin Yuan just said that he just likes it. That meant that he still had a chance? But Gu Renin quickly dismissed this idea. Forget it. She wasn't a girl who liked to cross the line. What are you thinking about? Lin Yuan gently touched Gu Renin with his body, pulling her back from her rambling thoughts. If I don't say that, I'm afraid that I'll be annoyed to death with girls coming to annoy me every day. He explained. Gu Renin stared at him blankly. So it was like this. Just, why was student Lin Yuan explaining to himself? Gu Renin had been thinking about this after she returned. It wasn't until her best friend, Ling Wanqing, came back and asked her for an explanation. Ling Wanqing thought about it and said, I guess it's because she's afraid you'll misunderstand. Oh, Renin, you'll never get a chance if you don't take the initiative, I'll teach you how to do it. Ling Wanqing gave Gu Renin instructions on how to get a boy's attention. You'll have to continue to play ugly for now, I'll give you an idea, tomorrow don't wear the school uniform that's only worn in winter, wear the summer uniform and show off your slim figure. Gu Renin listened attentively and wrote it all down one by one. The next day, Gu Renin was still in that outfit, but her summer school uniform was a bit small, and every time she had a big move, it also revealed her small waist, as well as her white skin. The two sections of snow white lotus root arms were soft as if they were boneless, very slender, and would still reflect as if they were reflecting under the light. Her well-developed breasts were proud of the girls in the class, making many of them feel inferior. Lin Yuan was surprised to see Gu Renin dressed like this for the first time. The line of sight always involuntarily moved over to her side as well. Renin, this summer dress you're wearing today, it's so pretty and your body is good. Lin Yuan said, blatantly ogling and staining in admiration. Being praised so much by Lin Yuan, Gu Renin's heart warmed up. Sure enough, the trick Wan Qing had pulled was useful. Your arms are so white. Lin Yuan's hand reached out to Gu Renin's arm very dishonestly. He moved very slowly, thinking that Gu Renin would slap it away, but it turned out to be unhindered all the way and managed to touch her soft and white arm. It was smooth and elastic. Lin Yuan's hand traveled all the way down, arriving at the back of Gu Renin's hand. The tiny palms were very pretty, the nails weren't coated with anything and were very small. Lin Yuan suddenly had a strong urge to hold Gu Renin's palm and clasp his fingers together. He still held back and didn't do so. When he raised his head, he realized that Gu Renin's cheeks were red. Gu Renin had never been in such close contact with a boy before, and a strange feeling surfaced in her heart. Lin Yuan resentfully withdrew his hand and coughed twice in embarrassment as if nothing had happened. We're going to the concert tomorrow, get ready then, I'll pick you up downstairs. The location of the concert was more than 20 kilometers away from the school, and it would take more than half an hour to drive. 
The good thing was that both of them were diamond tickets, eliminating the process of queuing up, and they also had front row seats. Aha! Gu Renin nodded in response. Since Lin Yuan possessed the ability to forget everything, he didn't even have to look hard in class, which was instead a torment for him. The good thing was that he could tutor Gu Renin for a while, which was also a kind of fun. After class, the two of them walked out of the school together. Lin Yuan didn't live in the dormitory these days, he took a taxi to live in the villa, enjoying the lifestyle of the rich. Although he was rich, every time he took a taxi to and from school, it cost a few dozen dollars, which made him quite distressed about the money. After arriving at the villa and taking a simple bath, Lin Yuan was bored and decided to go out for a walk. The scenery here was pretty good, with a lot of greenery planted, and next to it was a big river that crossed the city, so you could fish by the river. Anyone who could live in this kind of place was a rich and powerful person, and Lin Yuan's identity was also speculated by the security personnel here as to whether or not he would be the son of a certain old boss. As he walked, Lin Yuan stopped under a huge banyan tree that required four or five people to hold. He saw that there was a basketball-sized depression in the trunk of the tree, in which something seemed to have been placed. Out of curiosity, Lin Yuan took the object out. It turned out to be several nuts, as well as walnuts and the like. Squeak! On the banyan tree, an animal was barking. Lin Yuan looked up and realized it was a chubby little squirrel, barking towards him. It seemed like someone was feeding it regularly, otherwise squirrels in the wild were rarely this fat. Lin Yuan was thinking of putting the nuts back into the tree hole when his shoulder sank and the fat squirrel actually jumped on top of his shoulder. Then following his arm, his two small paws picked up a nut and ate it like no one else was around. Lin Yuan was surprised, the squirrel was actually not afraid of people. Then he carefully stretched out his other hand and started to jerk the squirrel. Not to mention, it was quite easy to touch the squirrel with its smooth fur. Lin Yuan simply sat under the tree, took out his cell phone and took a picture, sharing it with Gu Renin. Soon Gu Renin replied. What a cute little squirrel, it's actually willing to let you touch it. Lin Yuan sent over a few more squirrel photos for her to quench her thirst. At this time, Lin Yuan suddenly heard footsteps nearby. Turning his head to look, a little girl in a white dress, holding a squirrel doll, looked blearily at the place. You raised this squirrel? Lin Yuan pointed at the fat squirrel squatting in his hand, eating nuts. The little girl nodded, wanting to come over, but just as she took two steps forward, the fat squirrel raised its head, stopped eating, and stared at the little girl warily. The little girl silently retracted her foot and looked over with envious eyes. Why can you touch it? I've raised it for so long. It doesn't even want me to get close, it won't even let me touch it. The little girl complained, envious. She had been raising this squirrel for almost a year, from a skinny squirrel, to a fat squirrel. However, since the beginning, as soon as she approached, the little squirrel would run away, not allowing her to get close. But today, she came over to see the squirrel as usual, and saw the squirrel lying on a big brother's hand to eat. And let touch. It was very puzzling and jealous. Lin Yuan froze. It turned out that it wasn't that the squirrel wasn't afraid of people, but that it wasn't afraid of him. What exactly was the reason for this he wasn't sure, but the little girl was cute and he didn't know whose child was here. He thought for a moment and gently stroked the little squirrel's head before gently beckoning to the little girl, signaling her to come over. The little girl hesitated for a few seconds, but slowly walked over. Lin Yuan stroked and calmed the little squirrel, hoping it wouldn't run away. It seemed to have an effect, even when the little girl approached, it didn't run away. The little girl sat down carefully beside Lin Yuan, and then reached out her small hand, wanting to touch the squirrel. The fat squirrel seemed to be so scared that it didn't eat anything and ran along Lin Yuan's arm to his shoulder, revealing only a chubby little head from behind. The little girl beamed in exasperation. After raising you for so long, you won't let me touch it, but you gave it to someone who didn't even feed it. There was no way around it, in the end she could only watch with bated breath as this big brother teased the squirrel, stroking the tail and petting the head. From Lin Yuan's conversation with the little girl, he learned that her name was Xiao Ko, a resident here, and that she was already five years old. Brother, will you let it pet me? Xiao Ko's big eyes fluttered, pure and innocent, gazing at Lin Yuan. I'll try. Lin Yuan didn't have a clue in his heart, and while calming the squirrel, he once again let Xiao Ko try to touch it. After Lin Yuan's many attempts, the little squirrel went from being wary at first to finally being willing to let Xiao Ka touch it. Xiao Ka happily revealed two small tiger teeth. Lin Yuan originally wanted to go back, but seeing as Xiao Ka seemed to want to stay with the squirrel for a while longer, he thought about waiting a little longer. It seemed like her family was worried when she didn't go back for so long, so they went out to look for her, and in the distance someone was calling Xiao Ka's name. Sister I'm here. Xiao Ka shouted in a childish voice in the direction of the voice. This shout didn't matter, but it scared the little squirrel. It climbed up the banyan tree and disappeared. Xiao Ko had a face of reluctance and chagrin. If I had known, I would not have shouted. In the distance, a girl came towards the side with quick steps. 
Xiao Ko, why haven't you gone home yet? I've been worried to death. The girl was very pretty, wearing a white dress just like Xiao Ku. She had a pink face and looked a little cute. Her hair was tied into a double ponytail with a pink butterfly hairpin. The girl glanced warily at Lin Yuan, a stranger, as she walked over. Sister, I just touched the little squirrel. Xiao Ku trotted over to her sister. Squirrels are full of germs, be careful it bites you and you'll have to get a rabies shot then. Xiao Ku's sister chided, while Lin squatted down and asked in a low voice who the boy with her sister was. Xiao Ku is not sure, when I came here, this brother was here, the little squirrels are not afraid of him, give him a touch. Oh, Xiao Ku's sister was clear that this squirrel was very timid, she had approached several times and ran to the tree. Today it was actually willing to give it a touch, it was really rare. Let's go home. Sister Xiao Ka had no thoughts of talking to Lin Yuan, pulling Xiao Ka's hand up and preparing to go back. Xiao Ka turned back and waved her little hand to say goodbye to this brother she didn't recognize, by brother. Lin Yuan also waved his hand to say goodbye to her. It was getting late, so he went straight back to the villa and went to bed early. At noon the next day, he took a taxi to the downstairs of Gu Renin's place, wanting to take her out for a walk beforehand before going to the concert. Wait a moment, it's not convenient for me right now. Upstairs, Gu Renin's room. At this time, she was in a veiled state, even so, her skin was in very good condition, she didn't have any pimples, and her face was crystalline and glossy, white and translucent. After receiving Lin Yuan's message, the sleepy eye her instantly woke up. Hurriedly, she ran into the bathroom to put on her ugly face. The makeup process was tedious, and even though Gu Renin was fast enough, it took nearly 20 minutes. She flew downstairs and saw Lin Yuan sitting on the stairway, looking at his cell phone. Gu Renin was a little embarrassed and apologized, I'm sorry for making you wait so long. It's not in the way. Lin Yuan said without looking back. He was testing his Ho E hero skill for the king's game. At this time, his battle record was 5 kills and 0 deaths, his big moves fell 5 to 1, and he even used his big moves to steal the dragon once, earning a 666 from his teammates. Gu Renin came over to watch the battle. Lin Yuan was controlling the hero hiding inside the grass. Suddenly three big men appeared from the river. They were Xiang Yu, Lu Zan, and Lian Pa. Lin Yuan clicked to his teammates to launch an attack. The auxiliary ox demon who had been following him around opened up at once, sending the three opposite heroes flying. At the same time, Lin Yuan violently. Output, when the opposite heroes counterattacked, he immediately clicked on flash to dodge and continue outputting. Soon, the opposite side finished their skills, but failed to kill Ho Yi, and their blood levels were all in a crippled state. Lin Yuan chased after them first killing the slowest running Xiang Yu, stunned Lu Zen with his big move, and then sent him home as well. The last one, Lian Pu, didn't manage to escape and was killed by his teammates who arrived. And then it was a wave that pushed down the opposite side's high ground and broke straight through the crystal, winning the victory. Gu Renin was very emotional watching, and screamed out in excitement when she finally won, as if she had won. Lin Yuan put away his cell phone and looked at the time. Have you eaten yet? Not yet. I'll take you to eat. The two left and went to a noodle shop to eat something. Waiting until late afternoon, they arrived at the concert. There was no need to queue for the diamond tickets, and the two took a seat in the front row. After waiting for close to half an hour, along with the music playing, Lin Chang Yu made her grand entrance. The atmosphere at the scene was instantly fiery, and the chants were enthusiastic. Lin Ching Yu came in a long black strapless dress. My fellow fans, how are you? Lin Ching Yu raised her microphone high, and all of a sudden, the sound was even louder and the response was even more enthusiastic. Interacting for a while, Lin Qingyu began to sing her first song of the day. Off stage. Lin Yuan was calm the entire time, but it was Gu Renin by her side who instantly transformed into a little fangirl, constantly waving and screaming. It must be said that Lin Qingyu deserves to be a singer, showing a touching voice, easily mobilizing the emotions of the scene, so that people can't help but follow along and sing along. After a song without waiting for a break, the melody of the second song rang out again. On the stage, Lin Qingyu swept her gaze across the front row, then saw Lin Yuan and waved at him with a smile. Wow, Lin Qingyu waved at me. Gu Renin squealed. Lin Yuan smiled and nodded as a response. Immediately after, Gu Renin took out her cell phone to take all sorts of pictures and videos. Lin Yuan thought about it, this kind of occasion came once in a while, so he should take a picture and keep it as a souvenir. Then he took a video and posted it to his circle of friends before continuing to listen to the concert. At this moment, Wang Ping, his roommate who was brushing his cell phone on the bed, suddenly saw the dynamics published by Lin Yuan, and a sentence of crouching came out of his mouth. Lin Qingyu concert ah, Lin Yuan actually went here. You have to know that the tickets are very expensive. Then look at the position Lin Yuan was in the video, it was clearly in the front row, the tickets for this position were even more expensive. Hee hee, that person next to him seems to be his deskmate, called Gu Renin. Wang Ping had sharp eyes and recognized the girl next to Lin Yuan at once. 
Look at your friend's circle, Lin Yuan went to see Lin Qing Yu's concert. He hurriedly spoke out to remind his roommate. Li Wenkai put down the pen in his hand and took out the cell phone he had placed next to him, and soon saw the video Lin Yuan had posted as well. Tickets are so expensive, how many pens can I buy a few books with this money? He commented in this way. How can that be, where did he get the money to buy the tickets? On the other side, Lu Qing said this on his lips and quickly took out his cell phone and also saw the circle of friends that Lin Yuan had posted. He clicked on the video and instantly saw Lin Qingyu singing a certain song. The scene was packed with people, and the filmmaker's position was in the front row. It must have been taken by someone else that he stole and sent. Before the video was finished and there was no figure of Lin Yuan in it, Lu Qing concluded. But soon he stopped talking, the video screen turned, Lin Yuan's face came out in it, showing a smile, and then the video ended there. Lu Qing was dumbfounded. This time he really couldn't say anything. Lin Yuan really had tickets to Lin Qing Yu's concert. And also went. That position, only a diamond concert ticket would do. What did this mean? The diamond ticket that Lin Yuan had sold him last time, at a cheap price, was actually real. He was still foolish enough to listen to others who told him it was fake, and assumed it was. It was useless to say anything now, there were no pills of regret to take in the world. Had I known this, I would have gone to someone to identify the authenticity of the tickets, and there would not have been what happened now. It caused him to be scolded by his girlfriend, and he couldn't do the housemate cum friend relationship with Lin Yuan any longer. The concert went on until close to 12 o'clock. People then left in an orderly fashion. After the concert ended, Lin Yuan received a message from Lin Chengyu. Let's have a late night snack together later? Lin Yuan thought about it and looked at Gu Renin beside him, whose excitement hadn't passed, and replied, Okay. Then stay where you are, I'll have my assistant come over and bring you over. Good. Let's not rush off. Lin Yuan put away his cell phone and told Gu Renin. Ha. Huh? Gu Renin was puzzled. Everyone's gone. What are we staying for? It's a secret. Lin Yuan said mysteriously. When Gu Renin met Lin Xingyue herself later, she didn't know what kind of expression she was going to have. It would probably be very funny. Lin Yuan was eager to see it. Not long after, Lin Xingyue's assistant came over and recognized Lin Yuan. Hello again. She laughed. Come with me. Lin Yuan nodded. Gu Renin didn't recognize Lin Xingyue's assistant and was speculating about the relationship between the two when she was led by the wrist by Lin Yuan and followed the woman away. Lin Yuan, where are we going? She asked cautiously. Lin Yuan explained, to take you to meet Lin Qingyu. Gu Renin took it as him joking with her and got a little angry. I'm not joking with you, tell me. Really take you to see Lin Qingyu, why don't you believe me? Lin Yuan cried and laughed, he had told the truth, why don't you believe it? Gu Renin was a bit sullen, but still didn't say she wouldn't go, she was just a bit unhappy. Only, when the assistant brought the two of them to the backstage and saw Lin Qingyu herself, who had just sung on the stage and driven the entire audience, she was instantly dumbfounded. She even suspected that she was dreaming. When she saw Lin Chengyu and Lin Yuan chatting and laughing, she was even more convinced that she must be dreaming. It definitely wasn't real. Renin, come here, aren't you a Lin Chengyu fan? Don't you want to come over and get acquainted? Maybe you'll even have a chance to take a picture. Lin Yuan noticed Gu Renin's reaction and laughed in his heart, beckoning her over. With a nervous and apprehensive mood, Gu Renin was very close to Lin Chengyu. Her heart was beating so fast that she didn't know what to say. Hello, I'm Lin Qingyu. Lin Qingyu extended her hand. You. Hello, I'm your fan. Gu Renin timidly said, similarly extending her hand and shaking Lin Qingyu's hand. During the handshake with Lin Qingyu, Gu Renin's entire body was still frozen. She quietly pinched her arm. It hurt. It was real. I actually shook hands with Lin Qingyu. Oh my god. This would make her embarrassed again. She was originally very capable of being lively but now she was wriggling and squirming, an image of a good girl. This is my deskmate and good friend, the relationship is not generally good. Lin Yuan introduced her to Lin Qingyu. After a few moments of simple chit-chat, the car that was transporting Lin Qingyu arrived, and she invited Lin Yuan and the two of them to get on the car and go for a late night snack together. Lin Yuan, what's going on here, Lin Qingyu? Ah, how did you guys meet? In the car, Gu Renin poked Lin Yuan. That was a well-known actress, she was on fire and was a household name, yet Lin Yuan knew her. I met her because of a chance encounter, Lin Yuan casually said. He couldn't say that Lin Qingyu was kidnapped and he saved her. It would be detrimental to Lin Qingyu's reputation, and of course if he mentioned it often, he would be mistaken for implying something. The car stopped at a certain large hotel, a few people got off the car and walked into an arranged box inside the hotel. Alas, I'm leaving after tonight, there are other trips, I don't know how long I'll be able to come back to this city after this meeting. Lin Qingyu sighed, although she was watched by countless people like a bright star, she wasn't as beautiful as everyone imagined, and lived an exhausting life. Lin Yuan couldn't say anything to comfort her, and spent the entire time as a listener, 
listening to her suffering. Only in the bitter listening, something seemed wrong. What's the use of earning more money, 10 million or not, 100 million or not, what I should have I have, but still live unhappy. Jewelry luxury goods, just move your fingers, I also have a lot of houses under my name, the past few years have risen a lot, but there is just not a thing I like. I'm not interested in any of these things. Old Versailles. Lin Yuan thought this. Luckily, the food was served quickly, all cooked by the chef himself, and this meal was at least five figures. After the wine and rice were served, Gu Renin gathered her courage and asked Lin Qingyu if she could take a picture with. Lin Qingyu readily agreed. The two of them took a photo, after which Lin Yuan joined in and also took a photo of the two of them together as well as the three of them together, and also managed to get Lin Qingyu's autograph, as well as send the album. Gu Renin was like a treasure, her joy was beyond words. The autograph of Lin Qingyu that she had been dreaming of. I didn't expect to be able to take a picture with me in my lifetime. She also got the album that I personally gave her. She was on the verge of jumping up and down with excitement. It's getting late. I'm going back first. Lin Shangyu said goodbye to the two of them before getting into a special car and waving goodbye. Lin Yuan silently watched the car go away. Wow. As soon as Lin Qingyu left, Gu Renin was like a wild horse out of control, jumping and jumping all at once. Lin Yuan, I actually not only went to see Lin Qingyu's concert today, but I even met her in person, took a picture together, and talked. She was happy like an innocent child, she had never been this happy before. Hurrying to her best friend, Ling Wanqing, she sent the photo with Lin Qingyu to share the joy. Instead of replying, Ling Wanqing directly, called to ask what had happened, her tone full of shock. Wanqing, today I took a picture with Lin Qingyu and even got her autograph. Ah, I don't know her ah, it's Lin Yuan who knows her, we even had dinner together. Gu Renin said happily, not noticing Ling Wanqing's envy and jealousy at the other end. You came to show off to me on purpose. Ling Wanqing couldn't help it. If she had known this she would have followed along and could have mixed up a group photo and maybe an autograph. But there were no pills of regret to take. She was still wishing her grandfather a happy birthday. The birthday celebration is just a birthday celebration, but also talked about her. The three big aunts and uncles want to introduce her to a boyfriend. It's so annoying. Ah, uh, angry or not. Gu Renin wanted to continue showing off, but she realized that Ling Wanqing hung up the phone. So she sent a friend circle. Soon many people replied with all sorts of shocked envy and jealousy. Of course, Gu Renin hadn't forgotten that all of these were there because of Lin Yuan. Okay, deep hiding ah, knowing Lin Qing you actually did not say anything to me, causing me to be unprepared so nervous. Gu Renin crossed her arms and grunted. Lin Yuan said it had nothing to do with him. When he sent the tickets before, he said that it was Lin Qingyue who personally sent them, only Gu Runin didn't believe it. Just now it was the same, saying that she was going to see Lin Qingyu, but it turned out that she still didn't believe it, so in the end she blamed me? Ah, just kidding with you Gu Runin smiled cheekily, thank you, Lin Yuan san. Lin Yuan gazed at her and smiled slightly. Gu Runin was embarrassed by the look and turned her head away, pouting, what are you looking at me for, it's not like I'm good looking. I think you're very good looking, you're lively and cute, and you sing so well, whoever becomes your boyfriend in the future, how happy. Lin Yuan flirted, wanting to see what Gu Renin's reaction would be. Sure enough, once he said that, Gu Renin immediately blushed, what a blushing and shy girl. Blah blah blah, I'm only 18, I don't want to talk about boyfriends yet. Lin Yuan laughed without saying anything, Gu Renin said this on her lips, but it exposed her innermost thoughts. Big dummy, super ally straight man, not active at all. Do you have to have this girl remove her makeup and become beautiful to chase you personally? What are you still waiting for? Quickly send me home ah, otherwise how can I have a chance? Lin Yuan stifled his laughter and took the initiative to hold Gu Renin's small hand. Didn't care where he was going, how far it was, and where he would end up. Anyway, as long as she was by her side, it was enough. Gu Renin was stunned as she looked at Lin Yuan's back, then looked down at him holding her hand, and then smiled sweetly, happily. Is this considered a silent confession ah? Whether it is or not, this girl is willing. Willing to be held by his hand like this, and also willing to walk on like this all the time. The moon is so beautiful tonight. Lin Yuan looked at the bright moon hanging high in the sky. Hum. Gu Ranin softly hummed. The two of them walked a long way, and in the end, Lin Yuan took a taxi and sent Gu Ranin back. After getting out of the car, Gu Ranin waved goodbye to Lin Yuan. See you the day after tomorrow, Lin Yuan. See you the day after tomorrow, Ranin cutie. Lin Yuan waved from the cab. Until Lin Yuan left, Gu Renin withdrew her gaze and smiled wanly. What about Lin Yuan's classmate holding my hand today, this is something that only couples can do. So, does he like me? Gu Renin thought wildly. When she pretended to be ugly, she was ordinary in school, and her mentality changed with her, and she completely looked at her ugly appearance as if she were a vegetarian. It was only after experiencing being disliked by her classmates when her teacher arranged her seat, and many of the boys in school making fun of her, or ignoring her, 
that she was able to deeply understand how good Lin Yuan really was, she liked him, he knew, he liked her, she knew. Lin Yuan returned to the villa for the night, as usual. The night was not dark, and you could see the path paved with green stones. Walking on the road, the side of the road suddenly scurried out a small animal, at first Lin Yuan thought it was a wild cat, but a closer look, it turned out to be a fat squirrel. He wondered if squirrels are not animals that move around in the daytime and sleep at night, how did they come out in the middle of the night? However, this fat squirrel can be said to be familiar with himself, after coming close to climb up his pants leg, hanging still. Go down. Lin Yuan shook his leg, but the squirrel grabbed his pants and couldn't shake it off. He had no choice but to continue walking, letting the squirrel hang on like this. What Lin Yuan didn't expect was that the squirrel actually followed him back to the villa like this. How come it likes to follow me so much? Lin Yuan stared at the fat squirrel. The fat squirrel's eyes were big and round, also staring at him. In the end, Lin Yuan lifted the back of its fateful neck, lifted it up, threw it to the grass next to him, and then quickly opened the villa, dodged into the door and closed the door in one fell swoop, only left behind the fat squirrel that squeaked. This screaming is several hours. The next day, Lin Yuan woke up at noon, washed his face and brushed his teeth, ready to go out to buy breakfast. As soon as he opened the door, he happened to see the little girl named Xiao Ku, squatting in front of his house, staring straight at a nearby tree. Xiao Ku. Lin Yuan smiled, having a good feeling about this little girl, simple and cute. It's Li, big brother. Lin Yuan asked, what are you doing here? Xiao Ku's voice was childish, pointing at the tree, the little squirrel is in this tree. Lin Yuan looked up and saw a chubby little guy hanging from some tree branch. It had been a night, and it hadn't left yet. Come down. Lin Yuan just casually said this, not expecting the squirrel to understand what he said and obediently come down. But the next scene staggered him. After hearing his voice, the fat squirrel climbed down the tree sharply and approached towards him. Lin Yuan ducked away, not wanting to get his newly changed clothes dirty. What's wrong with this squirrel? Why does it keep sticking to me so much? Lin Yuan once again suspected that there was something about him that attracted this squirrel. Wow, big brother, you're so powerful, you can make the little squirrel come down. Xiao Ka's eyes were filled with envy. Lin Yuan wasn't in a hurry to buy breakfast, so he sat on the doorstep and chatted with Xiao Ku. Sometimes, chatting with cute human cubs was a kind of mental relaxation. During this time, the fat squirrel was not honest again, finding an opportunity to climb onto Lin Yuan's shoulder and stay still. Xiao Ku carefully reached out her small hand and managed to pet it. Xiao Ku, go home. From afar, someone shouted. Xiao Ku's sister was not far away looking this way. Sister is calling me, I'm going home, by big brother. Xiao Ku was reluctant to leave and jerked the squirrel a few more times before trotting towards her sister. Lin Yuan looked at Xiao Ka's sister and nodded slightly in greeting. Xiao Ka's sister was wearing a long pale yellow dress today, only revealing a section of her white calves. She had a head of hair that was casually draped over her head, with a green leafy hairpin to hold the easily scattered strands in place, and her eyes were beautiful, like jewels that were as clear as can be. Although she hadn't dressed up too much, she was already very pretty, with a sense of delicacy. Koko-san gently nodded her head and gave a kind smile. After that, she led. Xiao Ka left. Such a girl, would a boy of the same age have his heart moved? The answer was that more than 95% of the boys would be touched. The remaining 5% would probably be blind. Lin Yuan was neither touched nor blind because he had Gu Renin by his side. He went out to buy breakfast and after filling his stomach, he didn't know what to do. Today was Sunday, and I didn't know if Gu Renin was up yet. Yesterday, he held her hand, and although he didn't confess directly, it was still considered an indirect confession. The important thing is that Gu Renin didn't refuse, the water is here, the canal is about to become. Wan Qing, Ling Yuan held my hand yesterday. The living room was playing a costume drama, Gu Renin and Ling Wan Qing watched it with great interest. Suddenly Gu Renin hesitated for a moment and told her best friend about yesterday's is. She, who had no relationship experience, wanted to ask her bestie for advice. What, what did you say? Ling Wan Qing thought that she had misheard and re-asked again. When we came back yesterday, Ling Yuan held my hand and came back. Gu Renin shyly lowered her head, her voice like a mosquito. Ling Wanqing was not calm anymore. Was she going to watch her best friend, who grew up together, being chased by another man? When she learned that Renin was held by that Lin Yuan, and she still let him hold her hand back, her heart was very unfavorable. But she also hoped that she would find her own happiness. A boy who didn't mind Gu Renin's ugly appearance. That must be true love. Is there pure friendship between men and women? Yes. The uglier they are, the purer they are. But often, girls who have a male best friend are very pretty. As Ling Wanqing said, this is a world of faces. Wanqing, what should I do now? Gu Renin asked her best friend for advice. Ling Wanqing rolled her eyes. She herself has never been in love, can I tell you what to do? But even if you've never seen a pig run, you should have eaten some pork. 
Ling Wancheng immediately gave Gu Rinin tips. Didn't he send you home yesterday? Just tell him that in order to thank him for sending you home, you can make an excessive request and see how he comes back. According to the normal normal man's thought process, this request is nothing more than an invitation to watch a movie, go shopping, or maybe have a meal or something. Exactly the way to promote a relationship. Gu Rinin complied in a daze and sent a message to Lin Yuan. Since Lin Yuan had set a special concern for her, he received a different alert tone. He opened his phone at the first opportunity and saw the message from Rinin. Request? Lin Yuan thought about it and didn't know what would be a better request to make. It couldn't be too much right, nor could it be too simple. After thinking for a few minutes, he suddenly had an idea and quickly replied to her. How about? You charge me $20 in phone bills? Gu Rinin waited left and right, finally waiting for Lin Yuan's message. Quickly let me see what he's asking of you. Ling Wanqing immediately came over. Then her expression was visibly stunned before she couldn't help but laugh out loud, without the slightest trace of the image a lady should have. Ha ha, he actually asked you to charge him $20 in phone bills, laugh me to death. Gu Rinin wanted to die. Originally, she had thought that Lin Yuan's request was for dinner and a movie or something, which she could accept. In the end, it turned out to be this. Letting her charge $20 for expenses? Lin Yuan, you big dummy, what the hell were you thinking? Gu Renin was so angry that she wanted to smash her phone and simply stopped replying. Ling Wanqing collapsed on the sofa and laughed her ass off, she couldn't even stop laughing, tears came out of her eyes, it was obvious how happy she was right now. Gu Renin ignored her and went back to her room to lock herself up and sulk. Lin Yuan was late in waiting for Gu Renin to reply. Nor did he see the text message of the phone bill arriving. He waited and waited and waited, not realizing the seriousness of the matter. Monday. Lin Yuan came to the classroom and realized that Gu Renin, who had always bought breakfast for herself, had unprecedentedly not done so today. He walked to his seat and sat down, looking at today's school uniform and pants, still pretending to be ugly, she deliberately twisted her head to not look at herself. Angry? Who made her angry? Lin Yuan scanned around the classroom. Whoever dared to make Renin angry, he definitely wouldn't have a good time with the other party. Renin, are you angry? Who bullied you? Tell me to help you out. Lin Yuan poked Gu Renin. Oomph. Gu Renin grunted, a guy named Lin Yuan made me angry. Lin Yuan froze. When did I make you angry? It was true, women's hearts were like needles in the bottom of the sea. However, fortunately, he had the ability to know a woman's heart, and finally knew where he had made Rin Rin so angry. Because yesterday he asked her to charge $20 for his own phone bill, and angry? It's only $20, it's not like it's too much to ask. Lin Yuan didn't know how to comfort a girl, he thought about it and said, don't be angry, I'll take you to eat hot pot after school, how about it? Fine. Gu Renin was arrogant and reluctantly agreed. In the afternoon, the two had to participate in the campus singing competition. After several rounds of auditions, the final number of people who passed was 50. And in the afternoon, half of these 50 people would be eliminated, and the remaining 25 would enter the 25 into 10 competition two days later. In the 50 to 25 match, Gu Renin and Lin Yuan had no pressure and easily advanced. Lin Yuan sang one of Zhou Dong's songs, which earned him a warm round of applause and hoots from everyone. Soon after he got off the stage, a few schoolgirls approached him, asking for contact information. In Gu Renin's unkind eyes, Lin Yuan calmly declined. Jealous? He laughed. Gu Renin denied, what's there to be jealous of, I'm not your anything. At this time, a sweet-looking elementary schoolgirl with white skin ran over, red-faced, and handed a note folded into a love heart to Lin Yuan. Student Lin Yuan, please take this. Recently, the school forum was still discussing the most about the school singing competition held by the school, and many of the contestants with good singing skills were discussed the most. Even Gu Renin was discussed by quite a few people. For example, what's singing really good? She was stunned at the scene at the time, and although the person wasn't beautiful but her singing voice was beautiful and so on, but the person with the most discussion was still Lin Yuan. The song Confession Balloon had been filmed by a student and posted on the school's forum, as well as on certain platforms. Some professionals analyzed that Lin Yuan's singing skills were not inferior to professional singers, even more so, and that he had obviously received professional training. In short, it sounds good. Coupled with the fact that his own looks were okay, he was privately discussed by many schoolgirls. There were schoolgirls who liked him naturally. Lin Yuan glanced at Gu Renin's murderous eyes out of the corner of his eye and found it interesting, and even felt that this look was very cute. Lin Yuan if you dare to pick it up, I'll ignore you from now on. Gu Renin roared inwardly. Lin Yuan sweated, it seemed that the love note couldn't be accepted or someone was going to ignore him. Host's current situation detected, please begin your selection. Lin Yuan's eyes lit up. The system that had been immersed for days had finally appeared. 
Choice 1. Reject the love note, obtain the title Ruthless, 10,000 cash, and Gurinin's favorability increases by 5. Note, the Ruthless title will allow the host to become more ruthless and decisive. Choice 2. Receive the love note and read it to Gurinin in person, rewarding the same random skill. Lin Yuan looked at it again and again to make sure he hadn't misread it. For a moment, he wondered if the system had mixed up the rewards. Although cash was good, he wasn't short of it now. Gu Renin good sense is also good, feelings are to be cultivated slowly, cannot be rushed. Ruthless title? The disadvantages outweigh the advantages, forget it. In the end, Lin Yuan made a great determination and gritted his teeth to choose the second option. He reached out and took the girl's love note. Instantly, Gu Ren sounded like an overturned bottle of vinegar, jealous. The moment Lin Yuan received the love note, Gu Renin's eyes were as if she was going to kill someone, jealous. To actually take a note from another girl in front of me. When I don't exist? After Lin Yuan got the note, the girl who sent it turned around with shyness and left. Hee hee, that girl is quite pretty ah. Gu Renin's words were full of vinegar. Lin Yuan smiled faintly, and even opened the love note in front of her, and even read out what was written on the note, in front of her. Hello Lin Yuan student, I appreciate the song you sang, it's one of the most powerful amongst the people I've met, can you add me as a friend please, hee hee hee, smiley face, so far. Quest completion. Congratulations to the host for completing the selection and obtaining the Grandmaster level fighting skill. Instantly, Lin Yuan's head was filled with all sorts of information about fighting. The amount of information was so overwhelming that it caused his head to feel a slight tingling. Luckily, the process didn't last long and ended quickly. Lin Yuan hadn't purposely worked out, and trying to utilize a sovereign level fighting skill would require him to take on a large load, so he decided to work out and exercise. It might come in handy someday. Since the mission was complete, Lin Yuan tore the note in front of Gu Rinin. Why did you tear it? Because it might put someone in a better mood. Who is someone? Lin Yuan looked at Gu Rinin with a smile. I'm going back to class, ha? Huh? Gu Rinin was pleased in her heart, but on the surface, she pretended as if nothing had happened. A few days later, Lin Yuan, together with Gu Rinin, participated in the 25 to 10 match of the campus singing competition and successfully advanced. The next opponents were all very powerful and the two had to bring out their true strength to compete. Lin Yuan wasn't worried about this, because he still had two original songs gifted by the system, he wasn't afraid of not taking first place, he was afraid of not completing one of the system tasks, letting himself catch fire in this campus singing competition. In this regard, Lin Yuan decided to ask Lin Qingyu for help. Let her help publicize herself after her 10 in the top 3 competition. Lin Qingyu readily agreed. At the same time, she was surprised that Lin Yuan could actually sing. She was surprised when she listened to a video taken by one of her classmates, of Lin Yuan when he sang. Brother Lin Yuan, your singing skills are good, much better than a certain star I know, how about it, are you interested in coming to the entertainment industry, sis will take you. Lin Xin you sent such a message. Lin Yuan had thought about this a long time ago. After thinking about it, he let it go, the entertainment industry was too chaotic and tiring, he didn't like this kind of environment. After settling this matter, it wasn't long before Zhang Xiaoqi, his elementary school classmate, sent him a message. Lin Yuan, your appointment with me has arrived, ready for when to come over. The costumes are all bought for you, if you dare to stand me up, bear the consequences. Only then did Lin Yuan remember the appointment with Zhang Xiaoqi. In order to prepare for Rin Yin's birthday present, he had promised Zhang Xiaoqi that he would cause a certain anime character's role and accompany her on a trip to the Comic Con. It just so happened that day was this Saturday and Sunday, a total of two days. Don't worry, I'll go over and find you then, I won't run. Lin Yuan replied. Zhang Xiaoqi sent a thank you for your cooperation emoji. The location of the comic show was at the convention center, and it was said to be quite large, not your average small comic show. There would be a lot of famous upstarts and famous COS. Lin Yuan didn't recognize any of them anyway, so he just went there to play. Three days later. Campus singing competition, 10 into 3. There were already five contestants on stage. They were all outstanding in strength, one of them was a ballad singer who sang ballads to the depths of his heart, as if he had run away with several girlfriends to be able to sing such a good song. The next singing contestant, senior class 6, Gu Renin, comes on stage to sing a song for you. On stage, as the host finished his words, Gu Renin cheered herself up and slowly walked towards the stage. Cheer up, don't be too nervous, you can do it. Lin Yuan told her not to be too nervous. Gu Renin nodded and went on stage to sing. She sang a sweet love song, her voice seemed to have the urge to make people want to fall in love. If it wasn't for her current appearance, not her truest self, otherwise she wouldn't know how many more suitors, boys with crushes on her. After the song, the stage applauded, and a few people applauded. Thank you. Gu Renin bowed politely, then stepped down from the stage. Alright, after enjoying the song sung by this student, 
The next one to go on stage is also from senior class 6, student Lin Yuan, he's bringing one of his own original songs today, Aurora's Desperate Love. Lin Yuan went on stage. The song Lin Yuan was about to sing came from the system. Lin Yuan had sung it by himself, and its words could touch a certain chord in one's heart. The melody was like a ray of dawn rising from despair, allowing two lovers who had experienced suffering to reunite. Accompanied by the bleak melody sounded. Everyone suddenly had an inexplicable sadness that haunted their hearts. Loneliness accompanies me to sleep, heaven and earth are dim, no dawn in sight, the abyss separates you and me, unable to see each other again. Lin Yuan sang with great devotion, his mind and body completely immersed in the song. It wasn't just him, everything around him was quiet. Everyone was staring at the figure on the stage. Hundreds of spectators were silent. They felt the cry of despair from the song, a ray of light that broke through the darkness, a poignant and desperate love. Some people silently wept, thinking of some past that they didn't want to remember. See you I'm sorry, I know you like me a lot, but I'm just a poor boy, I can't give you happiness. I finally understand why after mom left this world, dad would look at mom's photo and silently shed tears every day. When I was bald and wasted, when I was the most rebellious, when my grades were at the bottom of the class, it was you, the class president, who brought me out of this dark period, you are the dawn of my darkness, class president, I can chase you. In the crowd, some people couldn't restrain their inner impulses and confess to their crushes. The song Aurora's Absolute Love, accompanied by a high pitch that seemed to tear the voice, gradually came to an end. On stage, Lin Yuan breathed heavily, bowed to the stage, and silently walked off the stage. When he returned to Gu Renin's side, he realized that her eyes were red. When Gu Renin saw Lin Yuan appear, she cried like a flood breaking through the dike. He remembered the stories his grandmother had told her when she was alive about when she was with her grandfather. It was a time of war and chaos. Filled with despair and seeing the light of day, it fit the mood of the song. So fond of crying, whoever marries you in the future will be out of luck. Lin Yuan smiled and walked over, gently wiping away the tears on Gu Renin's face. Then I won't marry anyone. Gu Renin sobbed. Lin Yuan whispered in her ear, then I won't marry anyone. Gu Renin looked at him and smiled sweetly. Lin Yuan also revealed a soft smile. In the crowd, no one realized that he was quietly holding her hand. She froze and looked at him, and he was also watching her. Lin Yuan said softly, remember when we made a bet that if I won first place in the competition, you would promise me a request? Gu Renin nodded, remember, but if you don't come in first place, you'll have to promise me a request. My request might be excessive. Lin Yuan said, let's say you can first place first. If you can't do it, oomph, my request will be excessive too. In the end, in the 10 into 3 competition, Lin Yuan, Gu Renin managed to advance to the top 3. The last person was an expert ballad singer and was very strong. Unfortunately, the opponent he had to face afterward was Lin Yuan. The final was scheduled for a week later. After the three of them sang a song each, there would be a professional judge to score and select the first two or three. After the competition, Lin Yuan sent Gu Renin home. When they arrived downstairs, Gu Renin was reluctant to part, Lin Yuan, we'll see you tomorrow. At this moment, the two of them were, were still holding. Although the relationship between the two parties hadn't been made clear, anyone with a clear eye could tell. Gu Renin was waiting for him to personally open his mouth and say to herself, Well, see you tomorrow. Lin Yuan gazed at her. What the eyes of truth saw of her was that her face was white and delicate, her eyebrows curved like a budding flower that had yet to blossom but carried the fragrance of the flower. If the flower was in full bloom, it was beautiful. Lin Yuan approached and gently gathered the hair on her face, which was a bit disheveled. Gu Renin shyly looked down, her ears pink and hot. Her little heart was pounding, nervous and shy, as well as happy. Lin Yuan stared at Gu Renin with a smiling face. It had to be said that she was less tender and more youthful, and had a kind of attraction that was hard to express in words. Gu Renin blushed even more as she was stared at, and ran upstairs as if she were escaping. The first thing she did when she opened the door was to rush into the room, jump onto the bed, and bury herself under the covers. Lin Wanxin, who was watching TV, was uncertain and came over to check the situation. Renin, why did you run to your room as soon as you came back and covered yourself with the quilt? Did that Lin Yuan bully you? No, Gu Renin said back. Then what's wrong with you? Ling Wanqing concluded that something must have happened today to make this best friend of hers so abnormal. It's really nothing, Wanqing you close the door, I want to calm down for a while. Ling Wanqing didn't say anything, followed by the sound of the door closing. Gu Renin thought her bestie had left and just as she rolled over, she saw Ling Wanqing who was scrutinizing her. Damn Lin Yuan, he dared to bully my Renin into making her cry, I'm going to give him some color. Seeing her best friend's eyes red and clearly showing signs of crying, Ling Wanqing thought that she had been bullied by Lin Yuan. Thinking about what had happened in the past few days, when Renin had asked her for advice on how to further her relationship with Lin Yuan, she guessed that Lin Yuan had said something that had broken Renin's heart, making her cry. 
It's not what you think Wan Qing. Seeing that her best friend had misunderstood, Gu Renin hurriedly explained. She told what happened not long ago, one by one. As a matter of fact, the two of them were on good terms to such an extent that it could be said that they were the kind that could tell all their secrets. Neither side had secrets to hide. So you let him hold your hand? Ling Wan Qing had a hateful expression and shook her head straight. Gu Renin anxiously said, What's wrong Wan Qing, is there a problem? Ling Wanqing said, there's no problem, it's you who has a problem, if things go on like this, in less than two months, that Ling Yuan will do more than just hold your hand. In order to prevent her inexperienced girlfriend from being cheated, Ling Wanqing worried her heart out. She warned her to have a bottom line, this society is not as beautiful as it seems, some people make friends purely for fun, or they have their feet in several boats. If you accidentally meet this kind of person, you have to stay away from them, or else you won't even know how to get screwed. Gu Renin hurriedly took a small notebook to write it down. Then she made a mistake. Then what should I do next? Ling Wanqing thought for a moment and said, keep your distance, no more hand-holding, and ask him face to face what the reason for pursuing you is. Ling Wanqing then wondered, still unable to figure out that Gu Renin, who was dressed up in an ugly look, still had people chasing after her. If it was said that he deliberately approached. Lin Yuan because Renin was rich, Lin Yuan had already proved that he wasn't in it for the money by borrowing that million dollars. Besides, a million dollars to buy stocks, he himself also share more than 300,000, it is reasonable to say that it is not because of money. As for Renin has always dressed up ugly to go to school, only to come back to remove makeup, and is still a transfer student, no one has seen her original appearance, so it is impossible to be recognized and deliberately approach. Then, what does this Lin Yuan figure? After various analyses, Ling Wanqing suddenly frowned and felt that she had found the reason. Renin, is there anyone else besides your parents who knows about your transfer? Gu Renin didn't know why Wanqing was asking this, nodding her head, she said, other than my parents, there shouldn't be anyone else who knows about it. Ling Wanqing looked thoughtful, it's better to confirm, call them and ask them if they have told anyone else about this? She thought that it was very likely that Lin Yuan had known for a long time that Renin had been playing ugly and deliberately not breaking it down, but instead it was easier to get closer to her that way. And as for how he knew, I'm afraid that someone had told him. Gu Renin still called home, because she was more concerned about this matter, after all, it was related to a major event in her life. The call was quickly answered, and a bright male voice came from the other end. Why are you suddenly calling dad? Gu Renin pouted, dad, I didn't miss you, that's why I called you. Say something quickly, I'm busy. Okay, then I'll say it, dad, other than you and mom, does anyone else know about my transfer? There was a sudden silence on the other end of the phone. Gu Renin had a vague bad feeling inside, did you tell someone else about my transfer? The other party said, it's not that your aunt, third aunt, and second uncle suddenly asked about you, plus your mom couldn't keep her mouth shut, so she said it. What? Gu Renin's voice rose several decibels. She hurriedly pursued to ask who all knew. Not too many people know, just your aunt, second and third aunts, first and second uncles, and a few cousins. That's not much? Gu Renin was so angry that she directly hung up the phone. She didn't want the people she knew to know about this matter of transferring to another school, and once they told those who had pursued her, the other side would definitely come looking for her. Those people's status is not low, some of them are the sons of the top management of a certain company, the only son of official personnel. Gu Renin was very uninterested in them and was annoyed enough to come up with the plan of transferring to another school. Of course, Gu Renin and the family, there are relations with the relatives, are parents of the generation of hatred, the offspring therefore also hostile to each other. These include the fourth uncle, the great aunt, the third uncle. All kinds of disgusting little means endless. This is something that Ling Wanqing is also aware of. Ling Wanqing was thinking about something, then looked at Gu Renin and slowly said, Do you think it could be that they secretly told Lin Yuan, letting him know that you were actually pretending to be ugly and purposely letting him get close to you? She was well aware of the ugly faces of Renin's few relatives, and would definitely be able to do such a thing. There was even the possibility that the news would leak out to Renin's former suitors, causing them to flock to her like sharks smelling blood. Gu Renin's face grew paler and paler, unwilling to accept this possibility. Is it possible that no one actually told Lin Yuan that he was the one who wanted to do this? No one would have imagined that the two of them, who were originally just Gu Renin asking Ling Wanqing about romance, ended up chatting and veering off the topic. And the topic reeked of a heart-stopping flavor. If it was true, then the developments were too serious, heavy enough to cause Gu Renin to break down. But if it was false, then she had found true love. Which of the two was more on the true side and which was more on the false side was answered in the hearts of the discerning. The answers were probably all the same. Ranin, don't be anxious, what I said is only possible. Seeing Gu Ranin's face turn increasingly pale, Ling Wanqing hurriedly added. In fact, this possibility she felt did not exist. 
Wan Qing, I must know the truth, Lin Yuan, does he really like me or does he already know my secret and is deliberately treating me like this? Gu Renin's eyes were firm. She was eager to know the answer. Ling Wanqing said, we can test Lin Yuan, swindle him a bit, make him think you already know the truth. If he acts like he doesn't know anything, I have a second confirmation plan. What if we don't find anything unusual? Gu Renin asked. Ling Wanqing said, I still have a final third plan, this plan is too overbearing and should not be used easily until the final moment. The two began to discuss what to do. The next day, Gu Renin walked into the classroom with a cold face. Her eyes were cold and no longer as clear as in the past. Some students in the class saw her come in, it was the first time they had seen her with this expression, and they thought something had happened. So there were some people who whispered that she and Lin Yuan were probably having a falling out. Since Gu Renin didn't have any friends in the class other than Lin Yuan, no one came over to talk to her. She just sat in her seat, not saying a word. A few moments later, Lin Yuan arrived late. He hadn't stayed in the dormitory these days, and every time he came he took public transportation in order to save some money. It had to be said that the villa was a very comfortable living experience. With a smile on his face, he came to his seat and sat down. In the past, at this time, Gu Renin would not be able to resist taking the initiative to greet him and talk, but today Lin Yuan realized that the other parties seemed to be very strange. Not only did she not take the initiative to greet him, but she had a cold face, as if she was treating him as if he didn't exist. For a moment, Lin Yuan's first thought was who had bullied her. Renin, you don't seem to be in a very good mood, what's wrong? He took the initiative to care. Gu Renin turned her head to look at him. Lin Yuan had never seen, from her, this kind of look before. Strange, cold, and permeated with a coldness that rejected people. It made him very uncomfortable. Immediately thinking back to everything he had done these days, or exactly had he angered Renin, to actually put such a strange expression on himself. I know all about it. Gu Renin said expressionlessly. Ha! Huh? Lin Yuan was confused at this point, knew what? Gu Renin stared at him and said, don't pretend, I already know the purpose of your approaching me, and I also know that someone told you my secret so that you would approach me on purpose. Lin Yuan could be said to be at a loss for words. What the hell is she saying? Why can't I understand? At the same time, Gu Renin was carefully observing Lin Yuan's expression. It was discovered that he looked like he didn't know anything from start to finish. Normally, people would have a flustered expression and could get answers from various details. Lin Yuan, on the other hand, had none of them, nothing out of the ordinary. Could it be that he really didn't know anything and no one told him? Gu Ranin thought in her heart. Who's going to tell me anything? Lin Yuan heard her heart, but he still couldn't understand the meaning. At this time, Gu Ranin slapped a USB flash drive on the table. The evidence is all here, the video of you meeting with that person, all caught on surveillance, and you still have the nerve to pretend you don't know anything about it. You disappoint me too much. Gu Ranin continued to observe Lin Yuan's reaction. Lin Yuan looked at the flash drive, then carefully recalled Rin Yin's words recalling who he had actually met with. Then he remembered that some days ago, in order to prepare for Rin Yin's birthday present, he had made an appointment with his elementary school classmate Jing Xiaoqi to buy a hand puppet from her. So that's what she was talking about. Everything was a misunderstanding ah. You misunderstood, the relationship between the two of us isn't what you think, she's my elementary school classmate. I asked her to meet me in order to buy the big Xiao hand puppet from her. Lin Yuan explained with a smile. Instead of being angry, he was happy. Reacting like this to Renin showed that she cared about herself. This time, it was Gu Renin's turn to freeze. What elementary school classmate? What was he talking about? That's not what I'm talking about. Gu Renin grunted coldly, you know in your own heart, the evidence is all here, ironclad, there's no need for you to lie anymore. The wind and water turned, and Lin Yuan froze for the third time. What the hell is she talking about? What evidence? What am I lying about? Renin I really don't understand what you're saying, since you said there's some kind of evidence, then I'll see what it is said the man, reaching out for the flash drive. Snap! Gu Renin was faster than him and slapped her hand on the table, pressing down on the flash drive. Because there was nothing inside the flash drive. It was used to scare Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan looked at her suspiciously. Could it be that they really didn't look for him and tell him that I was actually playing ugly so that he would deliberately approach himself? Gu Renin breathed a sigh of relief instead. It would be best if it wasn't, and she would apologize properly to Lin Yuan when the time came. Although Lin Yuan acted like he wasn't aware of anything, it was possible that he was faking it, so she still had Wan Qing to prepare for herself. Plan 2. Gu Renin was the simplest and most straightforward, asking Lin Yuan what he liked about himself. Lin Yuan vaguely sensed something, but the information he had was like a blank sheet of paper. With a flat expression, he gazed at Gu Renin and recalled the days he had spent with her, putting aside Gu Renin's face whose beauty had stunned him. Lin Yuan loved her lively yet cheerful personality, as well as their shared interests. 
both of them had many seemingly endless topics to talk about together. At first, Gu Renin had been disliked by a certain student in the class when the teacher assigned her a seat, and Lin Yuan had therefore felt sympathy. Even without the presence of the system, he would take the initiative to step forward and ask the teacher to let her sit at the same table as himself. After this, Gu Renin asked him for tutoring in her studies, during which time the two became good friends as a result. Then after that, Lin Yuan accidentally obtained the Eye of Truth ability and realized that Gu Renin was actually pretending to be ugly. At that time, his heart did flutter. He didn't try to dismantle it, nor did he take the initiative to pursue it. He was clear that she was from a very good family and was beautiful, so he probably couldn't see himself. But what he didn't expect was that Gu Renin had developed a liking for himself because of all his concern. Although the system had a lot of credit in it, coupled with its existence, Lin Yuan believed that the changes he would make in the future would shock even himself. For example, already owning a $50 million villa. So, he was fond of her. Liked everywhere. I like your liveliness, having the same interests as me, the way you frown and think when you're beside me, and the silly you, it's adorable. Lin Yuan's gaze was soft, liking wasn't just spoken, it could be seen in the eyes. Gu Renin rejoiced inwardly, but it was quickly replaced by complexity and anxiety. But I'm not good looking. I told you ah, uh, my criteria for choosing a spouse doesn't care about the other person's looks, can't a girl not have a boy to chase after if she's not good looking? Gu Renin was speechless. However, she still had concerns. Although she already believed Lin Yuan's words in her heart, Gu Renin was very aware of the extent of the viciousness of those relatives of her family. After knowing that she had transferred to this school, it was impossible that they wouldn't make any moves. Even though she was dressed up as an ugly person, as long as she checked her name, she would soon be found. After that, they would make a move from there, such as telling the news to the person who used to pursue her, who had gotten to the point of frenzy, or even tailing her after school, or perhaps buying off people inside and outside of school to target her. It was all possible. Once upon a time, Gu Renin had had an antique originally prepared as a gift for her grandfather's birthday. However, at some point, it was secretly switched, and when grandpa opened the gift, he realized that a clock was placed inside. Giving a clock is the same as giving a death wish, a big no-no. One can imagine how dangerous Gu Renin's situation was at that time. Luckily, grandpa loved her very much and guessed that it was someone's trick, so he was able to get rid of the matter. There was also a time when mom was meeting with a male friend from her younger days, she was maliciously photographed, and rumors were spread wildly within the family, that she was cheating on her husband or something like that. Such incidents were endless. Gu Renin had become particularly sensitive as a result, and hated being cheated on. The trial didn't yield any results, so it was good that the bell rang, and the teacher stepped into the classroom during the ringing of the bell. Otherwise, if it continued, she wouldn't know what to say. Throughout the morning, the two were like peers with a very average relationship, not saying a few words. Lin Yuan had heard Gu Renin's heartfelt words during this time, and knew the cause and effect, so she thought it was a relative who instructed me to deliberately approach herself. This was an oops. Although he knew that Renin was pretending to be ugly, it was something he saw through, not something someone else told him. He didn't want to leave a wedge between the two and had to make things clear. In the late afternoon, when the teacher announced the end of the last class, the other students clamored up, some rushed to eat, and whooshed out of the classroom. Gu Renin didn't dare face Lin Yuan directly, in the past at this time, she would have left with Lin Yuan, but now she didn't do so and got up from her seat, ready to go back. Walking out of the classroom, Gu Renin was suddenly worried. Would Lin Yuan's classmates be unhappy because of the way she treated him? What if he got angry? The previous test had shown that Lin Yuan most likely didn't know anything. What if he hated her for it? She walked so slowly that Lin Yuan didn't even notice when she caught up from behind and was shoulder to shoulder with her. Lin Yuan learned of Ren Yin's concerns and wasn't actually angry with her, but in his heart he thought so. But on his lips he said, Ren Yin, do you not like me? Ha! Huh? Gu Renin raised her head, only to realize that Lin Yuan had appeared beside her at some point, and was visibly flustered. It's also true that my family is not well off, and it's normal for someone like you who casually has millions in savings to not be able to look at me. Lin Yuan sighed, pretending to be lost. It's not like that. Gu Renin hastily shook her head, I, I actually like you too, but I, I, she stammered, unable to continue. She was afraid that Lin Yuan would get angry after telling her about the tryst. Then why are you giving me a cold face today, as if you want to know something from me, and what you said before, I know your secret, so what is the secret? Lin Yuan looked at her. Gu Renin said sheepishly, it's, oops, a secret is a secret, after I told you that can still be called a secret? Lin Yuan laughed, the original Renin was back, the heart was also relieved. The two of them waved goodbye at the school gate, and the unhappiness of the morning was dissolved by each other's smiles. Gu Renin hurriedly returned to the residence, hurriedly told her best friend Ling Wanqing about today's experience, and listened to her how to analyze. 
Ling Wanqing also came back early because of this, and after hearing Renin recount what happened, she fell into deep thought. From the looks of it, it's possible that he doesn't know anything ah, and the reason for liking you is fine, but Renin, this isn't enough, should plan 3 be implemented? Gu Renin thought about it and nodded, it's all come to this, go ahead, right, what's the third plan? Ling Wanqing said, the third plan is divided into many, use an unfamiliar number to try again, second. Third. She said several in a row, but the last one was immediately vetoed by Gu Renin. I don't want to go to school in my real appearance and meet him so soon. She thought that once she went to meet Lin Yuan with her real appearance, he would be more proactive, treating her better and better, even the courting kind. Gu Renin didn't like him in this way. Lin Yuan's cell phone suddenly received an unfamiliar text message. You've done a great job. I want you to take the initiative to ask Gu Renin to meet you at a western restaurant within a month and take the initiative to kiss her, if you dare not do so, I'll tell her everything you know. Inexplicable text message, but Lin Yuan has guessed who sent it. It really is. Still coming ah. Since you want to play so much, I will play with you for a while. Which one of you? He replied to the text message. Forgot so quickly that I was the one who told you her secret? Lin Yuan replied back. What secret? You know yourself. Lin Yuan, nervous are you? What am I clear about, somehow? Oh, I've already said the words, it's up to you whether you do it or not, advise you not to be unaware of it, or else take care of yourself. Note, message sent failed, the other party or has pulled you into the blacklist. On the other side, Gu Renin and Ling Wanqing both froze almost simultaneously. The message sending failed, and they were actually blacklisted by Lin Yuan. Wanqing. Gu Renin suddenly said, doesn't this prove a lot of things? Not yet, go on. Ling Wanqing said. Not long after, Lin Yuan's cell phone rang again. It was from Gu Renin. He took it out and looked at it, helplessly holding his forehead. Gu Renin, Lin Yuan, I didn't feel well the other day and went to the hospital, I found out that I have a terminal illness, I won't be able to live much longer, I'm sorry for hiding it from you, let's break up, I don't blame you. Lin Yuan knew that this was Gu Renin testing the waters, but the tactics were too childish and he was very speechless. This stupid girl, stupid and cute. With a smile on his face, he sent back the message, I'll always be by your side no matter what happens to you, don't be afraid, I'm going to find you now. When he sent the message, Lin Yuan also happened to be in the cafeteria having a good meal. He was ready to make a trip back to the dormitory. Even though he had a disagreement with his roommate Lu Qing before, he would have to face it sooner or later when he couldn't see his head. Anyway, the person who would be embarrassed then wouldn't be him, but the other person. When he arrived at the dormitory, Li Wankai was reading a book as usual. His grades were very good, ranking in the top 5 in his grade. Unfortunately, he didn't have the ability to forget everything and was always going to fall behind Lin Yuan next. The sun was scorching outside, so Wang Ping didn't go to play soccer today and lay on his bed brushing videos. Lu Qing was holding her cell phone and seemed to be chatting with someone. Lin Yuan walked into the dormitory and the three of them stopped what they were doing. Lin Yuan, you're finally back in the dorm. Wang Ping walked over and put his hand on Lin Yuan's shoulder. Did you really go to the Lin Qing you concert the other day? Lin Yuan nodded, uh, went. I didn't believe that friend circle you posted at first, it really surprised me, I didn't mean anything else, I just found it unbelievable. He knew Lin Yuan's conditions and his character, he would never spend that much money to go to a concert. Lin Yuan smiled, opened his cell phone and showed Wang Ping the photo with Lin Cheng Yu. Crap! Immediately afterward, Wang Ping just blurted out a crippling sentence. The expression was as shocking as it could be. You even took a picture with Lin Cheng Yu. Upon hearing this, Li Wan Kai, who was not a fan of hilarity, also came over. How did you do that? He asked. Because Lin Qingyue and I know each other ah, and I even asked for her autograph. Lin Yuan told the truth. As expected, disbelief was written all over the two men's faces. Beside them, Lu Qing couldn't sit still, he wanted to say a few words, but he still didn't have the cheek. He had bought a concert ticket from Lin Yuan that day, but tore it up as a fake float, and caused the relationship between the two to deteriorate drastically, and he couldn't be friends anymore. Now he was really remorseful, telling his girlfriend about it, and as a result, she was still angry with him, and only coaxed him to buy a new cell phone. He didn't say a word, so Lin Yuan pretended not to see it. This time he went back to the dormitory, he was ready to pack up his things and didn't intend to continue living there. When the time came to move to the villa, although it was a long way, he was going to buy an electric car, and it was only a 10-minute trip to and from school. Wang Ping and Li Wankai helped pack up and expressed their sadness, but didn't insist that Lin Yuan continue to live. How can I say that we are also high school roommates for almost three years, let's go have a barbecue in the evening. Wang Ping proposed. Li Wankai thought about it and unprecedentedly agreed. Lin Yuan didn't have an opinion, thought about calling up Lu Qing, after all, housemates for a while. Eh? Good. Lu Qing responded awkwardly. At this time, 
Gu Renin received Lin Yuan's message and hurriedly called Ling Wanqing what to do next. Quickly get back to him, tell him that he doesn't need to come over, just tell him that the hospital side made a mistake. It's not you who has a terminal illness. Oh, good. Ling Wanqing informed Renin so that she could rest assured that Lin Yuan was someone she could trust with her life. There really weren't many boys like that. Gu Renin's heart was sweet and her liking for Lin Yuan grew a little bit more. I treated him so badly today, let's buy breakfast tomorrow and apologize to him properly. That's not going to work, at least treat him to dinner, then go shopping, watch a movie, and you won't have to come back at night. A movie, you don't have to come back at night, live in a hotel, single room. Ling Wanqing flirted. Oomph, just go, who's afraid of who? Gu Renin gambled. She still sent a message to Lin Yuan, asking if he was free in the evening and wanted to invite him for dinner. I have a date tonight. Lin Yuan replied. Gu Renin received the message and began to think wildly. Who did he have a date with? A girl? Does he hate me because of what happened today? With who? A roommate. Oh, want to come? No, I'm just asking. So it was a dinner date with a roommate. Gu Renin breathed a sigh of relief. Oh yeah, the campus singing finals are in a few days. Don't let the first place go to someone else. Lin Yuan suddenly sent a message. Since the last song Aurora's Absolute Love, coupled with the request for Lin Qingyu's help in publicizing it, the video of Lin Yuan singing had once gone viral on the internet. Some professional singers had come forward to analyze it, stating that this original tune was absolutely phenomenal, and it wasn't without reason that it could catch fire. There were also music software staff who approached Lin Yuan, wanting him to join and send the song to their platforms. Lin Yuan himself didn't pay much attention to this. If the two of us join forces, we'll be invincible, first and second handily. Gu Renin said back. I won't give in to you, I'm aiming for number one. Lin Yuan returned to her. This wasn't a lie, it was a system requirement, otherwise the rewards that had already been obtained would be recycled and everything would be lost. Gu Renin, me too. Smiley face. Lin Yuan was in no hurry about the campus singing competition, but the appointment with Zheng Xiaoqi was tomorrow. On that Saturday, he would be cosplaying a certain anime character and going to the Comic Con. That night, the four people in the dormitory went to a barbecue stand not far from campus. During this time, Lu Qing drank too much and used the strength of alcohol to apologize to Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan laughed it off and said that he didn't take that incident to heart at all. But some things can't go back. Until 11.30, Lin Yuan sent the three back to the dormitory, and then took a taxi back to the villa. This time the little squirrel didn't show up. Lin Yuan went back and lay down. He was woken up by a phone call. Lin Yuan, are you up yet? Hurry over. On the phone, Zhang Xiaoqi's voice was sharp, urging Lin Yuan to get up. He had to go to the Comic Con later. Oh, I'm coming over now. Lin Yuan, sleepy-eyed, got up and washed up, then hurriedly went out and got into an online car waiting outside. When he arrived at his destination, Zhang Xiaoqi had been waiting for a long time, pulling him into the room and starting to put on his makeup. Zhang Xiaoqi was very skilled, the whole process took less than 20 minutes. Lin Yuan looked at himself in the mirror as if he had changed his head. Handsome. Quickly change your clothes. Zhang Xiaoqi threw a set of clothes over. Lin Yuan did as he was told and changed in place. He was playing a certain extremely popular villain, and Lin Yuan had seen pictures and felt that he was quite similar to him. Zheng Xiaoqi also played a certain anime character, wearing a red kung fu outfit and a high ponytail, her whole person looked heroic. Go go go, it's almost too late. The two of them called an online car and immediately set off, taking more than half an hour to reach their destination. Then there was a queue for tickets, and it took a long time before they managed to get inside. This was Lin Yuan's first time in this kind of place, and he felt new to everything. He saw that there is also playing the king inside the purple fairy Luna, that is, the chest is not to restore. There was also Di Xiao, Wang Zhaojun, who was in a full meat suit, as well as many popular anime characters. As he watched, Lin Yuan was suddenly caught by a girl who was a COS Raimu. He thought it looked familiar. It looked a lot like Xiao Ka's sister, but wasn't sure if it was. Beside the girl, there was another little girl causing a Kungana character, very joyfully jumping, surrounded by quite a few people. Xiao Ku. Lin Yuan recognized the little girl's identity. The probability of being able to meet someone you knew in a place like this was not high, but Lin Yuan had run into it. Little Ka's sister was sweet looking, dressed as a maid, her slender thighs covered in white silk, extremely eye catching, attracting quite a few LSP to gather around, especially her little pink, round, not so round face, adding a few points of cuteness. Her COS of a certain popular anime, a popular character, could be said to be quite reductive. Except for the boobs, of course. And Xiao Ko, also playing the role of a certain popular anime, wearing a cute dress, plus she herself looked well-behaved and adorable, looking around the Comic-Con novelty. It caused many of the people who had just come in to cry out in cuteness, and immediately they all gathered around to take pictures of Xiao Ku, 
Lin Yuan had wanted to go over and say hello, but Zheng Xiaoqi said that her makeup was a bit blurred and she had to go to a special area to fix it. He had no choice but to leave first, and it wasn't too late to say hello later. When he came out, the entire Comic Con was packed with people everywhere. I'll take you to sneak around. Zhang Xiaoqi pulled on Lin Yuan and wandered blindly. During this time, there were people with cameras who wanted to take a few pictures. At first Lin Yuan refused. If he had known that he would have to be photographed, he wouldn't have agreed. But under the threat of Zhang Xiaoqi's eyes, he could only reluctantly stand and let the camera take pictures. Gradually, he felt something was wrong. How come these people keep staring at him to take pictures? This is the most restored COS I've ever seen. Worthy of being a large comic show, it's rare to see how high quality ones appear. Can little brother take a picture with you? Lin Yuan was overwhelmed and uncomfortable, casting a look at Zheng Xiaoqi for help. Zheng Xiaoqi was smilingly watching from the sidelines, without the slightest intention to help. With no way out, Lin Yuan found a chance to bolt, leaving a group of people frozen in place. Where could there be a cost like this? Can little brother take your picture? Hiding in a place where Zheng Xiaoqi wasn't, without waiting for a sigh of relief to think about it, a girl saw him and instantly her eyes lit up, coming over and wanting to take a picture. No way! Lin Yuan righteously refused, then seeing Zhang Xiaoqi who was looking for him, he hurriedly skipped. The girl froze a bit. Everyone else was begging to be photographed, how come this little brother was different? Lin Yuan. Zhang Xiaoqi's voice resounded through half of the Comic Con. She had found Lin Yuan and chased after him aggressively carrying a long gun made of plastic. What could Lin Yuan do but run? One was chasing, the other was running away, attracting countless gazes along the way. Look, the white cherry COS is chasing the black knight COS. A senior secondary was shouting, finding this scene very interesting and filming it. Lin Yuan had thought that Zhang Xiaoqi would stop when she got tired of running, but the two of them had circled around the comic show twice, and she was still majestically running, with no intention of stopping. This was great, Lin Yuan, who had only wanted to keep a low profile, was instantly noticed by everyone. He also watched anime, but wasn't interested in the periphery outside of it, such as the Comic-Con, cosplaying, and didn't have the slightest idea what he was doing. This was a picture never seen before in the history of comic conventions. Zhang Xiaoqi engaged in a sneak attack, taking advantage of the fact that Lin Yuan hadn't realized it, and suddenly rushed out from somewhere, along with a few big men he found somewhere, blocking him in a corner. Heroin. Have a word. Seeing that there was nowhere to run, Lin Yuan said that there was something to discuss. He meow, it was so hard to trick you here, where is it so easy to let you run away, brothers, grab him, I want to foot stomp the black knight. Zheng Xiaoqi crossed his arms, at once a few big men next to him got on. Lin Yuan's sense of crisis erupted, when he was about to be grabbed by a few big men, as if he was a loach, with his costume, his body was floating, he even gave a dodge. Zheng Xiaoqi looked dumbfounded. This is also too handsome. The other onlookers looked at the cowhide and shouted their approval. A few big men seemed to feel humiliated and started to get serious, saying that they couldn't disgrace Zheng Xiaoqi in any way. But soon they were all shocked. One man reached out and grabbed Lin Yuan's arm, thinking he was about to grab him when his wrist was suddenly pinched, painfully releasing his hand. One man's temper came up, opened his arms and hugged Lin Yuan tightly, not waiting for his companions to come over to help. It felt as if he was holding not a person but an elephant, strong and powerful, he was actually wrenched free. This looked like a fight, but it didn't look like a fight, it was more like a martial arts show. Lin Yuan's passive use of his grandmaster level fighting skills was so easy to deal with a few big men that not only was he surprised, but the people next to him were stunned. A few of the big men fought out of their tempers and hit harder, this looked like a fight now. A dozen more. Zhang Shouqi didn't know exactly how many people he knew, and in a few words he had two more people join in. Lin Yuan gradually fought with real fire. He knew there was no result if this continued. So he avoided the open arms of a certain big man while swimming and blocking the attacks, and finally found an opportunity to scatter his legs and bolt wildly. The group of big men looked at each other in disbelief, there were so many of them, but they couldn't even catch one. Too humiliating. What are you waiting for? Chase after them. Zhang Xiaoqi seemed to be famous in this circle. As soon as she spoke, a group of people scattered, looking for Lin Yuan. There were also hilarious people who joined in. A comic show had only just begun, and it had changed its flavor. Someone had taken a video of the scene just now, thinking that posting it to Station 13 would definitely make it to the top. A group of people searched for a long time, but they couldn't even find anyone, puzzled. Some of the people who just came in were not sure what happened, and after asking someone, they also started to help look for the COS Black Knight. There was a COS Black Knight who came in not long ago, but was somehow caught by a group of people, and found out that it was a misunderstanding. As a result, he only left a short time ago, and was surrounded by a few more people, calling in more people. Having been caught in number of times, he became resentful towards Lin Yuan who was hiding. Why is it always me who gets hurt? 
At this time, Lin Yuan was hiding underneath a certain stall, shivering. Luckily, the stall owner was also a good person, and seemed to like this funny scene to continue, and didn't expose his location. At this time, the cell phone rang. It was Zhang Xiaoqi calling, and Lin Yuan chose to answer it. Lin Yuan, where have you been, hurry back, I promise I won't let anyone catch you anymore. How can I prove that what you said is true? Lin Yuan questioned. Zheng Xiaoqi said, on my word of honor, come out quickly. Lin Yuan believed her bullshit, as soon as he came out, he was surrounded by dozens of big men, even with his grandmaster level fighting skills, he couldn't be overwhelmed by the number of people. In the end, he was forced to pose while a group of people took pictures. Too humiliating. Lin Yuan was hopeless. Then he looked up and saw that among the crowd of onlookers, Sister Shao Ku and Shao Ko were also among the onlookers. It's Li, big brother. Shao Ku exclaimed, recognizing Lin Yuan at once. Shao Ku's sister was also surprised, not expecting to meet here, the big brother Shao Ku recognized. She smiled and nodded her head towards Lin Yuan. Disgraced to my grandma's house. Lin Yuan's son dried his silence, repenting his impulsiveness. Today, Lin Yuan was destined to be the center of attention, surrounded by people looking at him like a monkey. If he could do it all over again, he definitely wouldn't have agreed to Zhang Xiaoqi coming here. Zhang Xiaoqi finished taking pictures and let him go. Big brother you're so here too. Xiao Ko ran over, her big eyes flashing, very cute. Lin Yuan picked up Xiao Ko and smiled. Javi, what about you Xiao Ko, why are you here with your sister too? My sister also likes this, so she brought Xiao Ko here. Big brother let me tell you, my sister is still a big anchor, she just doesn't show her face. Xiao Ko can't figure out why she doesn't show her face when her sister is so pretty. Xiao Ku is still a small child, where do you know how to tell lies? Her sister's face changed, wanting to stop her sister from continuing, but it was already too late. My sister is called Snow Sweetness by everyone, do you recognize her? Lin Yuan shook his head, indicating that he wasn't sure. When someone beside him heard this, he immediately revealed an incredulous expression, as if he had discovered some major news. Xiao Ku, what are you babbling about? Xiao Ku's sister hurriedly approached, not wanting to let this mouthy sister talk on. Aggrieved, Xiao Ku was led away from this area by her sister. Unable to figure out what she had done wrong that her sister was this angry. So she is snow sweetness. Zhang Xiaoqi also heard it and revealed a strange look. What's wrong? Lin Yuan didn't watch the live broadcast and wasn't clear about the secrets. Snow sweetness, nearly 2 million fans on a certain station, sweet voice, but never shows her face, quite famous, I didn't expect the real person to be quite pretty, I thought it was the second grandma Luo. Zhang Xiaoqi explained. Lin Yuan is not that gossipy, did not bother to ask anything more. But only a little while later, Xiao Ka suddenly found him and secretly handed him a note. This is my sister's contact information. Big brother can you let the little squirrel touch it for me? Lin Yuan didn't know whether he should or shouldn't take it. This girl, if her sister knew about this, she wouldn't open her ass up. There was no such thing as pitting your sister. Okay, but forget about your sister's contact information. If your sister knows about it, she'll have to beat you up. Lin Yuan said. It's fine, my sister loves me, every time Shao Ka makes a mistake, my sister doesn't want to hit me. Shao Ka smiled and said. Not far away, Shao Ka's sister came over with a dark face and stood behind Shao Ku. Big brother, you really don't want my sister's contact information, then I'll take the other and exchange it with you, okay, my sister's private photos are all saved in her cell phone for miles, when the time comes, I'll sneak you a few. Lin Yuan was embarrassed and signaled Shao Ka with his eyes to stop. Shao Ka looked cute but in reality, she was an expert in pitting her sister, saying that she would secretly copy her sister's unreleased guitar playing and give it to Lin Yuan. Shao Ka's sister was furious and grabbed Shao Ka's ears and left. Shao Ka wailed in pain and was taken away by her own sister. Lin Yuan watched the sisters go away. The next time her sister was afraid she wouldn't let Shao Ka come out to play with him. Two hours later, Lin Yuan and Zhang Xiaoqi left the Comic Con early. The two had a meal outside and parted ways. Zhang Xiaoqi smiled, Lin Yuan, I'll call you again next time there's another big comic show like this. Good. Lin Yuan said so on his lips, but in his heart, he secretly swore that he would never go again even if he died. I'll go back and. I'll go back and blackmail you. Then, Lin Yuan took a taxi back to his villa, tired from the day, he took a shower and lay down on his bed, quickly falling asleep. This night was quiet. But the internet wasn't quiet. A video of a Black Knight Comic Con showing off his power was quickly circulating. In the video, a Black Knight COS fought against many big men, his body style was flowing, his hands and feet were quite a master, handsome to everyone who watched the video. Those who watched it all said it was awesome. Soon enough, someone realized that this boy who COS the Black Knight was very much like the recent online sensation, a high school student whose singing skills had been retweeted by Lin Qingyu and marveled at by countless professional singers at the campus singing competition. In the end, it was confirmed that the two were the same person. Overnight, Lin Yuan was on fire. 
Sleeping soundly, he was woken up by a ringing phone at 11 o'clock in the middle of the night. It was Gu Rinin calling. Lin Yuan answered the phone and heard Gu Rinin's surprised voice over the phone. Lin Yuan, did you go to some comic convention today? Lin Yuan secretly said it was bad, how did she know? No, it wasn't me, you're looking at the wrong person. He denied it three times in a row. Still not admitting it are you, I've seen the video, you're being chased by a bunch of people. Lin Yuan. Upon realizing that the scene of his social death had been posted on the internet, Lin Yuan instantly felt like the sky was falling. He couldn't wait to live on a different planet immediately. Gu Renin laughed uncontrollably at the end of the phone and sent over a picture of Lin Yuan being chased by a group of big men and surrounded by a sea of people. Lin Yuan ignored her, disconnected from the internet and went to bed. The next day when he was connected to the internet, he found many more messages on his phone. Zhang Xiaoqi Lin Yuan you're on fire, your video has millions of views and is in the top 3 of the platform charts. Gu Renin, humph, don't reply to my messages, I'm ignoring you too. A junior high school classmate, crap, is the protagonist of that video that's spreading so much online not you? Lin Yuan only messaged Gu Renin back, the day after tomorrow I'm going to take first place in the singing competition, and then all I'm going to ask for is for you to call me daddy for a month straight. Gu Renin quickly replied, we don't know yet, if I come in first place, I want you to wear women's clothes to school every day. The two of them put words in each other's mouths, preparing to fight it out two days later. Two days passed by, not too fast at all. There were a lot of students watching the game, almost the whole school came, not wanting to miss this wonderful game. There were also a lot of people from outside the school, and due to the school's rules, the top of the railing outside the school was full of people. There were even media outlets following up and rubbing their noses in it and the judges have changed. It was all professional singers who did the scoring, and there was no shortage of extremely popular singers. What was originally a good campus singing competition suddenly turned into a concert in general. In fact it could be said that many people came because of Lin Yuan. A song called Aurora's Absolute Love had spread all over the internet, and many singers had followed the trend and covered the song, but they couldn't sing the same flavor as Lin Yuan. As the saying goes, a hero is a young man, and many people want to witness this young man, will he surprise them again? Today, three into one. The first, second and third place will be chosen. As the host mobilized the atmosphere of the scene, the first one to come on stage to sing was a folk school singer who was good at playing the guitar. It's a clean looking girl. She sang an original song called, Meeting a Friend in Another Country. The sad and nice voice rang from the guitar, and the scene quieted down. Dozens of miles away, his hometown. I've been smoothed out, by life and reality. When I meet my old friend in his hometown, is it, is it who can know with a few cups of wine? A song about meeting an old friend in a foreign land, sung with deep emotion and touching. This singer's strength is undeniable, and she does have the strength to compete for the first place. Moreover, this song was her original song, which hadn't been released yet, and it wasn't the least bit weaker than certain very hot ballads on the music platform. The other party had taken out their underpinnings, just wanting to make a splash at this moment. After the song. There was a tidal wave of applause and loud cries. The singer bowed to the stage and stepped down. The host came up to speak, giving the next singer who was about to go on stage time to prepare. Okay, so the next one to take the stage and sing is senior class 6 student Gu Renin, applause please. Accompanied by the warm applause, Gu Renin took the stage. The song she was going to sing today was very niche and difficult to sing, but it was one of her best. The music melody rang out. Gu Renin began to sing. Her voice was as clear and nice as a lark's, calming the mind and making people sway their bodies to the rhythm. Gu Renin's stage performance was good, with no accidents, as well as off-key. But just like that, compared to the song just now, the strengths and weaknesses were obvious. It wasn't original, it wasn't as emotional and touching as the song just now, and it lacked infectious energy. It wasn't that Gu Renin wasn't strong enough, but that her opponent was too strong. She finished singing and walked towards the stage. Student Lin Yuan, I'm counting on you next. Gu Renin wasn't sure she could win against the one singing the ballad so she pinned her hopes on Lin Yuan. Don't worry, I'm singing an original this time too, so I'm not afraid. Lin Yuan gave her a reassuring look. Not long after, the host called out Lin Yuan's name. He went on stage. What he was going to sing this time was also a ballad. The name was That Girl. A product of the system, it would be a masterpiece. The melody wasn't fast, the sound was sad, the words were beautiful and the meaning was deep. That girl, beautiful when she smiles. That girl, she dances among the flowers. That girl, she waits for me in the wind. The lyrics are easy to understand, singing about a girl. From these opening lines, it's clear how good the song is. Not only are the words good, but the song is also beautiful in its mood. The person who sings it is also a power singer in the power class. This campus singing competition today had a real-time live broadcast by the media. Since Lin Yuan's singing video was a big hit on the internet, 
there were very many people watching it, more than eight figures. It's so good, is this really sung by a high school student? It's like I'm foreseeing the moment of the rise of a certain big name singer in the future. After listening to this song, I suddenly want to go find her. Countless comments crossed over, giving the song high marks. Meanwhile, the big star Lin Xingyu was also watching this live broadcast. Her eyes were bright and she was amazed by the song that Lin Yuan was singing. It was really too good, was this really written by him and arranged the song himself, really the teenager was too strong. Then some of the young fresh meat she knew herself, threw off several streets. This song had more than three different parts, and everyone listened to it as if they were mesmerized, immersed in it, like a cup of sweet ancient tea, enough to make people savor it for a long time. Until Lin Yuan stepped off the stage, many people's eyes still fell on him, especially some of the girls, staring so hard that Gu Renin felt a sense of crisis fill her once again. They don't want to steal my Lin Yuan. Gu Renin swore her sovereignty and watched close to Lin Yuan, even holding his arm for certain girls with bad intentions. After Lin Yuan sang this song, she decided that from today onwards, she was Lin Yuan's little fangirl. Singing so beautifully, whoever wants to have a boyfriend like that, how dignified would that be? Lin Yuan smiled lightly and let many strange gazes fall on the two of them. Gu Renin really didn't look good when she was acting ugly, with freckles on both sides of her cheeks, a waxy face, and black-rimmed glasses, there were no boys in her class, or even in the whole school, who were willing to talk to her in the sense of talking to her. And Lin Yuan had recently become the center of attention in school, with good academic performance, tall and somewhat handsome, plus great singing in today's performance, he was destined to get a lot of attention from girls. But now, he was actually standing with a very ugly girl, and the other party was holding his arm. Many people sighed, what a flower in cow dung. This was enough to explain many things, Lin Yuan turned out to have a girlfriend. However everyone only noticed one thing, his girlfriend was ugly. Lin Yuan didn't care about other people's gazes at all, but Gu Renin felt bad in her heart. She had disgraced Lin Yuan. She made a decision in her heart to stop pretending to be ugly, to look her best and tell everyone, I'm Lin Yuan's deskmate and his girlfriend. This required great courage, but for Lin Yuan, Gu Renin was willing to do it. No more pretending to be ugly. With her most beautiful face, she could meet him and become his girlfriend. No need to face other people's strange eyes, other people's criticism, to be herself again. Gu Renin raised her head, looked at Lin Yuan's side face, and secretly made this decision. She thought that Lin Yuan would definitely be shocked and happy if he knew that he wasn't actually ugly, but instead very pretty. The students in the class, including those in the school, would probably be envious. Compared to Gu Renin's little thoughts, what more people were looking forward to was the result of today's competition. Who would be in first place? This multiple choice question was left to the judges to decide. Several judges exchanged pleasantries, each commenting on the trio's songs. The original song was undoubtedly a bonus track. Then came how well they sang, their skills and the difficulty of the songs they sang, all of which needed to be professionally analyzed. Lin Yuan was also nervous about what the outcome would be. If there was no first place, then the rewards and everything would be gone. But he trusted himself, as long as there were no shady practices. The eyes of the masses were sharp. A few judges exchanged opinions very carefully and finally gave their results. First of all, I want to evaluate the first contestant, singing an original song, and the words are good, and all other aspects are very good. And the second contestant, Mr. Gu Renin, still has strength in singing, but it's not an original song, with not much difference in strength, the former is better. The third contestant, Lin Yuan, is also an original song, the words and meaning are perfect, this is not a boast, but my heart, surprise me. The judges commented on the three people's songs one after another. The final rankings were handed over by the judges to the teachers, who announced them on stage. The results were as follows. Third place, Gu Renin. Second place, female folk singer. First place, Lin Yuan. Everyone felt that there was no problem with such a result. Even Gu Renin, including the ballad singer. Lin Yuan deserved the first place in the campus singing competition. Applause, cheers rang out as the three of them went up to the stage to receive their awards. First place was rewarded with a $10,000 scholarship. Lin Yuan didn't care about the $10,000, but the rewards. The two original songs could bring him more than this $10,000. God-level singing skills, God-level voice, this golden bowl, not much money can compare. There is also a King Hoi Hero's God-level operation technology, so that he can easily and without worry, to bring his sister on the king. The host then asked each of the three men to say a few words of praise, and then drew a close to the end of the next. The next step was the group photo-taking session. Lin Yuan had an inexplicable shadow over taking pictures and just wanted to hurry up and leave. After the end, the crowd gradually retreated, and Lin Yuan didn't wait to leave before a media reporter came over specifically to interview him. May I ask who you learned to sing from? Self-taught. Hello, Mr. 
Lin Yuan, Aurora's Absolute Love, and today's song that girl, is it really your original, when in what kind of mood did you write it? Indeed it is my original, not long ago I had a feeling and wrote it randomly. Gu Renin was by his side and was also interviewed. Excuse me, I seem to have just seen you holding the arm of the first classmate. What is the relationship between you? What is the relationship between the two of them? A reporter suddenly asked an unrelated question. Gu Renin couldn't answer. Lin Yuan, this idiot, hasn't confessed to me yet. There's no chance I'll agree to be his girlfriend. So how the hell was she supposed to answer? Although the school didn't allow students to fall in love, there were still quite a few people who secretly fell in love in private, and they didn't see the school do anything about it. Even if the teachers saw them holding hands, they wouldn't say anything, at most they would turn a blind eye. Seeing Gu Renin stammering and unable to answer, Lin Yuan patted her head and answered the question for her. I'm her boyfriend. At these words, the reporter's eyes flashed with surprise. It wasn't a rare thing for high school students to fall in love, but what was rare was how Lin Yuan saw her. The reporter was professional and didn't bother to ask this question. After saying a few irrelevant words, the interview ended. Throughout the whole thing, Gurin sounded like she was hit by a heavenly surprise and smiled sweetly. Her heart was warm, Lin Yuan finally recognized me as his girlfriend. She was happy like a four-year-old child. Hey, why did you say you're my boyfriend, I didn't even agree to be your girlfriend. Gu Renin pretended to be angry and mouthed the words, looking at Lin Yuan with a smile on her face. Don't forget the bet we made, if I win first place in the campus singing competition, you have to promise me a request. Lin Yuan said suddenly starting this matter. Gu Renin blushed, could it be that Lin Yuan's request is for me to be his girlfriend? She pretended that she wasn't clear about anything, pretending to be reserved, oh, you're talking about this, ah, uh, willing to gamble, I'll admit it, so what's your request, does it have anything to do with this? Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Is Lin Yuan going to confess to me, so nervous and excited? Gu Renin was incredibly nervous and expectant inside. No. Lin Yuan shook his head, my request is actually quite simple, it just so happens that I don't have any cell phone bill on my cell phone, why don't you charge me $20? Gu Renin was baffled. The expected confession session didn't appear. It would never have occurred to her that Lin Yuan's request would be this. He actually only needed himself to charge him $20 in phone bills. Her original mood of anticipation instantly disappeared without a trace. Gu Renin's eyes were filled with resentment as she turned her back, deciding to never ignore Lin Yuan again. Damn Lin Yuan, I'll never ignore you again, bad Lin Yuan stinky Lin Yuan, humph. If you don't coax me into changing my demands, I won't like you anymore. Lin Yuan was just having a little joke with her, but he didn't think that he was still angry. He leaned over and whispered in Gu Renin's ear, just kidding with you, how could I make such a simple request? Humph. Gu Renin turned her head away and continued to ignore him. Can I have the honor of having dinner together in the evening? This is my request, is it okay, Renin? Lin Yuan said ambiguously in her ear. Both of Gu Renin's ears, because she was too shy, were flushed red to the naked eye. Lin Yuan invited me to dinner? Could it be that he's going to confess to me at that time? I can't see that you're quite intentional, you know how to be romantic too. In that case, I'll reluctantly agree. Seeing as you're so sincere, this young lady agrees. She arrogantly agreed to Lin Yuan's invitation. Well, it's a deal. Lin Yuan laughed. He had heard Gu Renin's heart and thought that the water was already flowing, and he was still about to poke through the window paper. Tonight, he was going to confess to Gu Renin, tell her how much he liked her. He wanted to be by her side and feel the joys and sorrows together. After school, Lin Yuan deliberately went to the jewelry store and picked a pair of very nice earrings as a confession gift. Also went back and changed into clothes that looked clean and youthful bought flowers and booked a romantic candlelight dinner booth. This was his first time, preparing to confess to his favorite girl, inexperienced, but well prepared. When everything was ready, Lin Yuan sent a message to Renin, 8 o'clock I'll go over to your downstairs to pick you up. On the other side, Gu Renin was carefully selecting the right dress. He told Ling Wanqing to listen to the fact that Lin Yuan was going to invite her for dinner tonight, and decided that it wasn't to go to the appointment in an ugly disguise. She wasn't going to play ugly. Today, she was going to look beautiful and pretty for once. Go and meet him. Big deal, treat Ling Yuanqing to a month's worth of Michelin, and do so. Ling Yuanqing expressed her great support, running you look good in anything, if Ling Yuan saw you like this, he wouldn't be able to take his eyes off of you. Honestly, she was envious of Renin, having such a good deskmate. As for her, her deskmate not only drew demarcation lines on the table and wasn't allowed to cross the line, but also none of the classmates, none of them were willing to talk to him. In comparison, she was really too miserable. People compared to people, it was simply exasperating. Wan Qing, do you think I look good in this? Gu Renin was holding a white halter dress in her hand. Just this one, listen to me right. Ling Wan Qing gave her advice. Gu Renin also felt that this one looked good, so she wore this one to her date tonight. 
At this time, the cell phone she placed on the table rang. The sound was unique, it was a special tone that she had set up just for Lin Yuan. Gu Renin hurriedly picked up her phone to read the message. Lin Yuan said he's coming over to pick me up. Gu Renin said, but I want to surprise him, so I definitely can't let him pick me up. She immediately replied back, no need, just tell me a location, I'll just take a taxi there myself when the time comes. That's good, keep yourself safe. Lin Yuan replied. It was late and the sky outside was already getting dark. Gu Renin began to put on her own makeup. The makeup steps were very complicated and for boys, it was technical work. First you needed to wash your face, then apply toner, cream, isolation, foundation, setting powder, draw eyebrows and eyeshadow and blush, as well as lipstick and eyelashes to your face. The process takes a long time, the fastest is 10 minutes, the slowest one hour to start. For the sake of beauty, many girls didn't mind wearing makeup for a long time. Gu Renin herself was very pretty, her skin was fair and flawless, even if she went out on the street with a plain face, she was still a beautiful sight to behold. But she still wore light makeup today. After painting, she was very beautiful in the mirror, with curved eyebrows and eyes, red lips and white teeth, her cheeks were white and glossy, even with light makeup, she couldn't hide her natural beauty. This stunningly beautiful face paired with the white halter dress made her seem as if she was out of place in the world, with a flavor that did not eat fireworks. There was no worldly pyrotechnics, like a green lotus plane, pure and untainted, and her eyes were like jewels, clean and clear and glowing. Gu Renin not only has a good-looking face, even her body is well-maintained, even Ling Wancheng is envious. Not only did she have a waistline, there was no excess flab, and what was convex was convex and what was curved was curved. With this figure, and then put on tight jeans and waistless tops, the turnover rate is very high. But Gu Renin's character is very conservative, and will not wear so eye-catching clothes on the street. But with her looks, it was hard not to be eye-catching. Gu Renin tied a simple ponytail and fixed her hair with a floral hairpin, adding a bit more cuteness and youthfulness, then she was ready to go out. Renin, I'm going too. Ling Wanqing suddenly wanted to follow along and spectate her good girlfriend's date. What are you going for? It's not like you're on a date, stay home properly, I don't want a light bulb next to me. Gu Renin rejected her. Don't, I promise not to disturb you guys. Ling Wanqing repeatedly guaranteed that she would go this time in an ugly disguise, watch from afar, and never add to the chaos. No way. Gu Renin said nothing. This was her date with Lin Yuan. The process might have inappropriate images for children. What if Lin Yuan wanted to kiss herself? For Ling Wanqing to see, how ashamed she would have to be. Well, if you don't go, you don't go. Ling Wanqing's eyes were full of disappointment. In her heart, she was pleased, but she knew the location where Renin was going to go on her date, so she would sneak over there herself. At that time, even if you are discovered, can you still kick me out? Gu Renin finished dressing up carefully, called an online car, and went to the location Lin Yuan said. Shortly afterwards, Ling Wanqing quietly came downstairs and she also called a car. As she got closer to her destination, Gu Renin clenched her fists, her palms sweating, very nervous and expectant. She sent a message to Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan, I'm going to give you a heavenly surprise later. She could already imagine Lin Yuan's dumbfounded look when he saw her. At the thought of this, Gu Renin revealed a smile, unable to hide her fondness for him in her eyes. What surprise? Lin Yuan had arrived at the place long ago, and he had a surprise for her as well. You'll know when I arrive, don't be too surprised. Gu Renin replied. I'm looking forward to it. Lin Yuan said, actually guessing what the surprise might be. Ten minutes later, the internet car stopped in front of a very famous restaurant. Gu Renin got out of the car, walking into the restaurant. Gu Renin had just turned 18 not long ago. She was at the best age of youth, brimming with youthful vigor. As soon as she walked into the restaurant, many people noticed her. How could there be such a beautiful girl, a man would have to resist looking at her a few more times. Others were enjoying a candlelight dinner with their girlfriends and couldn't help but look a few more times, but the girlfriends immediately threw off their faces and got up angrily and left. The restaurant is softly lit, not too bright, like an evening twilight day. There were three pairs of men and women sitting face to face, exchanging feelings. Gu Renin raised her eyes in the restaurant, looking for Lin Yuan's figure. Then, she saw the familiar figure at a farther distance and didn't immediately go over. So nervous, I'm going to see him soon. Gu Renin took a deep breath and cheered herself up. She tried to calm herself and smiled sweetly, just like a flower, beautiful, putting her best foot forward and showing him. Then, she walked towards him. Gu Renin left in front of her, and Ling Wanqing followed closely into the restaurant, not wanting to miss the exciting part of her best friend being confessed to. I'm with the girl in front. Explaining to the restaurant staff, Ling Wanqing quietly followed by herself and took a seat a few tables away, ready to watch the show. Gu Renin stopped at a table in the corner of the restaurant and looked at him with a smiling face. In fact, the moment Gu Renin entered the restaurant, Ling Yuan had already known. He only glanced at her before withdrawing his gaze. 
she was so beautiful today, but right now, he shouldn't know that she was actually pretending to be ugly, or else he would have to wear a disguise, so pretending to be unrecognizable was the most reasonable reaction. Won't you invite me to sit down? Gu Rinin laughed. Lin Yuan made himself look up expressionlessly, pretending to be bewildered, I'm sorry, you might have recognized the wrong person. To be honest, the difference between Gu Rinin's ugly disguise and her real appearance was so great that it was like two people. That was why Lin Yuan didn't dare to recognize her at a glance, to pretend, he had to pretend to be flawless. Ah, Lin Yuan, surprise, surprise. Gu Rinin laughed heartily, Lin Yuan's reaction amused her. It was amazing that he hadn't recognized her. This time Lin Yuan put on a surprised expression, you recognize me? Gu Rinin tried to stifle her laughter, she couldn't ruin the makeup she had carefully dressed up tonight, she had to be dignified and elegant. Doesn't my voice sound familiar to you? Lin Yuan frowned in a thoughtful manner, and then his eyes had doubts that gradually turned into shock, an expression of disbelief. You. You are. He was tired of pretending, trying to match the reaction he was supposed to have. She thought he didn't know. He actually knew. This is what I said, to give you a heavenly surprise, how about it, isn't it a heavenly surprise, he he he. Gu Renin sat down opposite Lin Yuan, the smile on her face never disappearing. Lin Yuan's reaction satisfied her. I came to see you in my most beautiful appearance, is it not very happy and exciting? The me you like isn't actually ugly, but rather beautiful. Does it feel like you've picked up a treasure? Not far away, Ling Wanqing recorded the process. That table mate of Renin saw Renin's real appearance, that reaction expression is too funny, I'm going to record it, and in the future, if the two of them make it to the marriage hall, I'll send this clip to him. I'm going to record it, and if they get married in the future, I'll send this to him to watch. She was very much looking forward to what would happen next. Ling Wanqing suddenly thought, when the time came for her to stop playing ugly and appear in front of her classmates in her most beautiful form, how would they react? It must be very interesting. Lin Yuan was in a state where he had learned that Renin had actually been playing ugly and that the current version of her was her truest appearance. So he reacted with shock, disbelief, and astonishment. Isn't that shocking, ha, huh? your current appearance is too funny. Gu Renin waved her palm in front of Lin Yuan's eyes, making him look at himself. Lin Yuan couldn't even speak properly, Renin, what's going on here, why are you? Silly. Gu Renin rested her hands on her cheeks and looked at him hee hee, actually, from the first day of school, I've been playing ugly, this is what I really look like, good looking, right? On the contrary, Lin Yuan did not show a very surprised and excited expression after learning that the original Renin was very pretty. In fact, before this, Lin Yuan had long thought about how to face the current Gu Renin. If he were an ordinary person, he would have been surprised and excited. It turned out that his girlfriend wasn't ugly, but rather very beautiful, just like finding a treasure. The disadvantages were also obvious. It might be easy to spoil her, making her think that if she has such a beautiful girlfriend, she should be pampered, coaxed when she's angry, and hand-fed when she's hungry. Lin Yuan didn't want such a Gu Renin. The only way to be really good to her was to let her realize where she was wrong and learn to admit it. So, since the beginning, you've been lying to me, why are you doing this, is it because you think it's funny? Lin Yuan said expressionlessly. Gu Renin didn't realize the seriousness of the matter in the slightest, I'm sorry la, it's not like I did it on purpose. It's because my best friend and I were playing ugly to make a bet, but it's also because of that that I realized that you genuinely like me, but it's also kind of funny. Host's current situation detected, please begin your choice. A voice appeared in Ling Yuan's head. After many days, the system appeared again. Choice 1, accept Gu Renin's current true appearance and confess to her, rewarded with a pair of sapphire earrings and 10 million dollars in relationship funds. Choice 2, not accepting Gu Renin's current appearance and not forgiving her apology within 5 days, rewarding future news events x10 and 10% of Ting Fei's shares. There are only two choices this time. Either accept Gu Renin as she is now, or not. The reward for choosing the first one, a pair of sapphire earrings, which were probably worth just a few hundred thousand dollars, as well as 10 million dollars in relationship funds. The second choice reward was even more tantalizing. 10 future news events, Ting Fei shares. The future news events had brought Lin Yuan $300,000, as well as meeting the superstar Lin Qingyu. The 10% Ting Fei shares were even more impressive. This was a well-known group of companies in China, monopolizing most of the business market. It was a leading company. With only 1% of its shares, as for how much money there was, it would have to be counted in billions. Although the rewards were good, at the same time there was a drawback, there was a great risk of breaking the relationship with Gu Renin. But Lin Yuan had thought about doing this long before the system came up with the choice, and had already prepared himself mentally for the worst. Seeing that Lin Yuan was silent, Gu Renin guessed if he hadn't recovered from the shock. If she hadn't played ugly, she wouldn't have met such a good table mate. Willing to share a table with herself, going to great lengths to tutor her in her studies, taking her to concerts, 
and not minding when she dressed up as a clown. After getting along these days, Gu Renin was clear that she liked Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan, why aren't you reacting? Are you stupid? Gu Renin always felt something was wrong when she saw Lin Yuan looking at himself expressionlessly, as if something bad was about to happen. What I like is that lively and lovely Gu Renin with a very simple mind. Not the Gu Renin who looks unattainable, plays me like a dog, tries me over and over again, and thinks she's funny. Lin Yuan slowly got up, his eyes cold, looking straight at Gu Renin. I'm sorry, you are indeed beautiful, but I can't accept the current you. Please give me back the Renin I love. Saying this, Lin Yuan was so emotional that his eyes turned red. He thought to himself that the acting skills of those movie and television fresh meat were nothing more than that. In fact, with his character, if he hadn't known that Gu Renin was pretending to be ugly since the beginning. Then at this moment, with his character, he would indeed do so. He would even go even further. Because Lin Yuan hated deception. It was as if his biological father, whom he had never met, had deceived his mother. That was why he had never cheated others, nor did he want others to cheat him. Gu Renin's pretty face instantly turned white. Lin Yuan's current appearance felt strange to her. She was terrified. Originally, she had thought that Lin Yuan would be happy after seeing his true appearance, but it didn't turn out the way she had imagined. Instead, Lin Yuan was angry, and Gu Renin had never seen such an angry Lin Yuan before. That's it. Lin Yuan left the sentence and then directly left very decisively. Gu Renin stayed where she was. Tears were flowing uncontrollably at this moment. Lin Yuan don't go, I'm wrong, I'm really wrong, don't go, okay? Gu Renin was crying so hard and heartbreakingly, she was very poignant at this moment. She chased after Lin Yuan in the direction he left. She was scared, Lin Yuan's sentence just like that was like a knife that stabbed hard into her heart. It was painful, so painful that it seemed to be suffocating. Not far away, Ling Wanqing, who was originally watching the fun, was stunned. It is not clear what happened. Originally good two people, how suddenly they quarreled, Ling Yuan seemed to say something and left, and their good girlfriend cried so sadly. Renin, what happened? Ling Wanqing hurried up to pull Gu Renin, but Gu Renin didn't even look at her, shook off Ling Wanqing's hand and ran out of the restaurant crying. Only Ling Wanqing was left alone to mess up in place. Outside the restaurant, Lin Yuan took a deep breath and resisted the urge to go back. He knew that what he did was cruel. Think of it as her punishment for testing herself so many times. Lin Yuan believed that Renin wouldn't be so fragile that she wouldn't be able to think straight and do something irrational after a setback. Nor was he worried about the two of them being strangers because of this. Between lovers, there would always be conflicts that would always unravel. Lin Yuan, Gu Renin chased after her from the restaurant. Lin Yuan didn't look back at her. Gu Renin cried all the way and ran over, hugging Lin Yuan from behind, Lin Yuan I'm sorry, I was wrong, don't go okay? Lin Yuan was unmoved and coldly said, please let go, I'm going back. I'm not. Gu Renin desperately shook her head, afraid that if she let go, Lin Yuan would leave her. At this moment, there were quite a few pedestrians passing by nearby who saw the scene and stopped to watch. They saw that a very pretty girl was crying out, hugging the boy, crying and begging him not to leave. That girl is so pretty actually begging the boy not to leave her, the boy is also too heartless, he doesn't know how to cherish at all, if it were me, I would have forgiven the girl, it's too late to have such a beautiful girlfriend to spoil her, how can I let her cry, young people nowadays nah, not the slightest bit aware of how rare beautiful girls are in this era, the passersby pointed and thought that the boys didn't know how to cherish them, and that if they missed out on this girl, they would definitely regret it later, this was the thinking of ordinary people, Lin Yuan was different from them, Ling Wanqing, who had chased him out of the restaurant, witnessed this scene and hurriedly chided the onlookers, what's there to see, all hurry up and disperse. She rushed over and forced Gu Renin, who was hugging Lin Yuan tightly, to separate. If this got out, it would be bad for Renin's reputation. If it was shown to the Gu family, something big would happen. Lin Yuan finally hardened his heart and left without looking back. Gu Renin looked at Lin Yuan's back as he left, tears blurring his vision. The entire person was heartbroken. Wan Qing Gu Renin's eyes were red as she looked up at Ling Wanqing, did I do something wrong for Lin Yuan to be so angry with me? Ling Wanqing shook her head and comforted her, Renin, don't cry, it's him who doesn't know how to cherish you, he will definitely regret coming back for you. Gu Renin just cried. Lost in thought, she went back as if she had lost her soul. Ling Wanqing asked her what had happened. He said he doesn't like the current me, only the old me, and asked me to return the old me to him. Wanqing, actually Lin Yuan is also very sad, I can tell that I'm the one who hurt him. Gu Renin cried again as she spoke. Renin, you can't think like that. Ling Wanqing said, doesn't this show that Lin Yuan truly likes you? So what, he won't even like me anymore in the future. Gu Renin was miserable and depressed. She didn't even know how to face Lin Yuan when she got to class tomorrow. Ling Wanqing gave her an idea, like this, you apologize to him on your phone first, explain the reason, and see what he says back. 
Gu Renin did as she was told, but soon came over in tears, he didn't get back to me. Ling Wanqing said, maybe he didn't see it. Gu Renin shook her head, no way, in the past, when I sent him messages, he returned them in seconds. Then call him. Gu Renin called Lin Yuan, but after ringing for a long time, no one answered. It was over. Messages aren't returned, calls aren't answered, it's over. Gu Renin thought to herself. Renin, don't be so anxious, you're so pretty, are you still afraid that you won't be able to find a better qualified boyfriend? Ling Wanqing tried to ease Gu Renin's anxiety, Lin Yuan will definitely regret it when he goes back and then come back to you to make up, don't think too much. Gu Renin shook her head. She truly liked Lin Yuan, if anyone would regret it, Gu Renin felt that the one who would regret it would be herself. Wanqing, only you can help me, how do I get Lin Yuan to accept me? Ling Wanqing told her to wait a bit, she herself went to seek help from her friends who had experience in relationships and knew each other, and sent them a group message. Exchange actions for the other party's forgiveness, you can make him breakfast every day and fold lots of love. Shit, when is it a girl's turn to apologize to her boyfriend, ignore him, big deal, break up. You can pretend to be sick, and then let him know, the boys will definitely soften their hearts back to the heart. Ling Wanqing's close friends had all sorts of tips, all sorts of ways. In the end, she still told Gu Renin about the method she found most useful. Renin, didn't you learn how to make pastries on video, just make pastries for Ling Yuan every day, I believe he'll be impressed by your apologetic attitude. And ah, uh, see what Ling Yuan likes, you can start from there. Gu Renin nodded her head and said, just do what you said, I'm going to go by the ingredients to make the pastries. Saying that, she immediately went downstairs and went to the nearby supermarket to buy the materials and went back and started making them. Ling Wanqing wanted to help, but was refused. I want to make it myself in order to show the sincerity of my apology. Gu Renin insisted. So Ling Wanqing had to watch from the side. Seriously, she had never seen Renin look so serious. It seemed like, this was the first time Renin had made food for a boy. It seemed like she really liked that Lin Yuan. Otherwise, she wouldn't have done this. Who was Gu Renin? The Gu family's little princess, beautiful, with a distinguished family background, a proper rich white beauty, silly white sweet, whoever became her boyfriend would simply be burning incense in their ancestors' graves. But now, for a boy, in order to obtain the other party's forgiveness, she busied herself to make pastries for the boy, hoping to be forgiven. If Ren Yin's suitors knew about this, especially that fervent suitor, they would probably drop their jaws in shock and have the heart to kill Lin Yuan. The whole process of making the pastries was very long, requiring the dough to be made and allowed to ferment. In order to rush to make them in the morning and take them to school, Gu Renin was busy until the wee hours of the morning with the final step of baking. In the end, a dozen or so delicate pastries were made. Gu Renin used a box to carefully store the pastries, finally breathing a sigh of relief. After doing so, she yawned and looked at the time, it was already past two in the morning. If she didn't go to bed, she was afraid that she wouldn't be able to get up tomorrow. Early the next morning, Gu Renin's mental state was not very good, she silently washed up and carried the pastries to school. She was still in her original ugly costume. Because Lin Yuan said he liked himself like this. When she arrived at school, Gu Renin walked into her class, the words of apology she had prepared in her heart were vaguely lost when she saw the empty space next to her seat. She went back to her seat and sat down, waiting for Lin Yuan to come to class. Not long after, Lin Yuan came, walked into the classroom expressionless, and sat down next to Gu Renin. Then he picked up a book and read it to himself, completely ignoring Gu Renin beside him. Gu Renin bit her lip and took the pastry out putting it in front of Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan, this is the pastry I personally made for you last night, try it to see how it tastes. Lin Yuan acted as if he was immersed in the world of the book and didn't hear it. In reality, he had been keeping an eye on Gu Renin and was heartbroken to see that she was in a haggard state today, with sleepiness written all over her eyes. I'm sorry Lin Yuan, I was wrong, forgive me, okay? Gu Renin gently tugged on Lin Yuan's sleeve and carefully said, hoping to hear that one sentence from Lin Yuan that he forgave you, but there wasn't. Lin Yuan turned his head to look at her, I don't like eating pastries, you take it away. Gu Renin was very sad, her tears indisputably. Spinning. She silently dried her tears and lowered her head to sob softly. Lin Yuan's heart was about to break. In his heart, it seemed like one of his selves was shouting, forgive her, can you bear to watch her be sad, but there is a second self in the sneer, so simple to forgive her? Ha 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 ha. Today, there were a lot of students who realized that the two were very off. In the past, after class, Lin Yuan and Gu Renin would have talked and laughed, but today they actually didn't say a word. Every time they ate at noon, the two would go to the cafeteria together, but not today, only Lin Yuan went to the cafeteria by himself. And Gu Renin didn't go, she stayed in the classroom by herself and didn't eat anything. Must have broken up, I've long guessed that the two of them would split up soon, I was right. Gu Renin is so ugly, how could Lin Yuan look at her, it's true that they still broke up. Many students were talking. 
In the afternoon class, Gurunin, who has always listened carefully, was drowsy and was even criticized by the teacher by name. Lin Yuan looked in his eyes and heard in his heart, wanting to not just give up and forgive her. No matter how good the system rewards were, he felt that they were not as important as Renin. But forgiveness is not something that can be forgiven with a single sentence, it has to be done slowly. In the afternoon, after school, Gu Renin went back in a state of despondency, the pastries in her hand not missing. Lin Yuan didn't accept the pastries she made. But Gu Renin wasn't discouraged, she would have been surprised if Lin Yuan just forgave himself. Since Lin Yuan said he didn't like pastries, he would change to other food. Gu Renin also made kanji. She woke up at 5 o'clock and went to the kitchen to prepare the kanji. A big bowl full of 5 grain kanji was packed into a thermos box. Gu Renin brought the kanji to school. Today Lin Yuan still didn't come over so early, she put the kanji on Lin Yuan's desk and then wrote a note and put it on top. Lin Yuan, forgive me, okay. On her own, she left the classroom and waited outside until class was about to start before returning. Lin Yuan was already in his seat. But the kanji that had been placed on the table, moved its position and was on her own table. The note on it was gone. The kanji was also still full, radiating the last of its residual warmth. Gu Renin returned to her seat and sat down, not waiting to speak, she heard Lin Yuan say, no need to bring me anything else, I don't like kanji, thanks. Gu Renin forced a smile, it's okay, I can also make cakes, and buns, if you don't like any of them, you can also tell me what you like to eat, I can go and learn. She didn't want to lose Lin Yuan. After all, she had been in the wrong and had cheated him. As long as Lin Yuan could forgive himself, he would be willing even if he made breakfast for him every day. Lin Yuan please forgive me, I really like you and don't want to lose you. You said you like the current me, then I'll meet you with my current appearance. If you ignore me for a day, I'll make you breakfast every day until you forgive me. Gu Renin silently made up her mind. She listened to Lin Yuan say to himself, My mom was pregnant with me when my biological father abandoned her, my mom trusted him so much while he cheated my mom over and over again. My mom had a hard time after giving birth to me, so I hate being deceived. Lin Yuan finally looked at Gu Renin. Gu Renin lowered her head and said weakly, I'm sorry, I didn't mean for this to happen. You can take the porridge back, Lin Yuan said. Gu Renin's face was pale, the corners of her mouth were bitter, and her eyes were darkening. At this time, she heard Lin Yuan suddenly say, yesterday's pastries were quite beautifully made, I just don't know if they're good to eat. Gu Renin raised her head suddenly, her godless eyes blossoming with luster. The pastries I made are delicious, she hurriedly said. Really? Aha, uh -huh, really, I'll bring them over tomorrow for you to try. So Lin Yuan, have you forgiven me, are you not mad at me anymore? Gu Renin was careful, surreptitiously gauging Lin Yuan's reaction. Lin Yuan shook his head, when did I forgive you? I'm sorry, I was wrong. Give me a chance to make it up to you, okay? Make it up to me how? I can make delicious food for you with my own hands every day, I can do a lot of things for you, as long as you say it, I promise you everything. Gu Renin patted her chest and promised. I won't be emboldened by your guilt and make you do things you don't want to sit through. Lin Yuan slowly said, for the time being, it'll be like this, depending on how sincere you are in apologizing, let's go to class first. Aha! Uh -huh. During the whole day of class after that, although the two didn't talk and laugh as usual, they did at least say a few words. Gu Renin felt that this was already good enough. There was no expectation that Lin Yuan would be able to forgive herself immediately. Through just a few words, she had learned what a miserable childhood this deskmate of hers had had. Living with his mother from a young age, learning to stand on his own two feet, other people's children were all happy and joyful at that age, while he was already helping out around the house, washing dishes, mopping floors and cooking, sharing the pressure for his mother. Gu Renin instantly felt ashamed of what she had done. There was even more guilt towards Lin Yuan. She would never cheat on him again. After school, Gu Renin went to the supermarket to buy the ingredients to make pastries. Although the pastries she made the day before were still edible, she insisted on making them again. It appeared that her apology was sincere. Ling Wanqing silently watched her best friend work around for the past two days, her entire body was much more haggard, and she was very intolerant. Renin, you really like Lin Yuan that much and are willing to do so much for him, with your condition, you can actually find a better one. Gu Renin didn't even think about it and said, I want Lin Yuan, no one else is better. Why? Ling Wanqing was puzzled. Because I like him. These words left Ling Wanqing speechless, so she could only say no more. When it was dark outside, the pastries were finally baked. Gu Renin revealed a smile, hoping that tomorrow, Lin Yuan would like, the pastry she had made with her own hands. After less than seven hours of sleep, Gu Renin woke up early and took the pastries to school. She went to her class and waited for Lin Yuan to arrive. Ten minutes later, Lin Yuan walked into the class and sat in his seat. Lin Yuan, a pastry for you, try it. She handed the pastry to Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan took the pastry, picked up a piece and put it in his mouth. 
Gu Renin looked on with eyes full of anticipation, waiting for his comment. Not bad. Lin Yuan nodded and ate a few more pastries in a row. It was indeed delicious, sweet but not greasy, no worse than the ones from the dessert stores outside. Gu Renin smiled happily, her face that was pale and somewhat white due to fatigue had more redness. It was as if all the hard work of these days had paid off. There's no need to make me food tomorrow, have a good rest. Lin Yuan took everything in and spoke. It's fine, I'm not weak to this extent, Gu Renin said. Behave. Lin Yuan gazed at her. Gu Renin shrunk her neck and said weakly, okay. She knew that Lin Yuan wasn't being mean to her, but was concerned about herself. Instead, her heart was sweet. After she went back, although Gu Renin didn't make any more food, she still stayed up late and folded many love notes. For each love note, she wrote what she wanted to say to Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan, I'm so happy to have met you. I'll be good, not make you angry, and be a good girlfriend that everyone envies. The sky is green waiting for the smoky rain while I'm waiting for you, don't be angry, Lin Yuan. Ling Wanxing had wanted to help fold the love as well, but was once again decisively rejected by Gu Renin. It's okay, Lin Yuan can't see it anyway, you said you folded all of them, it's not like he knows. Ling Wanxing said bitterly. No way. Gu Renin shook her head, I won't cheat Lin Yuan anymore, so I'm going to fold it myself. Besides, on top of each note, there were words she said to Lin Yuan, if Lin Wanxing saw them, wouldn't she be so ashamed that she would find a crack to burrow into? Fine, fine, I don't care about you. Ling Wanxing finished her sentence and went to sleep. Unconsciously, the time came to one o'clock. Gu Renin folded hundreds of love notes before receiving them into a box. She yawned before going back to her room to rest. In the morning reading class the next day, Lin Yuan was speechless for a long time when he saw Gu Renin take out a box full of love notes. Lin Yuan, these are love notes that I folded myself, on behalf of my apologies to you, forgive me. Gu Renin's eyes were expectant. No way. Lin Yuan was really angry this time. Gu Renin hadn't listened to herself properly and rested, instead she had folded so many love notes, and looking at her red eyes, she must have stayed up all night again. Why don't you take good care of your body, just for his word of forgiveness, you destroy yourself like this. Gu Renin lowered her head, it was impossible to say that she wasn't lost. She just wanted Lin Yuan's forgiveness. I told you to get some rest, why did you disobey me and stay up all night again, right? Lin Yuan looked at her and said angrily. Gu Renin didn't dare to speak. She had indeed stayed up all night, not resting properly, and her mental state wasn't very good, her head was groggy. I'll never forgive you if you keep this up, go back after school and get a good night's sleep, that's the best way to apologize to me. Aha! Uh -huh. Gu Renin nodded her head obediently, then these love notes. Take them back. Oh, Gu Renin had no choice but to take away the box containing the love notes. But she wasn't half unhappy, instead, she knew that Lin Yuan was caring about herself to be this angry with her. It was so nice. The corners of her mouth couldn't help but curl up slightly. Lin Yuan saw it and also revealed a faint smile. When Gu Renin saw it with her sharp eyes, she instantly put away her smile and was expressionless. Gu Renin, however, was in a good mood because of this, Lin Yuan, he smiled, surely he's not so angry with me. She was snickering, he looked at her and smiled back. The flowers and trees are like you and me, all facing the sun. Youth, as well as a sweet summer love, is always so desirable. After returning at noon, Gu Renin obediently went to bed. She lay on the bed and fell asleep without realizing it. Once asleep, she forgot about time. After noon. But after waiting for a while, there was no reply. After class, he called. Gu Renin heard the phone ring and finally answered it. On the other end of the phone, Gu Renin's voice was small, and she could hear that she seemed weak. Why didn't you come to class? Are you sick? Lin Yuan opened his mouth and inquired. I overslept, it's fine, big deal, I was criticized by the teacher, I'm sorry Lin Yuan, I won't go to the afternoon class. Gu Renin was lying on the bed, her body was burning and her lips were so white that there wasn't a trace of blood. Her head was dizzy, and her whole body felt very uncomfortable, she couldn't even use the strength to get up and go to school. She was sick, didn't want him to know, afraid he would worry about himself. Well, I know. Lin Yuan directly hung up the phone, then ignoring the ringing of the class bell, he walked quickly in the direction of the school. What are you going out for when class is in session? The school security guard stopped him and inquired. One of my classmates is sick, I'm going to see her. Lin Yuan explained. That won't work either, it's the same if you go after school. The school security guard refused to let him out. Do you know which class I'm in? Lin Yuan suddenly asked him. No idea. The security guard gave him a look. With so many students coming in and out of the school in a day, he knew every single one of them anywhere. That's good. Lin Yuan finished his sentence, and when the security guard didn't react, he flipped over the electric retractable gate and ran away without looking back. Hold the grass. The big brother of the security guard looked completely dumbfounded. The call with Lin Yuan ended, and Gu Renin closed her eyes. 
There were tears sliding down from the corners of her eyes. She felt helpless. In the past, when she was sick, her parents would be around to care and Ling Wanqing would take her to the doctor. But now she was alone, with no one to turn to, and she did everything on her own. Bang bang bang. Not long after, in a daze, Gu Renin seemed to hear someone outside knocking on the door. Renin, are you there? Open the door. Who was it? Such a familiar voice. Gu Renin thought she was dreaming, that someone was calling out to her in her dream. Gu Renin, it's Lin Yuan, come back to me when you hear me. It was Lin Yuan's voice. Gu Renin instantly woke up. Struggling to get up from the bed, she got off the ground and just walked out not more than a few steps before she almost fell, holding onto the wall and barely keeping herself from collapsing. Gu Renin walked with difficulty to the door and opened it. Then she saw Lin Yuan looking at her with an anxious face. She barely managed to smile and then nothing. Ren In. Lin Yuan held Gu Renin, who was about to collapse, and touched her forehead. It was so hot, a fever. Why are you so stupid? You didn't even tell me when you had a fever. He put Gu Renin on his back and ran all the way to the hospital without stopping. Lin Yuan stopped a private car on the road and begged the driver to take him to the hospital. The driver let the two get in without saying a word, and quickly sent them to the hospital. Lin Yuan wanted to leave his contact information so he could repay him later, but the big brother driver refused. No need to repay me. Taking your girlfriend to the doctor is the most important thing. In the future, if you meet someone who needs help like you, being able to do what you can to help is the best way to repay me. The big brother driver finished speaking and left. Lin Yuan silently wrote down his license plate number and took Renin to the doctor. In reality, there was no need for a checkup at all. Gu Renin just had a fever. Lin Yuan registered, all kinds of processes down, running around, forehead gradually sweating. In the hospital room, Gu Renin was dangling medicine and fell into a deep sleep. The fever had already subsided, and she was no longer in any danger. Lin Yuan breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately he had come in time and nothing serious had happened. If he had let Gu Renin's fever continue, he would have been even more serious. A high fever was not something that could be gotten over just by simmering. It could damage the five organs, as well as the head, so medical attention had to be sought immediately. The doctor said that she had to stay here for the night, and when the patient woke up, she would see if she could be discharged based on her state. Lin Yuan agreed without hesitation. But after this mess, he still had to deal with a lot of things. First, he explained the reason to his homeroom teacher in his cell phone and took a leave of absence. Next was to contact that roommate of Ren Yin's, Ling Wancheng. Once she realized that Ren Yin hadn't returned, she would definitely be anxious, and it was better to inform her in advance. Lin Yuan took Gu Ren Yin's cell phone, and when he tried to open it, he realized that he actually needed a password to unlock it. He had no choice but to go out and post a note at the door of Renin's place, explaining the situation as well as leaving his contact information. Immediately after that, he rushed back to the hospital to take care of Renin. Looking at her lying on the ward, Lin Yuan blamed himself in his heart. Silly girl, where is your fault? The fault is mine. He thought, wait for her to wake up, then forgive her well. Lin Yuan bought a towel, soaked it and put it on Gu Renin's face to help reduce the fever. But soon, when it was time to change the towel again, he realized that the makeup on her forehead was splattered. As we all know, sleeping with makeup on is very bad for the skin, so Lin Yuan borrowed a bottle of makeup remover oil from the nurse, soaked the towel, and carefully removed her makeup. Not long after, Gu Renin returned to her original appearance. Her face was crystal clear, so tender that it was elastic when gently pressed, and full of collagen. She also looked good when she slept. Lin Yuan watched her. Not long after, the nurse came over to change the bottles, and seeing that the person in the hospital bed seemed to have changed, she hurriedly asked, Who is this, where is the patient from earlier? Lin Yuan explained in a whisper, She's the patient from earlier, I removed her makeup. The nurse lady froze for a few seconds and silently changed the medicine. Such a good looking girl, actually dressed up so ugly, is it because her makeup skills are not good, or does she have this special quirk? Lin Yuan sat down next to Gu Renin and just looked at her. Time passed unconsciously, and a burst of music sounded from Gu Renin's cell phone. Lin Yuan picked up his cell phone and saw that it was a call from a phone contact with the note hot woman. A hot woman? Could it be Rin Yin's best friend? Lin Yuan thought that Ken might be, so he decided to pick up the phone. Renin, come back this weekend. A middle-aged woman's voice came out of the phone. It wasn't her? Lin Yuan didn't know how to respond, but in the end, he stiffly replied. Hello, Renin she's asleep, it's not convenient to answer the phone to ask. The opposite side was silent for a few seconds. A voice of suppressed rage came out, word for word, what have you done with my daughter? Lin Yuan froze, it turned out to be Rin Yin's mother, he knew that the other party must have misunderstood and hurriedly explained. Auntie don't misunderstand, it's like this. Rin Yin was hospitalized with a high fever, I'm her deskmate, I'm specialized in taking care of her. After explaining, the other party's tone was obviously better. Has my daughter's fever gone down? 
In which hospital? Lin Yuan told her the address of the hospital, including the location of the ward. Ran Yin's mother hung up the phone, presumably coming over this way. He suddenly felt nervous, this was about to meet the parents? He didn't know what kind of person Ran Yin's mother would be, but from the tone of the phone call just now, she was probably a strong woman. Half an hour later, someone called Lin Yuan, it was an unfamiliar number. He picked up the phone and Ling Wanching's voice came out anxiously, Ran Yin has a fever? How is she now? She's already lost her fever and is sleeping soundly. Lin Yuan said. I'll come over now. Ling Wanching hung up the phone after saying that. In comparison, Lin Yuan was not nervous when he learned that Ren Yin's best friend was coming over. Ling Wanxing was the closest and was the first to rush over, seeing Ren Yin lying on the ward, her worry showed. Lin Yuan reminded her not to wake up Ren Yin. Go out and talk. Ling Wanxing glanced at him and walked out. Lin Yuan slowly closed the door. Outside, Ling Wanxing directly chopped her head off. Ren Yin has done so much for you, staying up all night to make you pastries, and making kanji, folding her love, it hurts me to watch from the side and she still won't let me help, saying that she doesn't want to cheat you. Can you act like a man, can you be so heartless, let a girl pay so much for you? Lin Yuan listened silently and didn't interrupt her. When she finished, this is when he spoke, I will be responsible for her. He didn't explain too much, deeming it unnecessary. Lin Wanqing originally had many words that she wanted to curse, but they were all blocked in her throat. You will be responsible for her? Why did this sentence sound and feel strange? In the end, the two of them were separated by a door, leaning against the wall, and no one spoke. A few moments later, accompanied by a loud sound of high-heeled shoes, trampling on the floor, rang out in the corridor. Ling Wanqing and Lin Yuan coincidentally, turned their heads to look. They saw a woman wearing a black professional outfit, with her hair coiled up high, competent and mature in temperament, approaching the area with quick steps. Ling Wanqing's expression was obviously a little flustered after seeing the other party. Hello, auntie. She greeted politely. Where is Rin Yin? The woman asked directly. She's asleep inside. Lin Yuan pointed at the door of the ward. The woman faintly sized him up for a few moments before pushing the door into the ward and seeing her sleeping daughter. Why does Rin Yin have a fever? She questioned the two. This. Ling Wanqing panicked, not knowing how to answer. Was it possible to say that Rin Yin actually had a high fever because she stayed up all night making kanji and pastries for the other for the sake of this boy? She was afraid that if she said it, there would be unpredictable consequences. Auntie, it's better to wait until Renine wakes up before discussing it. Lin Yuan stood out to warm up the room. Only then did Renine's mother look squarely at the boy who claimed to be her daughter's classmate. You and my daughter, what's your relationship? Lin Yuan felt the pressure, this woman's aura was powerful. He said unabashedly, I'm Renine's classmate. That's all? The woman asked again. Lin Yuan thought to himself do I have to say, I like your daughter, please let the two of us date. He wanted to really say that, he would die a horrible death. You probably won't believe me even if I say it, it's just as well to ask Rayin when she wakes up. The woman didn't force herself anymore and sat down next to her daughter, her gaze gradually becoming gentler. Lin Yuan, I'm sorry, forgive me okay, I'm really wrong. Gu Renin, who was sleeping, suddenly mumbled dream words. After Gu Renin spoke these dream words, Ling Wanqing's face changed drastically, and she was actually directly scared to the point where her face turned white. Renin ah Renin, what kind of dream words are you talking about, this is disastrous. Now I, as your best friend, won't be able to save you. Gu Renin's mom's face immediately sank. Who is Lin Yuan? She turned her head, looked at Ling Wanqing and questioned. Her own daughter and Ling Wanqing were good girlfriends, so she believed she knew something. Ling Wanqing stammered and didn't dare to speak, her eyes looking in the direction of Lin Yuan. The woman's eyes instantly turned and landed on Lin Yuan. Are you the Lin Yuan that my daughter is talking about? Lin Yuan didn't deny it and nodded his head in acknowledgement, it's me. Why did my daughter speak such dreamy words, give me an explanation. Ren Yin's mother's eyes looked like she was scrutinizing. Could it be that her daughter was in love? What kind of boy would make Ren Yin say such things? To actually say sorry to a boy and beg for forgiveness. She, Qin Li Yun, would not allow her daughter to stoop so low to a man. Lin Yuan thought about it and decided that too many explanations were not as quick as being simple and straightforward. So he opened the door and said, your daughter and I are dating, so it's inevitable that there will be arguments between the two of us. Ling Wanqing silently turned away, secretly saying it's over, it's over, it's really over. She wanted to scold people, you will not find a reason to muddle through first, so bluntly say it, not looking for death. Qi Li Yun's eyes suddenly went cold. Her daughter and this boy are actually dating. As a parent, actually do not know anything. Where do you like my daughter, this face? Qi Li Yun spoke in simple and straightforward sentences, not euphemizing at all. If I say no, do you believe me? Lin Yuan said, actually, she and I, we also quarreled because of this matter. Oh, now Qin Li Yun was surprised, tell me about it. 
Lin Yuan briefly told the matter one by one. From the very first day, Gu Renin had entered the class because of the seat hiccup and the fact that she had always come to school dressed as an ugly person. It was only a few days ago that he himself realized that Renin was pretending to be ugly, and he was mad at her because he couldn't accept it. So Renin wanted his forgiveness and was overworked and hospitalized with a weak fever. After listening, Qin Li Yun's eyes changed when she looked at Lin Yuan. She cast an inquiring look at her daughter's best friend, Ling Wanqing. Ling Wanqing nodded and said, It's really true, he didn't lie to you. She gave out all the information she knew. Qin Li Yun stopped speaking, frowning in contemplation. It was indeed a rare boy who did not pursue his daughter because of her beauty. You're still young, only focusing on the beauty in front of you, there are too many variables in the future, such as going your own way after graduation, so, Qi Li Yun said in a deep voice, I want you to leave my daughter. Lin Yuan said, who can say what the future holds, right? After high school I will go to the same university as Renin and continue to accompany her, I hope you can promise. Qi Li Yun spoke scorchingly and asked directly, and what family lineage do you have that makes you worthy of my daughter? And Qin, the two of them truly like each other, didn't you say that as long as someone truly likes Renin and treats her well, they don't mind each other's sh? Family or background? Ling Wanqing stood out and spoke for Lin Yuan. This matter was still something she knew when she shared her secret with Renin. Qi Li Yun stared at Ling Wanqing in dissatisfaction. So what, what mother would like to see, her daughter follow someone else and suffer, would you be willing to do the same? She asked rhetorically. Ling Wanqing didn't even think about it and said, yes, as long as that boy is good to me and genuinely likes me, it doesn't matter if I suffer. Qi Li Yun sneered, even if you go to the toilet thatch, the kind that digs a pit in the ground, puts two pieces of slate, and when you look down, you can see maggots. Crawling underneath you don't care? Ling Wanqing was speechless. Thinking to herself if it was really like this, would she really be indifferent? I'm afraid I couldn't do it. She didn't dare to squeak out. I don't have such a good birth, but I have never complained about it either, but I would like to say that I won't let Renin follow me and suffer and be wronged in any way. I've heard that too many times, telling me that will only make me look down on you more. I'll prove it to you before my high school career is over, and if I can't do that, I'll leave Renin's side on my own without you forcing me. How will you prove it to me? and what is the way of proving it? As long as you recognize it, whatever way of proving it is the same, isn't it? He he, a high school student also dares to say such, big words, interesting. Between Lin Yuan and Qin Li Yun's one-word conversation, Ling Wanqing listened with trepidation, admiring Lin Yuan's courage to dare to say such words to this powerful woman. Qin Li Yun revealed a faint smile, all right, you have almost a year to prove it to me, if you can't do it, don't be a deadbeat and let Renin beg me then. Good. Lin Yuan agreed. Next, Qi Li Yun made some demands. That was that the two of them could fall in love, but they couldn't act too intimately. For example, kissing and having a relationship, once she found out, the consequences would be very serious. Lin Yuan readily agreed. Ling Wanqing, on the other hand, had a surprised expression on her face. She didn't expect that Qi Li Yun would actually agree. Letting Lin Yuan and Rinin continue to be together, this wasn't like her style. Then, Qi Li Yun went out and made a call to her husband. The phone was connected. She opened her mouth and said first, Gu Hai, Renin has been hospitalized with a fever. I'm in a meeting right now, so send me the address and I'll come over later. On the other end, Gu Renin's father, Gu Hai said back, she's in love and has a boyfriend. Qin Li Yun said, what? Renin is in love, how come I didn't know? Gu Hai's voice was several decibels louder, very surprised to hear that her daughter was actually in love, I'll end the meeting as soon as possible in half an hour. Renin is pregnant, two months. Qin Li Yun finished, not waiting for Gu Hai to speak, directly hung up the phone. Then she sent the hospital's location over. Ten minutes later, a Mercedes-Benz pulled up outside the hospital. A middle-aged man got down from the car and walked quickly into the hospital. Where is my daughter? Gu Hai found his wife Qin Li Yun, where's the son of a bitch who got Renin pregnant, I'm going to beat him to death. He was so furious that he directly terminated the meeting and immediately rushed here. His daughter was the apple of his eye, and now that he was told that his daughter had fallen in love and was pregnant, he only felt his blood rushing up and almost didn't pass out from anger. Ranin just has a fever, nothing else, and she's not pregnant, I lied to you. Qin Li Yun said expressionlessly. What, lied to me? Do you know I'm in a meeting? Gu Hai wanted to get angry, but didn't dare to get angry at his wife. Can you come over immediately if I don't say so? Not caring at all about your daughter's business for the cause, you don't even know that you have a fever, how can you be a father? Qin Li Yun reprimanded in person. Aren't you the same, still talking about me? Gu Hai couldn't help but slander in his heart, but didn't dare to say it to his face. After a pause, he said, our daughter is really in love? This is still false. Qin Li Yun gave him a blank look. Did you break up the two of them? No. Why, is that what I am in your mind? No, don't get me wrong, I just don't think this is like you. 
I do have this idea, but Renin always has to grow up and needs to experience setbacks, and it's just as well to utilize this incident to let her grow up. Chi Liyun thought that her daughter's love wouldn't last long, couldn't stand the test, and would definitely end up being fruitless. Instead of Renin entering society and facing the evils of those people's hearts, it would be better to let her experience this in advance before then, and it would also be for her own good. That was why Qin Liyun had agreed to Lin Yuan's request to let him prove himself before his senior year career ended. A student who was only a senior, what way could he prove it? Ridiculous ridiculous. Nothing more than a child after all. Gu Hai felt that it made sense after hearing it and didn't say anything more. Besides, even if he had an opinion, saying it would be the same as not saying it at all. The final decision is still on the wife's side. The wife is the biggest in the world. He went to see the boyfriend of his daughter. The first impression is not bad, not a big handsome man, the person is also quite tall, and the speech is not timid, so for the time being, he can't pick any faults. Are you local? Are there any siblings in the family? How did you meet my daughter? Gu Hai threw out three questions. Uncle, I'm a local, I'm the only one in my family, I don't have any siblings, I grew up living with my mother. Lin Yuan replied, I was in the same class with Renin, and also at the same table, between us. Gu Hai listened silently, but still didn't show a good face, the thought of his daughter falling in love with the boy in front of him made his heart ache, as if the treasure that he had cherished for years, had been stolen from him. Three people crowded in a hospital room, the bed is still lying Gu Renin, a time of silence is a little awkward. Shi Liyun saw that it was getting late and offered to go eat. She also greeted Lin Yuan to join her, but he refused. I want to stay with Renin, in case she suddenly wakes up, she'll be scared. I've already asked the nurse to help look after her, there's no need for you to worry, I also have some things I want to say to you while we eat. Lin Yuan thought about it and nodded in agreement. The four of them, including Ling Wanqing, were together at a nearby restaurant, ordered some dishes and sat around. Ling Wanqing was sitting on pins and needles, looking very restrained. Luckily, the dishes were quickly brought to the table and the four of them started to move their chopsticks. Lin Yuan, to put it bluntly, how did you get me to recognize you in high school time? Xin Liyun said bluntly, she didn't believe in anyone but herself and felt that Lin Yuan was just saying these things on impulse. Truth be told, auntie, proving it with actions is definitely still not enough. Lin Yuan said. Qin Liyun nodded, agreeing with his words. I know a few friends on the internet, and I know a lot of ways to make money in business. Lin Yuan had to make excuses for the existence of the system. Otherwise, say he suddenly had a villa, although the formalities were complete and the way of owning it was legitimate, but how should he answer when others asked him how he got it? He described briefly what had happened when he had learned, through these few netizens, that a certain stock would soar, and had brought Gu Renin along to make a lot of money. Qi Liyun and her husband Gu Hai looked at each other face to face, thinking that these did not mean anything. You guys might have a lot of questions, but afterward I'll have Renin bring you word of some of these secret things. Lin Yuan said, after completing this choice quest, he was rewarded with several future news events, so there might be business opportunities to make money. All right. Xi Lian felt that this boyfriend Renin had talked to was still not mature enough, very childish and naive. Can the words of an online friend be trusted? If money was really that good, there wouldn't be so many poor people in this world. But it's good that she didn't want her daughter to follow such a boy. If you want to marry, you have to be in the right family, and the other person is gentle and talented, so he is worthy of her daughter. Halfway through the meal, Lin Yuan's cell phone suddenly rang. He took out his cell phone from his pocket and glanced at it, it was Renin calling. Had she woken up? I'm going out to take a call. Lin Yuan got up and prepared to go out to answer the call. Who's calling? Qi Lian had seen a lot of people of all shapes and sizes, and was able to roughly guess the other person's likes and dislikes at their micro-expressions. As for Lin Yuan's reaction to seeing the call, there was elation and urgency. Lin Yuan paused, but still truthfully said, Renin called. I think she might have woken up. Since it's Renin calling, what's the point of going out to answer it? Just answer the phone here, put it on speakerphone. Qi Liyun's sentence gave Lin Yuan a whole won't. All right. Helpless, he could only do as he was told, who told the other party to be his future mother-in-law. Ling Wanqing clasped her hands together and prayed silently. Renin ah Renin, it's fine if you talked in your sleep just now. Don't talk nonsense this time, your parents are there. Lin Yuan picked up the phone. Qi Liyun, Gu Hai, and Ling Wanqing were silent, staring at the phone wanting to hear what Renin would say when she called. Renin, is that you? Lin Yuan spoke after picking up the phone. Gu Renin's anxious voice came from the other end of the phone with a crying tone, Lin Yuan, where are you? Lin Yuan said, I'm having lunch outside with my uncle, aunt, and your best friend, I'll be right back. I'm sorry Lin Yuan, I didn't mean to not want to tell you that I had a fever, I was afraid that you'd be worried. Gu Renin didn't seem to understand which two of her uncles and aunts Lin Yuan was talking about. It also didn't even occur to her that she was now on speakerphone with Lin Yuan. Every word she said could be heard clearly by the four people present. 
you shouldn't be angry with me, right? It's good that you're fine, I'm not angry with you. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. Lin Yuan, seeing as I've done so much for you, can you forgive me a little bit first? Lin Yuan froze, forgiveness can still be forgiven a little bit first? He didn't say anything, because Qin Liyun, including Gu Hai, was staring at him with an unkind look. On the other end, Gu Renin thought that Lin Yuan felt that he had gotten ahead of himself and hurriedly changed her words. No no, what I want to say is, Lin Yuan, I really like you, for the sake of me liking you so much, as well as knowing that I'm wrong, forgive me a little bit, okay? Renin, let's talk about it later, okay? Lin Yuan hurriedly said, not wanting Gu Renin to say too much. Uncle and auntie were all standing up from listening to him, and he was now panicking. Okay? On the phone, Gu Renin started pampering herself, her voice sweet and cloying. But Lin Yuan was bitter in his heart. Ling Wanqing held her forehead, it's over, it's over, it's over again. Is it good? These words that made people feel sweet and cloying were heard by everyone here. Good, or bad? Lin Yuan looked at Qin Lian who had a dark face, and Gu Hai whose eyes seemed to want to kill. For a moment, he didn't know how to answer. Talk later. He hung up the phone and thought about how to ease the oppressive atmosphere at this moment. Oh, Gu Hai, look at how you've spoiled your daughter. Qin Li Yun was furious and looked at her husband angrily. Gu Hai? It's none of my business again. He was silent, let's just take the scolding, he's used to it anyway, there's no shortage of it. Uncle and auntie, since Renin is awake, let's go back to the hospital and take a look. Seeing that everyone had eaten almost as much and couldn't eat anymore, Lin Yuan changed the topic and proposed. The three of them didn't have an opinion and returned to the hospital. When Gu Renin saw her mom and dad, as well as Lin Yuan, and Ling Wanqing walking into her hospital room together, she was dumbfounded. Her mind went blank. What had happened? How are you feeling? Qin Lian said with concern. I'm much better, mom and dad, why are you all here? Gu Renin said apprehensively. You're my daughter, why can't you come when you have a fever? Qin Lian said, her tone gradually easing, it's mom and dad who are sorry for not having the time to take care of you. It's fine, I've grown up and am able to be fine on my own. Gu Renin forced a smile, but only Qin Lian knew that she and her husband were busy with their careers and rarely accompanied their daughter, and when Renin grew up and wanted to make amends, it was too late. That was why the couple had always felt guilty about their daughter. Oh right. Gu Renin hurriedly introduced Lin Yuan to the couple, he's my classmate, he's at the same table as me, his name is Lin Yuan, he's great at studying, he also tutors me and treats me very well. We're just ordinary good friends, don't get me wrong. We all know. Gu Hai stood by the side and said expressionlessly. Oh, Gu Renin didn't notice that something was wrong, and thought that her mom and dad just knew that she and Lin Yuan were classmates at the same table at school. Then, the couple tried to whisper something to their daughter, allowing Lin Yuan and Ling Wanqing to leave the hospital room. Outside the door, Ling Wanqing looked at her sympathetically, are you feeling desperate? Lin Yuan just sighed. In the ward. Qin Liyun never beat around the bush with her words and asked Gu Renin to her face why she came to school dressed up as an ugly person, and why her co-star looked at her daughter who was dressed up as an ugly person. And how did you fall in love with this same table? The other side is not able to withstand the other side of the sweet words, sugar-coated bombs, to chase to the hand. Gu Renin froze, her eyes flashed with panic, pretending not to know anything, Mom, what are you talking about, why can't I understand ah, Lin Yuan and I are just in the same table relationship, you've misunderstood. Qin Li Yun was speechless, who was the one who was on the phone just now, saying that she liked Lin Yuan and would still be pampered and beg for forgiveness. As far as I could remember, Renin had never pampered her as a mother. Gu Hai couldn't stand it anymore and directly told her daughter what had just happened. Just now you are not to that deskmate of yours on the phone, I and your mother have heard, what I really like you, beg forgiveness a little bit, okay well, don't say it ah ah ah. Gu Renin instantly. Social death, burying her head into the quilt. She felt her fever rising instead of receding, as her cheeks were getting hotter and hotter. This is going to be disastrous. Mom and dad know about my relationship at school. Definitely won't approve of me being with Lin Yuan. What to do? What to do? What to do? Gu Renin was anxious, afraid of being torn apart and being forced to transfer to another school. She didn't care about being bashful, and re-exposed her head outside the quilt. Yes, I like him, but you can't break us up with a stick. Tears glistened in her eyes. If her family was really cruel to break up her and Lin Yuan, she would go on a hunger strike in protest. She would stop paying attention to her parents and lock herself in her room all day without going out. Just, aha. Uh -huh. Qin Li Yun nodded, mom doesn't oppose you falling in love. Ah, uh, Gu Reni not, thinking she heard wrong. Don't ah, uh, also don't just focus on falling in love and waste your studies, if you can't get into the university, look after yourself. Qin Li Yun laughed. Although she didn't know what was going on, Gu Reni was very happy nodding her head repeatedly like a chicken pecking at rice, I know mom. In the evening, Gu Renin's fever subsided, and she could be discharged from the hospital, but she was still a bit weak. 
Shi Li Yun, Gu Hai husband and wife, there are still many things to deal with inside and outside the company, can only say an apology to Renin, go back to deal with it first, and then come over to visit their daughter after some days to free up time. After the two of them left, Lin Yuan was responsible for sending Rin Yin and Ling Wanqing to the downstairs of their residence. Lin Yuan, my parents know about us. Gu Rinin stood beside Lin Yuan, half a head shorter than him. She raised her head slightly to look at Lin Yuan and whispered. Don't think too much. Lin Yuan touched her head, go back and get some rest. You don't have to come to school tomorrow. I've already asked the teacher for a vacation. Aha, uh -huh, I know. Gu Rinin nodded her head obediently. He hadn't told her that he had asked the teacher for leave himself. He had already learned everything in school anyway, so going would be a waste of time. Early the next morning, Lin Yuan sent a message to Gu Rinin. Good morning, are you up yet? I went to bed early yesterday, so I got up at 7 today. Oh, then open the door. I'm at your door. Gu Rinin, still wearing her Pandora pajamas, hurriedly ran out to open the door. She said she had woken up from her nap, but she was still in bed when she woke up. When she opened the door, she saw Lin Yuan standing in the doorway. Why are you here? Didn't you have class? Her heart leapt, she wanted to rush up and hug Lin Yuan, but held back, Lin Yuan hadn't even forgiven her yet. She actually knew that he had already dispelled his anger and forgiven himself, but she still felt bad in her heart. I took a leave of absence and came over specifically to take care of you today. Lin Yuan smiled, touched. Gu Renin let out a while, I'm super touched. Lin Yuan went inside and put the meat and vegetables he bought in the refrigerator, preparing to make something delicious for Renin to replenish her body. You even bought a watermelon? Gu Renin saw that Lin Yuan had also bought a watermelon, she was super fond of watermelons. Well, Ling Wanqing said you like watermelons, so I bought one. Lin Yuan said. Love it love it. Gu Renin went to the kitchen to get a kitchen knife and was about to cut the melon when she seemed to have thought of something funny and laughed, then asked. This melon of yours, does it keep ripe? Lin Yuan laughed and picked up the story, the boss who runs a fruit stand, can sell me raw melon balls? Gu Renin spat out her tongue, smiled cheekily and used a kitchen knife to split the watermelon down the middle. Holy shit! After the watermelon was split open, Lin Yuan couldn't help but burst out. The watermelon that was split open had white and red flesh. It was actually really a raw melon egg. Gu Renin was also dumbfounded. Her hand was still in the splitting position. She had only casually mentioned a stalk, and it turned out to be such a result. She blinked and couldn't help but poof out a laugh, cupping her belly and laughing her ass off. Lin Yuan was also speechless, actually bought raw melon balls, the boss was doing it on purpose, right? The melon had been bought and split, he was too lazy to take it back to the boss to get these money. However, when he saw that Gu Renin was actually smiling so happily, he thought to himself that this melon purchase didn't seem to be a loss. Buy melon to learn to pick melon, want those lines deeper, more complete, and then pat the melon to listen to the sound, dull melon don't, crisp is good. Gu Renin shared her experience of buying melons. Lin Yuan was embarrassed and went to the kitchen to work. He bought carp, old hen, vegetables and so on, preparing to make a sumptuous meal at noon. Gu Renin wanted to come over and help. I'll do it. Lin Yuan refused her good intentions, you're just getting over a high fever, you can't do this. Gu Renin could only obediently watch from the side. Watching Lin Yuan skillfully kill the fish and clean the ingredients, happiness was overwhelming. Ugh, Lin Yuan he's so good at this, not only is he good at studying and singing, but his cooking skills are superb. I'm so happy, I can be in the same school, same class, same table, or him. Gu Renin just thought of a certain place, happy overflowing face, instantly pulled crotch down. I'm not his legitimate girlfriend yet. He hasn't confessed to me yet. Alas, it's all my fault, otherwise now. Gu Renin surreptitiously surveyed the side of Lin Yuan's face, observing his reactions, realizing that he was so charming when he was serious about his work. Gu Renin was flamboyant and stood over there giggling. Distracted by this, Lin Yuan stopped what he was doing and inclined his head to look at her. What are you standing there giggling about? Ah Gu Renin's eyes flustered as she explained in a panic, I suddenly remembered something happy. What happy thing, tell me. Lin Yuan had long since known what Renin was thinking through his I know women's heart's ability. This girl, silly and adorable. Not telling you. Gu Renin put her hands behind her back and crooked her body, playfully saying. Lin Yuan laughed and continued to busy himself. Time was still early, there was no hurry to make the dishes, he blanched the ribs he bought, put in the herbs that tonified his body, put them in the pressure cooker and started to simmer. The next time was free. So the two of them played the king game. Gu Renin's cell phone, there is only such a game, nothing to do when you will play a few, specializing in occupation is auxiliary. The name of the game is vegetable and love to play. It's just like the name. And also pit. However, with perseverance, she has reached the diamond level. Of course, most of the time, she was carried by her teammates. Lin Yuan, what hero am I playing?
Guranin stared at her cell phone screen, having trouble choosing. Just play what you like to play. Lin Yuan said that he had communicated with his teammates and chose the archer Hoi. Gu Ranin then chose Yao to assist. The enemy army has five seconds left to reach the battlefield, please get ready. For a full attack, Lin Yuan and Gu Ranin came to the lower road together. The opposite line was Arthur with discipline, and both sides tacitly and peacefully developed. Development. Until Lin Yuan hit the small wild monster in the river and was snatched away by Arthur with a punish strike. Lin Yuan couldn't stand it. He started to frantically press the tower and beat the defense tower's blood level to half. Gu Ranin, on the other hand, crouched in the grass to watch the field of view, preventing any enemies from coming over to grab it. All, don't mess with me, Arthur Hoi you wait. Arthur on the opposite side started to put up a vicious fight. As a result, during the next wave of troop line exchanges, when Lin Yuan was clearing troops, Arthur suddenly rushed out of the grass and actually engaged in a sneak attack. Gu Ranin had been attached to Lin Yuan's Hoi, releasing his first and second skills at the same time. At the same time, Lu Bei, the enemy fielder, was obviously prepared and actually hid in the bushes, only coming out now. Lin Yuan flashed to open the distance, zoomed in to fix Arthur, and kept attacking normally. At this point, both his and Arthur's blood levels were only half. The good thing is that our playing field, including the mage, has been waiting in the bushes for nearly 20 seconds, and now seizes the opportunity to join the battlefield, harvesting away the enemy's Arthur in the playing field for two lives. All, don't mess with me, Arthur when I develop, the first one to hit is you. Lin Yuan is too lazy to scold each other, obscene development is the king's way, brushing his own wild monsters, the spirit of the river, and taking Renin to the opposite side of the anti-field. All, Xian Xian will come, Lu Bei Hoi you dare to steal my family wild again, I will just stare at you to catch. A few moments later, Hoi's enemy field killed Lu Bei, the enemy fielder. The opposite side does not speak. During this period, Lin Yuan's use of Hoi's big moves can be described as a hundred shots, hitting the other side skeptical. At one point, he suspected that he was hanging. The game time came to 15 minutes, and a group battle broke out between the two sides. Lin Yuan reaped the lives of the other three by virtue of his godly positioning and awareness, and continuously pushed to the other side's high ground. He eventually won the game. An operation was as fierce as a tiger, and then looking at the record of 13 to 2, it logically became. Wow, Lin Yuan you're so strong. Gu Renin shouted 6666 throughout, happier than anyone else. The two of them started a few more games next, winning every single one of them, and Lin Yuan was the MVP of every single one of them. Lin Yuan looked at the time, it was already 10.30. That's it for now, I'll go cook. Aha. Lin Yuan showed off his skills and made sweet and sour carp, stewed old hen, medicinal tonic ribs, and so on. Not long after, the dishes were all served on the table, the fragrant rice and dishes evoked Gu Renin's appetite, she lay on the table and stretched out her little hand, wanting to steal food. Don't steal food. Lin Yuan walked over with a plate of dishes, take the bowls and chopsticks. Gu Renin took the bowls and chopsticks for two people, and then sat up straight and obediently, smiling brightly as she waited to eat. Lin Yuan actually looked a little dumbfounded. Without moving, he walked over and sat down, you can eat now. Dinner is ready. Gu Renin picked up a piece of fish that she had been staring at for a long time and brought it to her mouth. Ooh, it's so delicious. Yummy. She couldn't help but praise Lin Yuan for his good cooking skills. Lin Yuan smiled and didn't say anything, eating by himself. This is delicious, nah, here. Gu Renin chucked a piece of meat and put it inside Lin Yuan's bowl. After that, she pretended to eat, but in reality, her eyes were peeking all the time. Lin Yuan ate the piece of meat as if nothing had happened and continued to dry his rice. This is also delicious, I'll clip it for you. Gu Renin gave him another dish. Lin Yuan ate it. Gu Renin gave him another clip of vegetables. Eat it, clip the vegetables, eat it, clip the vegetables. Lin Yuan didn't even need to clip the dishes himself, the bowl was almost full. Lin Yuan, why don't you clip a dish for me too? Gu Renin revealed her true purpose, wanting Lin Yuan to clip a dish for her. She watched TV dramas and many of the male and female leads did this. Wanted to experience what it felt like as well. Under Gu Renin's expectant gaze, Lin Yuan still picked up a piece of meat and put it in her bowl. Eat more, look at how thin you are. Lin Yuan said. That's what I call white young thin, not really thin. Gu Renin corrected him. Eat. Oh, Lin Yuan. Hmm. I wanted to eat that one, and I couldn't clip it. So, will you clip it for me again? Ranin. Ha, huh? look at the two of us, a man and a woman, sharing a room together. You, what do you want? Gu Ranin clasped her hands to her chest and stared at Lin Yuan warily. Lin Yuan said carelessly, don't you want to do something to me? Ha, huh? Gu Ranin didn't react for a moment. Ugh. Lin Yuan put down his chopsticks and sighed, last time you suddenly lost your temper and said something to me that you already knew, and afterward, my cell phone suddenly had a few more inexplicable text messages, as well as a text message from you. 
I've been pondering over this for the past few days before I realized with hindsight that this was your test for me. Lin Yuan suddenly said. Gu Rinin's expression was tense, and she hastily shook her head, I, I'm just scared, worried that someone will rat me out. She informed her family that there were a few crossed relatives that could do anything, and the news of her transferring to another school was told by her father, she was worried that those relatives would do something in this. All sorts of things, she didn't want to do this, she just didn't want to get hurt. Lin Yuan expressed his understanding, and as a result, the tiny stigma between the two disappeared at this very moment. Lin Yuan. Gu Renin looked at Lin Yuan pitifully. All right, I know, it's not like I blame you. Lin Yuan interrupted her trying to say she was sorry, eat eat eat. Gu Renin nodded and ate her meal uneasily and worriedly. It wasn't until Lin Yuan gave her a dish that she revealed a smile. It was as if any negative emotions had been swept away as a result. After finishing the meal, there were still a lot of dishes left, so they could be put in the refrigerator and saved for the evening. Lin Yuan had wanted to almost go back as well, after all, staying at a girl's house all the time would be a criticism if people knew. But Gu Renin suddenly said that she wanted to watch a movie together, and he pondered whether or not to agree. Is it okay Gu Renin showed her pampering skills to Lin Yuan? Lin Yuan couldn't resist this move and agreed to watch a movie with her. There was a TV in the living room that could be connected to a cell phone to play a movie. Since both of them liked watching horror movies, they decided to watch this one. How about just watching this movie? Gu Renin brought her phone closer to show Lin Yuan. Cabin in the woods, never seen it, is it scary? Lin Yuan asked. Super scary, okay, Gu Renin said exaggeratedly. Although she hadn't seen it either, it was rumored that those who had seen it said it was scary and good looking. The two then decided that they would just watch the cabin in the forest. Why did you turn off the lights? In the living room, in the darkness, Lin Yuan sat on the sofa and turned his head to look at Gu Renin. This is the only way to have an atmosphere. The light radiating from the TV reflected Gu Renin's good-looking cheeks, translucent and glossy, her big eyes shining brightly. She was still wearing the giant panda pajamas, with cotton shorts underneath, revealing that pair of white and smooth slender legs, extremely eye-catching. She had wanted to lie in bed all day, order takeout when she was hungry, and wait for Wan Qing to come back before going out to eat together. But Lin Yuan's arrival had disrupted her plans. But it seemed to be quite nice. To be able to watch a movie at home with Lin Yuan, or with the lights off, just thinking about it was so exciting. Wait, will he suddenly do that and then that? She thought wildly. Lin Yuan looked at Gu Renin with the eyes of a caring idiot. The movie had already started. It was about a group of men and women who drove to a cabin deep in the mountains for a vacation. They found the basement of the cabin, which was filled with various items. A ballerina music box with a head full of teeth, a horror doll, a deaf. Notebook. Pick whichever one you want and something really scary will happen. Lin Yuan had seen many horror movies and was already immune, so he didn't feel scared. But Gu Renin was different. She loved to watch it but didn't dare to look at it, looking at the look, as if she would let out a scream at any moment. Next, the movie screen turned. A man and woman left the cabin holding hands and kissed passionately outside. In the darkness, the atmosphere was a bit awkward. A little thirsty, I'll go to the refrigerator to get a drink. Gu Renin fled with a red face. When she came back, she saw that inside the movie, the man and woman were lying on the grass with their clothes undone, their cheeks red. How could she have known that this movie would actually have this kind of plot? If she had known, she wouldn't have picked this one to watch. Lonely man and woman, turn off the lights to watch or she herself want to do so, now the TV screen suddenly appeared to this. Gu Renin simply shy to death personal. Ah, ah, the woman in the movie and Gu Renin almost simultaneously issued a shriek. A frightening picture appeared. Gu Renin was so scared that she ran to Lin Yuan and stuffed him with a bottle of coke, hurriedly skimming her head over, not daring to look and sneak a peek. Lin Yuan revealed a smile, the first time he saw such a sight of Renin, it was really interesting. The plot of the next movie seemed tense, the rhythm was good, and the images were heavy, not really scary. But Gu Renin was still frightened a few times, close to Lin Yuan, clutching his arm, her little heart pounding. Instead, when gory images appeared, she watched with great interest. Time passed unconsciously. Lin Yuan's heart was no longer on the movie, his gaze was warm, and he reached out to hold Susan's small hand that was gripping his arm. But midway through reaching out, he still didn't do so. What if he couldn't control himself and ruined the appointment with Renin's mother, Jean Li Yun? Looking at the time, school will be over by now. After watching the movie, I will tutor Renin in her studies, and her grades can't fall. The TV sound is not too loud, but even Ling Wanqing back, open the door of the sound or covered over. The lights in the house then suddenly came on. Ling Wanqing looked at the two people who were merely pasted together, very close, and said, I might not have come at the right time. After saying that, she was about to close the door back. Wanqing, don't misunderstand, Lin Yuan and I were just watching a movie. 
Gu Renin hurriedly went after her and pulled Ling Wanxing back. I understand, I understand, I won't say anything nonsense. Ling Wanxing revealed an expression of you get it, I get it, everyone gets it. Gu Renin transformed from a scared little sheep into a tigress with claws and teeth, and engaged in a fight between her girlfriends and Ling Wanxing. Lin Yuan had a feast for his eyes, wasn't this better than a movie? Since the last incident, he knew that Ling Wanxing was also playing ugly, so he wasn't surprised at the moment. After the scuffle, both women's faces went red, Ling Wanxing won and looked at the loser Renin triumphantly, just you want to win me, dream on. Gu Renin was furious, you're flat-chested, of course I can't win against you. Ling Wanxing? She looked down at her chest and felt offended. The second round of battle was fought and ended with Gu Renin constantly begging for mercy. Ooh hoo, it hurts. Gu Renin cried and went back to her room to check how her injuries were. Ling Wanxing smiled disdainfully before she gazed at Lin Yuan and questioned, What are you doing here looking for Renin? She's weak, I bought some vegetables to make up for her. Lin Yuan explained. Ling Wanxing was sour, how come she couldn't meet such a good boy herself? Sigh. Not to mention, today she was also nicknamed Big Mole Pig by her classmates who didn't even want to be bothered by the teacher, so she was in a very bad mood. She also did not want to play ugly. As soon as she thought of this, she suddenly remembered that Renin still seemed to owe herself a month's worth of Michelin dinners. Renin, when are you going to treat me to a month's worth of consecutive dinners at the Michelin restaurant? When Gu Renin came out, Ling Wanqing brought this up. The two had made a bet by pretending to be ugly, and whoever lost would treat the other to a month's worth of dinners. Now that Gu Renin had lost, she had to treat the other to dinner. Just treat, it's not like I'm going to deny it. Gu Renin grunted, but there are quite a few meals left over from lunch, it would be a shame to throw them away, let's eliminate them tonight and go back tomorrow. Ling Wanqing had no opinion, it didn't matter if they ate it today and tomorrow anyway. After the meal was warmed up, the three of them sat together and ate. Lin Yuan saw that the sky outside was also getting dark. It wasn't good to stay any longer. Lin Yuan, I heard from Rin Yin that you're good at playing games? Ling Wanqing also liked to play king, her skills were okay, and she often double rode with Rin Yin. But it was also because of Ren Yin's existence that caused her to still only be Diamond One and never go up to star you. Lin Yuan nodded. A little bit. That's just right. We don't have anything to do anyway. Why don't we play a few games together? Ling Wanqing asked. Yeah yeah yeah, how joyful for everyone to play together. Gu Renin's eyes were filled with anticipation. So, Lin Yuan stayed anyway. The three of them sat on the sofa and open king. Quickly entering the hero selection interface, Gu Renin was still the perennial auxiliary and chose her favorite Di Chiao. Ling Wanqing decisively chose a Zhong Kuei. The other two people who didn't know each other had question marks. What do you mean, two assistants? A certain teammate asked. I'm playing middle. Ling Wanqing said back. Lin Yuan still chose Ho Yi. The other two teammates had no choice, one chose Dian Wei to play wild, and one Yang Jian to be a warrior. In the opening round, Gu Renin and Ling Wanqing silently went center. At almost 30 seconds, De Chao placed his second skill outside the opposite blue zone. Zhong Kuei walked into the circle and flung his hook. The opposite fielder hid the blue into the grass to fight, but it didn't affect Ling Wanqing's play. When she was about to be teleported back to town, she decisively flung her hook into the grass. As a result, she didn't get the blue hook, but instead hooked a Han Xin. Instantly brought him back to his own spring. First blood. All, little prince of tower stealing, Han Xin? Han Xin on the opposite side slowly typed out three question marks. Ling Wanqing and Gu Renin, already smiling from ear to ear, were laughing there. It seemed like the two of them hadn't done this kind of unethical thing too often. Rating the shoots nah. When Han Xin was revived, Gu Renin crouched in the middle grass to look at the vision. Wanqing come quickly, Han Xian is playing blue again. She hurriedly shouted. Release the second skill. Ling Wanqing said. Gu Renin did as she was told and placed a second skill in her original position. Ling Wanqing controlled Zhong Kuei to come over and flung the hook in her hand. Swoosh. Skillfully flinging the hook into the grass, bringing Papa Blue back to his own spring as a guest. Ah ha ha, I can't, I'm laughing my ass off. The living room once again resounded with the two women's joyful laughter. Opposite Han Xian's mind exploded. All, little prince of tower stealing, Han Xian you guys are done, disgust me to death. As we all know, Han Xian's hero skills are very blue consuming, and after brushing a few small wild monsters, his blue bar bottomed out and he had to go back to town to replenish it. The rhythm of playing field is completely messed up, and it is not developed at all. When the opposite side of the blue father returned home, the two women repeat the same trick, and then bring the blue back to the spring, just do not let. Han Xian is not allowed to play blue. Lin Yuan silently developed on the development path, zooming in from time to time, accurately hitting the enemy heroes on the confrontation path, and letting our side road Yang Jian harvest heads. Wow, Lin Yuan, your moves are too accurate, bull. 
Ling Wanqing marveled. Not bad, Lin Yuan said modestly. The time came to ten minutes. The opposite side's upper, middle and lower towers were all broken, and our tower hadn't fallen. Han Xian's economy wasn't even as high as Zhong Kuei's. The fight was completely one-sided and crushing. The fight was completely one-sided and crushing. Our fielder opened Tyrant and gathered everyone for a group battle. I'll hook one first to start the group. Ling Wanqing typed to her teammates. After several failed hooks, Ling Wanqing became more and more disbelieving and finally hooked someone. It was the opposite side's warrior, Zhong Wuyan. Zhong Wuyan instantly reacted, swinging her sledgehammer in the middle of our crowd and directly opened up. I'm afraid this isn't hooking a father. Everyone was ready to launch a counterattack. As a result, Yang Jian and Lin Yuan suddenly went back to their own spring. Everyone was confused. No one knows how pitiful Zhang Kuei is, but certainly not as pitiful as Di Chiao. I really didn't do it on purpose, Gu Renin said sheepishly. Lin Yuan didn't say anything and silently released a big move. It stunned the opposite mage. In the end, the group battle failed, the fielder and Zhong Kuei were killed, and only a Gu Renin escaped back. Our fielder and Yang Jian began to greet him cordially. I'm sorry brother, I didn't mean it. Ling Wanqing suddenly opened her voice to speak. The voice was sweet and nice, with a small aggression. It's fine, it's fine, play well, let's be together next time, I'll take you to the top. Our playing field stops spitting fragrance, a different person playing the same, actually will also comfort his teammates. It's true that women all have innate advantages. It's all because of Di Xiao, otherwise we wouldn't have lost the group battle, he added. I didn't do it on purpose either, don't scold me, ugh. Gu Renin's eyes were bright and she also opened her voice to speak. Actually, I don't blame you, it's Yang Jian and Hoi Sha Pen, who can't stand in position and stood inside the circle you put them in. Playing wild had a thick skin and changed his words again. Lin Yuan? How did it suddenly become his fault? Our Yang Jian was also confused and opened his voice to greet each other's relatives with the hitting team. Both sides eventually broke out into another group battle and won. They pushed the enemy high ground and broke the crystal. Afterwards, the player just now wanted to add the two women's friends. In the end, he realized that they had set their friends to be banned. He tried to form a team again, but didn't get a response for half a day. Lin Yuan Gu Renin Ling watching three people, directly opened the second hand. Still a pleasant Zhong Kuei Di Chao duo, opening to mess with the opposite mentality. At once, the living room was filled with the joyful laughter of the two women. Lin Yuan followed and laughed, his mood inexplicably pleasant. The three of them played seven or eight games in a row. Unconsciously, it was already more than nine o'clock in the evening. Lin Yuan really had to leave this time. There was no way he could stay here tonight. Lin Yuan I'll see you off. Gu Renin hurriedly put down her cell phone and went out with Lin Yuan. Stains, what a woman. Ling Wanqing shook her head repeatedly, but there was envy in her eyes that she couldn't even notice. How nice it would be if I had a boyfriend like this. Downstairs, Lin Yuan and Gu Renin stood face to face. See you at school tomorrow. Lin Yuan touched Gu Renin's hair and smiled. Ah, uh, see you tomorrow. Gu Renin was more or less reluctant to leave, looking up at him, her eyes glowing like jewels. I'm leaving, go back. Lin Yuan walked in the direction of darkness. After walking for about a few dozen meters, he suddenly turned around. However, he saw Gu Renin still standing in the same place. Smiling at him, she kept waving her hand. The moonlight was soft, the stars were dotted, and the breeze lightly brushed her hair. The starry sky was beautiful, and she was even more beautiful. It was as if there was something in Lin Yuan's heart that was about to overflow. I will basically be updating at night from now on, two chapters a day for the time being. I don't want to ask for votes or rewards, and the whole book is free until the end, but what do you think can't be seen, comment on it so that you can avoid it next time, or suggest it. Lin Yuan returned to the villa area located in Riverside. Just as he arrived at the door, he saw a note posted in front of the gate. He went over and took down the note and saw large, crooked words written on it. Big brother, I am Sha Kua. I want you to help me touch the little squirrel okay, this is my contact number, C must add me. It turned out to be a note posted by Xiao Ko, no wonder the words were so hard to read. Lin Yuan thought to himself. He took the note and went inside. Simply took a shower. And then thought about it and added the contact information above the note. A few minutes later, the other party agreed to the friend request. Xiao Ko immediately sent a message. Big brother, you finally added me. How did you know it was me? Because Xiao Ko's friends only have sister and you. Xiao Ka's family had a strict control, so it was hard for her to cry and let her sister give one of her old cell phones to herself to play with, but she couldn't add strangers indiscriminately. She thought she was so familiar with her big brother that she must not be a stranger. You want to pet that little squirrel? Yes, but it only lets you, big brother, touch it, not Xiao Ku, and it runs away when I get close to it, aggravated. Well, when big brother has time, he will contact you to come out and touch the squirrel. 
thank you big brother, happy, then, Shalka suddenly sent several pictures, as well as a video, they were all cos portrait photos of her sister, each one was clear, and the skin details were visible when zoomed in, there were posing enchanting portrait photos with exposed thighs, kneeling photos with pure and lustful expressions, swimsuit photos, finally, there was the video, Lin Yuan dot went in to take a look, it was Shauka's sister wearing a white nightgown, sitting on a pink bed, holding a guitar strumming, her voice was really good, and her emotions as well as her expressions were spot on, especially her melancholy eyes, absolute, if it wasn't for the fact that in the picture, behind sister Shaoku, there was a light pink bodysuit that was too eye-catching, making Lin Yuan look a little distracted, delete the picture for me, and the video can't be watched either, suddenly Shaoku sent such a message, Lin Yuan guessed what was coming, Shaoku, the child who had pitted his sister, had probably been caught in the act, right now, he was probably being fatally beaten by his own sister, the truth was as he thought. Shauka's sister had noticed that her own sister seemed to be chatting with someone, very energetically, and wanted to come over to take a look. As a result, Shauka's reaction made her think there was a ghost. She forcefully snatched the phone away, and then saw her private portrait as well as a singing and playing video being sent by Shauka to someone she didn't recognize. Shauku. Shauka's sister only felt her face blacken, grabbing her sister's ears, ignoring Shauka's wailing and begging for mercy. She cracked a beat on her little butt. Sister I'm wrong. I don't dare anymore. Shauka wailed in pain, in the end, Shauka's sister could not afford to lay a heavy hand on her, only to stop. She realized that she had just focused on beating up her sister and missed the time to withdraw the message. Now those photos including videos that Shauka had sent, surprisingly, could not be withdrawn. It could only send a message asking the other party to delete it. Through the chat logs, she knew who this person who was chatting with Shauka was. It is actually the residents of this neighborhood, met twice, the other day he also saw each other at the Comic Con and the other party's demeanor at the Comic Con, fire in this circle. It was also dug out that he was actually the first place winner of a campus singing competition. What a talented and interesting person. Do you believe me when I say I deleted it? Lin Yuan replied. When this sentence was sent out, an exclamation mark appeared. Because the other party had deleted him. Lin Yuan was speechless for a few seconds, and then prepared to go to sleep. He had just laid down on the bed before falling asleep when his cell phone suddenly vibrated a few times. It was Lin Qingyu sending him a message. Brother Lin Yuan, I watched the video of you singing and felt that you have great potential and want to promote you. I purposely also communicated with the director of the upcoming Songs and Teenagers program, and he also agreed that as long as you're willing to come, he's willing to give you the opportunity to appear in the movie. How about it, consider it. Lin Yuan didn't reply to her immediately after seeing the message. He actually wasn't very interested in making a debut. Detected the host's current situation, please begin your choices. Choice 1, participate in the recording of the program song in youth, rewarded with a complete list of life skills. Choice 2, refuse to participate in the recording of the program songs in teens, rewarding the skill of repairing home appliances. Sis has fought for you, the appearance fee is $100,000, and there will be more to follow. At the same time, Lin Qingyu once again sent a message. Lin Yuan's eyes all of a sudden lit up. The other party was really giving too much. Also, the first choice was just fantastic. The complete book of life skills, it included repairing home appliances, tea arts, driving, using computers, and all sorts of tips and tricks. Sis, since you're the one who went to such good lengths to help my brother, then I definitely can't let you down, I've decided well, to participate in this program. On the art of speaking, low EQs tend to say a good word, and people with high emotional intelligence could gain someone's favor with a few casual words. Really good at talking, sis didn't help you for nothing, I'll give you the program director's contact information later and you guys can talk about cooperation in detail at that time. Lin Qingyu sent a message, say it, how can you thank sister me? Sister, are you still short of tea pouring and laundry by your side? Lacking, but laundry even if, I'm afraid you're thinking of sister's clothes, just treat sister to dinner then. Please, please two big meals. Chatting with Lin Qingyu ended quickly, but since he said he was going to participate in this program, before that, he had to make preparations. First, communicate with the school and be ready to take a vacation at any time. There was also the mother, Gu Renin's side, who also had to be informed in advance. Then, Lin Yuan added songs and teenage program director, communication, both sides reached an opinion, waiting to sign the contract, after that is to wait for the notice to record the program. A student who was on fire all over the internet because of the campus singing competition video, making many people familiar with it, can bring a lot of heat and airplay to the program. Lin Qingyu was merely acting as a middleman, helping to pull strings. Congratulations to the host for completing the selection and obtaining the complete book of life skills. Lin Yuan's mind was flooded with all sorts of life tips. Repairing small appliances, how to use various computer operations, fishing never air force skills, one-handed driving. 
all sorts of things, many of which were useful in life. Then, Lin Yuan gave his mother, Lin Shanglan, sent a text message, describing the matter briefly, and then made a copy and sent it to Gu Renin. In less than a minute, Gu Renin called directly. Wow, Lin Yuan, you're going to be on TV? On the other end, Gu Renin was more excited than anyone else, as if it was herself who was going to go on the show. Well, wanted to ask you what you think, Lin Yuan said. What else can I think? Gu Renin said, of course I'll watch it on TV as soon as it airs. Lin Yuan didn't think there was anything wrong with this answer. It was indeed time to watch it on TV. He informed that if he went to record the program, he would take a leave of absence from school, and would probably not come to school for a long period of time. Ha, huh? then won't I not be able to see you every day? Gu Renin suddenly couldn't be happy. Without Lin Yuan, it was as if life had no meaning. Life in the past wasn't interesting at all. At some point, Gu Renin had unconsciously become dependent on Lin Yuan. Depending on the days when the two of them were together was all about good things. There was nothing better than that. If Lin Yuan suddenly left her side one day, Gu Renin would instead feel empty inside. What, you can't live without me? Lin Yuan returned. What a clingy naughty boy. With these last words, Gu Renin was somehow in a much better mood. I, I'm not clingy, you're the naughty one, how old are you, saying such meaty words, yelled goosebumps out, really? Then who is the class to eat after school, all want me to accompany? It's you who wants to do that, I didn't ask you to do that. Grimaces. Okay, then next time the teacher transfers seats, I'll go to the same table as Shang Yi in the class. Smiles. Don't you dare. Pounding. Gu Renin was jealous, Shang Yi was the best looking girl in the class besides her. And after Lin Yuan won the campus singing competition, she often paid attention to Lin Yuan, deliberately coming over to strike up conversations and ask for advice on studying. Her little mind, Gu Renin, who was also a woman, had seen through it long ago. She suddenly felt so tired, she had really gone to great lengths to keep Lin Yuan from being snatched away by other girls. Jealous? Not at all, ignoring you. After waiting for a while, Gu Renin hadn't been able to wait for Lin Yuan to reply and sulked with a bitter face. Stinky Lin Yuan, bad Lin Yuan, I really ignore you. At this time, Lin Yuan sent her a message, it's late, get some rest, I have a small gift for you tomorrow. What little gift is it? I'll give it to you tomorrow and you'll know, be good and go to bed. Got it. Gu Renin was beaming with joy, so she'll just ignore him again. She lay in the warm quilt, thinking, what little gift will he send me? This sleep, sleep sweet. Lin Yuan also received a text message from his mother, Lin Shanglan. Son, what's going on here? What program are you going to be on? Don't be fooled. Lin Shanglan never went online and didn't watch much short videos, as well as Weibo hot searches and whatnot, and knew nothing about what was popular now. The one she used was also an old man's keypad cell phone, and its use was only to check the time and make phone calls. She only wants to make more money, more jobs, to improve the life of mother and son, so that her son can marry a daughter-in-law in the future, and then she will work harder, but also does not matter. She couldn't suffer her child even if she had to. So as soon as she saw the text message from Lin Yuan, her first reaction was whether her son had been cheated. Lin Yuan directly called his mother, on the phone, Lin Shanglan's voice was a bit hoarse and her speech was not strong enough. Son, are you being cheated? I know a colleague whose family's child was cheated out of tens of thousands of dollars, don't be like, don't be like him. Lin Yuan explained a lot on the phone, but couldn't make any sense of it, so he decided to go home next weekend to explain things clearly. Listen to mom, our family doesn't have much money, but we can still get by, don't believe what people say on the internet, a lot of them are lies, uh. Lin Shanglan repeatedly instructed over the phone. Lin Yuan laughed, got it mom, I'm not a kid anymore, when I go back next week, I'll make it clear to you. The call ended, and Lin Yuan maintained his hang-up position, contemplating for a long time. When he was a child, he had secretly resolved to let his mother live a good life. Now it was time to put it into action and have that ability to do so. As long as he participated in that program, the hundreds of thousands of dollars in his card would be an excuse to take it out and use it. Not only that, he also had an agreement with Gu Renin's mother. He himself would prove to her, worthy of her daughter, getting her to agree that he and Renin should be together. This matter Renin didn't know about until now. Lin Yuan didn't want her to be unhappy and feel bad because of this. He liked the current Renin, whose heart was like a flower or a tree, born to the sun. Simple but lively, bright as the sun. The next day, Lin Yuan went out as usual. When he arrived at school, he walked towards the school entrance. Suddenly, a male student from his class, and a woman dressed in a colorful dress, stood at the entrance of the school, their eyes sweeping through the students entering the school, seemingly looking for someone. When Lin Yuan appeared, this classmate's eyes instantly lit up, pointing at him and saying something to the woman at his side. The woman looked over, then took out two chapters of $100 bills from her bag. The male student gladly took the money, turned around and ran into the school. The woman walked towards Lin Yuan. 
Lin Yuan frowned slightly, although he hadn't seen this woman before, he inexplicably didn't have a good feeling about this person. Perhaps it was a matter of resemblance. You're Lin Yuan, Gu Renin's deskmate? The woman walked up to Lin Yuan and scrutinized him in a general way. This made Lin Yuan feel even less favorable towards her and coldly returned, You have something? Oh, I do have something to tell you. The woman skimmed her lips and smiled, I heard that you and Gu Renin are in a relationship? Say what you have to say, I'm going to be late. Lin Yuan said impatiently. This woman's tone irritated him. It had a superior stance. Not young, but quite a temper. The woman sneered, don't you want to know, Gu Renin's secret? There's one thing that she's been hiding from you? Lin Yuan looked at her, waiting for the following. Although I don't know how you got involved with the ugly Gu Renin, I want to tell you that Gu Renin's true appearance isn't what you see. Oh, how do you know that? Because I'm Gu Renin's second sister-in-law. Why are you telling me this? That's none of your business. Oh, it's none of my business, then I'll leave. After saying this Lin Yuan walked around the woman and walked into the school without looking back, leaving only the woman frozen in place. He actually left just like that? Her face became more and more gloomy. A kid whose hair hasn't even grown all the way up, and he dares to throw himself in the face? Class. Gu Renin was waiting for Lin Yuan to come over at her seat early. After seeing him, she revealed a sweet smile. Lin Yuan went over and sat down, not telling her what had just happened. He had heard Renin tell him that her own parents had a grudge against other elders, involving the generation of the offspring, and that all the other relatives wanted to see Renin's parents laugh. Including her, if there was a scandal, the ones who would lose face would also be her parents. Lin Yuan, where's my little gift? Gu Renin huffed when she saw that Lin Yuan had come with two empty heads. Where's my little gift that I promised last night? Liar. You stick your hand out. Lin Yuan quietly whispered in her Gu Renin's ear. Gu Renin did as she was told and stretched out her palm. Lin Yuan also stretched out his palm. It went with the flow and held her small hand. In Lin Yuan's true eyes, Gu Renin's pretty face instantly reddened. Suddenly being held by Lin Yuan's hand, she was a little flustered. This was in class. What if her classmates saw her? Thus, Gu Renin hurriedly drew her hand back, pretending that nothing had happened. But soon she regretted it. Ah ah, Lin Yuan, he's holding my hand, why do I have to draw it back? Gu Renin ah Gu Renin, are you stupid? However, she didn't have the cheek to put her hand back again if she wanted to. One's own skin was so thin. I'm wrong, Lin Yuan why don't you take my hand one more time? I promise I'll never draw it back again. Gu Renin was pitiful, really angry and speechless at herself. Lin Yuan smiled faintly and reached out his hand, taking Gu Renin's small hand again. This time Gu Renin said nothing and wouldn't draw it away. So this is the little gift Lin Yuan said he wanted to give me. I love it. Gu Renin was sweet in her heart. Suddenly she thought of a question. He's holding my hand, is he forgiving himself for what happened last time? Lin Yuan, did you forgive me? She asked in a small voice. The pastries you made for me last time were quite delicious, if I forgive you, will I never be able to eat them again? No no no. Gu Renin hurriedly shook her head, just tell me if you want to eat it, I'll definitely make it for you personally. Then will you be able to forgive me? Gu Renin asked timidly, her eyes full of expectation. Silly girl. Lin Yuan smiled gently. In fact, he had already forgiven Renin a long time ago. Otherwise, how could he have taken the initiative to hold her hand? He also knew that she just wanted to hear, from his own mouth, the words of forgiveness to her. Forgive you, okay. Gu Renin's eyes were filled with bright light, her smile was sweet, I'm so happy, Lin Yuan you finally forgave me. She had been waiting for these words for a long time. In fact, there was guilt in Lin Yuan's eyes as he looked at Gu Renin. Such a good girl, I must protect her with my life in the future. My Renin, will you be my girlfriend? This was what Lin Yuan wanted to say to Gu Renin in his heart. But saying it on this occasion seemed too insincere and unromantic. Didn't all girls like romance? So Lin Yuan temporarily hid what he wanted to say to Gu Renin secretly in his heart. The two gazed into each other's eyes, Lin Yuan was soft and tender, but Gu Renin only had him in her eyes. They looked at each other and were happy with each other. Behind the two, sitting in the back row of the classmates saw, two people holding hands, sweet love, eyes straight. Break the head also cannot understand, in the school is already a celebrity, fangirls many Lin Yuan, will like so unattractive desk. Was the language class representative from the next class not pretty enough? Or is it that the first year girls are too shy and coy to catch your eye? Li Huihua from the first class is not only beautiful, but also a good student, and her family owns a small company. She handed you a love letter, so why did you reject it? If I were you, I would have been with her long ago. This student is sorry for Lin Yuan, missed such a good opportunity for nothing. He really didn't know how to seize an opportunity. Moreover, at the campus singing competition, at the finals, Lin Yuan even said that Gu Renin was his girlfriend in front of a reporter. After that, the conversation sparked a discussion on the internet for a while. 
What the hell was he thinking? Many people in the school were thinking about this. Perhaps, it was the proximity of the water that made the difference. Soon the bell rang and it was time for class. Mr. Wang, the math teacher, who was also the class teacher, gave a new lecture. He wrote out a few problems on the blackboard and then asked Lin Yuan to go up and solve them. Lin Yuan went up without stopping his hands, wrote the answers and returned to his seat. The teacher watched from the side and nodded secretly. All the answers were correct. In the end, he proposed that Lin Yuan be made class president. Since Xue Hongyun left, the class had never chosen a class president. Class president wasn't something that anyone could be. Not only did they have to be good at studying, but they also had to know how to organize everyone and be able to convince the public, among other things. Mr. Wang asked the class to raise their hands and vote. Of the 38 people in the class, 37 raised their hands. The one who didn't raise his hand was Lin Yuan himself. In the end, Lin Yuan successfully became the class president of class 6. No one had a problem with it and thought it was reasonable. After class, the homeroom teacher asked Lin Yuan to come to his office and instruct him on some things he needed to do and know to be class president. When he came back, Gu Renin clapped her hands to celebrate his election as class president. Class president Lin Yuan, hello there. This class president is going to punish you for sweeping the floor for a week. How dare you? If you don't want to sweep the floor, then take the next exam and come out in the top 10 of the whole grade for me. That's too hard. With me tutoring you in your studies, what's so hard about it? Gu Ranin thought about it. With such a powerful boyfriend by her side, what else did she have to worry about? After school in the afternoon, Lin Yuan and Gu Ranin parted halfway and on the way back, a white BMW suddenly drove up and stopped in front of him. The woman who had appeared this morning, claiming to be Gu Renin's second sister-in-law, stepped down from the driver's side. Her eyes were a bit cold as she stared at Lin Yuan, listen up, I'm only going to tell you once, Gu Renin is actually very pretty, she's just been pretending to be ugly to come to school. I'm saying this to you as long as you continue to fall in love with Gu Renin and take her within a month. As long as you send me a sneak peek of the two of you kissing photos, or cuddling photos, this money is yours. The woman threw a transparent bag filled with stacks of bills at Lin Yuan's feet. There were roughly $10,000. This money was an astronomical amount for an ordinary student. But in Lin Yuan's eyes, this point really didn't look good. The woman continued to throw out temptations, if you can trick Gu Renin into bed and take pictures, I can give you another 50,000. After that, she waited for Lin Yuan to pick up the money. As long as she got Gu Renin's indecent photos, she would be able to properly discuss Qin Liyun, Gu Hai, and the couple once. At that time, she wanted to see how the two would end up. She wanted to know that the Gu family was not allowed to have someone in their family make a big mistake. The host's current situation has been detected, please begin your selection. The system choice was triggered. Lin Yuan's face was delighted. What he lacked nowadays was to prove himself to Ren Yin's mother. And how to go about proving it, the existence of the system was crucial. Choice 1 he pick up the money on the ground and do what the other person wants. Reward future news event X. Choice 2, don't pick up the money and refuse the other party's request. Reward a mysterious physical object X. Choice 3 pick up the money on the ground and do what the other party wants, the more satisfied the other party is, the better the reward, up to the maximum reward of future news events X. Choice 4 don't pick up the money and refuse the other party's request, the angrier the other party gets, the better the reward, the highest reward mysterious physical object X3. Lin Yuan checked the four choices very carefully. It was impossible to pick up money, so one could only choose between the second and fourth. Gu Renin had once talked about her family's situation. Great aunt and third uncle, including this second sister-in-law in front of her, were all poisonous and scorpion-hearted, only capable of hooking up and trying to find ways to compete for the family estate. They were not good people. Gu Renin hated them all. Since this was the case, Lin Yuan decisively chose fourth. He looked down at the money at his feet. He smiled. Why don't you pick it up? This money is a heavenly sum for a student like you. Gu Renin's second sister-in-law's words were sarcastic. Lin Yuan's attitude towards her in the morning had made her extremely upset, insulting the other party in such a way. She just didn't believe that any student would be able to withstand the temptation of $10,000. Lin Yuan slowly raised his foot. In the woman's stunned gaze, he kicked the money into the middle of the road where the traffic was flowing. Then he walked straight towards her. The woman seemed to be startled by Lin Yuan's action and took two steps back. First, Lin Yuan walked up to the woman and calmly said, Your money is too dirty for me? Second, your ugly face, even with a thick layer of white powder, still makes me sick to look at. Third, put away your lofty posture, our old ant level people, this time do not go to the square dance, run to here to spread what splash. Gu Renin's second sister-in-law, a face so dark it was scary. He, actually dared to talk about himself like this. How dare he? And, Lin Yuan stared at her, I've recorded everything you said just now, 
I'll forward it to Suzuin to listen to, so that she can be clear about what a disgusting person this so-called second sister-in-law of yours is. This sentence made the woman's eyes appear flustered. Although she didn't quite believe that the conversation between the two just now was recorded. But it was better to believe it than not. Once the recording was handed over by Gu Ranin to the one at home, she would end up in a miserable situation. You're looking for death. Ranin's second sister-in-law became infuriated and raised her hand to hit Lin Yuan hard in the face. There wasn't the imagined sound of a slap ringing out. The woman's hand stopped in mid-air. Lin Yuan grabbed her wrist, returning the favor in his own way, returning her slap with his backhand. Slap. A crisp sound accompanied by the woman's scream. A red slap mark appeared on the face of Renine's second sister-in-law. Her eyes were filled with disbelief. She herself was actually slapped hard on the face by a teenage brat. Women were irrational when they got angry. Little bastard, you dare to hit me. So, like a madwoman, Gu Renin's second sister-in-law waved her hands around, wanting to use the manicure that she had spent more than $2,000 on to scratch Lin Yuan's face to pieces, but she had underestimated Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan, who possessed grandmaster-level fighting skills, was more than capable of dealing with even three of her. Lin Yuan stepped back, grabbed the woman's wrist with one hand, and with his leg forward, he smoothly pulled her down to the ground and pressed her to the ground, face down, eating a mouthful of mud. The pedestrians coming and going in the neighborhood were stunned. They stopped to watch and see what was going on. Lin Yuan did not know how to pity Jade at all, not to mention that the other party was not Jade, but a stone in a latrine. The woman fell blind and struggled madly. I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you, ah ah ah. She had lost her mind. Lin Yuan also didn't expect that things would turn out like this. Originally, she just wanted to curse a few times, but she might have cursed too hard and angered the woman. A tragedy triggered by a slap. Someone picked up their cell phone to take a picture and send it to their friend's circle with a text. Shocked, the BMW woman was violently beaten by a student in the street. In the end, the woman seemed tired of cursing and ordered Lin Yuan to let go of her. She was going to call the police and have them arrest Lin Yuan and put him in jail. To make him pay the price for his behavior. He he, go ahead and call the police. Lin Yuan was emboldened, there's surveillance anyway, you started it, I'm just being passive in defense. But when the time comes, I'll at most accompany a medical bill, and you? Lin Yuan finished letting go of the woman. If the other party still wanted to make a move, he didn't mind continuing to press it to the ground. Continue to make a fool of himself in public. The woman had temporarily regained her senses, but her eyes were still terrifying, as if she wanted to kill, staring at Lin Yuan. Delete the recording for me. Give it to me when you say so, what do you think you are? Lin Yuan's words hurt in every sentence, do you deserve it? The woman was so angry that she wanted to continue to make a move, but she held back. At this time, there were no less than 20 onlookers, Renin's second sister-in-law lost all face, could not stay any longer, quickly walked to the BMW, opened the driver's side and walked in. Even the money that was kicked to the middle of the road by Lin Yuan, did not bother to pick it back up. The car started and quickly disappeared around the corner of the intersection. Congratulations to the host for completing the selection and obtaining a mysterious physical object X3. Please collect in a safe and unoccupied environment. A system prompt came to Lin Yuan's ears. He left without moving, picking up the $10,000 in the process. Even though the money belonged to Gu Renin's second sister-in-law, it wasn't as bad as messing with her as it was with the money. Lin Yuan returned to his villa in Riverside. He was about to take out the key and just about to open the door when a small squirrel climbed down from the tree next to him. Lin Yuan didn't have time to pay attention to it, opened the door and walked in, stopping it outside. The next step was to receive the mysterious physical object. He was looking forward to what the physical object would be. A small box appeared abruptly on the table. Lin Yuan opened it. A brand new cell phone lay in the box. The latest Huawei cell phone. Made 40RS Porsche design Leica, a smartphone with an official price of over $10,000. The phone was black, with a camera octagonal design and a great appearance. It just so happened that Lin Yuan had been using this phone for several years, and it was time for a change. Next was the second mysterious physical object. A car key that appeared on the table just as abruptly. A Porsche 911 car key, worth over $3 million. The key was there, but where was the car? The reward has been parked in the garage, please accept it in time for the host. The system answered him once in a while, and the formalities were complete, the record of the purchase of the vehicle also existed, written in Lin Yuan's name. Lin Yuan didn't rush to look at the car and continued to look at the third mysterious physical reward. A few sheets of white paper suddenly floated down from the ceiling. The paper was filled with densely written data. Lin Yuan picked it up and looked at it for a few moments, determining that it was a mask formula. Its efficacy was also written very clearly, possessing the ability to beautify and nourish the skin, allowing the skin's state to return to that of 10 years ago, 
fairer and more translucent, supple as a young girl. This is not an exaggeration, but really has such efficacy. When the system produces a product, it must be a fine product. This is the rhythm of wanting me to start a business and open a company. Lin Yuan had many ways to utilize this formula and make a lot of money. But no matter how much he made, it wasn't as much as if he did it himself. But Lin Yuan didn't know anything about the matter of starting a company, but he did have his own methods. The last time the system rewarded him with a future news event X10 and 10% of Tingfei's shares, he was transformed and his value skyrocketed. Just the 10% Tingfei shares alone, the annual dividend was in billions. And for future news, Lin Yuan only checked 5 for now. Respectively, a star was imprisoned for raping an underage girl. A famous actor died. A certain stock fund fell for a few days in a row. A certain construction site collapsed during construction, and ancient tombs were able to emerge. And a famous cosmetics company declared bankruptcy. These five future news events, none of them allowed Lin Yuan to detect business opportunities. As for the remaining five future news events, he didn't read them because he was afraid that if he continued reading, he would vomit blood. It was better to burn incense and pray for one that would be useful to him before reading it. At least figure out a psychological comfort. But after receiving the mask formula reward, the fifth future news event gave Lin Yuan an idea. That's right, it was an acquisition. As for the money for the acquisition, all that was needed was to sell zero, two of Ting Fei's shares. Lin Yuan wasn't at all bothered by this amount of shares. Because as long as the masks made from the mask formula were able to sell well, the money earned would be endless and profiteering. Lin Yuan immediately contacted the company that was about to close down and found the relevant person in charge, explaining about the acquisition. You really want to acquire our company? A clear and nice female voice came out from the other end of the phone. Yes, for the specific acquisition matter, I want to say it face to face. Lin Yuan said. Then when are you free, we'll talk face to face. At night, I'll tell you the exact time. Hanging up the phone, the two made an appointment to have an in-person meeting at the other company tonight. Before that, it would take quite a complicated procedure to sell zero, 2% of Ting Fei's shares. In the morning class, Lin Yuan took a vacation from his homeroom teacher, and with all the hustle and bustle, he finally got things done. On that day, his bank card balance was three digits more. Lin Yuan, I'm inviting Ling Wanqing to Michelin for dinner tonight, do you want to come? During the last class of the afternoon, Gu Renin poked Lin Yuan. What time to go? Lin Yuan asked. How about 9 o'clock? Gu Renin thought about it. Lin Yuan nodded in agreement. Okay, I'll try to get there at 9. After school, the two waved goodbye at the school entrance. Lin Yuan walked a little farther away and drove out a white Porsche. Thanks to this car, the efficiency of selling Ting Fei's shares by himself saved a lot of time. This car drove onto the road and gained quite a few passers by turning their heads to look at it. Although some people didn't know what kind of car it was, just by looking at the appearance, they knew that it wasn't cheap. At the same time, Lin Yuan had changed into a Huawei cell phone, which was really much better than the one he had used before. The car traveled a few dozen kilometers, drove into the city, and stopped in front of a building in a certain busy neighborhood. It was already dark at this time, but there were quite a few people waiting at the entrance. Su Yen had received news half an hour ago that the boss who was going to acquire her company would be coming over within half an hour. So she personally waited here in advance for nearly 20 minutes. She was dressed in a black professional suit, her eyes were sharp and bright, and her black hair was coiled up high, making her look competent, without losing her beauty. Seeing a Porsche suddenly parked in front of the company, she immediately walked up and guessed that that was that boss's car. Lin Yuan stepped down from the driver's side. Su Yan's eyes were clearly stunned. The person getting out of the car clearly looked young and was wearing a school uniform. Still a student? Sorry, I just got out of school and started rushing over, so I've kept you waiting. Lin Yuan swept over the dozen or so people behind Su Yan. These people were the key employees of the other company. You are Mr. Lin Yuan? Su Yan's voice was tinged with doubt. This boss was also too. Small, right. And he had just said that he had just rushed over after school. Could it really be a student? No way. If the other party hadn't driven over in a car worth several million dollars, she would have even thought that it was a prank. I'm Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan nodded lightly, go inside and talk. Aha. Uh -huh. Su Yan slightly sidestepped and made a pleased gesture. Walking into this company, Lin Yuan saw that there were not many people in the huge company, making it look depressed. Su Yan didn't hide anything, informing that the company was facing a bankruptcy crisis, and soon, if it didn't have a large amount of cash to back it up, it would declare bankruptcy and close down. This is her hard years of operation of the company. Watching the closure, Su Yan feel very tired, these days as if all of a sudden a few years old. In Su Yan's office, the two sat opposite each other. Tell me, how much money is needed to acquire your company and resolve this crisis? Lin Yuan opened the door and said. 
He didn't want to talk too complicated this time around, as long as the end goal was achieved. He himself was only responsible for giving money. Su Yen was surprised that this boy, who should be about 10 years younger than herself, said this in his first sentence. She pondered for a few seconds and slowly said, at least 50 million dollars. Lin Yuan directly stood up. Su Yen thought that it was the other party who was shocked by the price he had uttered and was ready to walk away. But who knew that Lin Yuan nodded and said, I'll buy your company with 100 million dollars. Su Yan's eyes widened. No kidding, 100 million. It wasn't that she didn't believe that Lin Yuan couldn't take so much money, but he looked just too unbelievable, plus still wearing a school uniform. If she didn't have the car that Lin Yuan had parked at the door, she would have coldly let someone blast her out. You, are you serious? Su Yan asked skeptically. Sign the contract now if you can. Also, I hope you guys can stay and work for me. I won't meddle in anything in the company. What it was like originally is still good now. These words from Lin Yuan had given Su Yen, who had fought and seen a lot over the years, a whole lot of confusion. Yes. In the end, Su Yen agreed to his request. She even felt that this was a pie in the sky favor. Although the company owner was no longer herself, as long as she had enough money to keep the company going, it didn't matter who was the owner to her. After all, once the company collapsed, there was nothing left for herself. Let her go to hell. The time spent waiting for the proposed contract to be sent over. Lin Yuan looked at how much time had passed from time to time. He had to rush back later and go eat at the Michelin restaurant with Renine. How much longer will it take for the contract to be ready? Lin Yuan waited a little impatiently. Eh? Su Yen could see his urgency and seemed to have other urgent things waiting to be done. It should take another 10 minutes or so, and you'll have to go over it again afterward. Forget it. Lin Yuan waved his hand, there's no rush on when the contract will be signed, I'll give you the acquisition funds first to tide over the company's bankruptcy crisis, and then come back to deal with the rest of the things when I have time. Saying that, Lin Yuan threw down a bank card, after the password was told to Su Yen, he hurriedly walked out of the company. Soon, the white Porsche disappeared around the corner at the end of the street. After Lin Yuan left, Su Yen went to check this bank card that Lin Yuan threw down, how much was the balance? There's really 100 million. When Su Yen saw the balance, she was not calm, her mind went blank. Where was there such a boss? Lin Yuan rushed to order back. He still had to see how this Su Yen was as a person before he could rest assured that he would give her the mask formula. Let her go through the whole operation. At that time, he could be the boss himself. After rushing, he finally arrived at the place at a few minutes past nine. Lin Yuan parked his car and walked into the restaurant that Ren Yin had mentioned. The restaurant had a quiet atmosphere, and most of the people eating were a man and a woman. Lin Yuan scanned around and saw Gu Renin at a table not far away, waving her hand. Today, she had restored her true appearance and dressed up beautifully, a shiny silk halter dress that revealed her bright shoulders, as well as her collarbone. The lipstick that was applied was not colorful, soft and translucent red, and the smile was so pretty that it made people want to bite on and kiss what it tasted like. The delicate face couldn't find any flaws, and the large eyes fluttered without any impurities. Lin Yuan sat down beside her. Lin Yuan, Lin Yuan, Wan Qing and I were just discussing about you. Gu Renin smiled sweetly, her eyes in a crescent stake when she smiled, successfully seducing the gazes of the men at the nearby tables. Discussing me what? Lin Yuan sat down and held Gu Renin's small hand without moving. At this angle, Ling Wan Qing couldn't see it at all. Otherwise, she would have to be sour for a few moments before she would give up. It turned out that the famous flower had a master. The two women had waited here for a good 10 minutes, and their face value counted as high quality women. A perfect score of 10. Ling Wanqing would have to score 8.9. Gu Renin, on the other hand, would have to be around 9.5. There were some things that weren't there just by appearance. For example, temperament. Gu Renin's simplicity and vivacity made her every move cute. Ling Wanqing was wearing a long black dress today, looking sensible and elegant, and although she wasn't even 20 yet, she already had a light feminine flavor. It was hard for the two of them not to be noticed. There were even men in their 20s earlier, who came over to strike up a conversation. The two women skillfully and politely perfunctorily passed by. Gu Renin was being held by the hand, and her two cheeks, which were originally not painted with blush, looked like they were painted, shy and silent, adding a few moments of beauty. She did not break away from Lin Yuan holding her hand. Ling Wanqing smiled, it says that you're actually going to participate in the song and teenager program, complimenting you for being awesome. Really? Lin Yuan laughed as he looked at her beside him. Gu Renin nodded and pretended to exaggerate, it's not true, it's super awesome, okay. Is it? Then who was the one who said just now that she didn't want Lin Yuan to go to the show so she could accompany herself? Ling Wanqing mercilessly dismantled her. Ling Wanqing, you have to say this too. Gu Renin said angrily, now that Lin Yuan knew about it, don't mention how ashamed she was. Lin Yuan just sat on the side and listened to them. 
Soon the waiter brought the food. There wasn't much on the plate, but it was exquisitely done, but it was also ridiculously expensive. Lin Yuan didn't bother to ask about the price, after all, he wasn't the one who invited the guests. He himself was just here to dabble in the meal. The meal lasted for almost an hour. The time was already 10 in the evening. Let's go watch a movie? Lin Wanqing suddenly proposed. Yeah yeah yeah. Lin Yuan, let's go watch a movie. Gu Renin agreed, pouting and wanting Lin Yuan to join her. Lin Yuan didn't drive. The three of them took a taxi to the movie theater. He had his own concerns and couldn't explain where he got the money to buy a car. So for the time being, he didn't. It would be much easier to explain later when he made money. There were not many people watching the movie at this point, about a dozen or so. The movie is still a very hot movie recently, an anti-war movie. Ling Wanqing went to buy fatty happy water and popcorn, then the three of them walked into the viewing hall together. The three people's positions were connected, Gu Renin sat in the center, and Lin Yuan and Ling Wanqing were on the left and right. The theater was dark. Lin Yuan's hand naturally reached over to Gu Renin's side. As a result, he didn't touch anything. The movie hadn't started yet, and Gu Renin was looking at her phone. Gu Renin was looking at her cell phone. She could only withdraw her hand unhappily. Not long after, the movie began to play. The three of them ate popcorn and drank fatty happy water while watching the movie without taking their eyes off the screen. When the movie was put halfway through, Lin Yuan suddenly heard Gu Renin's heart. I know a woman's heart skill, passively activated. Even if Lin Yuan didn't want to hear it, there was nothing he could do because it was a passive ability. Lin Yuan this big dummy, why don't you know to take the initiative to hold my hand, the opportunity was given to you, why don't you fight for it? Just now dinner was so active, what's wrong now? I'm in a hurry, what kind of bad idea did Wanqing come up with, saying that the movie theater is a holy place for couples to hold hands and kiss, I believe her mouth. Hmph, why do I care so much about holding hands, I don't care, ignore Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan sighed that a woman's heart is like a needle in the bottom of the sea, her head would always give birth to some inexplicable ideas. He stretched his hand towards Gu Renin once again. Gu Renin was holding popcorn in one hand, her other hand resting on her thigh on the other side from her. Lin Yuan reached out and took hold of the small hand she had placed on her thigh. His thumb rubbed gently, the flesh was soft, so nice to touch. Renin do you mind if it's dirty, this hand of mine has held popcorn, isn't it sticky? Ling Wanqing whispered. Ah, Gu Renin wasn't sure what Ling Wanqing meant. Wanqing what are you talking about? Take your hands away, I want to eat popcorn. Ling Wanqing reminded, causing Gu Renin to grasp her hand and let go. She thought it was Gu Renin, who was holding her hand. What take your hand away, what's wrong with your hand? Gu Renin was confused and struggled to understand the meaning of the words. On the other side, Lin Yuan, who had heard the two women talking, secretly said that something was not good. The owner of this small hand he was holding was actually not Gu Renin, but Ling Wanqing. Why did she put her hand on Renin's thigh, causing herself to mistakenly think that? Lin Yuan hurriedly and silently loosened the small hand he was holding and withdrew his own palm. While Gu Renin was puzzled, Ling Wanqing instantly realized that something was wrong. Renin said that she didn't have the money to hold her hand. Then who was the person who just held her hand? There was no one in front of the three, behind them, left or right. Then there was only one possibility. The person who just held her hand was Lin Yuan. Lin Wanqing, who had guessed the truth, instantly turned red. Her first time, so gone. The first time she held hands with a boy, she was going to leave it to her future boyfriend. Now it was actually taken away by Lin Yuan. The key was that he was still Rin Yin's boyfriend. He had just rubbed the back of his hand with his hand, and held it so tightly. The more Ling Wanqing thought about it, the more ashamed she became. Her body was inexplicably hot and her cheeks were burning. She bit her red lips tightly, inadvertently revealing a charming look. It was a good thing that this was in a theater and it was dark, no one could see her expression at this moment, as well as Lin Yuan's embarrassed look. The two of them acted as if nothing had happened and didn't mention it. Only Gu Renin was still watching the movie with great interest, eating popcorn, and snorting out a laugh when she saw the funny parts. The movie was finished. The three of them walked out of the theater in unison. Ling Wanqing always kept her head lowered, her cheeks remaining flushed. She who had been very talkative before, now instead didn't say a word. Lin Yuan was also embarrassed and pretended that nothing had happened and didn't know. The time was already 12 o'clock. Gu Renin and Ling Wanqing took a taxi back. Lin Yuan then called a car back to the restaurant and drove the car back to the villa area. Took a shower and lay on the bed. I'm home, Lin Yuan goodnight, smiley face. Gu Renin sent a message. Well, good night, see you tomorrow. Lin Yuan said good night to her and fell into a deep sleep. In the next few days, he went to Su Yan's company and signed the contract. During this time, Lin Yuan asked Su Yan some questions, as well as ideas, and managed to hear the other party's mind. After confirming that this Su Yan was reliable and a person he could trust, 
he handed over the mask formula to Su Yen. After that, Lin Yuan handed over the mask formula to Su Yen, and then handed over a series of complicated processes such as mask production, experimentation, inspection, and publicity and sales to Su Yen. After that, he didn't bother anymore. That day after school, Lin Yuan traveled with Gu Renin. When the results of this exam came down, Gu Renin's grades had slipped a bit, and although she was still firmly in second place in her class, she still needed tutoring. So Lin Yuan temporarily decided to go to Rin Yin's rented house outside of school after school for one-on-one -on -one tutoring. The two walked down the road, side by side. Lin Yuan, there's a barbecue restaurant near our school, it's delicious, let's go eat. Gu Renin tried to escape from her remedial classes in this way. Go after you finish your tuition. Lin Yuan saw through her little mind and didn't point it out. How about we go to that street on Jinxiu Road? It's bustling right now, lots of people, lots of snacks. Let's go after we finish our lessons. Ah hey, we've just gotten out of school, we haven't eaten yet. Are we going to make up lessons on a hungry stomach? Gu Renin huffed. Lin Yuan smiled. All right then, let's go eat first. Yeah, I want to eat meat. Gu Renin cheered, mischievously circling around Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan obediently pulled her hand, not letting her continue to spin. Her head was going to get dizzy if she spun any further. Gu Renin was just held by his hand, her heart sweet. Was this the feeling of being in love? It's so good. Before she reached her destination, a few dangling, cigarette smoking, unruly, and tattooed punks suddenly walked up on her. Gu Renin was terrified of this kind of people and grabbed Lin Yuan's arm to get a great sense of security. Lin Yuan intended to make way for these people to pass first. He didn't want to cause trouble, nor was he afraid of it. However, Lin Yuan suddenly frowned. He saw that these few punks seemed to be targeting themselves. The road next to them was spacious, and they weren't walking. They walked straight to Lin Yuan, then stopped and looked him up and down. Something wrong? Lin Yuan said calmly. Gu Renin hid behind him in fear, not daring to show her head. A yellow-haired gangster in the lead, holding a cigarette, exhaled a cloud of smoke towards him. Someone paid us to teach you a lesson, preferably into the hospital. Tell the woman next to you to get out of the way, or else we'll beat them together, do you hear me? Lin Yuan's gaze grew cold. Who instructed the punks to teach themselves a lesson, Lin Yuan had the answer in his mind. Gu Renin heard that these people wanted to beat Lin Yuan, she didn't know where the courage was born. No longer hiding at the back, she instead came out and stood in front of Lin Yuan. Who asked you guys to do this? How much money did I give you? I can double it. Gu Renin held back her fear, her eyes firm, not wanting to see Lin Yuan get hurt. The other party gave $10,000, can you afford it? The yellow-haired punk snorted. Fine, I'll give you 20000 you let us go. The yellow-haired punk froze, not expecting this chick to really have so much money, and took out his cell phone to transfer money. Yo yo yo, can't see you're a small rich woman ah, long so ugly, no wonder to get such a handsome boyfriend ah. The yellow-haired gangster laughed with his companions around him. Gu Renin's face was full of stubbornness, holding back her fear, looking straight at the yellow-haired gangster. Her eyes were red, holding back her tears. A hand gently patted her on the shoulder. Lin Yuan pulled Gu Renin behind him. I'm afraid I won't be able to leave even if I give the money, he said expressionlessly. The other party also demanded to take your cell phone, as long as you give it to me, I'll let you leave, the yellow-haired gangster said. He took another drag on his cigarette and the smoke he exhaled blew into Lin Yuan's face. Bang! Suddenly, a muffled sound. The yellow-haired punk fell backwards, his head went blank, and he fell to the ground, covering his mouth in pain, his hands full of blood, too painful to speak. Lin Yuan struck first, scored a hit, and then punched another recent other punk, knocking him to the ground. The rest of the gangsters reacted, cursing and swearing, rushing up to fight. Lin Yuan kicked down one of the gangsters that came up, and instead of retreating, he advanced and fought one against many. The scene was extremely chaotic. Gu Renin was terrified, her face snow white, she could only stay in place and was on the verge of crying. She was worried about Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan, who possessed grandmaster level fighting skills, was always at ease when facing these few punks. The punks were knocked down by him one by one, wailing in pain. Lin Yuan's blows were not light, enough for these punks to be in pain for a few days. Suddenly, one of the punks got red-eyed and took out a knife from his pocket, stabbing at Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan be careful. Gu Renin screamed, recklessly rushing up. Lin Yuan didn't let his guard down, grabbing the punk's wrist with the knife and violently pushing it, dislocating his wrist. The knife also fell out of the gangster's hand. At this point, only Lin Yuan was left standing. Gu Renin was stunned. The Lin Yuan at this moment seemed to emanate a thousand lights in her eyes. The one who told you to teach me a lesson, where is he? Lin Yuan walked up to the yellow-haired punk and looked down at him. The yellow-haired punk was afraid of being beaten and said all. Get lost. The punks came in fine and went back with bruises and swollen noses, holding each other up and limping back. Lin Yuan, are you alright? 
Gu Renin was so scared that she ended up crying out directly, tears constantly sliding down her face. Lin Yuan wiped away the tears on her face, don't be a crybaby, aren't I fine? Let's go, let's go together and see who found someone to beat me up. Lin Yuan pulled Gu Renin's hand, his eyes cold. The two of them were not far away, on the second floor of a restaurant, when they found Gu Renin's second sister-in-law, who was flustered and wanted to go downstairs to leave the place. It's you! Gu Renin recognized the other party and gritted her teeth. The person who had found the punks to beat up Lin Yuan would be her. Her own second sister-in-law. Lin Yuan let go of Gu Renin's hand and slowly walked towards the woman. You, what are you doing? Gu Renin's second sister-in-law was horrified. I'm the wife of the director of Gu Enterprise, if you dare to make a move, you won't want to live well in the future. She threatened fiercely. However, without waiting for Lin Yuan to make a move, Gu Renin quickly crossed over from him and slapped the woman in the face. The slap was crisp and loud. Gu Renin hadn't used much force in this slap. The woman's originally swollen side of her face, which hadn't yet subsided, swelled up once again. I'm not done with you on this matter. Gu Renin was furious that the cause of this incident would be her own second sister-in-law. The woman was at a disadvantage and covered her face, not daring to speak. She witnessed the whole thing from the second floor window, that group of punks, actually couldn't even beat a senior student. What a bunch of losers. She wanted to leave, but didn't have time to walk away and was blocked in, and received a slap on the face. Gu Renin, you actually fell in love at school, I'll let everyone in the Gu family know about this. The woman viciously said. Just say it, what's the big deal? Gu Renin didn't care about that and made a gesture to hit again. The woman hurriedly fled in the direction of the second floor, extremely wretched. Gu Renin wanted to chase after her, but was pulled back by Lin Yuan. Calm down, there's no need to get angry with this kind of person. Lin Yuan pacified her. No, I have to beat her up. Gu Renin was super fierce. The woman on the second floor heard this and hurriedly begged for forgiveness, Renin, at least I'm your second sister-in-law, a family ah, this matter is my fault, I'll make it up to you and let this matter go? Compensation my ass, today I'm going to smash your evil face. If it wasn't for Lin Yuan pulling her back, she would have rushed up and fought with her second sister-in-law. In the end, Lin Yuan agreed to agree to compensation. Compensation is fine, just give a million dollars. He said. What? The woman on the second floor was shocked, why don't you go and rob? Where do I have so much money? Yes, just one million, if you can't get it out, don't even think about leaving today. Gu Renin crossed her arms and agreed fiercely. Don't forget, I have a recording of you here. Lin Yuan cautioned Gu Renin's second sister-in-law that if she didn't pay, she would give Renin the recording. What recording? Gu Renin cast an inquiring glance. I'll explain it to you later, right now the claim is important. Lin Yuan laughed. When the woman heard the word recording, she instantly panicked. Don't. I'll pay, I'll pay. Wait for me, I'll find someone to raise the money, right away. Soon, Gu Renin's cell phone received a text message that transferred one million dollars. She instantly had a smile at the corner of her mouth, but quickly put it away and shouted in the direction of the second floor, you remember, if there's a next time, I'll make you regret it. Won't won't. Gu Renin's second sister-in-law hurriedly responded. Not long after, she heard no movement downstairs and quietly prepared to go downstairs. When a staircase turned a corner, she saw Gu Renin, who had been waiting for a long time, and slapped her hard on the face again. She screamed miserably, covered her face and ran upstairs, hiding in a compartment upstairs and unlocking the door. Oomph. After the slap, Gu Renin demoralized quite a bit, but was still fierce, like a mother tiger that had been angered. All right, the people have been beaten, it's time to go eat. Lin Yuan rubbed Gu Renin's head. To be honest, this was the first time he had ever seen Renin so angry. As a matter of fact, whoever else encountered this situation, even a clay bodhisattva would have a few moments of fire. Aha! Uh -huh. Gu Renin softly mumbled, instantly turning into a well-behaved kitten. The place where the two were, was originally a restaurant, so it was temporarily decided that they would eat here. The owner of the hotel was just watching the whole thing, and seeing that the two were going to eat here and had ordered quite a few dishes, he immediately ordered the chef to do it. First floor restaurant. Gu Renin weakly asked, Lin Yuan, wasn't I mean just now? Well, it was quite fierce, it scared me. Lin Yuan thought about it and nodded his head in a serious manner. Ah Gu Renin explained to herself, actually, I'm not usually like this, I'm very ladylike. She was worried that because of what she had just done to herself, she had pulled down Lin Yuan's favorable impression of her. You did the right thing, don't think too much. Lin Yuan gave her a thumbs up. At this time, at the stairway on the second floor, the woman who had waited for a long time felt that Gu Renin should have already left, so she opened the door and prepared to leave. Only just as she reached the first floor, she saw the table next to the doorway, where Gu Renin and Lin Yuan were sitting and talking. Gu Renin also saw her, her little eyes were super fierce and she made a move to get up. The woman was so scared that she hurriedly fled upstairs. 
In the entire second floor of the hotel, there was only this one exit, and now that it was blocked, it was hard to leave. She could only lock herself in the box and wait for the two to leave before she could go. Soon, there were several plates of food on the table. The two began to dry their meal. Half an hour later, the woman came downstairs again. This time they should be gone. Walked to the first floor of her, when she saw that the two people actually hadn't left yet, and ordered a large table of dishes, and actually ate the meal, she was instantly lifeless. Only to Grace slink back the same way. She had never suffered this kind of crime, if it wasn't for the fact that the handle was being held by someone, the one who should be arrogant should be herself. Now, she hadn't even eaten dinner yet, and her stomach had been growling with hunger for a long time. The key is that they are still inside the hotel, there are rice and vegetables and soup, just can't eat. Staying downstairs, the two who had eaten and drank enough, ate their after dinner fruits. Lin Yuan, the recording you just said to my second sister-in-law, what's going on? Gu Renin looked at Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan didn't hide it from Gu Renin and told her the cause of the incident, one by one. After hearing this, Gu Renin's chest rose and fell in anger, and her fire came up all of a sudden. The second sister-in-law, who made her feel disgusted, had actually asked Lin Yuan to do such a thing to herself. It was good that Lin Yuan already knew everything, otherwise, Gu Renin didn't dare to think any further. She ran furiously to the second floor. Lin Yuan was afraid that something would happen and followed close behind. Bang bang bang. Open the door for me, see if I don't break your dog teeth. Gu Renin stood in front of the locked door and knocked hard. It was useless for anyone to come today, she wanted to vent a belly full of fire. Beat the second sister-in-law inside until she was blue in the face. Gu Renin's second sister-in-law was trembling inside the room. She said nothing but didn't dare to open the door. She was terrified. Don't come out if you have the guts. Gu Renin put down harsh words, then paid for the meal with Lin Yuan and quietly left, instructing the boss not to let the woman upstairs know that they had left within an hour. After walking for a while, Gu Renin suddenly smiled happily. You know, my second sister-in-law usually has that poisonous mouth, and she's also a very manipulative person, this time I beat her up so much that she didn't even dare to open the door, so I guess she won't dare to squeak the next time she sees me. Lin Yuan just smiled. Hmph. Actually dared to ask the punks to teach you a lesson, I didn't expect it, Lin Yuan, you're actually so powerful that you beat up so many punks by yourself. Speaking of this, Gu Renin's eyes lit up. Lin Yuan at that time, so handsome. Love love love, worthy of being my Gu Renin's favorite boy. Another good thing about him was discovered. The sense of security was instantly full. I work out a lot, my strength and reflexes are just a bit better than those punks. Lin Yuan was modest. Ha! Huh? Gu Renin made a shocked face, you still work out. You have abs, quickly let me con con. Don't. Lin Yuan refused. Behave, let me see. Gu Renin laughed cheekily, stretching out her small hand, gesturing to lift Lin Yuan's clothes. Wanting to see if Lin Yuan had abs or not, Lin Yuan didn't dodge and allowed Gu Renin to lift up his shirt. Wow. Gu Renin let out an exclamation. There were abs. Lin Yuan looked at her breathlessly. Now that he basically did a simple workout every day, his abs had taken shape in less than half a month. In fact, before Gu Renin lifted her clothes, Lin Yuan's stomach was flat and he didn't have abs. There were no abs. They were all four small pieces that he had squeezed out by holding his breath. Where did Lin Yuan expect Gu Renin to be so bold? But luckily he reacted quickly enough and didn't lose face. Girls, be reserved. Lin Yuan said. Well, I'm not just curious. Gu Renin lowered her head, seemingly admitting her mistake, but actually snickering. When they went back, Ling Wanqing was watching TV. Seeing that Lin Yuan had also come, she hurriedly put away her indecent sitting posture and sat upright. Why are you two back so late? Where did you go for a date? Dating you big head. Gu Renin gave her a blank look, not really wanting to talk to her. Then, Lin Yuan started tutoring Gu Renin in her studies. Ling Wanqing kindly turned off the TV and came over to join in the fun. She listened to Lin Yuan talk about the problems and solve them, analyzing them in a way that was easy to understand. At once, she understood why Rin Yin's originally average grades had rocketed upwards. Then, she joined in as well. The living room was quiet, only the sound of Lin Yuan speaking remained. After an hour, the tutoring ended. Memorize what was said today, don't forget. Lin Yuan looked at the time and knew it was time for him to go back. Oh, got it. Gu Renin nodded, then she added, Lin Yuan wait, I have a gift for you. After saying that she ran into her room and came out with two packages. These are the clothes I bought for you, go back and wear them to see if they fit. Good. Lin Yuan took the gifts and went downstairs with Gu Renin. Lin Yuan, let me transfer that million dollars to you. Gu Renin wanted to give Lin Yuan the compensation given by her second sister-in-law. Lin Yuan shook his head, no, you take it. He didn't even lack this amount of money right now. Gu Renin didn't insist anymore and gazed at him with affection. 
The two of them stared at each other, sparks erupted, Lin Yuan raised his hand and gently cupped Gu Renin's small face, his head coming closer and closer. Gu Renin slowly closed her eyes, her curved eyelashes lightly trembling, her heartbeat thumping and accelerating. Lin Yuan, is he going to kiss me? In the end, Lin Yuan just gently touched her forehead, lightly, and parted. He hadn't forgotten the agreement with Rin Yin's mother. No kissing, no relationships between men and women. Seriously, Gu Renin was still a little lost. Go back. Lin Yuan smiled and turned to leave. Gu Renin watched his departing back with a sweet smile. This time, Lin Yuan didn't turn around, because he knew that she was still there. Without looking back, Renin was still in the lights. Shortly after going back, Su Yen suddenly called, informing her that some of the materials for the mask formula were expensive, and there were even special materials that were difficult to collect. However, she had already made connections and asked people to help collect them. When the finished product was made, the next step would be to conduct experiments and use it on living creatures to observe the effects. Lin Yuan nodded his head and informed that if he needed money all places, just say so. After ending the call, Lin Yuan prepared to sleep. Not long after he had just collapsed, the window of the room inexplicably made a noise. Turning on the light, he saw a squirrel outside the window, constantly cocking the window with its small paws. Lin Yuan's head was big, he didn't understand what was wrong with this squirrel, it always liked to approach him. He walked over and the squirrel didn't run. Lin Yuan opened the window, and when he ran into Shao Ka one day, he asked her to bring a cage over. Then he went back to sleep, deaf to the sound of the window, and quickly fell asleep. For the next few days, Lin Yuan had nothing else to do besides going to class, leaving school, and tutoring Gu Renin in her studies. Shao Ka also brought over a cage, and Lin Yuan casually shouted for a squirrel, directly carrying it and putting it in the cage for Shao Ka to take back and raise. Finally, he could get a good night's sleep. On Friday night, Lin Yuan went home. When his mother, Lin Shanglan, came back, he was loaded with tens of thousands of dollars in cash and handed it over to her. Where did you get so much money? Lin Shanglan was shocked, thinking that her son had gone and done something illegal. Mom, I talked to a girlfriend at school, this money is the stock I let her buy, we'll split the money we make together. Lin Yuan explained, telling his mother not to worry. You got a girlfriend? Lin Shanglan looked at her son, she can lend you so much money? Well, quite a silly girl, I like her a lot. Regardless, Lin Shanglan ended up being skeptical and instructed Lin Yuan not to let the other girl down. When she finally asked about the other person's family history, she learned that her parents were rich and running a company, and worried that the girl's parents wouldn't agree to the two of them being together. I've met her mom, she didn't object, I'll prove it to her. Lin Yuan did not explain too much. All right, bring that girl home one day when you're free, let mom take a look. Well, I will. On Saturday Lin Yuan stayed at home for two days, helping the family with their chores, and between him and Gu Renin, they were all in contact with each other by cell phone. Is auntie well, I bought some tonic for her to replenish her body. I told my mom about you. Lin Yuan replied. What, what did, that auntie say about me? My mom said to let me bring you to her one day. I, I'm scared, I'm not ready to meet my parents so soon. It's okay, when you suddenly want to go one day, I'll take you to see my mom. Monday. The homeroom teacher walked into the classroom, swept through the classroom once, and said expressionlessly, today in our class, there is going to be a transfer student, so I hope everyone can get along. After saying that, he waved in the direction of the door. A very tall boy with a Korean Oba kind of face walked into the classroom. At once, the eyes of all the girls in the class, lit up. So handsome. This was the first reaction in their minds at the moment. Only Gu Renin, after seeing the other party, first couldn't help but frown, her eyes flashing with boredom. It must be those people from second sister-in-law who told him that I transferred to this school, this class. This new transfer student was no other than one of Gu Renin's suitors in her previous school, one of her suitors. What with the daily flower deliveries and special car transportation after school, Gu Renin was annoyed and extremely disgusted by such a way of pursuing her. And now, he had followed himself to transfer here. Obviously for herself. The homeroom teacher asked the new transfer student to introduce himself. My name is Li Mao, I'm glad to be in this class. Li Mao's eyes swept across the class, eventually making a brief stop at Gu Renin. He recognized Gu Renin who was dressed up as ugly, how could he forget such beautiful eyes? Then Mr. Li Mao, you'll sit at the back for now, I'll rearrange your seat tomorrow. The class teacher smiled. No need teacher Wang, I want to share a table with this student, what do you think? Li Mao pointed at Gu Renin and spoke. The moment these words came out, teacher Wang immediately revealed a difficult look. This transfer student, who came in through connections, even the principal had to be polite to him for a few moments. The other party's father donated a lot of money to the school, if he didn't take care of the good family's son, it wouldn't make sense. Moreover, not long ago, the principal found him and specifically explained that he would give Li Mao special treatment if he could. It's also possible, I'll arrange it here. 
Teacher Wang nodded, Lin Yuan, you sit in the front row, Li Mao take your place. Lin Yuan sat in his original seat and didn't move. On the contrary, Gu Renin directly stood up and decisively refused this request, Teacher, I don't want to be at the same table as him, you can change someone else to be at the same table with him. The attitude was very resolute. How could she herself be willing to sit with Li Mao, never? This made it even more difficult for Teacher Wang. Then it's okay for me to sit behind her, is that okay, Teacher Wang? Li Mao said flatly. Teacher Wang found a step down and immediately agreed, immediately arranging for him. Soon, Li Mao sat behind Gu Renin. Gu Renin was instantly flooded with a vicious chill, always feeling that someone was staring at her from behind. In fact it was so. Li Mao looked at Gu Renin's back, his eyes mesmerized. It was a rose with thorns, and he wanted to pick it. The ghost is still here, damn it, how did he get here, and how am I going to explain this to my Lin Yuan? Forget about him, if he pesters me again, big deal, I won't go to this school. But if that really happens, won't I not be able to see Lin Yuan anymore? Gu Renin's mind was heavy and her mood wasn't too good. Lin Yuan heard her heart and guessed what was going on. It was Rin Yin's former suitor who had come to her door. He faintly looked back at this Li Mao behind him. He was really handsome, and there were a lot of girls in the class with their eyes peeking towards him. Seeing Lin Yuan looking back at himself, Li Mao revealed a smile, his eyes meaningful. Looks like a troublesome guy. As Gu Renin's boyfriend, Lin Yuan had the need to defend his identity. He moved his palm and held Gu Renin's small hand that was resting on his leg. Li Mao's smile froze and his pupils instantly contracted. The eyes were terrifying, staring straight at Lin Yuan and the hand the two were holding together. How dare he? Li Mao was able to find this place because someone had told him that Gu Renin had transferred to this school. So he immediately had his family go through the transfer procedures and managed to get into this class and also find Gu Renin. At the same time, that person also told him that Gu Renin had a boyfriend. Li Mao didn't believe it at all, how could such a proud Gu Renin have a boyfriend? It must be a fake. But now, he had to believe it, the man was holding Gu Renin's hand, so their relationship was obvious. After class, Li Mao surrounded by several girls, chirping and asking questions, some also want to add contact information, but they were all rebuffed by him one by one. He never added any cats or dogs to his contact list. He saw that Gu Renin and her tablemate, the two of them walked close together and left the classroom together. At once, he had a general mentality that what he had predetermined to be good, had been snatched away from him. When they reached a place where no one was around, Gu Renin explained to Lin Yuan that the new transfer student was coming against her. Lin Yuan smiled, with me around, I won't let him snatch you away. While Gu Renin smiled sweetly, Lin Yuan's words were so domineering. The last class of the afternoon ended. All the students scrambled out of the school gates. At the entrance of the school, there was a very racy blue car that drew a lot of attention. Li Ma was leaning against the side of the car, at this moment, he was in a suit and pants, and he had changed his greasy back hair, holding flowers in his hands, as if he was waiting for someone. Lin Yuan and Gu Renin saw him from afar before they even left the school entrance. Lin Yuan thought to himself, no wonder this guy ran away as soon as he got out of class. Seeing Gu Renin appear, Li Ma immediately walked up and stopped in front of the two. Gu Renin, I'm going to chase you. He said what he thought were very domineering words, flowers were handed out, and Gu Renin was invited to ride home in her car. At once the onlookers were nonplussed. No way, such a handsome guy, actually wants to chase such an ugly girl, blind eyes? Isn't this the girl from class 6, and who is this guy, so handsome, he wants to chase her, are his eyes not so good? Many people whispered, feeling new. Especially the students who were in the same class as Gu Renin looked at this scene in shock. They couldn't figure out what was so good about Gu Renin that not only was Lin Yuan, who was very famous in the school, chasing after her, but now the new transfer student, on his first day, was directly saying that he wanted to chase after her. Roll. Gu Renin blurted out the word roll, took the initiative to pull up Lin Yuan's hand, and left quickly. Li Mao gazed at the silhouettes of the two leaving hand in hand and squeezed the flowers into shape. What was it about himself that he couldn't compare to him? The next day, Li Mao found Lin Yuan and opened the door to ask how much money to give before he would leave Gu Renin. Lin Yuan didn't answer, he just stretched out a finger. 10,000 is it? Li Mao laughed. Yes, I'll give it to you now. Lin Yuan shook his head. 100,000? Li Mao frowned. 100,000 wasn't a small amount for him, but it wasn't like he couldn't afford to give it. But who knew, Lin Yuan still shook his head. Don't be too greedy, I can give you a 100,000, a million is too much. Li Mao coldly grunted. Lin Yuan said indifferently, what I want to say is, even if you give 100 million, I won't leave Gu Renin. Also, the way you chase people, might be useful for some girls, but it has to be divided into people. Lin Yuan's experiences since he was a child made him more or less think like an adult. So he felt that Li Mao's approach was just too childish. 
It was also true that, after all, he was just an 18-year-old high school student, relying on his family's money, his thoughts were a bit solidified, and he thought that by relying on his face value and his family's wealth, he would be able to get the girl he wanted to pursue. But it had to be said that this trick did work for most girls, but for Gu Ranin, it was rather ineffective. The next day, Li Mao seemed to lay much lower. Always looking for all kinds of reasons, talking to Gu Ranin, asking questions, each time stopping short, without the same crazy show of love and pursuit as before. This made Gu Ranin feel surprised, and her aversion to this Li Mao really subsided a lot. It was just that whenever she and Lin Yuan were together, this Li Mao would come over with a deadpan face. They ate together in the cafeteria at noon, going back together after school. Even if the two of them intentionally held hands, he would playfully, as if he didn't see it. It made Gu Ranin squirm. After going back, Li Mao proudly opened his cell phone and transferred a thousand dollars to a friend who had just added a short time ago. Thanks buddy, your trick worked, she's less bored with me, and it's also destroying the two of them. Li Mao smiled triumphantly. This best friend was last night and took the initiative to add him, and told Li Mao that he had a way for him to chase Gu Ranin. Li Mao tried to use the method given by the other party, and the result was very good. Don't be anxious, I'll teach you a few more tricks on how to chase Gu Ranin next. On the other side, Lin Yuan used his newly registered trumpet to reply to Li Mao. Lin Yuan's purpose was simple. You want to chase Gu Ranin, then I'll teach you how to do it. First of all, you should ignore Gu Ranin for these two days. Why? Li Mao said back. This move is called trying to catch you, do you understand? Oh ah. I get it, I get it, wonderful. Li Mao hurriedly transferred another thousand dollars to show his gratitude. See, in the next two days this Li Mao will probably really ignore you. Lin Yuan laughed at Gu Ranin who was holding back her laughter next to him. You're so bad, if he knew that you were the one giving him tips, he wouldn't vomit blood. Gu Ranin's music was bad. What kind of person teaches someone to chase after their girlfriend? Ha, huh, if I didn't, he wouldn't pester you every day? Lin Yuan said, the excitement is still to come, take your time. Gu Ranin suddenly felt that Lin Yuan was actually quite dark. Does this count as discovering another one of his strengths? I like it so much, what should I do? In the next two days, Li Ma was really honest, didn't say a word to Gu Ranin, faced the girls in other classes, the older sisters, all talked and laughed, and was willing to add contact information. During this time, Gu Ranin also had to cooperate out, from time to time to see his behavior. This made Li Mao feel that there was a trick. His own previous tricks were really all wrong. The tricks supported by that close friend were simply divine. Successively transferred quite a bit more money over to express his gratitude. Classmate, thank you so much, now that Gu Ranin is actively peeking at me. I think she must be wondering why I'm ignoring her. Not bad, next you continue to do as I say. Okay classmate, by the way, which grade and class are you in? I'll treat you to a meal. Inviting for dinner is exempted, by the way, Gu Ranin actually likes tugging and bad boys, first of all, you first have to become the head of the school, of those delinquent students. So Gu Ranin likes this kind of ah, uh, I get it. Li Mao put down his cell phone and couldn't help but laugh. He listened to this classmate's words, and within two days, he became the head of a total of a dozen delinquent students in the school. As for how he did it, there was nothing else, there was just supernatural power. Li Mao listened to the words of that classmate and fought with other delinquent students in the school. Often, he was the one who watched from behind while his little brother went up to do the fighting. You can't do that, you have to go up and fight yourself too. But I don't know how to fight? Just like you still want to chase Gu Ranin, forget it, delete your friends, I'm too lazy to help you. Hey classmate don't, I'll listen to you. Next, Li Mao led his little brother to find nothing to do, specializing in finding delinquent students who bullied other students, all kinds of fights. He personally went up to do the fight, even with his little brother protecting him, he was still beaten up. You did well, helping other weak students from being bullied. Classmate, does your trick work or not? I've been beaten to the point where my face is swollen. How can it not work? By the way, you're not arrogant enough to get in the eyes, talk a little tougher before a fight, let others know that you're the protagonist. Okay, then I'll try again. On that day, a dozen people led by Li Mao clashed with another group of 13 school delinquents. I, Li Mao, just can't stand the sight of you people, bullying the weak students, I'll put down my word here, whoever dares to, here to put down my word, whoever dares to bully students, I'll be the first to say no. Look at you people, bored of a mother but not raised by a father, how did you teach you these things? The faces of the dozen or so people on the opposite side became more and more ugly. If you don't want to come and beat me up, knock your mother out. Li Mao snorted. CNMs, hit him. The opposite side couldn't stand to watch and rushed up to fight. The two groups of people beat each other up, causing many students to watch. Li Mao was especially eye-catching, and his face caused many female students to join the onlookers. Then Li Mao was beaten up, his face was bruised and swollen, and one of his teeth fell out. He hurriedly ducked to the side and happened to see that among the onlookers, Gu Ranin was clearly among them. 
his eyes lit up with a chance to perform, and he rushed up to continue the fight. In the end, someone was shouting that the teacher was coming, and only then did the two groups disperse. Li Mao tidied up his messy hairstyle and dashingly walked past Gu Renin. Lin Yuan, this move of yours is too damaging. Gu Renin whispered in Lin Yuan's ear. If you think it's too much, I'll tell him to stop. Lin Yuan said. No need, no need. Gu Renin smiled cheekily, it's not excessive at all, really. She informed that this Li Mao wasn't a good person in the first place and had done many things that were enough to get expelled from school. Gu Renin even felt that what Lin Yuan had done wasn't excessive enough. That day, Li Mao was called to take a trip to the principal's office. The principal talked to him for a long time, telling him to temper himself or he wouldn't be able to do well. Li Mao agreed. Only that day after school, he was beaten up. The next day, he came to school with a swollen face, called his little brother, and started to fight with a vengeance again. The school simply came to the parents, and Li Mao's mother came too, and had a long talk with the principal. After that, Li Mao came to class as usual, only much more restrained. Classmate, look how Gu Renin didn't react at all when I was like this, does your solution work or not? How can it not work, I have inquired, Gu Renin is asking how you're hurt. Really, then why didn't she ask me directly? Girls, they must be too shy to ask in person. I see, I understand. After class, Li Mao shouted that his face, hands and elbows hurt, hoping to attract Gu Renin's attention. He didn't draw attention to himself, but there were quite a few girls from other classes who came over, bringing water, taking medicine, and annoying Li Mao. One day later. Warning. Can't ask if you want to come together, need to send paper or something. After Gu Renin left the classroom, it didn't take long for Li Mao's cell phone, which was in his pants pocket, to vibrate several times. Li Mao, Gu Renin was blocked inside the women's restroom, and was grabbed by several girls who grabbed her hair and hit her face, and bullied her severely. This is a good opportunity for a hero to save her, don't hesitate, go save her, if you're late, it'll be too late. When Li Mao saw the news, he was on fire, whoever dared to bully Gu Renin had a grudge against him. Without saying a word, he rushed out of the classroom without even thinking and went straight to the women's restroom. Ah! Moments later, several girls' screams came from the women's restroom. Li Mao was blown out of the women's restroom with a gray head, he was confused, didn't he say that Gu Renin was blocked in the restroom and bullied? Come with me to the principal's office. A female teacher walked out of the women's restroom with a cold face, pointing angrily at Li Mao. Teacher listen to my explanation, I didn't do it on purpose. Li Mao hastily waved his hand in defense. You go explain to the principal. Li Mao had just gone to the principal's office yesterday and came back today. The principal was feeling a big headache. How did this guy run into the girl's restroom and was caught on the spot by some female teacher in the second year of high school? This is not a good thing to do. At least, to persuade away the female teacher and called the parents, Li Mao explained the cause and effect, said that someone told him that a female student was bullied in the restroom, he went in. He repeatedly assured that there will never be a next time. The principal was in the way and could only give him another chance. Gu Renin wasn't in the restroom at all, and she wasn't being bullied, why did you lie to me? Ha ha ha, because it's fun, it's fun to see you being fooled by me. CNMD, I'll find out which class you're in, wait, you're dead. Don't need you to find out, I'm not changing my name in my line, I'm not changing my name, senior class 9, Wang Hongming, just you, a weakling, dare to come? Don't leave after school. Li Mao quickly went through his little brother and inquired about this class 7 Wang Hongming. He was also a bad student in the school, ganging up and bullying his weaker classmates. That day after school, Li Mao let the little brother early blocked in Wang Hongming home on the road. When the target appeared, a group of people rushed out and surrounded him. What are you guys doing? I didn't mess with you. Wang Hongjie Ming's eyes were fierce. Beat him up. Without saying a word, Li Mao directly asked his little brother to beat up people. In a short while, Wang Hongjie Ming was beaten to the point that he squatted on the ground holding his head, begging for mercy one after another. Will you dare next time, Mayor Gabby? Li Mao held a belly full of anger, which was finally dispelled with his fists. Wang Hongming still doesn't know until now, why did he hit himself? Could he be a relative of one of the students he bullied recently? Don't dare, don't dare. The good man was not forced to do anything, he had to bow his head for the time being. Transfer all the money back to me. Li Mao scolded. Wang Hongming was confused. What money? I really don't know what you're talking about. Li Mao froze and suddenly realized something and asked Wang Hongming some questions. It turned out that the wrong person was called. Grass, actually tricking me again. His face was blue and very ugly. Early the next morning, he was called to the principal's office again. Yesterday, someone had sent in a video that showed Li Mao, along with other students, beating up a fellow student. The video was also posted to the school forum, and many students were discussing this matter today. There were also some parents who had rebuked the fact that this kind of student must be withdrawn from the school to deal with it and return the school to a quiet place. This matter has become too big, I really can't make a decision. 
The principal was talking to Lee Mao's family. Finally, he hung up and sighed. Your family has decided to withdraw you from school. Li Mao was dumbfounded. He had only been in school for less than half a month, right? And he was expelled. Damn it, it's all because of that friend who added him. Don't let me know who you are. Li Mao was brought over by his family to take him away. In class, Gu Renin learned about the school's treatment of Li Mao and looked at Lin Yuan with a different color in her eyes. The seemingly gentle and considerate Lin Yuan actually had such a dark heart, playing Li Mao in the palm of his hand. Wouldn't this anyone who messed with him have to die without even knowing how? What else does Lin Yuan have on him that I don't know about? He's good at studying, good at singing, good at playing. Games, good at treating me well, and he's also dark, gosh, so many good points. Gu Renin felt like she had found a treasure. She leaned over her desk and blatantly looked at him, admiring that clean face. The more she looked, the more she liked it. Lin Yuan had long since noticed Gu Renin gazing at him, so he also plopped down on the desk and rested his head on his arm, facing Gu Renin. The two of them looked at each other and smiled. Lin Yuan, I realize that you've become so powerful, the omnipotent kind. Gu Renin smiled sweetly. Lin Yuan pursed his lips and said, I'm actually worried that you won't like this side of me, making my image in your mind crumble. That won't happen, you're the first boy I, Gu Renin, have ever liked, and I hope to be the last, Lin Yuan, I like you. Gu Renin's face gradually blushed in her cheeks. Will you be my boyfriend, Lin Yuan? Gu Renin confessed. She had originally hoped that Lin Yuan would confess to her, because the solidification of her thoughts made her subconsciously believe that a girl chasing after a boy was a sign of being unreserved and unladylike. And the matter of confession was never something that boys opened their mouths for. At this moment, Gu Renin could no longer hide her heart's fondness for Lin Yuan, and she wanted very, very much to, to be his girlfriend. Now Gu Renin, in Lin Yuan's eyes, was like a flower waiting to bloom, the flower was not in full bloom, but you could smell the faint fragrance of the flower. Her eyes were full of promise, and she was so affectionate that only he was reflected in her eyes. At this age of ignorance, one person is kind to another, so to speak, like, want to see that person, can't forget him, the other person's name is always hovering in the mind. When that person is around, he or she is inexplicably happy, which is also a manifestation of fondness. Even if it's just eye contact with each other, you can tell that you like them. Sometimes, some people didn't realize that it was called liking. Lin Yuan shook his head. Still can't do it, Gu Renin was lost. Her eyes seemed to be devoid of light and dimmed. What kind of person confesses on an occasion like this? Lin Yuan said with a smile, the moon should be beautiful tonight, I want to invite you to enjoy the moon together. He still had one sentence left unsaid, in fact, the person who should confess, is me ah. Aha. Gu Renin's eyes regained their luster, her eyes were bright and her smile was beautiful. Lin Yuan looked and watched, the moon is even more beautiful, but not as good as you. See you at night Lin Yuan. The evening sky was beautifully illuminated by the setting sun and the earth was a warm red color. Gu Renin said goodbye to Lin Yuan at school. After going back, she removed her makeup and combed her hair, a high ponytail with bangs made her look bright and beautiful, showing her most beautiful side. Sitting in front of the mirror, she only wore light makeup and already killed a large number of women her age. Gu Renin opened her closet, and among the many clothes, she chose that white dress that she liked very much. Tonight, she was extraordinarily beautiful and unmistakable. Ling Wanqing came back a little late, and seeing Gu Renin dressed up like this, she guessed that she was probably going on a date tonight. Otherwise, who would be fine to dress up so beautifully at home at night, for who to see? I'm going on a date with Lin Yuan, a real first date. Gu Renin was less lively and cute, and more elegant and chirpy. I really envy you. Ling Wanqing envied from the bottom of her heart. Today at school, she suffered differentiated treatment again. First, when the class changed seats, she was arranged by the teacher to be in the last row, alone without a table mate. And then it was a couple of mischievous male students in the back row who made fun of her, calling Ling Wanqing a big mole pig. She was almost ostracized by the entire class. I don't care. Ling Wanqing huffed, as if she had made some major decision. Old me, I won't. Even dress up ugly from tomorrow. Really Wanqing? Gu Renin was aware of Ling Wanqing's situation, and the two of them were simply one in the sky and one on the ground when compared. Gu Renin thought that if she had entered the class without Lin Yuan, perhaps she would be in a situation that was not much better than Wanqing. Therefore, her fondness for Lin Yuan was not just superficial. Rather, it was the kind that came from her heart. When she thought of the date she was going to have with Lin Yuan tonight, Gu Renin smiled sweetly and became even more beautiful. Ling Wanqing was sour and had complained many times about how she didn't have a classmate like Lin Yuan. People were more angry than people. Yes, I've decided not to play ugly. Ling Wanqing decided not to play ugly and had no qualms about it. She wanted the ugly duckling to turn into a white swan, dazzling and radiant, blinding those annoying classmates. I support you. Gu Renin raised her hands in favor. Good, it's so happily decided, we'll dress up and go to school tomorrow. 
Since Ling Wanqing had made her decision, she had no regrets. Gu Renin's phone suddenly rang. Not talking to you Wanqing, Ling Yuan is waiting downstairs for me to go down. After saying that, she hurried to the bathroom and took a look at herself in the mirror, smiled to make sure that the most beautiful version of herself could be shown in front of him, and hurried downstairs. The living room was filled with the sour smell from Ling Wanqing. Lin Yuan was wearing the clothes Gu Renin had given him today, and had simply fixed his hair, making his entire person look youthful and stylish, as well as better looking and cleaner. He saw Gu Renin walk out of the building, and suddenly everything around him dimmed. There was only her in his eyes. So beautiful. Gu Renin smiled shyly and walked in style, stopping in front of him, do I look good? She asked. Lin Yuan nodded seriously, you're actually a fairy coming down to earth, aren't you? Gu Renin was amused ha, huh? her beautiful eyes were hooked and her smile was like a flower as she was looking at him. Lin Yuan stretched out his hand, and Gu Renin also stretched out her small white and clean hand, naturally resting on it. The big hand held the little hand, gradually moving away. The night was still bright at 8.30, the moon was very round and large, its soft light shining on the earth. The lake in Riverside Park, sparkling. He and she, walking in the moonlight, pulling out long shadows. The moonlight is bright, falling on her body, like a fairy out of the dust. The moonlight was gentle, just like the way he looked at her, soft and warm. Lin Yuan held Gu Renin's hand and walked slowly along the riverside path. He had prepared a surprise for her. Lin Yuan. Gu Renin pursed her red lips and said, I heard Lin Wanqing say to me that the reason my mom is willing to let you continue to date me is because of an agreement you made with her, right? After all, Lin Wanqing couldn't control that mouth of hers and leaked the information to Gu Renin. Gu Renin's heart was tinted with heavy worry, hiding her unhappiness secretly to keep it from appearing on her face. Lin Yuan stopped and held her other small hand, well, auntie and I agreed that as long as my proof can be recognized by her, I will agree to you and I continuing our relationship. But, Gu Renin was anxious, my mom is very demanding, I'm afraid, Lin Yuan, let me help you, okay, I have more than a million dollars, I can take it all for you to use to start a business. Lin Yuan smiled and shook his head, I'll prove it to your mom in my own way. Lin Yuan, I'm begging you, I don't want to separate from you. Gu Renin's eyes glittered with crystal tears. She knew deep down how hard it really was to prove to her mother. This was undoubtedly placing a suspended sentence, and the occasion of senior year graduation was when the two of them parted ways. Renin, do you believe me? Lin Yuan looked into her eyes. Gu Renin nodded repeatedly. Then listen to me, I'm not exaggerating, I'll make sure that auntie will willingly hand you over to me. Lin Yuan said, okay? Gu Renin nodded again. Gu Renin, whom? Be my girlfriend, okay? Whom? On this summer night, Lin Yuan confessed to Gu Renin. Gu Renin had tenderness in her eyes and agreed to him with a smile and a cry. And then, across the river, there were fireworks that took off into the air, and then exploded, brilliant and beautiful. Adding a few more colors to this different night, Lin Yuan held Gu Renin in his arms, smelling the fragrance of her hair, and did not separate for a long time. Gu Renin smiled happily in her arms, her heart was sweet, this feeling was wonderful, she wanted to continue to immerse herself in it. Only after a long time did the two of them separate, the fireworks were still in full bloom, dazzling the night sky with beauty one by one. The fireworks are so beautiful, Gu Renin said. Lin Yuan wrapped his arm around Gu Renin's soft waist and said, it doesn't matter if the fireworks are good or not, the key is to see them with whom. Gu Renin laughed and said, your love words are so fleshy, but I like to hear it. Lin Yuan led her across the bridge to the opposite bank. Two people walked up to him, former roommates Li Wankai and Wang Ping. The two had been hired by Lin Yuan to help set off fireworks to add some mood to this not-so-romantic confession. The effect was quite good. Congratulations to you two for being together, I wish you'll work hand-in-hand hand until you grow old and never fall out. Wang Ping came over and glanced at Gu Renin, his expression visibly froze before immobilizing and congratulating the two. What happened to Lin Yuan, didn't he say that the object of this confession was Gu Renin, why did he change to someone else? Who is this girl, so pretty, so beautiful, what kind of luck did Lin Yuan have to get such a girlfriend, I'm so envious. It wasn't just Wang Peng, Li Wan Kai had the same doubts. Lin Yuan could see the doubts of the two and immediately explained for them, she's my girlfriend Gu Renin, everyone knows her, so I won't introduce more. Wait. Wang Peng scratched his head in confusion, Lin Yuan, you said she is Renin? Could there be two Gu Renin? There's only one Gu Renin. Lin Yuan explained, what you guys are seeing now is just the Gu Renin without the ugly disguise. He then briefly explained to the two. After hearing this, Wang Ping and Li Wenkai were both dumbstruck, exclaiming that Lin Yuan had picked up a treasure, his life was going to the Pika. All right, all right, I'll treat you two to a big meal. The four of them arrived at a very famous beef hot pot restaurant, Wang Ping and Li Wenkai didn't feel very hungry because they had eaten too much dog food along the way. 
seeing Ling Yuan and Du Renin arm in arm, talking and laughing, not caring about the feelings of the two of them, don't single dogs need dignity? It's a good thing that Wang Ping has a girlfriend, only he didn't call in today, or else he wouldn't have been shown love. Li Wenkai did not say a word throughout the whole process, holding the black screen cell phone, whispering to the side of Wang Ping to ask things. Wang Ping, do you know how to chase girls? Wang Ping absentmindedly said, chat more, talk more, then invite out for dinner, if the other party is willing to come out and continues to be willing to chat with you afterward, it means there is a chance. I see. Li Wenkai nodded. Half a month ago suddenly a girl added his friend. The two chatted and chatted happily, Li Wenkai wasn't very good at chatting, especially with girls, but every time it was the other person who came to chat with him. She is very cheerful, a good girl, help poor children, especially filial piety, this time also went back to her grandfather's home, help her grandfather fried tea. This is Li Wensai's first impression of the girl. He also bought the tea made by the girl's grandfather, although it was a bit expensive for him. But good tea must be more expensive, he thought to himself in this way. If it was a matter of study, he guaranteed to know everything, it was all a minor issue for him. But the matter of men and women chatting involved a gap in his familiar field. Li Wenkai had to ask Wang Ping what he should do. Wang Ping was speechless for a while after hearing this. With a compassionate gaze, he said in a serious tone, Wang Kai, ah, uh, it is a good thing to study well, but if you only know how to read and study every day, you will look at yourself badly. Wang Ping informed Li Wenkai that these are all sets, people call them tea sellers, even the sets and whatnot are analyzed clearly. Finally asked if Li Wenkai had bought tea, Li Wenkai was silent. Wang Ping knew the answer, definitely bought. He was afraid that Li Wenkai still did not believe, so he took out his cell phone, searched for information about the woman selling tea, and put out a wave of evidence to show him. In the end, Li Wenkai believed it. Wang Ping had never seen such an angry Li Wenkai. Li Wenkai sent a message to the so-called tea seller, questioned why how to do it, and asked for a refund. Not a moment to send a message again, he sent a message into the exclamation point, was pulled black. The network set is deep, the easiest to be cheated is people like you who only care about reading. Wang Ping sighed and said, consider it as spending money to buy a lesson, in the future, if you play friends with girls again, ask brother to keep an eye on you. Li Wan Kai was not in the mood to go to dinner and found an excuse to leave, difficult to pass alone. Wang Ping stayed and was embarrassed to be a light bulb, also left and said that he would definitely do it next time. Only Lin Yuan and Gu Renin were left, simply ordering some dishes to fill their stomachs. After eating, the two were in no hurry to go back. Holding hands and strolling down the street, the two stopped in front of a lassoing stall. Let me lasso a bear for you. Lin Yuan pointed to the ground, where all kinds of lasso prizes were placed, among which there was a bear placed at the very back, which was also the most difficult to hit. Yeah. Gu Renin laughed. But the bear is so far away. How much money do I have to spend to hit it? Why don't you buy me one? She had played the lasso game before, but she was really unlucky, and after spending hundreds of dollars, she didn't even get a better prize. In the end, it was the boss who saw her pity and gave her two. Lin Yuan shook his head and said, no need, two hoops will be enough to set it. Gu Renin said, I don't believe it, then what if I get a hit? Lin Yuan looked at her with a bad smile. If I get it, I get it, what else can I do? Gu Renin gave Lin Yuan a blank look, alright, to give you some motivation, if you hit it, I'll kiss you, how about it? Then I'll kiss here. Lin Yuan pointed to his lips. Gu Renin blushed, you only agreed to be your girlfriend, so you're getting ahead of yourself? Oomph, it's not that this girl is looking down on you, if you can really hit the bear in the first circle, I'll kiss you. Gu Renin crossed her arms and grunted, if you can't get it, I want you to charge me $20 for the phone bill. Gu Renin hadn't forgotten that day, when she had clearly allowed Lin Yuan, to make an excessive request to herself. As a result, this stupid, egg actually wanted her to charge $20 for the phone bill, which didn't make her so angry that she spat out blood. Now the time for revenge had come. Okay. Lin Yuan agreed and bought a $20 ring from the boss. He only took one circle and gave the rest to Gu Renin. Gu Renin grabbed the circle, aimed at the location, and then threw it. The circle fell to the ground, hitting nothing. She wasn't discouraged, and ended up only hitting a fist-sized doll, which made her happy. See, I'm that good and I only hit the nearest one, are you any good? Gu Renin was proud of herself, holding the doll she had won and waving it in front of Lin Yuan's eyes. Brother, why don't you buy a few more rings? This bear is very hard to hit. Several people came in front of us who also wanted this bear, but they didn't get it. The stall owner was young and informed some truth. His bear is very big. If you want to set in, you can only set in the top of the head or ear position. Plus the distance cannot be close. Even if it is a master, do not dare to say that the first circle set in. It seems that this brother is too conceited, destined not to get a kiss from his girlfriend. It should be said not to say, this side of the girlfriend can be really beautiful. The stall owner couldn't help but want to steal a few glances. No need. Lin Yuan smiled and shook his head. 
He stood on the prescribed line, aimed at the position, estimated the strength of the throw that should be made, as well as the angle, and then threw the circle in his hand. The circle flew straight out and landed with pinpoint accuracy on top of the bear's head. Very fast and accurate. The stall owner was confused. This is a hit, not scientific. My bear, I spent more than $200 to buy it, and it's not even a few days old, and it's been snared. It's a big loss. Willing to bet. Lin Yuan turned his head, at this moment, Gu Renin's small mouth was slightly open, her pretty face was full of astonishment. Did she really want to kiss Lin Yuan? No no no, it was too shy. Gu Renin blushed, turned her head and ran away. I'll come back later to get the bear. Lin Yuan left these words for the stall owner before smiling and chasing after him. The stall owner was pleasantly surprised, these two people didn't even want the bear anymore? So he hurriedly closed the stall at light speed and slipped away. Still want to come back for the bear? You think too much. Lin Yuan caught up with Gu Renin and walloped her on the wall. What? Are you backing out? Lin Yuan was all smiles. I. I was just messing with you. Gu Renin's back was pressed against the wall, her little heart thumping. Being walloped by her boyfriend yeah, is this what it feels like to be walloped, so exciting, and nervous? Love love love. Making fun? Lin Yuan narrowed his eyes, if you don't want to, forget it. Lin Yuan didn't like to force himself on people, he planned to retreat. If kissing the mouth didn't work, then kissing the face would always work, right? Who said I'm not willing? Gu Renin was irritated by the provocation, her small mouth gently printed on Lin Yuan's lips. They parted instantly, blushing like an apple. That momentary touch felt so marvelous. Lin Yuan was briefly lost in thought. This was his first time kissing. It was also her first time kissing. It was the first time for both. It's getting late. I'll send you home. Aha. The two held hands. Gu Renin lowered her small head, still reminiscing about the kiss she had just received, this moment was even more moving in her shyness. Lin Yuan, how did you do that? All of a sudden you snared the bear. Gu Renin found it hard to understand, otherwise she wouldn't have put down her big words and ended up failing miserably and losing her first kiss. Luck. Lin Yuan laughed. He had the ability of the complete book of life skills, and lassoing was one of them, one set was accurate. So could it not be accurate? Gu Renin didn't believe it was luck, the first set of circles hit, she could only mutter in a small voice, Lin Yuan big bad guy, I will never bet with you again, ooh ooh, my first kiss ah. The two returned to the stall where they had just lassoed the circle, looking at the empty ground, the two froze. Where are the people? The stall owner couldn't afford to play and ran away. This was something Lin Yuan didn't expect. The two had no choice but to go back. Lin Yuan sent Gu Renin downstairs and hugged each other goodbye. See you tomorrow boyfriend Gu Renin smiled sweetly and waved goodbye. See you tomorrow. Lin Yuan smiled, there was just one more thing he didn't say Ring Yin's girlfriend. Gu Renin turned back once every three steps, from the mischievous tongue sticking out at the beginning, holding her cheeks in her hands to play cute, to the final reluctance to part. Lin Yuan watched Gu Renin disappear before he turned to leave. As he walked, he smiled. Tonight, she is really beautiful. From today, she is my Lin Yuan's girlfriend, a girl to be protected for life, not to be wronged in any way. The two are also tonight to determine the relationship of male and female friends. Lin Yuan felt that she was a gift sent to him from heaven. When about to walk to the end of the road, Lin Yuan suddenly came up with a thought. This silly girl, shouldn't suddenly turn back and watch herself leave. Thinking of this, Lin Yuan immediately turned around. Suddenly turned back. Well, it was him who thought too much. Gu Renin quietly went upstairs, but found that the living room lights were still on, and Ling Wanqing hadn't he gone to bed so late. Back ha. Ah. Ling Wanqing watched the TV while eating a snack. Why aren't you asleep yet are you? Gu Renin asked. Waiting for you to come back. Ling Wanqing said back, how did the date with Lin Yuan go? He confessed to me. Gu Renin smiled. What? Ling Wanqing's hidden tiredness instantly disappeared and she swished up from the sofa, so you promised him? Gu Renin nodded her head, yeah. Ling Wanqing went crazy and odd and odd there, not knowing whether she was happy or unhappy. When her good girlfriend suddenly had a boyfriend, Ling Wanqing had mixed feelings. Wouldn't she not be able to go out shopping, eat together, and buy clothes with Renin on a regular basis? Congratulations, Ling Wanqing said. Wanqing, are you really going to go to school tomorrow without looking ugly? Gu Renin thought that if Ling Wanqing really did this, it was still unknown what the outcome would be. Ling Wanqing's idea might be to secretly dress up ugly and then stun everyone, raising her eyebrows fiercely for once and making those who ostracized and caught her regret it. But would that really be the case? Gu Renin found it hard to say. Ling Wanqing firmly said, well, I've decided, I'll light up those people's eyes tomorrow. Gu Renin thought for a moment, but still voiced her concerns. So what? Ling Wanqing sneered, big deal, I'll just transfer to your school, so I can be with you every day. Gu Renin was then relieved. The next day, Ling Wanqing woke up early. 
After washing up, she sat in front of the dresser and began to put on her makeup. Her makeup was drawn in such a way that one couldn't tell that it was drawn the same way, but it was beautiful and moving, her eyes were very soulful, her lips were pink and delicate, and her white teeth were clean and white. Ling Wanxing simply tied her ponytail and used bobby pins to fix it where it would easily fall apart. Then she went out. Arriving at the school, she quickly stood in front of her class. The noisy sounds of her classmates came from within the class. She took a deep breath and walked into the class. Instantly, the originally noisy classroom was immediately silent. All were looking at this unfamiliar female classmate. Some of the male students' eyes were glowing, such a good-looking girl, they were. Light, such a good-looking girl, they had only seen it in their cell phones. Classmate, who are you looking for? A girl looked over. Ling Wanqing looked towards this girl who had barely said a few words, Good morning, Li Yu. The female classmate named Li Yu was puzzled, You know me? I'm Ling Wanqing ah, don't you recognize me? Li Yu stared at Ling Wanqing as if she had seen a ghost. It wasn't until Ling Wanqing walked to her seat and sat down that everyone believed that she was the one with a large mole on her face, her face was waxy and yellow, and she was so difficult to see that she was disliked by the entire class. How come the mole on her face was gone? Her waxy yellow face was no longer there, she had become white and bright, she was practically a new person. Faint murmurs appeared in the quiet classroom. What's going on with Ling Wanqing? It can't be a fake, it's not the same person at all. Look she's sitting in her seat, besides, didn't someone say she had beautiful eyes before, look if her eyes are the same as before, it's definitely the same person. Ha, huh? then could it be that she has been pretending to be ugly all along? How else can it be explained? The students were all discussing Ling Wanqing, their gazes going her way from time to time. The boys who had teased her before and laughed at her for being a big mole pig, each and every one of them stayed quiet because the way she was now, one could not afford to tease her. A girl came over to talk to Ling Wanqing and asked her if she was pretending to be ugly before. Ling Wanqing admitted it. That girl went back and spoke to the others, not knowing what she was talking about. During class, the teacher thought that a new student had come and was surprised and shocked when she learned that this beautiful girl was actually Ling Wanqing. However, next, everything did not go as Ling Wanqing imagined. The female classmates were still isolating her, but the boys didn't tease her anymore, and some of them even sneak glances her way after class. Instead, when she ate in the cafeteria at noon, there were a lot of schoolboys looking at her, inquiring about her class and what her name was. Ling Wanqing was nothing more than an 18-year-old girl, her mind was still pure and simple, not understanding the ways of the world and figuring out people's hearts. She did amaze her classmates, but as a result, the distance between her and her classmates grew further and further apart. Ling Wanqing was puzzled. This is not the result I wanted. After returning, Ling Wanqing told Gu Renin about this. Gu Renin secretly said that it was really similar to what she had guessed, but it was just this kind of thing that she didn't know how to deal with. She suddenly thought that her boyfriend was omnipotent, so she could ask him if he knew. She immediately sent a message to Ling Yuan for help. Boyfriend boyfriend, your Renin cutie is calling you, reply as soon as you receive it. Lin Yuan, what's up girlfriend? Lin Yuan and Su Yen were at the company, talking about the new mask, and when they received the exclusive tone, they were the first to check. Gu Renin, it's like this, Wan Qing she didn't dress up ugly to go to school today, it's just, she told the story of what happened. Lin Yuan frowned as he read it. To be honest, he didn't have the right ideas to suggest for this kind of thing. Sister Su Yen, my friend has encountered a problem, I want to ask if you have any good suggestions. He read the matter briefly to Su Yen. After Su Yen listened, she found it very interesting. Your friend has always gone to school dressed up as ugly, then today he stopped dressing up as ugly, but he was still ostracized by the class, right? According to logic, it is definitely not possible for everyone to accept her at once, it's okay if it's a boy, but if it's a girl, the situation of saying bad things about your friend behind her back is also possible. So if you want to be friendly with your classmates, you have to let go of your self-respect first, continue to go to school as an ugly person, and then through other ways, such as telling some girl that her period is coming, borrowing tissues, asking questions, and giving favors to imply that you want to be friends with them. Su Yen thought about it and then gave her opinion. After hearing this, Lin Yuan felt that what Su Yen said was very reasonable and immediately replied to Gu Renin. You let Ling Wanqing transfer to another school. Lin Yuan wasn't suggesting blindly, he was seriously giving advice. Having been with Gu Renin for such a long time, he knew more or less about her best friend Ling Wanqing, this person's character. For her to lower her voice to show favor to her classmates and do something that went against her heart, she definitely couldn't do it. Of course, Lin Yuan still sent the advice given by Su Yen to Gu Renin as well. She asked her to convey it to Ling Wanqing and let her decide on her own what to choose. Next, Lin Yuan continued to discuss with Su Yen about the mask. The mask formula involved a variety of new materials that no one had ever used to mix into cosmetics, so it was still unknown how effective it would be. However, Su Yen had already gathered most of the materials. 
After all the materials were collected and the finished product was made, the ingredients would be tested at that time to ensure that there were no dangerous ingredients, and then it would be tested on human skin. Lin Yuan didn't understand this and let her run the whole thing. Mr. Lin, apart from this matter, I also have something I want to ask you for. Su Yen was worried. She was very capable of solving things, but this matter was still really hard for her to solve. What is it? Lin Yuan told her to speak freely. There's another material that's hard to collect, not only is it expensive, but it's not something that can be bought with money. Su Yen paused and said, I think you should have a wide network, Mr. Lin, so maybe you can buy it. Ah? Uh? Lin Yuan wanted to say where he had a wide network, this was something he really couldn't do. However, he still asked first what kind of material it was that was so difficult to collect. Su Yen sighed and said, it's a flower that everyone calls the blood orchid, grown in foreign tropical rainforests, said to possess the power to preserve youth forever. Blood orchid was just the name everyone called this flower, its real scientific name was not this. It was difficult to collect because it was not in the country, the growing place was located in the tropical rainforest, and it was hard to be found, so even if one had the money, it was hard to buy it. Su Yen didn't have the channels to get the blood orchid and could only turn to Lin Yuan for help. Lin Yuan was silent, among the people he knew, the one with the biggest network was the big star Lin Xinyue. He just didn't know if she had a way. I'll think of a way for this. Lin Yuan sighed, seeing that it was getting late, he offered to leave. I'll see you off. Su Yen got up. No need. Lin Yuan refused her kindness and left alone, driving the Porsche gifted by the system and leaving the company. Regarding this car, Lin Yuan had specifically done a detailed trace. Finding the car store that sold this car and accessing the surveillance at the time. The staff at the car store apologized and told him that there was a problem with the surveillance equipment on that day, and it didn't record the surveillance footage from that day. Not only that, but there was no trace of the car on the nearby road surveillance. The staff told him that the person who bought the car was a young man, dressed in a suit, with an extraordinary demeanor. When Lin Yuan asked what the other party looked like, the staff said that they had forgotten, and when they asked the others, they said that they looked a lot like Lin Yuan. The trail broke here, even with the cell phones, villas, etc. that the system gave away. Just as Lin Yuan was struggling to find out where these things came from and considering whether to continue pursuing them, his mother, Lin Shanglan, called him. Son, a person claiming to be your second grandpa's lawyer came over to our house, naming you as the person who wants you to inherit his what? Property, you should hurry home now. On the phone, Mother Lin Shanglan nervously said, Ah, uh, Lin Yuan seemed to remember that he didn't have any second grandfather. His first reaction was that he was a liar, so he hurriedly drove back home. Lin Yuan drove very fast and arrived home half an hour later. He parked his car a little farther away and walked home himself. Just as he entered the house, he saw a middle-aged man in a suit with an extraordinary demeanor sitting on the sofa at home. Mom, I'm home. Lin Yuan looked at the middle-aged man and said to his mother, Lin Xianglan, who was sitting opposite the other party. Son you're finally back, come over and sit. Lin Xianglan beckoned Lin Yuan over. Lin Yuan did not move and walked over to sit next to her. Let me introduce myself first, my name is Ji Ming, I'm your second grandfather's personal lawyer. Ji Ming finished introducing herself and added, you're Lin Yuan, right? Lin Yuan nodded, I'm Lin Yuan, can you explain this to me? By now, he was still confused. Ji Ming laughed, did you know that you actually have a second grandfather? Your grandfather who passed away actually has a real brother. Lin Yuan shook his head and waited for the following. When your grandfather passed away, because of the issue of property distribution, your grandfather and your second grandfather fell out, your second grandfather sold his share of the fields and used them to start his own business, and it took a few decades to have a successful career, fame, and fortune. But people also have old age, your second grandfather had no children in his knees, originally your father was the most deserving person to inherit this property, but he abandoned you before you were even born and joined the family of a wealthy family, making your second grandfather spurned. That's why your second grandfather decided to give you this inheritance. Ji Ming finished and looked at Lin Yuan. Son, what he said is true. When Lin Shanglan was young, when she was with Lin Yuan's father, she had heard about this matter from the other side. What's in my second grandfather's inheritance? Lin Yuan had a premonition. He only heard Ji Ming say, 10% of the shares of Tangfei Company, a villa worth $50 million in Riverside. Lin Yuan was completely stunned. These legacies, didn't he already own them? This suddenly appeared a second grandfather, wanting himself to inherit his legacy, the key to these legacies, or the rewards given by the system. Seeing that he didn't say anything, Ji Ming took out a stack of contract documents from his briefcase and put them on the table, I've prepared all the inheritance contracts, you only need to sign them. Under Lin Shanglan's urging, Lin Yuan signed this contract in a daze. She didn't bother to read the contents of the contract because she knew it wouldn't be fake. Ji Ming collected the signed contract and got up, 
I'll transfer the inheritance to your name next. Lin Yuan wanted to say no need, the villa I've lived under for so long, and the shares, they've all been sold off some. Although the order was a bit messed up, the result was the same, it just made more sense to own these properties. Lin Yuan originally agonized over how to explain all that he owned in the future, but now he doesn't have to agonize over it, the system helped him come up with a second grandfather, perfect for filling in the hole. Ji Ming left, Lin Shanglan secretly wiped her tears in the living room, after so many years of suffering, it's finally the end. Mom, we can stop living here, move to the villa to enjoy the happiness, son will support you. Lin Yuan proposed. There's no rush, when mom quits her job in a few days and takes care of her chores, she'll go live there. Lin Shanglan laughed, to this day she felt like she was dreaming. If she were to know how much 10% of Tang Fei's shares were worth, she would probably really think she was dreaming and pinch herself a few times before she would believe it. After such an episode, Lin Yuan didn't forget about himself. He first sent a message to Lin Xingyu, hoping that she could use her contacts to see if there were any channels to obtain the blood orchid. Lin Chengyu, what are you asking for? I'll ask for you. Lin Yuan, an important material needed for a cosmetic product. Lin Chengyu, alright, by the way, is that program of yours about to start filming yet, have you been notified? Lin Yuan, not yet. In the end, Lin Chengyu asked her friend to help ask their friends to notify him as soon as there was news. Lin Yuan said thanks and ended the chat. On the other side, Gu Renin showed Ling Wanqing the suggestions that Lin Yuan had sent her. Ugh. Ling Wanqing sighed, I'd better wait. She was thinking that if she couldn't, she could only transfer to another school. Asking her to show favor to those girls, well it would be better for her to die. How hilarious it would be to transfer to Ri in school then. Well, think it over. Gu Renin said, so are you still going to play ugly tomorrow? Ling Wanqing shook her head, no, still the same as today. Early in the morning, Ling Wanqing got up early. Dressing herself up beautifully, she came to school. Walking into the class, a few girls who had gathered together to talk, stopped talking at once, and their gazes swept over Ling Wanqing intentionally or unintentionally. Hee <laughs> hee, some people who are pretty still intentionally pretend to be ugly, it's really a work, thinking that suddenly one day the ugly duckling turns into a white swan, everyone will be circling around you ah. That's right, look at the other classes, all the boys are running over to the outside looking around, being seduced over. More than that, the whole school is talking about it also really can't figure out what's there to talk about. A few girls in the class were acidic and demeaning, but inwardly they were still envious, and envy is jealousy. If they were in their place, they probably wouldn't think so. Some of them spoke very loudly on purpose, as if they were speaking to Ling Wanqing on purpose. Ling Wanqing sat in her seat, listening to the naysayers of her classmates, and smiled disdainfully. There was no need to get annoyed with this kind of person. She found an extra note in her drawer. I'm sorry classmate Ling Wanqing, I shouldn't have nicknamed you, can you forgive me? Ling Wanqing read the contents of the note and inwardly laughed coldly. A boy at the next table, who often loved to tease her and gave her the nickname Big Mole Pig, was nervous when he saw Ling Wanqing, looking at the note he had placed in her desk. Ling Wanqing took out a pen and in the blank space of the note, wrote down a few words. Will you forgive the person who once hurt you? I won't. After writing it, she put it in her drawer, not bothering with it. The next day's class was the same as usual, not much different. It was on the way back from school that Ling Wanqing was blocked halfway by a few girls from other classes. I heard that you're quite a drag, aren't you? The girl in the lead was average looking, a delinquent student amongst the girls in the school. She was followed by four or five other girls, all of them hanging around, and some of them were smoking. Their reason for blocking Ling Wanqing was simple, they just didn't like her. What's the matter with you guys? Ling Wanqing calmly said. MD, how dare you be so draggy in front of me, looking for a smoke? Without warning, the girl in the lead slapped Ling Wanqing in the face. Ling Wanqing's eyes wanted to spit fire, and she stared at the girl who hit her. How dare you stare at me, is your skin itching? The girl made a move to slap Ling Wanqing again. How many years had it been, Ling Wanqing had only been beaten by her own father once when she was a child for being too naughty, and now it was the second time. She punched the girl who slapped her hard in the face, and the two of them just wrestled together. The other girls saw this and came over to help. Ling Wanqing was the last one out of the school. Returning to her residence, her appearance startled Gu Renin. There were slap marks on her face, blood at the corner of her mouth, her hair was messy and tangled, and her school uniform was torn. There were some cuts on her body where her nails had scratched her skin, and Gu Renin hurriedly brought the medicine kit over to sterilize it. What the hell happened? Gu Renin was so anxious that she was on the verge of crying. She was very heartbroken that her best friend was being bullied. I got into a fight with someone. Ling Wanqing would still have the heart to smile at this point and briefly recounted what happened not long ago. Damn it, how can they beat up people for no reason? Gu Renin clenched her fists, determined to make the other party give a statement. I decided to transfer to another school, I don't want to stay in this school. Ling Wanqing suddenly said, 
I've actually been subjected to school violence, huh? Gu Renin had never seen such a Ling Wanqing, and for a moment, she was a bit worried and scared. Don't do anything stupid, Wanqing. Don't worry, at most I'll just pay someone to beat those people up hard. Lin Yuan it's not good, Wanqing is being bullied at school. Gu Renin hesitated, worried that Ling Wanqing would do something stupid, she still sent a message to Lin Yuan. I know, leave it to me. Lin Yuan quickly replied, telling her not to worry. The next day, when Gu Renin came to school, she spoke to Lin Yuan about this matter again. She's your best friend, naturally I won't sit back and do nothing, just don't worry and leave this matter to me. Lin Yuan had already contacted the gang of punks he had beaten up before and gave them some favor money to wait outside the school before school ended, preparing to return the favor in their own way. Oh Gu Renin was still uneasy and asked again, how are you going to fix it ah boyfriend? The last class this afternoon, it's not an important class anyway, so I'll skip it and go ahead and wait for Ling Wanqing in front of her school, Lin Yuan said, and then reason with those people who bullied her. Oh Gu Renin Yu again. Renin, it seems to me that you haven't been reviewing your homework properly lately, have you been slacking off? Lin Yuan deliberately sidetracked the topic. Gu Renin patted her chest, I've been studying properly, I promise I haven't been lazy. Really? Of course. Gu Renin. Yes. Please listen to the questions. Yes. Lin Yuan flipped open his math book, and Gu Renin sat down obediently and put up a good fight. The following statements are correct. A. In a certain process, if f, x, has a limit and g, x, has no limit, then f, x, plus g, x, has no limit. b. In a process, if both f, x, and g, x, are limitless, then f, x, plus g, x, is limitless. c. In a process, if f, x, has a limit and g, x, has no limit, then f, x, g, x, has no limit. d. If the limit of f, x, equals a, x plus infinity, then the limit of f, n, equals a, x plus infinity. Gu Renin blinked dumbly. It was over, she couldn't answer. In a tone of voice that wasn't very sure, she blindly blindly gave a random answer. Pick. B. Lin Yuan knocked chestnuts on her head, no. Gu Renin was so aggravated, she didn't just choose the wrong answer, but she still knocked on her head. Bad guy Lin Yuan, I don't care about you anymore. I'm ignoring you, she said, turning her body sideways and clasping her hands to her chest, indicating to Lin Yuan that your girlfriend is angry and needs to be coaxed to get better. Lin Yuan poked Gu Renin. Gu Renin turned her head back, hummed softly, and turned back again. Lin Yuan wanted to laugh, why was his girlfriend so cute? Or was everyone's girlfriend in the whole world like this? I'll take you to eat something delicious tonight. Lin Yuan moved closer and quietly whispered in her ear. Yes, yes, yes. Gu Renin immediately stopped being angry. Food lover, be careful of eating you fat. Lin Yuan laughed lightly. Gu Renin beamed her mouth in dissatisfaction, I'm not going to eat fat. Turning to her, she asked, Boyfriend, if I eat fat, will you dislike me and not want me anymore? Lin Yuan cooperated and thought seriously, Should. Won't. What do you mean it shouldn't? Gu Ranin glared at him. Okay not kidding you, no matter what you become, I'm your boyfriend, okay? If this wasn't a class, Lin Yuan would love to rub this girl's little head. This was Lin Yuan's first time falling in love, and the feeling of being in love was like a hint of coolness in the summer heat, and like a sweet lollipop, sweet to the heart, and every day's mood was pleasant. He wondered how nice it would be if every day was like this. Though it wasn't realistic, so enjoying every day that followed was the best option. That's more like it. Gu Renin then smiled cheekily again. So what kind of delicious food are you taking me to eat after school? Skewers on the street, plenty of them to fill you up. Just eat me up. No, I want to eat beef hot pot. I don't have money. I can't afford it. Go, go, go. The last lesson in the afternoon, Lin Yuan did not go on, use the class president position rights, sneak out of the school. Not far from the school, a few punks have been waiting for a long time. The two sides can be said to be not fighting, before the unpleasantness or a laugh to end the enmity, as the saying goes, there is no eternal friend, only eternal interests. Brother Lin you're here. The leader of the gangsters hurriedly stubbed out the cigarette in his hand and greeted him with a smile. Lin Yuan nodded calmly, let's go. The head gangster drove a gold cup van, the minions filed in, Lin Yuan sat in the passenger seat, calmly looking at his cell phone. Everyone sitting in the car knew what they were going to do next so they didn't ask too many questions. In short, take people's money and beat them up for them. A few dozen minutes later, the car stopped at the entrance of another high school in the city. It was soon time for school to end, and many, many students walked out of the school gates. Lin Yuan's eyes searched for Ling Wanqing's figure in the crowd. There were fewer and fewer students walking out of the school, but Ling Wanqing was nowhere to be seen. Lin Yuan frowned, worried that something had happened to her. Let's go in. Lin Yuan got out of the car and walked into the school against the flow of people. A few punks followed close behind. 
Lin Yuan knew from Gurunin where Ling Wanqing's class was, and on the way, he called out to a certain classmate and asked for the exact location before rushing over at a fast pace. When he arrived at the place, he saw a group of students gathered outside the classroom, watching the action. Lin Yuan immediately rushed over, pushed through the crowd and walked in. He then saw a few girls controlling Ling Wanqing and bullying her. Lin Yuan's eyes gradually turned cold. He walked over without saying a word and tapped the shoulder of a girl who was doing it. The girl turned her head back and received a heavy slap, knocking over the desk next to her. Is bullying fun? Lin Yuan looked at her. WCNM. The girl covered her face, glaring menacingly at Lin Yuan as she lunged over like crazy. Lin Yuan kicked her out. The punks who had just arrived saw this and stood behind Lin Yuan, waiting for instructions. Are you going to beat them up? Lin Yuan looked towards Ling Wanqing who had messy hair. Ling Wanqing nodded heavily and walked straight to the girl who hit her and slapped her several times in succession, the key being that the other party did not dare to resist. Ling Wanqing slapped the other girls one after another, hitting them so hard that slap marks appeared on their faces, each covering their faces and not daring to squeak. The presence of Lin Yuan, coupled with his methods just now, had scared them. And with so many punks backing up the scene, who would dare to mess around? Let's go. Ling Wanqing packed up her things and prepared not to come back. Walking out of the school, Lin Yuan told the few punks to go back, while he and Ling Wanqing walked silently down the street. On the way, Ling Wanqing suddenly crouched down and sobbed in a low voice. Lin Yuan sighed and didn't say anything to comfort her, let her vent her emotions first. After crying for a while, Ling Wanqing got up and silently wiped her tears, and smiled reluctantly at Lin Yuan, I let you see the joke. Lin Yuan shook his head. Ugh Ling Wanqing sighed heavily, experiencing the ugliness of people, it was as if she had matured a lot all of a sudden. By the way, how did you come over? Ling Wanqing asked, not waiting for an answer. She immediately thought of the answer. It was Renin who told you, right? Lin Yuan nodded. She was afraid that something would happen to you. That's why she told me. Seriously, you came at a really good time. You know, you were so handsome when you beat up that girl just now. At that time I was thinking, how good it would be if you weren't Renin's boyfriend. I'll just be your girlfriend. Ling Wanqing said to herself, Renin has a boyfriend like you. I'm really envious. Why can't I meet him? Lin Yuan smiled and didn't say anything. If it wasn't for the fact that our system doesn't allow for monogamy, or else I would have discussed it with Renin to see if we could have a common boyfriend. How about I snatch a boyfriend from Renin? With her simple mind, she definitely won't be able to snatch me, but I'm going to lose such a good girlfriend, it's not cost effective. Ugh, it's all about other people's boyfriends. Lin Wanqing was rambling in her mind. Lin Yuan heard it all. Lin Yuan finally called a car and sent Lin Wanqing back. Gu Renin was both heartbroken and angry, those people were just too hateful, was it wrong to be pretty? She wondered what would happen if she stopped pretending to be ugly one day and appeared in front of her school, class, and teachers with her real appearance. Would she suffer the same fate as Ling Wanchang? Gu Renin was scared, so she decided that she would spend her entire high school career dressed as an ugly person. Renin, I'll talk to my parents later and ask them to help me transfer to another school, when I do, I'll transfer to your school, preferably in the same class, so we can be together every day. Ling Wanqing had already made up her mind to transfer schools. That's great. Gu Renin was delighted. Let's go out to eat? Since all three of them hadn't eaten yet, Lin Yuan proposed. Good, I'm hungry too. I just ate some snacks to pad my stomach just now. Gu Renin rubbed her hungry little stomach. Hmm. Ling Wanqing said, why don't we go to that very famous hot pot restaurant in the city center? In order to have an early meal, the three of them immediately set off and called a drop car to set off at a rapid pace. Inside the drop car, Lin Yuan sat in the co-pilot, Gu Renin, and Ling Wanqing sat in the back row. Gu Renin's playfulness came together and took her hair to tickle Lin Yuan's neck. Naughty. Lin Yuan laughed and didn't stop it. Slightly, slightly Gu Renin smiled cheekily, and even the driver uncle complimented her for being cute and funny. Ling Wanqing was inexplicably fed dog food, her heart felt bad, she suddenly wanted to fall in love too. Renin, why don't you lend me your boyfriend for a few days, how about it? She suddenly said. No. Gu Renin refused on the spot, what do you want my boyfriend for? Ling Wanqing said, just borrow it for a few days, not for anything. Gu Renin looked at her with shocked eyes, use, you want to breed? Gu Renin's words were so thunderous that Ling Wanqing couldn't help but roll her eyes, can you not be so dirty in your thinking, but also mating, why don't you go match yourself? She just wanted to experience the feeling of having a boyfriend, and she could rent one if she didn't want to. Ling Wanqing clearly price tag, a day 2000 asked Gu Renin willing. Gu Renin cut her voice. Don't want, you want to find your own boyfriend, you have to ask me? Ling Wanqing heatedly smiled, your boyfriend is better. Of course. Gu Renin was proud, my boyfriend is the best, how much money is not for sale? The two girls were chatting in the car, listening to the driver's uncle, who was smiling from ear to ear. 
Now the girls ah, one by one so quirky, with a popular word to describe, is sand sculpture, this is a positive word. Arriving at their destination, the three of them killed into the hot pot restaurant, ordered many dishes, and then sat and waited for the food to be served. During this time, Ling Wanqing informed that her parents had already agreed to her transferring to another school. When the time comes, she'll transfer to the same school as Gu Renin, and if she's lucky, she'll even be in the same class. Gu Renin also wanted to be in the same class as her, that way there would be one more person to talk to. Ling Wanqing also decided not to play ugly to go to the school she transferred to. She enjoyed the feeling of being in the limelight, thinking that it would not be a waste of her pretty face. During the time they were talking, the dishes were also served. The two women were already hungry with green eyes and picked up their chopsticks and put the meat and vegetables into the pot. Mr. Lin, you're here to eat too? A familiar voice suddenly rang out from behind Lin Yuan. Su Yen was dressed in a long black dress tonight, her hair casually draped over her shoulders, and her entire person looked cold and noble. She and her friends had just arrived and were going to have a hot pot, but she didn't expect to accidentally run into Lin Yuan here, so out of professionalism, she came over to say hello. Gu Renin and Ling Wanqing's gazes first landed on Su Yen, and then returned to Lin Yuan's face with doubts and inquiries. Who is this woman? Gu Renin was internally wary. She just called Lin Yuan. Mr. Lin? Ling Wanqing felt like she had discovered some big secret. Oh, huh? Lin Yuan was caught off guard when he stumbled upon Su Yen and greeted her politely as well. Sister Su Yen came here to eat as well. Su Yen nodded, well, came here to eat with my friends. Lin Yuan hurriedly explained to Gu Renin, this is Su Yen, the owner of Su Yen Cosmetics, we just have a cooperative relationship. And then he introduced Gu Renin to Su Yen, this is my girlfriend. Su Yen looked at that girl, the first thought in her mind was how beautiful, worthy of being Mr. Lin's girlfriend. When she was young, although she was also very pretty, but compared to this one in front of her, there was still quite a gap. Su Yen finished her greeting and walked away knowingly. Facing Gu Renin's scrutinizing gaze, Lin Yuan's expression was calm. Originally, I wanted to get along with you guys as ordinary people, but now. I'm not pretending. I'm showing my cards. I'm a billionaire. Gu Renin skimmed her small mouth and lowered her head to eat her vegetables. Lin Wanqing gave herself a slice of beef. Lin Yuan was left hanging there, embarrassed for a few seconds, and silently gave Renin a slice of beef. He had wanted to factually tell her, but it turned out that people didn't even care, having eaten and drunk his fill. Lin Yuan settled the bill and left, personally escorting the two women home. On the way, he decided that he didn't want to hide this girl, Renin, so he said the fact that he had inherited his second grandfather's legacy in a serious tone. You think you're Wang Duoyu? Ling Wanqing spat. Gu Renin didn't think the joke was very funny. I'm serious. Lin Yuan reiterated. It's your own disbelief, it's not my fault if you get scared one day. Lin Yuan stopped talking. After sending the two women home, he silently walked for a while, drove out his racy car and went back to the villa to sleep. A few days later, morning, his eyes swept over all of his classmates, a transfer student is coming to our class today, I hope that everyone can get along with this new student, well, after saying that, he waved in the direction of the door. As soon as the girl entered, the boy's eyes lit up. What a pretty girl. Introduce yourself. Teacher Wang smiled. Hello everyone, my name is Ling Wanqing, I hope to get along with you all in the future. Ling Wanqing's face was fair and clear, her large eyes were pure, and her smile had already made many male students in the class fall in love with her at a glance. Teacher Wang placed her in a slightly forward position. Gu Renin was in her seat, making eye contact with Ling Wanqing. Ling Wanqing saw it and spread a smile. She just smiled at me. The male student in the seat next to him said excitedly. Mistaken impression, she clearly smiled at Lin Yuan at the table next to yours. A classmate mercilessly mocked. After class, Ling Wanqing took the initiative to get close to the girls in the class and gave out some small gifts. The male students also had a part to play, and one was so excited that it made Lin Yuan wonder if spring had arrived. Renin, we're in the same class now. Ling Wanqing came to Gu Renin's table and smiled brightly, Lin Yuan, now we're in the same class. Gu Renin chased her boyfriend away and pulled Ling Wanqing to sit next to her, chattering and chatting happily. In the course of the morning, the next class all knew that a very pretty female transfer student had been transferred to class 6. All gathered outside to peek through the windows. Some were still looking, while others were already looking for someone to ask for contact information. In the next few days, Lin Yuan finally realized how popular girls who looked pretty really were. People are not only good, they are also popular. He suddenly worried about whether it would be worse if Renin went to college with her real appearance. Within a few days, Lin Wanqing was hailed as the prettiest girl in the whole school by certain boring people, and she was the center of attention everywhere she went. Aya, love letters received handfuls of them, annoying. On this day, on the way out of school, the three of them left the campus together, and Ling Wanqing complained there with a rather smug element. 
Gu Renin didn't think anything of it, couldn't hear her showing off, and chimed in, definitely annoying. Ling Wanqing said, but there is a boy who is quite handsome and polite, he added my friend and chatted for a while, I think he's nice, he asked me to come out for dinner on Saturday, I don't know if I should say yes. Gu Renin thought about it, if you want to go, I can accompany you. Well, then Renin, why don't you accompany me and help me see how this boy is? Ling Wanqing said, host's current situation detected, please begin your choices. Choice 1, help Ling Wanqing dismantle the scummy boy, rewarded with a future news event X. Choice 2, help the scummy guy become Ling Wanqing's boyfriend, let Ling Wanqing experience the scummy guy's original scum, stop the loss in time, reward cash 1 million yuan. Choice 3, letting Ling Wanqing see the true face of the scum, rewarding a mysterious object X. The long-lost voice in Ling Yuan's head reappeared. These three choices, from the starting point, were all favorable to Ling Wanqing. As for how to choose, Ling Yuan already had an answer in his heart. Wanqing, that boy you're talking about, who's in what class? Gu Renin asked quietly. Ling Wanqing smiled, it's a boy from class 9, is still the class grass of their class, and has been courting me recently. Lin Yuan memorized this information. When he went back, he asked Li Wan Kai if there was such a boy in their class. Li Wan Kai was the class president of class 9 and quickly replied to him, there is indeed such a person, called Prince Qi. Then he revealed a lot of information about this person. Quite handsome, articulate, chatted with many girls, and there were quite a few girls in the class who secretly liked him. Getting the desired information, only Lin Yuan knew that this Prince Qi was actually still a scum. Since he chose the third option, in order for Ling Wanqing to see the true face of the scum guy, he had to be prepared. The next day, after every class, Lin Yuan would be outside the restroom, wandering blindly outside the corridor as if nothing had happened. Finally, after the last class of the afternoon, a handsome boy hurriedly walked out of class 9 and came over in the direction of the restroom side. The other party walked straight into the toilet, unzipped his pants, and began to pee. After 10 seconds or so, he shivered, zipped up and prepared to go back to his class. But before he could walk out of the door of the restroom, a person suddenly ran in on his face, and the two collided, both knocking down on the ground. Crap, walking without eyes. Wang Zichi cursed, and hurriedly got up from the ground, patting his dirty school uniform. Sorry sorry sorry, I was in a hurry and accidentally knocked you over. Seeing that the classmate who bumped into him apologized with a good attitude, Wang Zichi endured not losing his temper and cursed his way out of the toilet. It just so happened that he met a girl from his class on the way, he revealed a warm smile and greeted the other party. He was indeed very good at talking, and it didn't take him long to make the girl cover her mouth and laugh. Lin Yuan then walked out of the restroom, and he had an extra cell phone in his pocket. He possessed the ability of the life skills book, which included the trick of taking a sheep by the hand, not only that, there were many life skills that he didn't have the chance to use. Prince Qi's cell phone was set with a password, and after school in the morning, Lin Yuan took a trip out of school to find the store that repaired his cell phone and asked for help unlocking it. After the phone was unlocked, Lin Yuan immediately looked at the contents of Prince Qi's cell phone. First was the chat log. Good guy, most of the contacts were girls, and the chat list had a lot of chat records. Lin Yuan clicked on the latest one. Prince Qi, hello classmate, I'm Prince Qi from class 9, today I inadvertently saw a very pretty girl in the playground, the first time she saw her, she couldn't forget her, so she looked for someone to inquire about the class she was in, may I ask classmate, are you in the same class as Lina in senior class 2? Girl, ha ha ha, I am Lina. Prince Qi, ah, my heart is beating fast now what to do, you are actually the girl who makes me dream. Girl, thanks for the compliment. The next chat was very long, Lin Yuan sighed that this Prince Qi was worthy of being a girl chat master. Within a few days he was able to get this girl to take the initiative to find him to chat. And then it was all about going out and milk tea together, day after day. He was always flirting and having a flirtation. Lin Yuan went on to look at other people's chat records, and then could conclude that this Prince Qi was an unapologetic scum. He has several girlfriends at the same time, and one of them is a woman in her 20s who is already out of the society and works in a company, and often transfers money to Prince Qi. From the chat records of the two men, Lin Yuan had an eye-opening experience, the two men actually made an appointment to meet at 8 o'clock tonight, in a certain hotel room. And this wasn't the first time. Jagged God. Lin Yuan marveled, to be so scummy at such a young age, it's not going to be good when you're out in society. Since he knew that the other party was making a move tonight, Lin Yuan decided that he would let Ling Wanqing see Prince Qi's true colors tonight. In order to avoid spooking the snakes, he took Prince Qi's cell phone in the afternoon and put it in the school's lost and found. It didn't take long. Prince Qi hurriedly came over gladly found his lost cell phone and took it back. After school, Lin Yuan Gu Renin, Lin Wanqing three people as usual, back together. On the way, Lin Yuan put Prince Qi's cell phone chat records, with his own cell phone through the video, to record down, to Lin Wanqing to see. Lin Wanqing was originally in a good mood,
but after seeing the chat logs, her face went from smiling at the beginning, to calm, to finally ugly, in less than a few minutes. She took a deep breath and looked at Lin Yuan, these chat records, who gave them to you? Lin Yuan Dao spread his hands, you don't need to care about that, you just need to know that this Prince Chi is not a good person, he's scum. If you don't believe me, isn't there still a chat record of him and a woman, the two of them agreed to meet in a hotel room tonight. Ling Wanqing was actually 9% convinced that the Prince Chi she had recently chatted with was a scumbag. The good thing is that the two of them have not known each other for long, not chatting to the extent that they like each other, and they don't have anything to lose, so it's also considered to be a timely stop loss. Just this is the first time she and boys, chatting so seriously, vaguely in the direction of good development, but the result is such a result. Ling Wanqing was as cold as ice, and grunted coldly, it's a good thing you showed me these chat records, otherwise I might have gotten deeper and deeper into the scum. She had never been a woman with an axe to grind, but anyone who wanted to harm her would make the other party pay. I'm going to make this Prince Chi regret actually trying to toy with me. Do you need my help? Lin Yuan smiled. Yes. Ling Wanqing did not refuse. Gu Renin, who hadn't said a word the entire time, thought to herself that she was in for a good show tonight. With the extent of her boyfriend's darkness, I'm afraid that this Prince Chi is going to have bad luck tonight. That night, at 8 o'clock in a few minutes, Ling Yuan, Ling Wanqing and Gu Renin, who were guarding outside a hotel, finally waited for the target to appear. Prince Chi was dressed in sports and casual clothes, and a young mature woman, hand in hand, walked into the hotel. Unbeknownst to him, his every move was secretly filmed. It's already been sent to all those girlfriends of his. Gu Renin was full of excitement, feeling very stimulated. Good, when those girls all come over, it's just the right time to block the current situation. Ling Wanqing coldly said. At 8.30, three girls came over one after another. Where is Prince Chi? I want to ask him face to face why he did this. Damn scum, actually dating so many girls at the same time, I'm going to break his third leg. Which room is he in? He's in room 305. Ling Wanqing received these three girls. They were all quite pretty and were actually all Prince Chi's girlfriends. The group walked towards the hotel aggressively, and just as they reached the entrance, they were stopped by the hotel security. We're looking for someone, Ling Wanqing explained. Which room's guest, can you tell us, we will then contact this guest to come down and look for you the hotel security guard did not allow them to enter. Joking aside, if they did, wouldn't they be explicitly telling Prince Chi, your girlfriends are here, hurry up and run. Subconsciously, the gazes of Ling Wanqing and Gu Renin fell on Lin Yuan. He's so powerful, he should have a way in, right? My boyfriend definitely has a way to get in. The two women's thoughts were caught in their ears, Lin Yuan smiled blandly, it's not that simple, just call and report that someone is trading illegally, won't that be enough? I'm not ashamed to say that you came up with the solution. Ling Wanqing secretly gave Lin Yuan a thumbs up. My boyfriend is really omnipotent. Gu Renin felt very proud. Soon, two people in police uniforms came over, and Lin Yuan briefly explained the beginning and end of the story, telling the truth and not adding fuel to the fire. Nice guy. A police officer looked at the girls present, also pretty looking, all that scum boyfriend and girlfriend? Although this matter, they do not have the obligation to solve, but the boy in front of them is very good at talking, straight said two people hard work, thank you and so on, but also said that they have ordered milk tea to let people send. The two men were embarrassed, and decided to do a favor in passing. It is also considered to be for the woman to get rid of the harm. Immediately after, under the leadership of the two police officers, a group of people entered the hotel unimpeded, and stopped at the door of room 305. The hotel staff knocked on the door of the room, hello guest, I am the manager of the hotel, is it convenient to open the door? What is it? An impatient voice came from inside. The three girls waiting outside were instantly anxious, it was Prince Chi's voice. Lin Yuan gestured for silence, signaling the girls to keep quiet. It's like this, the hotel manager blurted out a reason, and not long after the person inside opened the door. The person who opened the door was none other than Prince Chi. He was startled when he saw a large group of people standing outside the door. And there are also a number of familiar faces, shit, girlfriends are all here. He subconsciously wanted to close the door. Lin Yuan was quick and blocked it with his foot so he couldn't close the door. Don't move, cooperate with us. A police officer shouted, his words very intimidating. Prince Chi was so scared that his face turned into a pig's liver color, he didn't know what to do at all. Prince Chi, I didn't expect you to be such a person, I'm really blind. Scum shall not die, dog. Loss I like you so much, you actually. The three Prince Chi girlfriends launched into cursing mode, scolding Prince Chi so much that he didn't even dare to talk back. Who are you guys? On the bed of the room, a woman, wearing only a bathrobe, questioned. The three of us are his girlfriends, the scummy guy is actually dating other girls behind our backs. A girl was furious and blurted out the truth. What? The woman on the bed was full of shock, staring at Prince Chi who had just been graced with his presence, is what they said true. 
Prince Qi couldn't speak for half a day, he looked at the door several times but realized that he was blocked by Lin Yuan and couldn't run away at all. Although he didn't open his mouth, the woman already, already known the answer. She was similarly kept in the dark, thinking that Prince Qi only had himself as a girlfriend, saying that they would be together forever and that they would get married after graduation. I'm going to kill you. The woman was overwhelmed by anger and got out of bed to pounce on Prince Qi with open teeth and claws. The scene was very chaotic for a while. After a long time, the room was quiet, and everyone was called by the officer's uncle to drink tea in the office. Prince Qi's parents were also called to lead away. As for how the final outcome was handled, it was not for Ling Yuan's three to know. After coming out, Ling Wanqing was refreshed and exhaled viciously, her mood was much better. She swore that in the future, when looking for a date, she would have to keep her eyes peeled and not make the same mistake again. It was so enjoyable to watch just now. Guranin's little face flushed with excitement. Scum should be thrown in the trash. Luckily my boyfriend just isn't scum, isn't that right Lin Yuan? Lin Yuan looked at the moon and was lost in thought. He thought again about what the future would be like for himself and Renin. Must walk hand in hand until old age ah. Hey Lin Yuan, are you listening to me or not? Gu Renin's very loud voice came from his ears. Lin Yuan instantly came back to his senses. I'm listening. Gu Renin's eyes were unkind. Then tell me, what did I just say to you? Lin Yuan laughed awkwardly with a ha. I've already thought of something. Thought about what? Gu Renin tilted her head to look at him, adorably. Thinking that if we have a child in the future, how about if the girl is called Lin Siin and the boy is called Lin Yifun? Gu Renin instantly had a pretty red face. It was beautiful. What are you? Talking nonsense about, who wants to give you a child? Lin Yuan looked at her, you, who else could it be, Ling Wancheng? Ling Wancheng smiled and interjected, if Renin won't give you a child, it's not impossible for me to give you a child. Lin Yuan immediately fled, he was molested instead of being molested. Behind him, the laughter of the two women could still be heard, and Lin Yuan laughed along with them. The moon was beautiful, and the stars were also beautiful, reflecting her even more beautifully. Early morning, the breeze was warm and the sun was rising. Li Wankai informed Lin Yuan that Prince Qi had dropped out of school. This did not surprise Lin Yuan, a very wise choice. Then, Li Wankai squirmed and held his tongue for half a day, saying something out of place, so Lin Yuan knew that he had something to find him. Feel free to ask for anything, as long as I can help, I'll never put it off. Eventually, Li Wankai sent a message. Lin Yuan, do you have any money there? Can you lend me some? I'll pay you back when I earn money from my summer vacation job. How much to borrow? About. 2000. So much. What are you going to buy? Alas, recently I talked about a girl, the weekend about going out to eat, she took me to a restaurant to eat, ordered a lot of dishes, and wine, I would have thought that a few hundred dollars is still acceptable, but the result of the checkout, but to be a good few thousand dollars. Lin Yuan. That meal had almost cost Li Wan Kai, the money he had saved so hard to buy a computer. Lin Yuan didn't lack the two thousand dollars, but he still transferred it to Li Wan Kai to tide him over, and told him, let you spend a lot of money girls, not suitable for girlfriend, delete before it is too late, do not chat. You can find Wang Ping counseling, this aspect he has more experience than you. Li Wankai said he would. Ending the chat, Lin Yuan said sorry to Gu Renin that he couldn't accompany her at night. Where are you going at night? Gu Renin was wary. Ever since she was involved in yesterday's incident, this girl was paranoid and had all sorts of wild thoughts. Worried that her boyfriend had another woman outside. Lin Yuan directly knocked chestnuts on her head. Tell her that the women outside are not as good looking as you, the women outside are not as rich as you and the women outside, even if they are better, are not as good as you Gu Renin. Gu Renin not only didn't get angry, but instead giggled sweetly. Tomorrow Saturday, I'm going home at night, why, do you want to go back together to see our mom? Lin Yuan joked. In fact, he did have to go home. The main reason for this was to collect the two mysterious physical objects that he had obtained from helping Lin Wanqing see the true face of the scum. Both had to be collected without anyone else. However, when Lin Yuan was at the villa last night and tried to collect the first mysterious physical object, he couldn't actually collect it, and was told by the system that the venue was too small, and that he had to change to an empty and unoccupied environment in order to collect it. What kind of mysterious object is it that requires a large place to take out? Not only that, but it also has to be a place with fertile soil, where the sun can shine and the soil is moist. Lin Yuan guessed that it might be some sort of tree. For example, varieties of fruit trees that did not appear on earth, etc. He was looking forward to it. The home that Lin Yuan was going back to at night was his hometown in the countryside, the distance was less than a hundred kilometers and it took less than an hour to drive there. Mother Lin Shanglan's old home in the countryside had a large piece of land on the mountain. Since she didn't go back much, the land was already deserted. It just so happened that this time when he went back, he chose this place as the location to receive the mysterious physical object. Lin Yuan was lost in thought when his waist was suddenly tickled a few times. 
He turned his head expressionlessly, will you follow me home to see our mom? Gurunin shook her head like a wave drum, no, I'm not going, I'm timid and shy, let's wait for the summer vacation. Lin Yuan is just saying it casually, besides, how long have the two been together, not to the point of meeting parents? Everything has to be done slowly. After the afternoon class was over, Lin Yuan took a long walk, drove his car, and left straight away. At around 7.30 in the evening, the car drove into a countryside cement path. There were less than 30 families in this mountain village, situated at the foot of a large mountain, most of the people who lived there were old people and children, the young people all went out to work and only came back during the New Year's festivals. Lin Yuan then stopped at the side of the road and walked into the village. At this time, there were seven or eight households in the village with lights on, and a few villagers in their fifties and sixties were gathered in one of the family courtyards, chatting and drinking tea. Lin Yuan opened the door and walked into a house, turned on the lights, and organized his former room, preparing to sleep here for the night. The next day, Saturday, no school. Early in the morning, he sharpened his rusty firewood knife, brought along insect repellent, and headed up the mountain. The road up the mountain was overgrown with weeds, and Lin Yuan used his wood chipper to make a path that took several minutes before he finally made it to the land that belonged to his family. He cleared a clearing and was already sweating. Resting for a few moments, mystical objects. Suddenly, the soil under Lin Yuan's feet was vibrating, and in the center of the cleared out clearing, a two meter wide, ten meter long crack split open. An old tree with turquoise leaves and a refreshing fragrance appeared so abruptly. Rooted in the cracked ground, the roots of the tree were rooted deep underground and drew water from a nearby stream. Lin Yuan was genuinely dumbfounded by what he saw, standing still for half a day without reacting. He wanted to take a picture of what he saw and post it on the internet, it would probably cause a sensation. But it was just a thought, if he really did so, it was estimated that the video would be lost, and the cell phone would be turned off for no reason, and other bizarre situations would occur. A few moments later, this area was quiet. An old tree about three meters high, with a trunk as thick as a thigh, was rooted to the ground. The leaves of this tree are not much, about five or six hundred pieces of the appearance of the leaves green, two fingers size, close to smell carefully, if you can smell a faint tea fragrance. The scent made the originally tired Lin Yuan's fatigue sweep away. Finally, Lin Yuan summarized the useful information. Unknown old tea tree, the tea leaves smelled good and had a refreshing effect. The other effects had to be drunk in hot water and tested by a professional organization before they could be known. This tea tree must not be. This tea tree must not be discovered by anyone else. Lin Yuan's first thought was, once discovered, not only would the tea leaves be removed, it was estimated that the entire tea tree would be taken away by the roots. Fortunately, this mountain village was not very populated, mostly with old people and children, plus basically, no one would come here, so it would not be discovered for the time being. Lin Yuan picked a piece of tea leaves, put it in his pocket, and when he went back, he covered the open road with branches, and only then did he feel slightly relieved. When he went back, he immediately boiled water, crumbled a tea leaf, and poured hot water over it. At once, the aroma of the tea overflowed and filled the entire house. Lin Yuan was instantly energized and his eyes lit up. Although he didn't drink much tea and had never drunk expensive tea, he clearly knew that the pot of tea he had brewed was better than any tea. It could be bought for a heavenly price. He immediately decided to buy the mountain where the old tea tree was located, banning outsiders from entering and exiting, and protecting the money tree. On Sunday Lin Yuan made another trip up the mountain, he bought a bundle of wire and wrapped it around the old tea tree a few times to prevent it from being damaged by wild animals. When he went back, he picked a dozen more tea leaves, intending to take them back and give them away. Let Rinin take it back and give it to her future in-laws, to taste it. Lin Yuan had great patience, and only now was he ready to look at the second mysterious physical object obtained. It was actually a green liquid potion. The potion was sealed by a silver-colored metal box, which held a detailed introduction manual about the potion. Life potion, people who die no more than 12 hours, after injection there is a 50% chance that the person who has died will be resurrected, renewing his life for 5 or 6 years. Or aging people directly injected, can rewind to the state of 10 years ago. Hiss. Lin Yuan sucked in a breath of cool air, this was definitely, something that was enough to drive countless elderly plutocrats crazy. Rich people possessed wealth that countless people had spent their entire lives trying not to get, but no amount of wealth could buy the time that was constantly passing by. If they were asked to choose between wealth and youth, I believe there would be many who would hesitate, and when they were about to die, they would choose the second without hesitation. Unfortunately, there was only one potion, and it couldn't be mass-produced, even if it was used for medical research, it required materials that simply didn't exist on earth. Lin Yuan wouldn't sell the potion, besides the current him didn't lack money at all. In the future, if a special situation arose, it would be good to be prepared for a rainy day. For the rest of the day, Lin Yuan bought some firewood, rice, oil and salt, sent them over to the village elders, chatted with them, and only left in the evening. 
He spent money on buying some glass jars and exquisite gift boxes, putting three pieces of tea in each jar, and then gave them to the people he wanted to send them to, personally. The first person to send was Su Yen. She was busy in the company, and her fatigue was resident on her face. When she received the gift, Su Yen was surprised, and after learning that it was tea, she gladly accepted it. When Lin Yuan left, Su Yen opened the gift box and stared at the three green tea leaves in the jar, and was a bit confused for a while. She pondered, today isn't April Fool's Day either. The second person Lin Yuan wanted to send tea leaves to was Lin Qingyu. Thanks to her, she had done herself a great favor and had to be thanked. However, Lin Qingyue was currently in another place, so Lin Yuan asked her for her address and sent it to her by courier. After that, Lin Yuan came to Gu Renin's place and asked her to come downstairs. Accompanied by a light and hurried footsteps, Gu Renin went downstairs in her pajamas. She had stayed at home all day, too lazy to put on makeup and change her clothes, and if it wasn't for her boyfriend calling, she wouldn't have bothered to come down. Boyfriend, you're here. Gu Renin pounced over, like a wombat hanging onto Lin Yuan. Come down, you're so heavy. Lin Yuan laughed. No. Gu Renin hugged even tighter, saying nothing and refusing to come down. Lin Yuan's breathing gradually became ragged. He was a man, a young man in his 18th year of age, where could he stand it, and certain places stubbed out all of a sudden. Gu Renin hadn't realized the seriousness of the matter. She was still hanging on to Lin Yuan, holding on tightly and not letting go. Lin Yuan took a deep breath and suppressed his inner fire, come down. Just don't. Gu Renin was still playing with fire. Lin Yuan breathed heavier, cupped her face and kissed down hard according to take pink lips. Oh. Gu Renin's eyes suddenly widened and she stiffened for a moment. She struggled, but it was all in vain, and in the end, her struggles became less and less strong, and she began to clumsily take the initiative to cater to it. The two kissed for a while before finally separating. Gu Renin's face was tantalizingly red, her beautiful eyes shyly looked at Lin Yuan, which would be very honest and not mischievous. Lin Yuan's gaze was still fiery, clean up this little ninny, see if she dares to play with fire in the future. Playing with fire was very dangerous, if you weren't careful, you would flame up. Go, go upstairs. Lin Yuan held Gu Renin's small hand and pulled her upstairs. Gu Renin lowered her little head the entire time, her face burning. Just now. We kissed. Lin Yuan and I kissed, oh my god. Is this what kissing feels like? Gu Renin was both excited and shy, the feeling just now was so marvelous that she deeply recalled it, not only did her face burn even more, but her body as well. It was marvelous, a feeling that was hard to express in words. Damn it, how can you kiss me without someone's consent, I'm not even ready yet. After a while, Gu Renin complained in her heart, but it was her own boyfriend, even if it was bad, she would subconsciously think it was good. Boyfriend was so bossy just now, so bad. The two of them walked into the house, Ling Wanqing was not there, saying that she had gone on a trip back home. Lin Yuan stared at Gu Renin and revealed a bad smile. What do you? You want? Gu Renin tightened her pajamas and was forced to lean against the wall, unable to move in or out. Lin Yuan snapped, slapping his palm on the wall, forcing a wallop. Your boyfriend is thirsty right now, as a girlfriend, can you boil a pot of boiling water and make tea for me? Oh I'll go find a kettle of hot water. Gu Renin fell away and obediently ran to boil water. What to do what to do, my boyfriend is so overbearing today, he's not going to eat me, is he? Gu Renin was flustered in her heart, but she actually wasn't scared, she didn't even know why. During the boiling of the water, she transformed into a virtuous girlfriend, cleaning the snack bags on the table, sweeping and mopping the floor, and washing fruits for her boyfriend to eat. When the water boiled, Lin Yuan instructed Gu Renin not to put in the tea leaves, while he himself, from the jar, took out an old tea tree leaf. He crumbled it, put it into the tea set, and poured in the boiling water. The aroma of tea overflowed and filled the living room, refreshing the mind. Gu Renin inhaled several mouthfuls of air in a row, her face full of intoxication. Boyfriend, what kind of tea is this? It smells so good. Lin Yuan poured her a cup. This tea is unique. Only I have it. Others can't drink it if they want to. Taste it. Gu Renin took the teacup with confidence, gently blew on it, waited for the tea to cool down a bit, and put it to her lips to take a small sip. The tea tasted sweet in the mouth, and the flavor of the tea was full, filling the entire mouth, even speaking was full of fragrance. Gu Renin drank several cups in a row. The more she drank, the more energized she became, she had never tasted such good tea before. Delicious. She exclaimed, giving a very high rating, saying, my dad bought. Those expensive teas are not as good as this tea. Lin Yuan directly shoved two cans of tea to her, take it back to our parents to try. Oh. Gu Renin took the tea and suddenly reacted, who are our parents, I haven't even said I'm going to marry you. Lin Yuan laughed, sooner or later, you have to marry, don't you? No marriage, no marriage, no marriage. Gu Renin smiled like a crescent moon as she hugged her tea leaves. That's not good. Lin Yuan got up and walked towards her, then I'll have to cook the rice first, then you'll have to marry even if you don't. 
Gu Renin turned around and ran into her room, her heart pounding, he wouldn't really want to cook the rice, would he? She listened for half a day in her room against the door, and there was no movement at all in the living room. She quietly opened a crack in the door, but saw Lin Yuan, this big bad guy, sitting there by himself, drinking tea by himself, and immediately huffed and puffed and walked out of the room, snatched the teacup in his hand, and drank it all in one gulp. Lin Yuan took out another can of tea and said, this tea helped me give it to Ling Wanqing, one of your two cans to keep, and one for uncle and auntie to try. Gu Renin nodded her head obediently, I know to mess with. After sitting for a while, Lin Yuan was afraid that he would not be able to hold it if he continued to sit down, so he left first. He took the jar with five pieces of tea leaves and brought it back home, handing it over to his mother, Lin Shanglan, so that she could make tea and drink it if she had nothing to do, it should be good for the body. And then he left a few slices for himself, keeping them for himself to drink slowly. When he went back, it was already very late, Lin Yuan was lying on the big bed, tossing and turning, but he actually had no sleep. It was probably because he drank a lot of tea today. Boyfriend, asleep? Gu Renin suddenly sent him a message. No, why aren't you sleeping? It's so late. Aren't you afraid you won't be able to get up tomorrow? Lin Yuan urged her to hurry up and go to bed. I don't know why, I just can't sleep ah. Me too. This chat was until after 2 in the morning, and the two were still not half tired. Even simply video call, chatting about daily life, something, and the future and so on. As they chatted and chatted, at around 4 a.m., Gu Renin yawned and finally wanted to go to sleep. Lin Yuan ended the call and told her to go get some sleep, tomorrow, Monday, there would be classes. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days day after day, but not monotonous. On Saturday, Gu Renin carried the tea given by her boyfriend to the company where her parents were. When she learned that her parents were in a meeting, Gu Renin had to wait in the office and play king. Her skills gained spit from her teammates, and after playing one game, she beamed her little mouth and quit the game unhappily. It was still fun to play with her boyfriend, Wan Chang. At least it won't be cursing and disliking her own dish. At this moment, the parents also ended the meeting. The couple walked into the office and saw their daughter. Ranin is here. Xin Li Yun walked over and pinched her daughter's cheeks. You've gained some weight recently, which means you're doing well. Gu Hai stood and watched, smiling and nodding, his eyes filled with softness. Mom and Dad, look, I brought you tea. Gu Ranin brought out the prepared gift box. Yo, my daughter has grown up, knows better, and will still buy gifts for mom and dad. Gu Hai laughed and took the tea. This tea is delicious. Gu Renin explained how good this tea was, drinking one cup refreshes the mind, two cups never fatigue throughout the day, and three cups refreshes the spirit. The couple just thought their daughter was joking, the description was too exaggerated, there was no such tea in the world. Gu Renin told her mom and dad to sit down, and went to boil water herself, then unwrapped the gift box, revealing a glass jar containing three turquoise tea leaves. How come there are only three leaves? Gu Hai was full of questions. This is the kind of tea I'm talking about, I guarantee you'll drink it and rave about it. Gu Renin swore. The couple had drunk a lot of tea, but this was the first time they had seen this kind of tea leaves that looked like they had just been plucked not long ago, could this be directly brewed and drunk? Although Gu Hai and Xin Liyun had doubts in their hearts, they said that their daughter had good intentions, so it was not good for them to break their daughter's heart to her face. Even if the tea is no longer good, it has to be good. The water boiled, Gu Renin cleaned the tea set, opened the jar containing tea leaves. Instantly, the tea zone aroma overflowed. As the aroma of the tea spread out, Xin Li Yun and Gu Hai's eyes immediately lit up. What a fragrant tea! What kind of tea is this that can emit such a refreshing tea aroma? Daughter, what kind of tea is this, why does it smell so good? Gu Hai, being a veteran tea drinker for many years, had drunk all the cheap and expensive teas, and knew any tea odor like the back of his hand. But this tea in Gu Renin's hand, he froze and didn't smell what kind of tea it was. To be precise, he had never smelled it at all. Gu Renin smiled cheekily and proudly shook the three tea leaves in the jar, this tea ah. I don't know what tea it's called. She just suddenly remembered that when her boyfriend handed her this tea, he didn't even say what kind of tea it was. Don't know what kind of tea? Gu Hai expressed skepticism. I really don't know, it's what my male friend gave me. Gu Renin almost let her mouth slip, her heart jumping out of her chest in fear. If she let her parents know that she and Lin Yuan had officially become boyfriend and girlfriend, and had even hugged and kissed each other, they would have to peel someone's skin off. She didn't want to continue the conversation, otherwise she would have to reveal herself. She hurriedly followed her boyfriend's order of making tea, first took out a piece of tea leaf, crushed it in her hand, then put it into the tea set and poured boiling water. Instantly, the original light tea office, immediately filled with a strong tea flavor. The couple, who were originally a little tired after the meeting, instantly felt less tired and full of energy. Gu Hai stared at the pot of tea that his daughter was brewing, and couldn't wait to taste it, what exactly would the taste be like? Gu Renin poured a cup of tea for each of them. After waiting for a while, when the tea wasn't hot, Gu Hai was the first to pick up the teacup, 
first placing it on the tip of his nose and sniffing it, then taking a small sip. He suddenly opened his eyes wide and stared at the tea in his hands in shock. After a few mouthfuls of tea, there was a stream of warmth that traveled down the limbs and spread to all parts of the body, as if it was washing the mind. After a cup of tea was consumed, Gu Hai forgot about the trivial matters of the company, his mind was blank and relaxed. The same feeling he had at this moment appeared in Qin Liyun. The couple asked their daughter for another cup of tea, and the more they drank, the more energized they became. Daughter, who gave you this tea, is there any more, dad wants to buy some from him. Tasting this manna on earth like tea, Gu Hai couldn't sit still. Wanting to ask Gu Renin if the friend who gave her the tea still had any extra tea left, he wanted to spend some money to buy it and drink it. He had drank nearly a hundred kinds of tea, and none of them were better than the tea that Renin had brought. He had never even heard of a tea with this kind of taste. Gu Renin stammered, I'll ask that friend of mine later. Qi Liyun observed her daughter's expression and said expressionlessly, that friend you're talking about, that's the boy called Lin Yuan, right? Gu Renin's expression was flustered when she was dismantled, no, it's not him. All right. Qi Liyun was too lazy to break it down, her daughter's little trick was too clumsy in front of her as a mother. This tea is indeed very good. You ask Lin Yuan, if there is then bring over some, only three pieces of tea leaves is also too shabby. Oh, Gu Renin nodded. Only then did she realize that she had been set up by her mother, and was ashamed beyond words. Gu Renin why are you so stupid, pissing myself off? One tea leaf. A full five pots of tea were brewed, and by the end of the day the flavor of the tea had faded. Gu Hai even took the steep tea leaves and put them in his mouth to chew on them, revealing a look of reminiscence. There were still two tea leaves left which he put away, unable to drink. Qin Lian looked at him and said coldly, don't think of taking it all by yourself, the remaining two pieces of tea leaves, send them to the old master to savor. Ku Hai heart that do not want to give up, very difficult. Li Yun, send a piece of okay? No. Qin Li Yun was resolute. Ku Hai ended up with a bitter face and had to do as he was told. At the same time, he urged his daughter, Gu Renin, to contact her friend and buy some of this tea, no matter how much money it cost. Leaving the company, Gu Hai, as if he was carrying a heavy treasure, carefully brought the tea canister and drove to the Gu family. Without the old man, there would not be such a day for him, Gu Hai. What should be honored should still be honored. In case the old master was happy and turned over other businesses to his own operation, it was not certain. The Gu family is very large and covers a vast area. Strangers come in, if there is no one to lead the way, it is very easy to get lost, half a day can not turn out. Gu Hai asked his subordinates and found the old man who was in the lotus pavilion, enjoying the lotus flowers. The old man was dressed in a big red tang suit, with gray hair, but his eyes were still sharp. He was the Gu family's spokesperson, the head of the family, Gu Tianlong. Why is Xiao Hai suddenly free to come back, is the company side busy? Gu Tianlong saw Gu Hai coming over and said carelessly. Gu Hai walked to the old man's side and stood, whispering, there's Li Yun on the company's side, this time I came back because I wanted to send you some new tea to try. He knew that the old man liked to drink tea, and he definitely hadn't tasted this kind of tea. Can't help but secretly say that his wife Qin Liyun will do things, the first thing to do when you get good tea is to send it to the old master. Put the tea down, don't bother me if there's nothing else. Gu Tianlong waved his hand. Gu Hai originally wanted to personally brew the tea himself and give it to the old master to savor, but the old master's words broke his little mind. He didn't dare to go against the old master's words, and obediently placed the tea on the table, slowly backed away and turned around to prepare to leave. Wait. Gu Tianlong glanced at the tea leaves on the table and realized that they were actually two green leaves, calling out to Gu Hai. What is this? Gu Hai hurriedly explained, this is tea, just one leaf, rub it and pour it into boiling water. Oh, after listening to Gu Hai's explanation, Gu Tianlong was very interested in the two pieces of tea and asked him to brew a pot on the spot. Shortly after, Gu Hai was so excited that his face flushed red, he walked out of Gu's house and immediately called his wife. Li Yun, after the old man drank the tea I sent him, he said straight away that it was good tea, and asked me to bring more over. What are you excited about? The tea is not yet known, you have to ask your daughter to go, right, remember to talk to the old master, XC area that development zone, can you take over? Or you think about it thoughtfully. Disconnecting the phone, Gu Hai immediately called his daughter. Renin, hurry up and contact that friend of yours, as much tea as he has, dad will buy it all, money is not a problem. On the other end, Gu Renin agreed, and after ending the call, sent a message to Lin Yuan. Boyfriend, my dad told me to ask you if there's any tea left, he wants to buy some. Lin Yuan, yes there is, but at most 10 pieces. Gu Renin, 10 slices is 10 slices, I'll ask my dad for 10,000 for a piece of tea later, how about we split it 50 50 it's then. Lin Yuan, no way. Gu Renin, isn't it silly to have money not to earn it? Besides, it's my dad's money and not yours, so I'm not earning it for nothing. Lin Yuan. Gu Renin, do you think it's too little? Then let's split it 30 70ths, 7 for you and 3 for me? 
Lin Yuan, that's not what I meant. Gu Ranin, then what exactly do you mean? Lin Yuan, I mean 10,000 is too little, at least one tea leaf, 100,000. Gu Ranin, oh, what? Black. It was really too black. Gu Ranin had another impression of her boyfriend, Lin Yuan. She had wanted to pit some of her dad's money, and a piece of it was ready to call for $10,000. She originally thought that the price she said was very high. But who knows that the boyfriend is even more ruthless, a piece of tea leaves actually want to sell $100,000. There is no such thing as pitting one's future father-in-law. Gu Ranin was a little unhappy. Lin Yuan, this price is very fair, 1, the tea tree that produces this tea is the only one in the whole world, 2, the efficacy of the tea I'm not going to say anything specific, 3, the rarer something is, the more expensive it is. After Gu Ranin read it, she seemed to think, her boyfriend made a good point ah, things are as expensive as they are rare. $100,000 for a piece of tea. Didn't seem that expensive. Besides, dad had said on the phone, no matter how much money, he wanted it. She was about to agree when Lin Yuan sent another message. Lin Yuan, but it's our dad who opened his mouth, so even if the tea is expensive, you have to give it away for free, don't you? Otherwise what if he doesn't marry his daughter to me in the future? Gu Ranin giggled as she stared at her cell phone screen. Gu Ranin, hate it, I didn't even say I wanted to marry you. Chatting aside, she didn't forget about business and called Gu Hai. Dad, my friend said that a piece of tea is $100,000. The other end of Gu Hai voice with surprise, so expensive, this is not the yen, robbing money at him. Gu Ranin grunted, this is a unique tea leaf plucked from a unique tea tree in the world, if you think it's too expensive, I still think it's too expensive. Gu Hai was silent for a moment, there was no way, the old man had spoken, buying was definitely a must. Alright, how many more tea leaves are there? 10 pieces, 1 million dollars. You talk to that friend of yours, can it be cheaper, 100,000 is really too expensive. This is the price, do you want it? Yes. Hang up the phone, Gu Hai heart dripping blood, a piece of tea $100,000, and then splurge cannot be so defeatist ah. These money can only come from private property. He consoled himself with the thought that he could not afford to give up his children, so he took it as a luxury. After negotiating a good deal, Gu Ranin hurriedly showed off with her boyfriend. This pet dad's niece. Lin Yuan helpless, later if Gu Hai knew that the person who sold him at 100,000 a piece of tea was him, would he blacken his face and disagree with the marriage between himself and Ranin? Li Yun, there are still 10 pieces of tea leaves at Ren Yin's friend's place, but they cost $100,000 a piece, so I'll take them all. Gu Hai tells his wife about this and applies to use $1 million of the couple's joint property. 100,000. Xin Li Yun was also shocked by the price. What kind of boyfriend did Renin have, and he dares to leonize you? Ha! Huh? Gu Hai was baffled, didn't Renin say it wasn't the boy she was dating? Xin Li Yun gave her husband a blank look, besides him, who else could have sent our daughter tea and asked her to bring it to us? Gu Hai, who learned the truth, gasped and laughed, very good, very good, I'm firmly opposed to this boy dating our daughter, he must be broken up. Xin Li Yun concurred, I'm in favor of it. I don't know that Gu Ranin, who pitted her father and boyfriend, is still complacent about her own intelligence and wisdom. Gu Ranin ah Gu Ranin, you are really a genius, easily earn one. Million dollars, whoever marries you won't have to eat and drink well? Helping my boyfriend earn so much money, how can I say that I have to show it? Well, I must go and eat something delicious to treat me. Gu Ranin was in a happy mood, and on the way back, she was all bouncy, passersby called her cute, and there were boys who came up and wanted contact information. Sorry, I have a boyfriend. This time, Gu Ranin didn't need to think of excuses to politely refuse, directly said she had a boyfriend, other boys would consciously go away. Ah, boyfriends really are everything. Gu Ranin sighed. What else would a boyfriend not be able to do? It seems like there isn't one yet. In the evening, Lin Yuan couldn't resist Gu Ranin's pampering and took her to eat a big meal. Ling Wanqing had wanted to follow, but was decisively rejected by Gu Ranin. Are you going to be a light bulb? Gu Ranin asked her to her face. Ling Wanqing shamelessly said, I'm a professional at being a light bulb for 18 years, I'm going to the big meal too. No way. Gu Ranin crossed her small hands, this is my two-person world with Lin Yuan, you want to eat a big meal find a boyfriend yourself. After saying that, she took the initiative to pull Lin Yuan's hand, and in the eyes of Ling Wanqing's grudging eyes, she gradually walked away. Ling Wanqing received countless points of bludgeoning. Friendship was over. She locked herself in her room alone and suddenly felt so lonely. Where are you my future boyfriend? Show up quickly, I want to eat a big meal. Gu Ranin remember this, next time you go out and forget your keys, don't ask me to open the door for you. Lin Yuan and Gu Ranin were living in a world of two. Eating, watching movies, holding hands, shopping, and doing things that other couples did as well. Summer vacation is coming up. We can't see each other every day anymore. Gu Ranin had a bitter little face, not wanting summer vacation to come so soon. 
Lin Yuan found it funny, there are about 10 days in the summer vacation, how about we go out for a trip? Yes, yes, yes. Gu Renin was ecstatic, she was going to travel with her boyfriend in the summer vacation, she was looking forward to it. Suddenly, she hoped that the summer vacation would come soon. At the end of summer, the fall solstice, the final exam results came down. Lin Yuan is still first in his class and first in his grade. Gu Renin is second in her class and seventh in her grade. And Ling Wanqing participated in remedial classes halfway through, her grades improved and she ranked ninth in her class. After the exams were over, the summer vacation was coming. The summer vacation of the first and second year of high school was very long, but the third year of high school was very short. A few days before the summer vacation, Ling Yuan made a special trip back to his hometown to check on the condition of the old tea trees, and pick 10 pieces of tea leaves back when he went back. He found that many of the trees were twitching and sprouting, and only the old tea tree remained intact. Lin Yuan guessed that the old tea tree grows new leaves slowly, and at this stage the leaves are picking a piece of less, the original sparse canopy, it is better not to let it go bald. Ten leaves were sold for a million dollars. When Gu Renin transferred the money to herself, this girl had a look of quickly praising me. Lin Yuan pinched her cue bouncing face, it was so tender that he really wanted to kiss it. Then he did so while no one was watching. Sort of a reward. Next, the two of them discussed where they were going to travel during the summer vacation. They informed their parents in advance and got their consent, otherwise they wouldn't even be able to leave the house, not to mention traveling. There is also a prerequisite for traveling, not to have a relationship between a man and a woman on impulse. This requirement was made by Renin's mother, Jean Liyun. In the end, Lin Yuan customized a travel route that would pass through three provinces and cities and visit seven or eight famous tourist attractions, which would take about seven or eight days. This tour is an intimate journey for Lin Yuan and Gu Renin to pass through the two-person world and enhance each other's feelings, so they can't be accompanied by a third party. Because the summer vacation was too short, Lin Yuan decided to make preparations on the first day of the summer vacation, pack up his things, and leave directly that night. Seeing Gu Renin packing up in her room and putting all her clothes in her suitcase, Lin Wanqing thought that she wasn't staying and was going home. Renin, going back for summer vacation? She asked symbolically. Gu Renin hemmed and hawed and said, No, Lin Yuan and I are going to go out on a trip for the summer vacation and have a sweet world for two. She packed up her things, clothes, cosmetics, sunscreen, to make sure she hadn't missed anything, and only then did she feel relieved, waiting for her boyfriend to pick her up in the evening. At the thought of traveling with Lin Yuan, Gu Renin was quite looking forward to the days ahead. You're not afraid that he'll eat you. Ling Wanqing, that envy, said if she could come along, she could help watch over Lin Yuan and prevent him from having an animalistic outburst one day. No way. Gu Renin shook her head decisively, besides, Lin Yuan wouldn't do that to me. She trusted her boyfriend unconditionally and knew deep down that as long as she didn't want to, Lin Yuan definitely wouldn't force himself. Renin, you have to know that a man's mouth is a deceitful ghost, take me with you and you'll travel without worry. Ling Wanqing persuaded bitterly. Gu Renin ignored her, making Ling Wanqing, who was her best friend, simply angry and jealous. She also wanted to tag along on the trip. What was the point of living alone without Renin? Going home again to be nagged by the elders and introduced to various bosses' son, she did not want to go back. Ling Wanqing suddenly felt that it was meaningless to live this life. In the evening, Lin Yuan arrived downstairs at Gu Renin on time and went upstairs to help her with her luggage. Her luggage is not much, it's all clothes, and it's not heavy to carry. When she arrived downstairs, Gu Renin looked left and right, Lin Yuan, where's the car? It's not in front of you, where are you looking? Lin Yuan pointed at the Porsche parked next to him and laughed. This car isn't cheap, is it? Ling Wanqing followed him down, he recognized the Porsche logo and knew that the car was expensive. Lin Yuan nodded and said, indeed it's not cheap, the market price is about $3 million. Not waiting for Ling Wanqing to ask again, Lin Yuan said, are you wondering why I would drive this kind of car, right? Ling Wanqing did not deny that she was indeed puzzled. Lin Yuan explained, I explained it to you too last time. You did say that? Why don't I remember? Ling Wanqing thought about it, she really hadn't heard Lin Yuan talk about the saw. Yeah, I haven't heard you talk about it either. Gu Renin's eyes were filled with doubt. Last time we had dinner, when we went back I told you guys that I have a second grandfather. He told the two daughters to listen to the fact that he had a second grandfather and inherited his legacy. At that time, Ling Wanqing still didn't believe it and retorted, but now she actually said she didn't remember. Ah, you're talking about this ah, that wasn't something you were joking about. Ling Wanqing finally remembered, at that time, she only thought it was a joke and didn't take it to heart. Now telling her that this was actually not a joke, but the real thing, that wouldn't be something anyone would believe. Gu Renin blinked, really fake ah. Lin Yuan sighed and said, I knew you wouldn't believe it, so I had wanted to find a chance to explain. He informed that it was indeed true, the formalities were complete, the second grandfathers. 
Legacy also had 10% shares in Tengfei and Avila. There was absolutely no fake, sometimes reality was just so magical. After saying that, the two women's eyes changed when they looked at Lin Yuan, their little mouth slightly open in shock. It wasn't until Lin Yuan carried the luggage to the car that the two women came back to their senses. I'll go. Ling Wanqing wasn't calm anymore, since Lin Yuan had sworn so much, it meant that he wasn't afraid of being inspected, which meant that there was a high probability that this was true. It was just that the news was so explosive that it was hard to accept it all at once. Gu Renin was confused, her head spinning. Was everything the boyfriend said true? Didn't that mean that he was now super rich? Tian. I'm not dreaming here. Let's go, let's try to get to our destination at night, get a good night's sleep, and go to the first tourist attraction the next day. Lin Yuan opened the passenger door and reminded his girlfriend. Gu Renin came back to her senses and hurried over to sit on the passenger side. We're off. Lin Yuan sat in the driver's seat, started the car and said to Ling Wanqing, who was standing beside the car. Be careful all the way. Ling Wanqing waved her hand. Lin Yuan drove and disappeared around the corner of the street before driving onto the highway to the next province and city. Driving for hours on end, Gu Renin asked questions along the way, eager to know about his second grandfather. After getting off the highway, it was already after 12. Lin Yuan found a hotel on the internet that was close to the attraction he was going to tomorrow and drove there. Hello, we have 288 for a single room, 388 for a double room, and 888 for a deluxe suite. When they arrived at the hotel, the front desk customer service lady introduced herself. Lin Yuan looked at Gu Renin and asked what she meant. Single bed it is. Gu Renin whispered, 288 wasn't very expensive for her. But to Lin Yuan, who was used to saving money, even now that he was rich, it was still the same. Take your word for it, a king-sized room. He said to the front desk customer service lady. Gu Renin? Degree Delta Degree. It's two rooms, boyfriend. Gu Renin tugged on the corner of Lin Yuan's coat and reminded. Two rooms is too expensive, my budget for this trip is only 10,000, if I spend so much money at the beginning, how will I get by later? Lin Yuan said. In fact, this trip out, he wanted to also teach Gu Renin to learn the habit of saving money. Ah. Gu Renin muttered in a small voice, it's not like we're short of money. Lin Yuan saw his girlfriend's mind, explained, I had a hard time when I was a child, a dollar have to be carefully calculated to pass, has developed a habit, unlike you spend a lot of money, eat a meal to hundreds of thousands, simply then not come. I'm sorry boyfriend. Gu Renin thought her boyfriend blamed herself for being too able to spend money, hanging her little head, very self-condemning. She remembered Wanqing telling herself once that if Lin Yuan's family was poor and couldn't afford to buy himself a bag of clothes and cosmetics, and even the house he lived in was in shambles, would she still be willing and continue to be his girlfriend? Gu Renin replied at the time that she was willing, the big deal was spending her own money. But Ling Wanqing added that it would hurt Lin Yuan's self-esteem as a man. Gu Renin only hesitated for a second before she firmly nodded her head and answered still willing. Willing to suffer with Lin Yuan. Being only 18 years old, worldly and emotionally rich, she didn't think that much. What are you rambling about? Lin Yuan rubbed this whimsical niece, his eyes full of tenderness. Boyfriend, open a double bed. Gu Renin raised her head with a sweet smile. Also good. Lin Yuan still opened a double room, and after getting the door card, he and Gu Renin stayed in. Renin, go take a shower first. Lin Yuan rubbed his brow to relieve his fatigue from driving for hours. Aha. Gu Renin nodded her head obediently and took out her own clothes from the suitcase, walking into the bathroom and closing the door. Not long after she suddenly poked her little head out, no peeking oh. No peeking. Lin Yuan guaranteed. Gu Renin closed the bathroom door, not long after the sound of pattering water came from inside. Lin Yuan shook off the bad distractions in his mind and took out his cell phone to search for the place he was traveling to tomorrow. It was an ancient Jiangnan town with a long history, with small bridges, flowing water, and homes. You can take a boat tour, the night scenery is more beautiful, but also more people. Not long after, the bathroom was silent, Gu Renin wrapped in a bath towel, her face with a blush, her hair wet, opened the door and walked out. She was still holding the changed clothes in her hand and quickly ran to the luggage side, taking out a cloth bag to put the clothes up. Boyfriend, it's your turn to take a shower said Gu Renin playfully. Aha. Uh -huh. Lin Yuan nodded, took out his own clothes and walked inside the bathroom. The inside of the bathroom was filled with a white mist of water. With the aroma of shower gel lingering, Lin Yuan took the clothes he wanted to change and hung them on the hook on the bathroom door. He had just taken off his shirt, but realized that he had forgotten to change his shoes into slippers. He had to open the bathroom door, only just as soon as he opened the door, he saw a square, square, bag packaging thing in his hand. Where did you get this thing? Lin Yuan has seen a lot of knowledge, never seen a pig run, but pork is also eaten, a glance recognized Gu Renin hand holding, what is it? Gu Renin looked around at the object in her hand and was curious, boyfriend, what is this thing? 
When she opened the drawer of the nightstand just now, she found that there were two of these things placed inside, the whole square, silver, without printed words. Squeezing it, a circle of round stuff, kinda slippery. This is something only adults use, you're still too young to use it. Lin Yuan walked over, took away the thing in Gu Renin's hand and stuffed it into his suitcase. Things for adults? Gu Renin's little head was filled with question marks, I'm 18, I'm an adult too, so just tell me what this is and how to use it. You can't use it right, don't ask so many questions. Lin Yuan said. Why can't I use it? I'm going to use it. Gu Renin was not happy. Lin Yuan thought that if you knew the truth, you must not blush and be ashamed and want to find a crack in the ground, it's better not to tell. It's just a balloon, for water. Lin Yuan casually found an excuse to fool around first. All right. Gu Renin didn't ask any more questions, just listening to her boyfriend say this, it seemed like this thing, which made him very nervous, managed to arouse her curiosity. Must know exactly what it was for. Definitely not a balloon for water. She wasn't a child, not that easy to fool. Lin Yuan went back to the bathroom to take a shower and was ready for bed afterward. On the other bed, Gu Renin had already covered the quilt, revealing a small head that stared at him with unblinking eyes. Sleep. Lin Yuan turned off the light and lay down on his own bed. Good night, boyfriend. In the darkened room, Gu Renin's voice was crisp and nice. Lin Yuan yawned and said, Uh, good night. A lone man and a widow sharing a room. Will my boyfriend take advantage of me falling asleep at night and do that to me that that right? Gu Renin's mind suddenly became active, quietly wrapping the small quilt tightly, secretly looking toward Lin Yuan's side, sleeping in the same room with her boyfriend. She thought about it for a while, and finally couldn't help herself. Thought for a while, and finally couldn't help but yawn and gradually fall asleep. On the second day, it was 8 o'clock in the morning. Gu Renin woke up early, and her boyfriend was still lying in bed sleeping. Boyfriend wake up, the sun is shining on your butt. Gu Renin squatted by Lin Yuan's ear and shouted in a low voice. Lin Yuan slowly opened his eyes and saw the pretty face that made his heart flutter all the time and that he liked any way he looked at it. He suddenly raised his head and gently tapped on Gu Renin's small mouth. Yikes, nasty. Gu Renin puffed up, but wasn't really angry, her boyfriend was so bad, actually stealing kisses from herself. Lin Yuan smiled and got up, went to the bathroom to brush his teeth and wash his face, then he was ready to go out for breakfast with Renin. There happened to be a good business tofu brain store nearby, Lin Yuan asked for a savory one, while Gu Renin asked for a sweet one. The sweet ones are the best. Gu Renin said suddenly as she ate the sweet tofu brain. I like the salty one. Lin Yuan said. Gu Renin dug a spoonful of salted tofu brain from Lin Yuan's bowl and took a bite. It's still delicious if it's sweet, boyfriend try mine. She dug a spoonful of sweet tofu brain from her own bowl and brought it to Lin Yuan's mouth. Lin Yuan didn't mind eating it in one bite, all delicious. The two boys at the table next to him who were quietly eating the tofu brain, the tofu brain hadn't even been eaten for a few bites before they felt that they had already been fed with dog food. Think about it, you and your brother, two single dogs, eating tofu brain, suddenly you are being shown love, can you still eat it? After breakfast, Lin Yuan drove to Jiangnan Water Town, parked his car and bought a ticket to go in. The town's houses are in an ancient style, with a small river meandering across it, so clear that small fish can be seen swimming through the water. Lin Yuan and Gu Renin held hands as they strolled aimlessly through this town, enjoying the scenery along the way. Lin Yuan take a picture of me. Gu Renin stood in the middle of the stone bridge, her hands propped up on the railing at the edge of the bridge, turning her head with a wide smile. Lin Yuan took his cell phone and snapped this moment. Gu Renin hurried over to see how the photo was taken. This shot is too unprofessional. She was so dissatisfied that she personally instructed how to take the photo, find the right angle, and take the photo again. The second photo was much better but she still felt it didn't work. Lin Yuan wondered how he had to retake the photos when they were clearly all good. The third time, a young lady wearing a black top and jeans just happened to pass by next to her. She was holding a camera and saw Gu Renin standing at the end of the bridge, smiling back. Subconsciously, she raised the camera to capture this beautiful moment. This one is barely okay. Gu Renin looked at the photo taken by Lin Yuan and accepted it begrudgingly. Hello, I just saw you guys taking pictures, so I took the liberty of grabbing a few, if it's okay, I can send them to you when they're washed. The girl in black walked over and showed Gu Renin the photos that had been taken. Wow, what a nice shot. Gu Renin marveled, expressing her gratitude. Lin Yuan also looked at the photos and couldn't help but admit that it was indeed his own photos that didn't look good. The angle wasn't right, the position wasn't right, and the gap came out all of a sudden. Without comparison, there was no harm. Talking briefly with the girl in black, she learned that she was a photography enthusiast, and that she came here this time to take some good-looking photos. She invited Gu Renin, wanting her to model for her and take a few sets of photos. Is that okay? Gu Renin didn't rush to say yes, but first asked Lin Yuan if it was okay. Of course it's okay. 
Lin Yuan naturally had no problem with it. Then we'll take pictures here in the evening when the sun is about to set, the light is good at that time and the mood is good. The girl in black proposed and asked Gu Renin about her body size, informing her that she had exactly one ancient women's dress that she could wear. If Gu Renin was willing, she would wear this dress for the photo shoot. Good. Lin Yuan and Gu Renin both agreed with this proposal. Then, the three of them traveled together, enjoying the scenery of the ancient town, and renting a small boat to travel through the ancient town. Sister Chen Meng, do you know there's something that's square, silver in color, and the inside feels like a rubber band, do you know what it is? Gu Renin and the girl in black, Chen Meng, spoke in whispers between girls. Chen Meng pondered for a while, but couldn't think of anything, so she only shook her head, I don't know, is it food? Gu Renin prompted, my boyfriend said it's something only adults use, it's for balloons to fill with water, and said I'm still too young to use it. Chen Meng pondered for a few seconds, then looked at Gu Renin with an odd expression on her face, I might know what it is that you're talking about. What exactly is it ah uh, sister Chen Meng? Gu Renin hurriedly pursued the question. Finally, she was going to know what the thing that made her boyfriend nervous was. Chen Meng opened her mouth and really couldn't speak. Besides, other people's boyfriends were in the same boat, wouldn't it be embarrassing for everyone to say it? You'll know later. She still didn't say. Gu Renin was even more puzzled. She pressed the question a few times, but Chen Meng didn't say anything, and finally Lin Yuan coughed twice in embarrassment and pulled her to sit beside him. Gu Renin was puzzled. It is not just a small thing, how are not willing to say, and not what prohibited items, so secretive why. Only to stop, the big deal is that later time, and then ask Ling Wanqing, she has seen a lot of knowledge, surely know what it is. The town is not big, less than half an hour to wander around. The three of them ate lunch at the town restaurant, Chen Meng said she had to go back to pick up her clothes and meet up at the designated place later. For the rest of the day, Lin Yuan and Gu Renin continued to wander around, resting at a pavilion for the time being. When it was about time, the two of them came to the place where they had agreed to meet, at this time, Chen Meng had already arrived, carrying a large bag in her hand. These are clothes, I'll take you to change. Chen Meng led Gu Renin away and soon returned after changing her clothes. Lin Yuan couldn't take his eyes off Gu Renin when he saw her again. At this moment, she was wearing a long green colored dress that showed off her exquisite and concave figure to the fullest. Her green silk was draped down and only tied with a white ribbon, her pink face was delicate and red, and her beautiful eyes were moist and clean. Does it look good Lin Yuan? Gu Renin walked with a light step and walked up to Lin Yuan and spun around, her skirt fluttering and fluttering. She shyly half lowered her pretty head and said in soft, delicate words. Lin Yuan looked mesmerized, she was like a fairy walking out of a painting, she looked great. You must have been a fairy in your previous life. Lin Yuan looked stunning anyway and gave an extremely high evaluation. To have such a fairy-like girlfriend himself was something that many people couldn't envy. Gu Renin's heart was gorgeous, her smile was sweet, she was very happy to get her boyfriend to talk about her like this. To be honest, I was also stunned when you wore this outfit. Chen Meng praised, it's true that there are some clothes that only look good when worn by the right person. Thank you, Sister Chen Meng, for the compliment. Gu Renin became even happier, fiddling with the bodice and turning around in place two more times. The tassels on the bodice swayed with the fluttering of her hair, and it was as if the surrounding scenery had all become accompaniments. Gu Renin stood at the end of the bridge, not needing Chen Meng's guidance to strike a very nice pose and take a very nice picture. Some passing tourists saw this, and many of them took out their cell phones and took pictures, gathering here and not leaving. What a beautiful girl, if my granddaughter was half as beautiful as this girl, I would look good too. If this were in ancient times, at least it would have been a famous beauty of a country, comparable to Diao Cicada Shishir. There are such beautiful women in the world, I finally believe that the word love at first sight is true. You that is not called love at first sight, but greedy people body, you lowly. Gu Renin quickly became the focus of the public, she was embarrassed by the onlookers, her shy gesture was even more moving. Shoot. Okay. Chen Meng Tian made an okay gesture. Gu Renin was finally relieved. Without waiting for her to come down, she saw Chen Meng added, Renin, do you know how to dance, why don't you take advantage of the weather in the background, and I'll record it for you? Ah. Uh. Gu Renin looked at the crowd of onlookers, there were at least two dozen people, with the most uncles and aunts, more than two dozen pairs of eyes were looking at her, making her embarrassed. Forget it if you don't want to. Chen Meng had originally just mentioned it casually. She thought that Gu Renin, wearing this, would definitely look good dancing, not losing out to the well-known anchors in the dancing area of the small TV station. Oh Gu Renin was about to go down the bridge when she looked up and saw that her boyfriend was looking at her with a smile. She paused in her steps, her eyes flashed with hesitation, and finally clenched her teeth, Sister Chen Meng, then I'll do a dance. Good, you can dance any time now. Chen Meng set the camera to video mode and got ready. Gu Renin took a deep breath, slowly raised her arms, twirling her orchid fingers, her posture was marvelous and light, she suddenly turned around, her skirt fluttering with a fairy-like aura. 
The area was quiet, all eyes were on the young girl on the bridge, some people even forgot to pick up their cell phones to record. This was the first time Lin Yuan had seen Gu Renin dance, and it was beautiful. Gu Renin gradually got into the mood, her expression was vivid, her movements were elegant and beautiful, her presence made everything around her seem to lose color because of her. After a short dance, Gu Renin gave her curtain call in the manner of an ancient woman's salute, and the surrounding area burst into applause, all clapping and shouting. Gu Renin carried her skirt and jogged to Lin Yuan's side, just now she was bold enough to dance in public, but now she hid behind Lin Yuan, not daring to show her head, her cheeks red. There were some boys who wanted to come over and add their contact information, but when they saw the scene, they shook their heads and sighed. People turned out to have a master, so envious of this dude. What a great dance. Chen Meng repeatedly watched the recorded video, go back and I'll send you the video. Aha, uh -huh, thank you sister Chen Meng. Gu Renin revealed half of her little head, and when she smiled, she revealed her neat, white teeth. Boyfriend, was my dance just now good? Gu Renin suddenly decided to dance, mostly because she wanted to dance for her boyfriend Lin Yuan. Wanting to show a better side of herself that she hadn't shown before, to show her favorite sweetheart. Lin Yuan nodded his head seriously, good looking, I didn't expect my girlfriend, to dance so well. And then slightly bent down, his head came to Gu Renin's ear and whispered, go back to the night and dance again, show me, okay? Good, good a Gu Renin shyly nodded her head and joyfully smiled, then after I finish dancing, does my boyfriend have any rewards? Lin Yuan thought for a moment and said, what reward do you want? Gu Renin, it's not important what reward I want, the key is what the boyfriend wants to send me. Host's current situation detected, please begin your choices. Choice 1, reward Gu Renin with a 1 minute mouth to mouth kiss and a 4 leaf clover emerald necklace, note, if the host chooses this option, the reward will be issued immediately. Choice 2, reward Gu Renin with a condom, and unwrap it for use, and a box of golden gun pills, 50 pills pack, note, host chooses this option, rewards will be released immediately. Option 3, reward Gu Renin with intimate apparel and have her wear it, rewarding her with 10 sets of pure white intimate apparel. Note, the host chooses this option and the reward is issued immediately. System note, choose at least one for this option, or more than one. Lin Yuan froze. Didn't think that this triggered the choice, except how this choice was immodest. Could it be hinting at him, hurry up and raid Gu Renin? Lin Yuan sneered, the three choices must be at least one choice, or multiple choice. Or a multiple choice question ah. Only children make choices, I want them all. Lin Yuan chose all three options. The first choice was to kiss Gu Renin for at least a minute. It wasn't like Lin Yuan hadn't kissed her before. Besides, she was his girlfriend, so what's the point of kissing her again? The third choice is to send his girlfriend intimate apparel, it's very normal, it's not like he's going to get angry because of this, right? And the second choice, Lin Yuan found a hole in the system. Since it said it was used, it didn't t say how it was going to be used. The rewards were issued to Lin Yuan's pocket, and the hotel room luggage respectively. Alright, since you said so, don't blame me if you don't like the rewards I give you when the time comes. Lin Yuan made a good advancement first, lest Gu Renin wasn't psychologically prepared at that time, what if she got scared? Aha! Gu Renin thought to herself, how could she not like her boyfriend's reward? The town no longer had any attractions that could be continued, so Lin Yuan and Gu Renin left early to look for the most unique local cuisine, as well as snacks. The pedestrian street at night was very crowded, with a wide array of snacks on both sides. Gu Renin wanted to buy everything she saw, and every time she bought one, she only ate a few bites before throwing the rest to Lin Yuan. Boyfriend, I want to eat this. Gu Renin pointed at a baked cake stand with a tantalizing aroma. You're not afraid of getting fat from eating it. Lin Yuan said helplessly as both of his hands, carried the snack that Gu Renin had only taken a few bites of. But he still bought it for his girlfriend, as long as she liked it. It's not good, nah, here. The baked cake Gu Renin only took a small bite before throwing it back to Lin Yuan, her boyfriend. Lin Yuan didn't mind taking a bite, the baked cake smelled good but tasted average. No wonder Gu Renin stopped eating after one bite. It was already past 8 in the evening after shopping, and the two of them returned to the hotel. Gu Renin changed into a white knee-length skirt, plus white navel short-sleeved, barefoot on the floor, body posture, dancing. The music playing on the cell phone next to him was melodious and soothing, and Lin Yuan sat on the bed, silently enjoying Gu Renin's solo dance for himself. The dance was moving, showing off her slender waist to the fullest. The steps were light and elegant, and her long legs swung, extremely eye-catching. This dance lasted a full 10 minutes. After the dance, Gu Renin's forehead was covered in fine sweat, she gasped for air, her eyes fell on Lin Yuan and she smiled gently. Good looking. Lin Yuan applauded for her, got up and walked over to Gu Renin, raising his hand to wipe the fragrant sweat off her forehead. Dance for me often in the future, okay? He whispered in Gu Renin's ear. I'll dance for you if you like. Gu Renin raised her head and looked at Lin Yuan, boyfriend, I dance too, where's the reward? Lin Yuan smiled mysteriously and said, 
you close your eyes first. Gu Ranin obediently closed her eyes, thinking that her boyfriend would still be mysterious. Alright, open your eyes. Gu Ranin slowly opened her eyes, seeing her boyfriend holding a small box in his hand. Thank you boyfriend. Gu Ranin took the reward that belonged to her and opened it to see that it was a nice pretty necklace. Like it? Lin Yuan looked at her. Like it Gu Ranin nodded. Let me help you put it on. Lin Yuan took the necklace from Gu Ranin and personally put it on her neck. It's so pretty. He didn't take back his hand, but gently cupped Gu Ranin's face with a beaming smile. Gu Ranin blushed, watching her boyfriend's face come closer and closer. The lips of the two, just like that, imprinted on each other. Gu Ranin closed her eyes, her eyelashes lightly fluttering as she clumsily attached herself. It was only after a few moments that they parted. This is also a reward, like it? Gu Ranin shyly lowered her little head, her voice was like a mosquito, and she softly mumbled. Lin Yuan followed up by taking out square, silver-colored small things from his suitcase. This is also a reward for you, haven't you always wanted to know what it is, just open it and see. Oh Gu Ranin took it and tore open the silver packaging on the outside, what is this? She held the round, rubber band-like circle in her hand, her eyes full of curiosity. Go, follow me into the bathroom, I'll teach you how to use it. Saying this, Lin Yuan pulled Gu Ranin and walked inside the bathroom. Ah! Not long after, a scream of Gu Ranin's ah came out from the bathroom. She walked out of the bathroom dripping wet. What her boyfriend said was really not wrong, this thing was really a balloon, just now when her boyfriend was using it to fill up with water, it suddenly broke, splashing all over herself and making her clothes wet. I told you that this thing is a balloon, used to fill water and you still don't believe me, now your clothes are all wet. Lin Yuan then walked out of the bathroom and took out a small rectangular box from his luggage and handed it to Gu Ranin. Hurry up and take it to change, be careful of catching a cold. Gu Ranin took the small box, what's this? Clothes bought for you, and a reward. Lin Yuan said expressionlessly, get it inside before you open it. Oh, Gu Ranin obediently took the so-called clothes and walked into the bathroom. Then she opened the small box Lin Yuan had given her. Upon seeing that the so-called clothes inside were actually female intimate apparel, her face swished red. Lin Yuan, what kind of clothes did you buy me, how can you ask me to wear them? Gu Ranin's face turned red with shame and she huffed as she walked out of the bathroom. Ranin, do we still need to be so outgoing with each other? Lin Yuan said in a serious tone, besides, this is not a normal dress, it's material, comfort, there is nothing like it. We all kissed just now, it's nothing, you're getting angry here. I also told you before, reward you if you don't like it, don't blame me, now it's good, you're still blaming me. Alright, since you don't want it, I'll give it to someone else. As if she hadn't heard the first few words, Gu Ranin questioned, who are you going to give it to? Lin Yuan calmly said, give it to Ling Wanqing, she should be able to wear this dress. Gu Ranin became even more furious, no way, what kind of boy gives a girl this kind of clothes? Lin Yuan calmly said, it's true that no one would send a girl something like this except for couples who would, Ranin, aren't we a couple? Gu Ranin stammered, we are a couple. But, she was still shy and a bit put out. Lin Yuan sighed and said, then it's better to give it to Ling Wanqing. Gu Ranin hummed, how dare you? Gamblingly, she went into the bathroom and walked out after a short shower. Lin Yuan asked, clothes on? Gu Ranin squirmed and nodded, uh, put them on. Lin Yuan sighed in relief, really put it on? Gu Ranin huffed and puffed, her small hands crossing her waist, then there's still a fake? Do you want me to take it off and show you? Lin Yuan nodded his head in a serious manner, okay. Badass boyfriend, I'm ignoring you. Gu Ranin pretended to be angry, sitting on her own bed with her back to Lin Yuan, sulking alone. Lin Yuan smiled, his girlfriend was playing a little tantrum, he, as a boyfriend, had to coax her. Running cutie, how about going to eat Dong Pork tomorrow? I don't eat. Then go to the zoo, okay, see the cute little animals. I don't want to. How about I sing you a song? I don't want to listen. I want to buy you and me couple's clothes, we wear them together to travel, okay? I don't. Want to go on a trip together, okay? Gu Ranin was suddenly not angry. The boyfriend wants to buy couple's clothes. At that time can not wear out, walk on the street, everyone knows this is my boyfriend, I am his girlfriend. Gu Ranin, you're so stupid, why didn't you think of wearing couple's clothes earlier? Buy it, buy it. Her mind was active, wanting that nice looking couple's outfit. Good. Lin Yuan thought to himself that this niece was so good at coaxing, saying that she wanted to buy couple's clothes instantly made her happy. He took out his cell phone and on the shopping website, searched for couple's clothes. A large number of them appeared in one search, so many that it was overwhelming. How about this one? Lin Yuan pointed to a men's couple's top with, I'm responsible for making money to support my family, women's couple's top, I'm responsible for looking beautiful, printed on it. No good, this one is too popular. Gu Ranin shook her head. Lin Yuan continued to look. How about this one then? 
This time, the men's top was printed with, I make money, I don't spend money. The women's top was printed with, I spend money, I don't make money. Still no. Gurunin vetoed again, look at this as seen by your mom, will she think I'm a bad girl who is lazy and only spends money ah. So no, boyfriend you work hard and find another one. Lin Yuan agreed with this statement and continued to look. After searching for a long time and vetoing many couples clothes, in the end, the two decided to customize one, their own couples clothes. They could customize it themselves, print whatever words on the clothes, and then have it printed by the merchant and shipped to their home. Gu Renin tried to use her little brain to think of what words she decided to print on the clothes. It's so happily decided, boyfriend your clothes will say Ring Yin's boyfriend and mine will be Lin Yuan's cutie. How about that? Lin Yuan had no opinion and told the merchant to hurry up and make it. The next day, Gu Renin's cell phone received a photo from Chen Meng, as well as a video. She couldn't wait to share it with Lin Yuan. Good looking. Lin Yuan asked for a few of them to use as his cell phone wallpaper. Those who didn't know saw them, would probably think they found them online. After all, his girlfriend was too pretty. There were also videos that Lin Yuan saved on his phone, slowly enjoying his girlfriend's dancing. Time is also not early, the two have stayed here for two nights, it is time to continue to leave. This time there was also a person brought along, Chen Meng. The three had the same destination, this famous mountain hundreds of kilometers away from the province and city, to see the sunrise. After spending more than four hours driving, they finally arrived at the place. In the nearby hotel rented a house, Lin Yuan himself a room, Gu Renin, and Chen Meng a room. The three of them ate lunch and went back after strolling around the busy streets for a while in the evening. Because they were going to see the sunrise tomorrow, Lin Yuan reminded Gu Renin to go to bed early or she wouldn't be able to get up tomorrow. Gu Renin and Chen Meng were in a double room. At this moment, she was lying on the bed, tossing and turning, unable to sleep. Sister Chen Meng, do you have a boyfriend? Gu Renin was bored and looked for Chen Meng to chat. Chen Meng was also lying on the bed without a blanket. Her figure was thin, not exactly concave and convex, she could only be described as ordinary, because of the long years out photographing landscapes, her skin color was a bit tanned, because of her youthfulness, she wasn't really ugly, and there were still boys who took the initiative to hit on her. Chen Meng sighed and said, Noah, I'm running around every day, where can I talk about boyfriends? Oh, Gu Renin made a sound and asked, then, Sister Chen Meng, has any boy ever chased after you? Chen Meng was silent for several seconds and said, I used to have a boyfriend, but he likes to fish and often didn't have time to accompany me, and went out night fishing with his friends on Valentine's Day, and then we broke up. So from that time, I decided that if I want to find a boyfriend in the future, I won't look for boys who like fishing. Chen Meng didn't exclude boys from fishing, what she excluded was boys who moved to fish in three days, fishing on vacation, and didn't have time to accompany their girlfriends. Gu Renin expressed her sympathy, in her place she couldn't accept, such a boy. Fortunately, my boyfriend is not like this. It's so nice. Ranin. This time it was Chen Meng's turn to ask, you and your boyfriend came out to travel, didn't your family object? Gu Renin said, no. Chen Meng, so you two live separately at night? Gu Renin, no, we stayed in a double room for the past two days. Chen Meng, then. Your boyfriend can stand it, not to be unkind to you, move his hands and feet or something? Gu Renin, how did he not, he can be bad, when I did not pay attention to steel kiss me, but also, she didn't have the cheek to tell others about Lin Yuan sending her intimate apparel. Chen Meng said, it's normal for couples to kiss and hold hands and stuff, it's normal to crave your body, but those who want your body must refuse. Gu Renin said, aha, uh -huh, I know, my boyfriend respects me a lot, as long as I'm not willing, he definitely won't force it. Then you also asked me before that thing, is also brought by your boyfriend? No, it's the one I found in the hotel room, it doesn't work well at all, it's easy to break. Chen Meng as if she heard something unbelievable, raised her voice and said, you guys still use it? Gu Renin said, yes, I used it yesterday, what's wrong? No, nothing. Chen Meng marveled, nowadays youngsters, they slept together at a young age, while she, a girl in her twenties, was still in a state of ignorance about that matter. In the middle of four in the morning, Chen Meng woke up Gu Renin who was still sleeping. There was still a two to three hour climb later, so if she didn't go out earlier, the sun would be out by the time she got to the top of the mountain. If you don't go out earlier, you won't be able to enjoy the sunrise and take good pictures. Gu Renin sleepily washed up, and when the two of them went out, they saw Lin Yuan who had been waiting at the door for a long time. Let's go. The three of them quickly set off and arrived at the foot of the mountain. It was dark and foggy and wet, most people were still sleeping at this time of the day, and the trio began to climb the mountain. Following the steps leading to the top of the mountain, they kept going up. In less than half an hour, Gu Renin was already out of breath, her forehead sweating, still gritting her teeth and not saying she was tired. Lin Yuan was heartbroken and wanted to carry her up the mountain, but was rejected by Gu Renin with a smile and a shake of her head. Your girlfriend isn't so hit and miss, I can still walk a bit more. Lin Yuan smiled warmly, 
so he held her hand and continued up the mountain. Chen Meng was more or less envious, such love was what her youthful self longed for. In an hour and a half, the three of them managed to climb halfway up the mountain. Lin Yuan's physical strength is still good, without saying anything, he picked up Gu Ranin on his back, one step at a time. Chen Meng followed behind, really tired, stopped to rest for a while, not a moment to look up, the silhouette is gone. The mountain wind was slightly cool, and the fog was continuous. Two hours later, the top of the mountain. Lin Yuan was gasping for air, hot and sweaty, soaked through his clothes. He stood on the huge rock at the highest point of the mountaintop, looking into the distance, his heart tranquil. Gu Ranin's heart ached as she watched, it was so hard for her boyfriend to carry himself up the mountain. She raised her small hand and used her sleeve to wipe away the sweat from Lin Yuan's face. This scene looked very cozy, it was a pity that Chen Meng hadn't come up yet, or else such a scene would have been beautifully photographed. The two of them were sitting on the rocks, looking into the distance, the sky was whitening with fish maws, the sun would probably not come out for a while. Lin Yuan held Gu Ranin's small hand, at this time no sound is better than sound. For a while, Chen Meng came up panting, fiercely filled two mouths of water, sat on the ground to rest. The waiting process was not boring, there were many topics to discuss. The sky was getting brighter and brighter, the sunrise was about to come out. Lin Yuan look. Suddenly Gu Ranin excitedly pointed at the sky, sunrise. In the sky, amongst the clouds, there was a golden glow. The sun was rising in the east, and it was beautiful. Chen Meng immediately took out her camera and filmed it. Lin Yuan and Gu Ranin, on the other hand, appreciated the fleeting scenery. So beautiful. Gu Ranin exclaimed, this was the first time she was on top of a mountain, so close, watching such a beautiful sunrise. The sunlight was rays, warmly shining on the earth, and everything was revitalized. Let me help you two take a picture. Chen Meng suddenly said, asking the two to pose. First, she took a picture of the back of the two of them watching the sunrise. You guys hug together, I'll take another picture. Chen Meng instructed. The two did as they were told and embraced each other at the top of the mountain with the sunrise as the background. Chen Meng took the photo and added, take another kissing one. Ha, huh? Gu Ranin was shy, or had she ever kissed her boyfriend in front of outsiders? She was about to refuse, followed by white eyes, unable to speak. Good, that's it. Chen Meng took several more shots in a row. Gu Ranin's face was as red as the sunrise, and she glared at Lin Yuan with a pout. How could you do this, suddenly kissing someone else, damn it. Seeing as you worked so hard to carry me up the mountain, I won't bother with you this time humph. After watching the sunrise for half an hour, the sun was no longer so warm, and the three of them went down the mountain together. Downhill is much easier than uphill, less than two hours to the foot of the mountain. After returning to the hotel and having lunch, Lin Yuan decided to set off again. This time, Chen Meng was no longer traveling with her, she had her own place to go. Lin Yuan and Gu Ranin set off. They drove into the highway, drove out at night, and continued on their way. The place the two of them were going to this time was a sea of flowers that were blooming as far as the eye could see. It was also a famous Netflix attraction with an endless stream of tourists. You can sleep at night in the middle of the sea of flowers, and wake up around the sea of flowers. But the car drove halfway, in a deserted place, broke down. The tires were punctured by nails. One flat tire is fine, there is a spare. But there are two broken tires, I do not know who is so unethical, the road through nails, plus this road usually not many cars through, not to mention the night. The two of them can only camp in the wild at night. The car was heated, and Gu Ranin fell asleep in the back row. Lin Yuan could only wait for tomorrow morning to call the people from the nearby car repair store to come over and tow the car for repairs. Boyfriend, when will it be ready? Gu Ranin slept uncomfortably and woke up early. Lin Yuan rubbed her hair and said, it'll probably take tomorrow, bear with it. Gu Ranin nodded obediently. Lin Yuan, I'm hungry. Not long after, Gu Ranin covered her small belly and said with a bitter face, and said with a bitter face, Lin Yuan took out snacks, bread, and water from the trunk and gave them to her. I want you to feed me Gu Ranin said with a smile, her mouth slightly open and her eyebrows arched. Lin Yuan smiled and personally fed her bread. I'm thirsty, boyfriend feed me water. Gu Ranin smiled cheekily. Lin Yuan let Gu Ranin come and fed her water. Boyfriend I'm cold, I need a hug. Lin Yuan opened the rear car door and got in, hugging Gu Ranin, still cold? Not cold, boyfriend is so nice. Late at night, a lonely man and woman sharing a car, Lin Yuan wrapped his arms around his girlfriend, as a normal man, it was inevitable that he wouldn't be rambling and moving his hands. Where to put your hands? Gu Ranin took away her boyfriend's hand on her thigh. Why are you kissing my neck, nasty? Lin Yuan Yu. Gu Rin Rin turned her head and was about to speak when her small mouth was blocked. Oh she struggled for a while, but in the end, she was unable to resist and closed her eyes in resignation. But she quickly opened her eyes wide, someone's two hands, actually reached inside her clothes, were to touch. In an instant, Gu Ranin seemed to be electrocuted and her pretty face turned red. 
Lin Yuan, don't. She pleaded with tears glistening in the corners of her eyes. Lin Yuan instantly came back to his senses. He only said that he was too impulsive for a moment and couldn't control himself, hurriedly withdrawing his hand, I'm sorry Renin, I was too impulsive. He blamed himself and felt guilty for his behavior. Gu Renin was aggrieved and sat alone without speaking, sobbing softly. Lin Yuan was at a loss for words, he really made his girlfriend angry. Host's current situation detected, please begin your choice. Choice 1, you can't spoil your girlfriend when she's angry, choose to ignore her for a day and be rewarded with future mysterious technology X. Choice 2, if your girlfriend is angry, you must coax her to be happy and make her laugh, rewarding you with a mysterious skill times. Choice 3, if your girlfriend is angry, you must apologize. Apologize to your girlfriend and get her forgiveness, reward Gu Renin's goodwill. Note, currently Gu Renin's favorability towards you is 89, likes you so much that she almost can't help herself. Future mysterious technology, mysterious skills were indeed all very tempting, but no matter how good they were, they weren't as good as a girlfriend. Therefore, Lin Yuan didn't hesitate to choose the third option. Lin Yuan apologized very seriously and took responsibility for his impulsive behavior. His girlfriend, Gu Renin, could propose three excessive conditions to him, which Lin Yuan had to unconditionally must fulfill. Gu Renin really did put forward two very excessive conditions. Do push-ups a hundred times. Lin Yuan got out of the car and did a hundred push-ups on the spot. Sing ten love songs. Lin Yuan cleared his throat and started singing. The ten songs were sung until his throat was a bit dry and finally ended. Humph, the attitude of apologizing is quite sincere, but after how excessive things were done to me, they can never be forgiven so easily. Let me think about the last excessive request, what should I mention? How about letting your boyfriend strip naked, leaving only a pair of chaps, and run on the road for 10 minutes? No, no, no. Or how about having him say I'm a big dummy to 10 strangers he doesn't know? How about letting your boyfriend wear women's clothes? Gu Renin pretended to still be angry on the surface, but in reality, she was actually very jumpy on the inside. The boyfriend must be punished properly. Lin Yuan heard her heart and secretly said spare me. Listen up. Gu Renin hummed, the last request is. I can make three more excessive demands. Lin Yuan was dumbfounded. This wouldn't work. You said it yourself, three requests, it can be very excessive oh, talk to count. Gu Renin was smug, the corners of her mouth curled up slightly. Lin Yuan thought, as long as his girlfriend is happy. Even if it was ten, a hundred requests, he could agree. With an expression of being set up, he had no choice but to agree to Gu Renin's demands. Three more excessive requests for her. Immediately after that, he was asked to learn how to purr like a cat and say love words to Gu Renin, and ones that couldn't be repeated. When it came to the last request, Gu Renin revealed an impishly bright smile. The third request, that is, I'm going to make three more excessive requests. Don't bring that. Lin Yuan thought for a moment and said, how about every time we go to a tourist spot, you can make a request to me, how about that? If we really continued like this, every time the third request was made, it was possible to make three more requests, so repeated were still ahead ah. Gu Renin thought this was good, so she agreed, it's a deal, every time I visit a place to play, let me make a request. Lin Yuan nodded. My requests are excessive. It's good that you're happy. Gu Renin wasn't angry anymore and reluctantly forgave Lin Yuan. It was just that Lin Yuan still felt guilty, teaming his girlfriend to do such a thing, or without her consent. He once again solemnly apologized. All right la la, don't say it again. Gu Renin was shy when she remembered what had just happened, it was just too overwhelming to talk about. The feeling was like an electric shock, a touch and feeling that had never been felt before. Lin Yuan stopped talking and gently kissed Gu Renin on her forehead, the two of them snuggled up to each other and waited for dawn. When the sun rose in the morning, the rescue vehicles from the garage finally came. They let Lin Yuan and Gu Renin sit in the car while they towed the car to the trailer and just left. After arriving at the garage and fixing the car, the two of them found a noodle shop, ate two bowls of local noodles, and continued on their way. The car drove out of the city and into the countryside. Lin Yuan kept going along the navigation, and the surroundings became more and more remote. In a field, there were many vehicles parked. Further on, one could see a sea of beautiful flowers ahead. So beautiful, Gu Renin exclaimed. Even if they hadn't gotten inside yet, they could feel the grandeur and beauty of the sea of flowers just by looking at it from afar. Many people drove here just to enjoy the view, take wedding photos, and so on. Tickets were cheap, only a few dozen dollars, Lin Yuan bought two. After buying the tickets, he got a piece of paper handed to him by a staff member, on which were written the things he needed to pay attention to after entering the scenic area. You couldn't destroy the sea of flowers, you couldn't pick the flowers, you couldn't trample on the sea of flowers recklessly, and you had to follow the paths that were already there. Lin Yuan then led Gu Renin into the scenic spot. What met his eyes was an endless sea of colorful flowers, 
with many people weaving in and out of the sea of flowers, enjoying the scenery and taking pictures. Gu Renin became very lively, like a fluttering butterfly, weaving and jumping through the sea of flowers. It attracted the eyes of many tourists. Lin Yuan smiled and followed behind, taking out his cell phone and videoing the whole way. Like it here? Lin Yuan held Gu Renin's small hand as the two of them walked side by side, the flowers on both sides were colorful and beautiful. The flowers were no more beautiful than she was. Lin Yuan took a lot of pictures, his own, Gu Renin's, the two together. And then, after thinking about it, he sent the photos of the group photo to his mother, Lin Shanglan. Let her see how her future daughter-in-law looked like. Walking and stopping, suddenly there are two little boys ran into the sea of flowers, the dense flowers, stepped out a goat path. Parents did not stop in time, but over there laughing, but also their own children to take pictures. Some tourists reminded, parents do not care, let the children play, playing, pressed out a large piece of open space, only a few flowers stand alone. What the hell do you care, my children need you to control. The bear child's mother retorted sarcastically. They're really over the top. Gu Renin looked over and puffed. Watching the beautiful flowers being trampled, she thought about it and decided to go over and stop them. Hello, it's not right for your children to do this, these flowers shouldn't be trampled. The bear child's mother, wearing a black hat and black sunglasses, faintly swept a glance at Gu Renin and stopped paying attention to her. Gu Renin continued, if you don't care, then I'll take care of the child for you. With that, she turned around, and to the two bear children who were still frolicking and playing in the sea of flowers, she gently droned, you two come out, this is not right. As if they hadn't heard her, the two little children continued to play around and slap the flowers, causing the petals to continuously float down all over the ground. Gu Renin was furious, and directly walked in through the path opened up by the two bear children. Come out. She directly grabbed one of the bear children by the arm, to pull back. The bear child screamed and refused to leave, and under the stalemate, the child's mother came over in a rage. What are you doing, hitting my child? She pulled the child back, the evil one. Your child was in the wrong first, you as a parent didn't stop it in time, instead you blamed me. Gu Renin was furious, or had she seen such an unreasonable woman? The mother of the bear child seems to have not less scolding, practiced a cursing skill, once the mouth opened to curse, cannot stop. Gu Renin, who had never cursed before, simply couldn't say anything, so she was so angry that her face turned red and she was about to cry. Lin Yuan frowned and walked over quickly. Detected the host's current situation, please begin your choice. At this moment, an abrupt voice resounded in his head. Choice 1 make the bear child's parents realize their mistake and apologize, reward 1 million. Choice 2 let the bear child's parents realize their mistake and apologize to themselves and their child, reward an antique vase worth 10 million. Choice 3 let the bear child's parents realize the seriousness of the matter and feel regret, reward future mysterious technology X. Lin Yuan didn't stop on his feet, pulling Gu Renin behind himself and staring at the bear child's mother. You apologize, and your child too. He spoke calmly. Who are you to apologize, who are you? The bear child's mother crossed her arms and sneered. Lin Yuan used his own way to educate this mom on how to be a mother. Your child stepped on a flower in a scenic spot, shouldn't he apologize? What do you care, get lost? The bear child's mother finished speaking and was about to pull her child away. Lin Yuan blocked her way, you can't leave without apologizing. What, you want to bully a woman? The bear child's mother began to splash around, everyone, look nah, hitting a woman. However, the tourists who were there just now witnessed the whole thing, where would they help her, but instead pointed at her. The mother of the bear child couldn't keep up her face, and without saying a word, she pulled her own child, ready to bypass Lin Yuan and leave the place. Lin Yuan reached out and stopped her once again, the whole thing just now but someone took a video, when the time comes I'll post the video on the internet, all for everyone to see your face. The bear child's mother looked left and right, and sure enough, she saw someone holding a cell phone, videoing it. What are you filming? Delete it all. She quickly walked over to a young guy who was making a video, grabbed his cell phone and slammed it on the ground with force. The young guy was also bloodthirsty, and his blood pressure came up at once when his phone was smashed. You dare to smash my cell phone? This is a new cell phone that I just bought not two months ago, you compensate me. The young man said angrily, not letting the young man's mom go. The atmosphere became more and more chaotic. More and more people gathered to watch the fun. The bear kid's mom couldn't walk away if she wanted to, so she had to spill her guts. Her two kids seemed to be scared and cried one after another. Apologize. Lin Yuan was reasonable and demanded an apology. By the end of the day, people from the scenic area came to deal with the emergency. However, the two sides had been unable to obtain mediation, and in the end, they had to call the police. The police officers came and took away the bear child's mother, as well as the young man whose cell phone had been dropped. How things developed in the end was beyond Lin Yuan's knowledge. But not long afterward, he received a prompt that he could pick up the future mystery technology at any time. 
After such a small episode, although it was a bit unpleasant, this incident had refreshed Gurinin's three views. She originally thought that such a bare child would only be found in TV and cell phones, but she didn't think that she would run into one today, and it didn't make her angry enough. How can there be such people in the world? Gu Renin's original mood of enjoying the flowers wasn't that good anymore. Lin Yuan comforted her and said, there's no need to get serious with this kind of person, don't get angry. Aha! Uh -huh. Gu Renin thought deeply, nodded and said, let's enjoy the flowers. Although there were no more bare children, along the way, there were quite a few people seen picking flowers. Some picked the flowers and stuck them in their ears to take pictures, and there was no shortage of a few people doing so. It wasn't long before the two left the place. Gu Renin didn't forget that every time she went to a place of fun, she could make an excessive request. This time her request was simple, she wanted to go eat a big meal. Lin Yuan satisfied her and took her to a large restaurant, ordering several hundred dollars worth of food and letting her eat until she was full in one go. After eating and drinking to her heart's content, Gu Renin patted, as if she had already had a small stomach for two months, so full. Lin Yuan smiled, playing with a small metal ball in his hand. This was a future mysterious technology rewarded by the system. It was made from materials from outer space and was capable of detecting human diseases. If a patient with a heart condition placed it on the other person's heart, it would glow. And it was also able to emit some sort of material energy to cure the disease. Lin Yuan had just given himself a full body check, and the little metal ball didn't even react, indicating that he was healthy and didn't have any diseases. He handed the metal ball to Gu Renin and guided her to touch the metal ball to various parts of his body. Yeah, why is this metal ball suddenly so hot? Gu Renin suddenly let out a cry of alarm. Lin Yuan stood up with a swish. Nervously, he came over to check the situation. The little metal ball was below Gu Renin's navel and had become very hot. Without saying a word, Lin Yuan immediately took Gu Renin to the hospital for a checkup. The results of the examination came out, nothing was wrong. Lin Yuan frowned, it shouldn't be. Could it be that this future technology was unreliable and the measurements weren't accurate? Lin Yuan, what's wrong with you? Why did you suddenly bring me to the hospital and measure this and that? Gu Renin's eyes were full of doubt. She wasn't pregnant, so what was her boyfriend so nervous about? It seemed like that little metal ball had something to do with it. Lin Yuan had no way to explain, only to let Gu Renin take the metal ball, nothing to do, put it under the belly, it's good for the body. Although Gu Renin didn't understand, she did as she was told, because the metal ball was warm and comfortable to place on her belly. It just so happened that her period was coming in the next two days, so maybe it would ease the pain, or maybe not. The rest of the journey went smoothly, the scenery along the way was beautiful, it was just that the time until school started was getting shorter and shorter. Three days before school started, Lin Yuan returned to the ship. When he returned, he brewed a leaf from an old tea tree, and his tiredness was swept away. Gu Renin told Ling Wanqing about the scenery along the way and what had happened, hearing Ling Wanqing's yearning and envy. The second semester of senior high school started, and it was the most stressful year. Apart from studying it was still studying. In order to get into the same university as Lin Yuan, Gu Renin studied hard and improved her grades drastically. Ling Wanqing was not willing to lag behind, her grades also brushed up after Lin Yuan's tutoring summer. There are still 100 days to go before the college entrance exam, a few big words written on the blackboard, urging everyone not to slack off. There are still 30 days to go before the college entrance exam. Everyone feels the pressure, and the day is scheduled to be full of time, in order to get a good grade. There are three days to go before the college entrance exam. The senior high school year had an oppressive feeling of a storm coming. On the day of the college entrance exam, in the exam room, Lin Yuan didn't feel the slightest bit of pressure and was the first to hand in his papers and leave. Just as he left the exam room, a bunch of people surrounded him. Hello classmate, you're the first candidate to walk out of the exam room, how do you think you played? A TV station's urgent reporter held a microphone and interviewed Lin Yuan. The questions were all very simple, played okay. Lin Yuan said indifferently. Awesome. Cow. Sounds of admiration came from the people around him. Another reporter interviewed him. How many points do you think you can score this time? Lin Yuan thought seriously, he had checked all the questions just now and hadn't made a single mistake, so he should have gotten full marks. I think I should be able to get full marks. At once, the people gathered around the walk let out a gasp. This student was also too confident. To know that full marks weren't that easy to get, not to mention being the first to hand in the paper without having to check the questions? Lin Yuan walked. On the same day, the video of this interview appeared on online platforms, causing a furor. Some people speculated that this was nothing more than a poor student who couldn't do any of the questions and simply handed in the paper early, and that the oath of faith in the face of the interview was nothing more than pretense. After all, this kind of thing had happened a few times before. Later, a student from Lin Yuan School came forward to speak. He's the genius of our school, he's number one in his grade every time he takes an exam, 
and he sings so well that he won first place in the campus singing competition. Alumni ah, I'm Lin Yuan's little fangirl, it's a pity that he has a girlfriend, otherwise I'd want to chase after senior Lin Yuan, and all of this seemed to have nothing to do with Lin Yuan. The day the results of the college entrance exam came out, many people were concerned about how many points Lin Yuan could actually score. The moment the results came down, all those skeptical voices disappeared. The city's top student on the college entrance exam, 730 points, and a surprisingly perfect score in math. I originally thought he was bragging. It seems that I have a small pattern. As soon as the news came out, there were immediately multiple universities that threw out olive branches to Lin Yuan, inviting him to their schools. And Gu Renin scored over 600 points, exceeding the passing line by quite a bit. The two had agreed to study at the same university. Which university are we going to study? When choosing a university, Gu Renin asked Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan was indecisive as he made his choice between several universities. Host's current situation detected, please begin your choice. Choice 1, enroll in Tsinghua University, rewarded for face value. Choice 2, enroll in Mordor University, rewarding charisma. Choice 3, apply to any local university, rewarded with a hidden identity. The three choice rewards were all very tempting, and Lin Yuan was seriously making a choice on what to do. Was it going to be charm, or face value, or a mysterious identity that didn't appear in the rewards? It could be learned that the best reward was definitely the third choice, but the requirement was that one had to enroll in any of the local universities. Lin Yuan originally wanted to enroll in a university that had to be the best, but now, he had to dwell and hesitate and make a new choice. In the end, he gritted his teeth and didn't choose immediately for the time being, instead he wanted to ask Gu Renin what she thought. Whichever university you apply for, boyfriend, I'll apply for it ah. Gu Renin gave her answer without hesitation. In her subconscious, a university without Lin Yuan in it was not fun at all, and her own grades would definitely fall to pieces. Therefore, whichever university Lin Yuan went to, she would follow along. Lin Yuan tentatively asked if it was okay to enroll in a local university. Gu Renin thought about it and nodded, it's okay, but boyfriend you have such good grades, why do you want to apply to a local university? Lin Yuan said, I don't want to be too far away from home, I want to have time to go home with my family. Gu Renin secretly said that this was the case, her boyfriend was really filial. Senior year graduation, there was a long period of vacation. Lin Yuan was going to participate in a program, and now the director of that program, who had contacted him not too long ago, had asked him to arrange a time to get ready for the broadcast. Lin Yuan was only there as a special guest to show off his specialties amongst the young, powerful, and well-known singers, and to be recognized by them. It was a great opportunity for many up-and-coming singers to mix their faces, and the competition was fierce. Lin Yuan was able to get a spot, in which Lin Qingyue's role was crucial. To be honest, Lin Yuan didn't really like being famous, seeing as those famous stars were very inconvenient whenever they traveled. When they took a flight, there were a large number of fans at the airport, and when they went out for a stroll, they had to wear sunglasses and masks, and when they were recognized, they would ask for a photo and autograph. If you don't act happy, you'll be attacked by all sorts of bad comments, causing negative effects. But fortunately, Lin Yuan didn't have many chances to appear, and it was only one or two episodes at most before he was replaced. He said goodbye to his mother, while Gu Renin was told by her family that she was required to graduate and go home, not to be outside, not to be with Lin Yuan. And so it was that Lin Yuan took an airplane alone. Not long afterward, he appeared in a small mountain village somewhere along the coast. Hello, Lin Yuan right? The director, a middle-aged man with a shaved inch, shook Lin Yuan's hand in a friendly manner, and spoke to him about the must-know information. The program would start in a small coastal village, and when it did, there would be several celebrities there, filming at the same time, and outside of experiencing the simple life of a coastal village, the crew would also deliberately arrange for a singing segment. Otherwise, the program would be seriously out of line with the word song in youth. And what Lin Yuan had to do was to join these stars and gain a sense of presence, with the recognition of these stars. There were three special guests who appeared in the first installment, and even with Lin Qingyu's recommendation, the director thought that Lin Yuan was too young or that it would be better to have a good strength. Even with Lin Qingyu's recommendation, the director thought that Lin Yuan was too young, so it was better to let the young singer with good strength and more experience, who was little known in the singer's circle, go first. Lin Yuan had no problem with this. The director arranged for him to watch from the sidelines while recording the program to learn what the process was like, so that when he went on, he wouldn't know what to do. Two days later, everyone who was supposed to be here came, everyone was ready, and after the program's opening ceremony, the show officially started. The first thing was to film the star meeting up with one of the stars and say some polite words of greeting. After the people were all together, the director then stepped in and gave them a task, asking them to live in a small mountain village for a month. During this period, they have to find their own way to find food ingredients, help the villagers to work, 
get money to live, solve emergencies and so on. Among these stars, there are also three new faces as special guests. A rapper, quite white, with his hair tied into dozens of pigtails, dressed in a trendy style. He introduced himself, Chinese name unknown, English name AD, known in rap circles as Street Bully. A female singer, quite clean and pretty looking, spoke politely and introduced herself politely, her name is Huang Xiaoxiao. The last special guest, who had an original song that was a big hit a few months ago, and is already well known in the circle, is called Fan Shiji. At the beginning of the program recording, it went smoothly. Only when everyone came to the place where they lived, they were dumbfounded. Surprisingly, it was a brick house, although it was cleaned up, but they were used to living in a big hotel bed, but they still resisted inwardly. There was no way out, they could only smile on the surface and be bitter on the inside as they each chose their own room. Lin Yuan followed and watched for a while, then he was not interested in watching, and he played soy sauce for the whole day, and the day passed like this. The next day the program continued to be recorded, and these stars with golden keys in their mouths were all screaming in agony. First, the famous female singer Deng Xiaoqi screamed when she was in her room, and the crowd rushed over to check it out, and it turned out to be a very large rat. No one in the audience dared to catch it, and in order to win a good impression of the rapper, AD volunteered to copy the broom to beat the rat. Not only did the mouse not get killed, the room screamed and the mouse ran away. After that, it was time to cook. There was only one male singer present, Wang Mao Mao, who knows how to cook, and he asked the female singer, who said she was a new face, to help wash and cook the rice. As a result, the original eight people's rice was cooked into four people's rice, and the key was that the rice was still not washed. Everyone was hungry at night. Lin Yuan ate his boxed lunch and watched with great interest. Thinking it was very interesting, it was estimated that the program would be aired and would be watched by quite a few people. High and mighty stars, experiencing country life, all kinds of interesting things, what people liked to see was the images of these stars suffering. On the third day, the director informed Lin Yuan that he could get ready to go on stage. And the rapper AD, these days told him to do what he can't do, help the first place, let him help picking water, the result is accidentally break the water tank. Several stars cannot stand him, everyone is working, he is good, said what to give them an impromptu rap, increased the motivation to work. But he said he would give them an impromptu rap to give them more incentive to work. So a few people deliberated, after the director asked the stars to evaluate the three newcomers, and then chose one person to eliminate the rapper AD. The program was also broadcast on a TV program. Soon the ratings soared, and it even made it to the Weibo hot search, with everyone going crazy for their favorite stars. The three new singers also received different evaluations from medicines, the one that made a good impression was the ballad male singer Fan Shiji, who sang a few ballad songs on the program and gained a lot of fans. And the crowd's worst impression, deservedly non-rapper AD. Many people did not appreciate rapping, plus AD's performance in the program, many places make people very angry, so the online discussion about him, with the most bad reviews. Gu Renin was also the first to watch the program, but when she saw the end, she didn't even see Lin Yuan's shadow and hurriedly called, Boyfriend, why didn't you show up? You'll be able to see me on the next program. Lin Yuan called back to her. Rapper AD was eliminated and Lin Yuan came on as a replacement. The program started recording. Lin Yuan politely greeted a few of the stars and did the same for the two special guests who were also special guests. After introducing themselves, each newcomer is given a chance to sing and make a first impression on everyone. Lin Yuan chose to sing his famous song, Aurora's Absolute Love. There was no accompaniment, no lights, and Lin Yuan sang cleanly. Loneliness accompanies me to sleep, heaven and earth are dim, no dawn in sight, the abyss separates you and me, we can't see each other again. Lin Yuan sang with great devotion, his mind and body completely immersed in the song. It wasn't just him, everyone present was quiet. This song made them feel, the desperate heart of the singer. That powerlessness, to the final hysteria, ending with a loud and long treble to bass. The first one to applaud was the famous actress Deng Xiaoqi, who shook her head while clapping, very much recognizing Lin Yuan's strength. Definitely a power level singer, his future achievements might be unlimited. Is this song really your own original? It's so good. Wang Mao Mao, the famous male singer, expressed his inner marvel in this way. Too strong, if his own competitors had him back then, it was still unknown who the deer would die. Sounds good, Kao Ao. Renowned male singer Wang Taiki gave Lin Yuan a thumbs up. Several people couldn't pick any flaws in Lin Yuan's singing ability. The program group had finally chosen someone with care this time. After familiarizing themselves, the next thing that happened was that everyone fretted about their lunch. There were many ways to get lunch, helping the villagers with their work, they could be given vegetables or rice, or they could work it out in their own way as the rules allowed. How about I suggest we split up, go to the village and try to get supplies, and meet back here at 11 o'clock, Deng Xiaoqi proposed. Wang Mao Mao, Wang Tiki, and the last young famous female singer, Wang Sini, were fine with it. So everyone went their own way, 
entering the village from different directions, trying to figure out how to get supplies. After Lin Yuan entered the village, he looked around carefully and was followed by a cameraman. After entering the village, he directly opened his voice and shouted in the village, repair old home appliances, repair old appliances, repair televisions. After shouting for half a day, on the way, he ran into the female singer named Huang Xiaoxiao, who was also a special guest. You can still repair home appliances? Huang Xiaoxiao was empty-handed at this point and had no idea how to get supplies, so she could only wander blindly around the village. Lin Yuan nodded and said, a little bit. The two of them simply said a few words and went their separate ways. Lin Yuan proceeded to continue shouting. On the way, an older woman suddenly called out to Lin Yuan. Do you know how to fix a washing machine? Lin Yuan saw that business was coming and hurriedly said, yes I will, don't pay if I can't fix it. The lady then asked, how much does it cost to fix it? It's not expensive, just five dollars. Lin Yuan smiled. After that, Big Mother led him home and took out a washing machine that was broken somewhere in the house. In the countryside, most households had simple gadgets, so Lin Yuan borrowed a screwdriver from Big Mom, disassembled the washing machine, found the problem, fixed it, and installed the washing machine. Afterward he asked Big Mother to try to see if the washing machine could work. It works it works. After the washing machine was plugged in and was able to work properly, the Big Mom then smiled happily. Sister, ask for me, who else is home in the village needs to have their appliances repaired, I won't charge you for this money, how about it? Lin Yuan washed his hands that were full of stains with a warm smile. Ugh, you're such a nice young man, I'll help ask. The big mom was in a very good mood as she was addressed as a sister, leading Lin Yuan, knocking on doors door to door, pulling her loud voice so loud that she could be heard from a long distance away. In the end, Lin Yuan helped several villagers fix their home appliances, including kettles, floor fans, and rice cookers. During the repair process, some villagers carried their own rice cookers over to fix them. Lin Yuan clearly marked the price, repair and maintenance of small appliances $5, large appliances $10. In just over an hour, Lin Yuan earned $85. On the way back, Lin Yuan saw that the time was still early, and happened to see a large banyan tree, there are two old masters playing chess, next to the three old masters in the pointing. He was inspired to make a move and walked towards the banyan tree. Grandpa, do you need massage service? That is, I will give you a massage, if you feel comfortable, how about giving a few dollars to mean it? Lin Yuan introduced his massage skills to the grandpa, guaranteeing a comfortable massage. He also said that a half-hour massage outside starts at $50, but he only needs $20 here, so if you miss this village, you won't be able to find this store. Then you give me a massage, if it is not comfortable, I will not give you money. An old man playing chess, looked up at Lin Yuan and laughed. All right. Lin Yuan walked behind this grandpa, placed his hands on his shoulders and started massaging. His massage technique was also one of the life skills book. Comfortable, the young man's strength is okay, have you learned this before? The monkler was pressed comfortably and kept praising Lin Yuan, making the other bosses itch to try it too. I've practiced some, it's good that you feel comfortable. Lin Yuan pressed the old man for half an hour and got his own $20. Young man, press me too. Another old man waved to Lin Yuan, coming. At this moment, several people gathered at the location where they had just separated. I helped an uncle plow the ground for half a day and earned $30. The ballad male singer Fan Shiji, whose clothes were soaked with sweat, gasped. I, I collected some firewood. Huang Xiaoxiao was just a girl and couldn't do too heavy work, so she could only help everyone share the labor. Deng Xiaoqi was empty-handed inside, I wanted to use singing to make money, but the villagers one by one don't appreciate. It's, Deng Xiaoqi felt tired of heart. One's own casually a concert, tickets can be sold for seven figures, personally sing for someone, offer ten figures is expected to be willing to buy. But now, a hundred dollars to sing a song, drop the price to ten dollars a song, no one is willing to listen. It really hurts her pride too much. Wang Mao Mao showed everyone the bag in her hand. It contains a bag of sweet potato leaves. I asked the granny who grows sweet potatoes and asked him for some sweet potato leaves that I can stir fry and eat. At this time, everyone suddenly realized that there was another person who hadn't returned at the appointed point. Why isn't that Lin Yuan back yet? Wang Taki frowned. I met him just now. Huang Xiaoxiao said, recounting what had happened when he had just met Lin Yuan by chance. He can still cultivate this? Several people present were surprised. Look, he's back. Huang Xiaoxiao suddenly pointed at a spot. Lin Yuan's pace wasn't fast and he was walking over this way. This chapter is not displayed for now due to the low word count. If you think this chapter is more important, you can choose to report the wrong chapter at the bottom left and the system will automatically process it within 10 seconds. Or skip this chapter click the next chapter to continue reading. Gu Renin was already beautiful. After using the attractive gift, a mask created by Su Yen, the entire person was suddenly different. A fairy who didn't eat the fire of the earth seemed to be describing, well, 
People like her. Today, Gu Renin was already beautiful without makeup. If she were to put on more makeup, instead of being more beautiful, it would hide her original beauty, and she would be less of that simple, unadorned, and purest kind of stunning beauty. Gu Renin had used the mask in the past few days and was also shocked by the changes in herself. She also called Ling Wanqing over to the video, and when she saw her Ling Wanqing was stunned, she became incredibly humble, begging and wanting to buy a few of these amazing face masks as well. The person who used the mask was not only herself, but also her mother Qin Liyun. Qin Liyun used the mask for a full 10 days, and her entire body became several years younger, the wrinkles at the corners of her eyes disappeared, and her face was white and translucent, returning to the state she was in when she was in her 30s. This all stunned her. When learned that these masks is their daughter's boyfriend sent, Qin Liyun is very smart, think the daughter made this boyfriend, very not simple. Drinking tea with magical effects and applying face masks with magical skin nourishing effects were items that had never been seen before. Qin Liyun found Gu Renin and tried to ask her about Lin Yuan's origin and identity. Lin Yuan he inherited his second grandfather's legacy, he's not an ordinary kid now. Gu Renin wanted to use this to let her mother know that Lin Yuan had that qualification and was worthy of herself. If her mother really didn't agree to the two of them being together again, Gu Renin decided to take the easy way out and cook the rice first. By then, the family would have to agree even if they didn't. This method was not what Gu Renin thought of, it was what Ling Wanqing secretly told her. Nowadays, the new mask developed by Su Yen has not even been put on sale yet, and it has caused an uproar in the outside world. Especially those female tycoons with wealthy families and wives of rich men, one after another, they called and wanted to reserve it. They were no longer young, their skin was gradually aging, and they were old. Their husbands were always away from home, looking for other young and beautiful women outside, but they could only turn a blind eye. However, if the mask that Su Yen advertised really had such a miraculous effect, no matter how much money it cost, they were willing to buy it. Which woman doesn't want to be young forever, keep her youthfulness of 18 or 20-something, but time is always merciless, cruelly washing away the skin on their face. It could be said that the publicity Su Yen wanted had already been achieved, and now she was waiting for the mask launch to begin, to organize a pre-sale of the mask. She and Lin Yuan had discussed that the materials used to make the mask were expensive and extremely rare, which made it impossible to mass-produce the mask. So the two negotiated the result, a mask, priced at 8,888. When the person who bought it uses it, there are significant results, any doubts will not be broken, then what means of publicity are better. Gu Renin's large eyes were bright and glittering, pure and flawless. She gazed at Lin Yuan, a few wisps of small playfulness surfacing on her crystalline pretty face. Lin Yuan, do you see that I've gotten prettier? She spun around in place, and Lin Yuan looked mesmerized. He thought to himself, if Renin were to put on an ancient costume again and go shoot a TV series, she would be a proper heroine color. After filming, she could be one of the stars and become a big star. If she wore the costume again, she'd be the perfect leading lady. But just think about it, he will not let his girlfriend into the entertainment industry shooting. The water here is too deep, Gu Renin is like a white rabbit, sooner or later, she will be eaten by the big bad wolf to the bone. Having a girlfriend like you, I don't know if I should be happy or unhappy. Lin Yuan sighed. What? Is it bad for me to be your girlfriend? Gu Renin crossed her arms, it's not like I'm a fancy base, I'm learning how to cook now, and I can clean the house by myself, you can't say I'm lazy. She misunderstood Lin Yuan's meaning. Lin Yuan smiled, I really don't know if this girl doesn't know how good she is, how could she possibly dislike her? Lin Yuan was happy to have such a beautiful girlfriend, unhappy to still have such a beautiful girlfriend. I mean, how excellent you are, it's a pity to be my girlfriend. Lin Yuan said, it's not a pity. Gu Renin came to sit next to Lin Yuan and looked at him with a smile. Lin Yuan took the initiative to hold her small hand. This was enough, there was nothing more to ask for. Today's Gu Renin was just too eye-catching, and the eyes of customers who came into this drink store, both male and female, would fall on her. Lin Yuan was doubly pressurized. Although he wasn't afraid of his girlfriend being snatched away by another man, he was still more or less worried. Isn't there a saying that says, two ugly ones are afraid of each other being snatched away? The good-looking ones are also there, right? Then, Lin Yuan accompanied Gu Renin to the shopping mall. Gu Renin bought and bought the entire time. But almost none of the items were her own. Most of it was bought for Lin Yuan. From clothes, to pants, to chaps. To be honest, Lin Yuan was a bit embarrassed. What, you've bought me everything, so I can't buy you anything? Gu Renin justified herself and bought a full 20 pairs of small pants for Lin Yuan. I don't know if she did it intentionally or on purpose. In the end, the two of them carried their big bags out of the mall and went to eat some more. It was also getting late. Lin Yuan sent Gu Renin home. When they arrived at the place, Gu Renin's eyes were full of reluctance. I'll see you again tomorrow. Lin Yuan approached and gave her a little nudge on her small mouth. 
Gu Renin didn't resist anymore and nodded her head happily. Witnessing her walk into the house, Lin Yuan was just about to go back, when he turned around and saw a car parked in the space next to him, with the window slowly dropping, revealing Gu Hai's very dark face. This kid dared to hold my baby girl's hand, and kissed her mouth, unforgivable ah. Lin Yuan textbook style self-help, quickly opened the trunk of the car, took out the prepared tea in the gift box with 20 masks, jogged over. Hello uncle, Ranin told me that you like to drink the tea I gave you, so I just happened to bring some more over for you. There's also this, it's a face mask for auntie, auntie will definitely be a few years younger after applying this mask. Lin Yuan courteously handed over the gift. This made Gu Hai, who originally wanted to get angry, lose a lot of his temper. The gift was still to be received, and there was no rush to settle the score later. Gu Hai received the gift and made sure that it was the kind of tea that was invigorating and memorable to drink, and his face wasn't black anymore. When the time comes to take it to the old man's side, the old man will definitely be happy. And the mask given to his wife. Xin Li Yun used it for some days, and the effect was visible to Gu Hai. For this reason he also behind Xin Li Yun's back, secretly also used a piece of it, and felt that the wrinkles subsided a lot. But also therefore was Qin Li Yun found, honestly, they have not seen her hair so big fire. Not just a piece of mask well. However, since then, the life between husband and wife, as if back to just married that will. Gu Hai looked at Lin Yuan with a critical eye. The boyfriend of his daughter doesn't seem to be an ordinary person. His looks were not bad, too handsome, too ordinary, Lin Yuan was just right. Where did you get this mask and tea? Gu Hai asked directly. Lin Yuan explained back, the tea is an old tea tree, planted in the mountains of my old home, as for the mask, it's a new mask developed by my company. Company? Gu Hai frowned. Yes. Lin Yuan Dao, again, used the inheritance of second grandfather's legacy all as a shield so having a company, it's quite reasonable, right? So young, so great. Gu Hai sighed, this kid 20 or not, there are countless young people cannot get a lifetime, is really on the peak of life. Is there any interest in cooperating with uncle's company? Gu Hai asked tentatively. The Gu family operated real estate, fisheries, commerce, etc. If they could cooperate and become one of the mask sales channels, they could earn a good profit. This is certainly possible. Lin Yuan agreed, who called this one his future old man. After chatting for a while, Lin Yuan was finally able to get away. He stayed at a hotel and opened his cell phone, there were very many unread messages. Lin Yuan was on fire right now, last time he was on fire from the campus singing competition, this time he was on fire again from participating in the program, and there were many acquaintances looking for him, and many people to work with. Acquaintance A, Lin Yuan you're awesome, we're so familiar, can't you help me get an autograph from Deng Xiaoqi? Acquaintance B, Lin Yuan, I really have no choice but to come to you, can you lend me some money? I want to buy the fruit cell phone that just came out. Strange friend request note. Hello, I'm the director of Station XX, I'd like to invite you. Lin Yuan just glanced at this kind of message and didn't reply back. He had borrowed money from a friend before and ended up not paying it back until now. When he asked him for it, he said he didn't have the money and wanted to borrow it again from Lin Yuan, but in the end he had to settle for nothing. Lin Yuan vowed to borrow money from people he didn't know, acquaintances who didn't have any money, or dogs. These days, he looked for people to buy the old family planted old tea tree mountain, and spend money to let people do the iron net, installed monitoring, please watch. The value of the old tea trees was worth it to him. Now, Lin Yuan can be said to be successful. But he felt that it wasn't enough, he had to personally make something out of it. Early the next morning, Lin Yuan, who was still asleep, was woken up by the sound of the phone. It was Gu Rinin calling. Lin Yuan, my parents suddenly said they wanted to see you. On the other end of the phone, Gu Renin was apprehensive, asking what her parents wanted to see Lin Yuan for, and refusing to say, afraid that she wanted Lin Yuan to leave her side. This was because the other day, the Gu family had come with a number of business tycoons, and had brought along the family's sons and daughters to discuss a certain matter with the old man. During that time, Gu Renin showed up and was noticed by some of the business tycoon's children, who deliberately came over to talk. Gu Renin was afraid that she would become a victim of the family and the son of a certain business tycoon, Renin, entered into a business partnership, but she had watched too many TV dramas, she was the old master's favorite granddaughter, how could the old master do anything? There were indeed a few business tycoons who were interested in introducing their sons to Gu Renin, but they were all politely rejected by the old master. Son politely refused. Good. Lin Yuan didn't ask much and agreed. The meeting place was, surprisingly, at the Gu family. Gu Hai was personally waiting outside, and when he saw Lin Yuan arrive, he hurriedly brought him into the Gu family, arranging for him to be over at the Lotus Pavilion where the old man often stayed. Qin Li Yun was also there, and both husband and wife could see the worry in the other's eyes. The old master still knew that his favorite granddaughter, the daughter of the two, Gu Renin, had a boyfriend outside. The old master didn't say anything at the time, 
but only instructed Gu Hai to have the boy come to the Gu family tomorrow, he wanted to meet him. You'll give these tea leaves to the old master later, remember to say that these tea leaves are yours and yours alone. Gu Hai returned the tea leaves that Lin Yuan had given himself yesterday. Lin Yuan roughly guessed what had happened and just nodded, but didn't take the tea leaves. If you really want to be with my daughter, listen to him, Shi Liyun faintly said. Lin Yuan thought about it, but still didn't refuse and took the tea. Ten minutes later, an old man in a large red Chinese mountain suit, assisted by his servants, slowly walked over towards this side. Gu Tianlong calmly surveyed Lin Yuan and finally sat down on a stone bench. The atmosphere was somewhat quiet. Shi Liyun hurriedly gave her husband Gu Hai a wink. Gu Hai understood and stood out, speaking, Master, he's the boyfriend Renin the girl has made, called Lin Yuan, and that tea I sent you, it's from him. The tea tree that grew the tea, are you selling it? Gu Tianlong opened his mouth with this sentence. Lin Yuan shook his head and said, not for sale. Just kidding, the old tea tree was unique in the world, not something that could be measured by how much money. Any jewelry and antiques, even if they were also unique, in Lin Yuan's eyes, they were not as precious as the old tea tree. All right. Gu Tianlong stopped talking and changed the topic again, so how can I get you to leave Gu Renin? When these words came out, Gu Hai Qin Liyun and her husband and wife didn't dare to squeak, although their daughter was born to both of them, it was still Gu Tianlong who decided on their daughter's future. Lin Yuan frowned. You want me to leave Gu Renin, why? Gu Tianlong said, there's no reason, say it, just think of it as a business, you talk about the conditions, if I think it's okay, then sign it. Lin Yuan didn't say anything. This old man could be really bad, hard to break up him and Renin? I won't separate from Renin, why don't you make a condition, how can we be together? Lin Yuan was anticlimactic. Gu Tianlong smiled and looked at Lin Yuan seriously, just you, can you give me what I want? Lin Yuan nodded seriously, you can start with that. I advise you to make an offer, don't make a fool of yourself. Gu Tianlong said. I think it's better if you make an offer, otherwise how do you know I can't afford to give it? Lin Yuan asked back. The two men's words had a kind of knife edge to them, and looking at Gu Hai and Qin Liyun, the couple, were secretly sweating. How long had it been since anyone dared to talk to the old man like this? Lin Yuan was truly a newborn calf who wasn't afraid of death. Good. Gu Tianlong clapped his hands, then I'll make an offer you can't afford to give. Host's current situation detected, please start your choice. Choice 1 You make any conditions to Gu Tianlong and break up with Gu Renin, rewarding the host for making conditions to Gu Tianlong. Choice 2 Complete the conditions Gu Tianlong has prescribed and reward the host with the conditions Gu Tianlong has prescribed to the host. Choice 3 And neither offer nor accept Gu Tianlong's conditions, and express his love for Gu Renin, and implore Gu Tianlong to agree to the two of them being together, rewarding a piece of deep sapphire of great value. Three choices. Only the second and third were still words. Lin Yuan pondered which one to choose. The third choice was to not make or accept any conditions himself and tell Gu Tianlong about his feelings for Gu Renin. This choice was a chicken rib at first glance. Everyone can say love words, but Gu Tianlong probably wouldn't be able to listen to those, just words. It would be better to let him make the conditions, it wasn't like he couldn't accomplish it anyway. Everything was paid for by the system. Gu Tianlong decided to satisfy Lin Yuan and open his own conditions. After thinking about it, he really did open a condition that Lin Yuan originally couldn't do. If you really want to be with Renin, it's not impossible, unless you punch and break this stone table. He pointed at the stone table in front of him. It weighed at least 200 pounds, was very thick and heavy, and was also made of hard granite. Even if one were to hit it hard with a sledgehammer, it would be hard to say that it would be broken in one go. What's more, for Lin Yuan to have to break it with one punch. This was clearly torture, and the implication was very clear that he didn't want him and Gu Renin to be together. As for why, only Gu Tianlong knew in his own heart. The Gu Hai couple didn't dare to speak and sighed inwardly. Xi Liyun herself didn't care what the family of the boyfriend her daughter had made was like, as long as he was good to her. As for her agreement with Lin Yuan, she only wanted to see how this boy was, and if it didn't work, she would still let him and her daughter separate. Now it seemed that she was quite satisfied with this Lin Yuan. As long as she agreed, her husband Gu Hai would have to agree even if he was no longer willing. It was enough that her daughter liked him. But even if she agreed, the old man still had to agree which was difficult. The old master was a man of his word, as long as Lin Yuan could do the conditions he said, he would never back out. However, such a thick piece of stone bench, breaking it with his fist was tantamount to a fool's errand. So this pair of lovers, I'm afraid, will be forced to be separated. When he heard Gu Tianlong's conditions, Lin Yuan was also shocked. It was clear that he was making it difficult for him to back out. However, fortunately, the system had given a dose of peace of mind before, and his expression was not that ugly, it was calm. As long as I break the stone table, you'll marry Renin to me? Lin Yuan said calmly as he placed his palm on the cold stone table. 
He didn't say if it meant that he wouldn't have to separate from Gu Ranin, but rather if he could marry himself. This way, Gu Tianlong wouldn't be able to play any word games. Interesting, do you think that with this fist of yours, you can break this stone table? Gu Tianlong laughed, where did the young people nowadays get their self-confidence, knowing that none of the people in the world would be able to do what he had offered? I won't make things difficult for you, go away and don't meet with Renin again. He waved his hand, telling Lin Yuan to be sensible and leave. I think, I can try. Lin Yuan turned his head and revealed a kind smile. This froze Gu Tianlong in his tracks. So did Gu Hai Qin Li Yun. What had they just heard Lin Yuan say? He wanted to try using his fists and break this stone table? Crazy, right? Or do you want to take advantage of the fact that even if you can't break the stone table, you have to fight until your fist breaks and bleeds, so that the old man will be impressed by your determination and change his mind? Qin Li Yun wanted to say. Forget it, the old master said one is one, said two is while, he has never seen him back out. Gu Tianlong suddenly laughed. This brat said he wanted to try to break the stone table, simply funny. When this stone table is made of foam, if he could do it, he would eat the broken stone table on the spot. Fine, you can try if you want to, if you can really do it, I'll let Renin marry you, I, Gu Tianlong, am a man of my word. Gu Tianlong laughed and took the initiative to give up his position, wanting to see with his own eyes, how this kid broke the stone table with one punch. Good. Lin Yuan nodded. The host has chosen the second option, rewarding the human flesh limit physique, one three-minute experience card for the battering mountain fist, will you use it immediately? A system voice appeared in Lin Yuan's mind. A big stone hanging in his heart finally fell to the ground. Just what was this avalanche mountain fist experience card? And the human flesh limit physique, what the hell was that? Lin Yuan no longer had that time to think about it. He felt like his physique had never been stronger before, as if he could kill a tiger with one punch. Watch this. Lin Yuan took a deep breath and slowly raised his fist. In his mind, he murmured, use. In the blink of an eye, he couldn't make out the remnants of his fist, which emitted a faint greenish glow before slamming heavily on the stone table. Bang! A loud ringing sound shook the heavens and resounded throughout the Gu family. With this punch, Lin Yuan smashed the stone table, breaking it into pieces and sending stone chips flying. Gu Tianlong's entire body stiffened, staring at his old eyes, his heart shocked beyond words. Gu Hai Qin Li Yun was the same, her mouth wide open, unable to utter a word. He really broke the stone table, how is it possible? Could it be that the old master had replaced the tofu dreg stone table? However, after seeing the old master, at this time the reaction, can be learned, the stone table did not change, is made of granite. However, this is also too beyond the scope of common sense. How can a person use his fists to break a table made of stone? This is not scientific ah. All of this refreshed the three people present, their knowledge of human potential. How can you break a stone table? Gu Tianlong's voice trembled, and he even deliberately picked up a small fragment of the stone table, this is made of granite, and hitting it hard with a sledgehammer won't necessarily break it. He had never been so shocked and out of sorts as he was today. Like looking at a monster, he stared at Lin Yuan. Finally, he went up to check Lin Yuan's fist and it was unharmed and uninjured. It doesn't matter how you did it, the key is that you have to keep your word and not back out. Lin Yuan appeared calm on the surface, but in fact in his heart, he himself was shocked by the power of the punch that he had just, himself, punched out. You tell me how you did it first? Gu Tianlong was eager to know the answer. Lin Yuan said, just broke it with my fist, how else could I have done it? You, hit me again and let's see. Gu Tianlong said, you want to back out? Lin Yuan looked at him. Gu Tianlong knew that he had lost his temper and quickly combed his inner shock, I never go back on what I say, satisfied. I'm just having a hard time understanding, can you throw another punch, let me see? That's fine, I hope you're true to your word. The experience card had a three-minute time limit, now less than two minutes had passed, it just so happened that Lin Yuan also wanted to have a few hands before the time ended. Bang! Bang! The stone bench crumbled a small piece of debris, and with another punch, it cracked. Bang! Another piece of the stone bench crumbled. The stone stool that was close to a hundred pounds, in Lin Yuan's hands, it was like a sponge filled inside, easily lifted with one hand, and could be thrown into the air and caught with one hand. The entire process Gu Tianlong, Gu Hai, and his wife were silent. This is too scary, the man with the greatest strength in the world can't do what he does. Once the three minutes were over, Lin Yuan ended his performance. However, the soaring body strength was still there, so he could throw a stone bench with one hand again, but he could still do it. In the face of inquiries about how he did it, Lin Yuan replied that the stone table and stone stool was originally very light, he was born with more strength than others, and when he was a child, he picked up a boxing book, and practiced all right, but it was true. Of course, from the eyes of the three people can be seen, certainly do not believe these words. In the end, Gu Tianlong did not go back on his word and agreed to the marriage. 
Originally, he had better boys and wanted to set up the other party with his granddaughter, but now it seemed better to forget about it. Gu Tianlong was a good judge of character, and felt that Lin Yuan was very uncomplicated, and giving Gu Renin to Lin Yuan might not be a bad thing in itself. In the end, Lin Yuan came out of the Gu family with Gu Hai and Qin Liyun. Kid, tell me the truth, how did you do it just now? Gu Hai couldn't help but ask. He hadn't been as frightened as he was just now when he was caught peeking at his cousin's bath when he was a kid. Qi Li Yu was also waiting for Lin Yuan to answer. Actually, I'm an expert. Lin Yuan put his hands behind his back and assumed the posture of a worldly master. What are you kid pretending to be? Quickly ask you the main thing what topic you're changing. Gu Hai was dissatisfied. As long as Qin Li Yun could see that Lin Yuan didn't want to talk about it, she gave her husband a wink, which stopped her from asking. The two companies still have things to do, did not stay long and left. In the car, Qin Li Yun called her daughter Gu Renin. Renin ah, do you know much about your boyfriend? On the other end, Gu Renin said, a lot ah, he can sing and cook, he can. Stop stop stop. Qin Li Yun interrupted her daughter's words and opened the door to ask directly, is your boyfriend very strong? This sentence put Gu Renin on the spot. What does it mean? Is there any meaning or implication? Gu Renin's pretty face changed and she hurriedly explained, Mom, listen to me, Lin Yuan and I just held hands, we didn't kiss, he didn't do anything to me. Gu Hai's mouth tugged gently when he heard how his daughter said it, yesterday he even saw Renin and that kid kissing on the mouth. His daughter was talking nonsense with her eyes open. Okay, nothing more, remember to pay attention to safety when you go out to play these days. Shi Lian did not ask, it seems that his daughter does not know anything. Oh, Gu Renin hung up the phone. Hurrying to pat her small chest, luckily, luckily, it turned out that she wasn't asking about the fact that she and Lin Yuan had already kissed. That kind of thing was too shameful, it was Lin Yuan the big bad guy who suddenly kissed over, his own strength was too small to resist, he could only obediently resign himself. Lin Yuan left the Gu family, searching for what he had just done. The system rewards, they were already beyond the realm of what people recognized in this world. Future technological objects, experience cards, etc. Thinking about it, Lin Yuan suddenly smelled a stench in the car. What a stench, where did it come from? After searching for half a day, Lin Yuan realized that this stench was emanating from his own body. His body surface was covered with a layer of yellowish secretions, and his abdomen was turning over, with signs of a diarrhea. Lin Yuan hurriedly stopped at a nearby public restroom and hurriedly ran inside. After coming out, Lin Yuan found the nearest hotel in the neighborhood and took a shower. His entire person had changed very much, his skin was much whiter, his physique was quite a bit stronger, and he was much more handsome. He guessed that it should be because he had become more powerful and had expelled impurities from his body as a result. Lin Yuan was very satisfied with his current self. That night he went bare-chested and made a video call with Gu Renin. Wow! As soon as the video connected, a wow exclamation came from Gu Renin. Do you see that I've changed very much? Lin Yuan asked her. Gu Renin nodded her head with a small chicken peck. Lin Yuan, did you turn on your beauty face? Why do I feel like you've become handsome, and these abs, painted on? Her eyes were glowing as she swept her eyes over Lin Yuan's body. Women were just like men, the opposite sex had an attraction to both sides. Gu Renin made a nymphomaniac, she couldn't wait to be by Lin Yuan's side right now, wanting to touch and see her boyfriend's abs, what kind of feel it was. This thing was like a man's attraction to a woman's neck and below. Lin Yuan shook his head decisively, no, I'm afraid I won't be able to control myself, what if I put you on the spot? This was the truth. The days he was with Gu Renin, Lin Yuan had not restrained himself much. After all, with such a beautiful girlfriend and a good figure, it was hard to keep from being impulsive at all times. Gu Renin tooted her little mouth and huffed, if you don't let me touch it, you don't let me touch it, I don't care about it. Lin Yuan was amused by this girl. Promise me a condition and I'll let you touch it as much as you want, how about it? Lin Yuan said with a smile. What condition? Gu Renin cast a puzzled as well as guarded gaze, her hand suddenly clasping her chest, I'm warning you, don't mention conditions that are too much. We've been together for so long, would I be that kind of person? Lin Yuan was speechless. Gu Renin nodded seriously, yes. Tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, your choice, I want to take you home to see my mom. Lin Yuan stated his request. Anyway, Gu Tianlong had already promised and agreed that Gu Renin would marry him, he was the future daughter-in-law who couldn't run away, so it wasn't too much to meet the parents, right? Only Gu Renin was still in the dark about this. Ah, Gu Renin panicked, I'm not ready, I have to ask my family. She came up with several excuses in a row. It wasn't that she didn't want to go, but she was too nervous, shy, and thus timid. Our parents have already agreed, if you don't believe me, call and ask later. Lin Yuan hemmed and hawed, having long ago asked Qin Liyun for her opinion. Ah, uh, really? Gu Renin expressed her disbelief, so she ended the video to listen and called her mother to ask her. 
A few moments later, she called Lin Yuan again on the video call, her little face bitter. Lin Yuan was right, her mother had really agreed. This made Gu Renin very incomprehensible. With her mother's style of dealing with people, she definitely wouldn't agree to it. What kind of mesmerizing soup had Lin Yuan given his mother? Then, the day after tomorrow then, tell me what auntie likes so I can prepare gifts in advance. Gu Renin promised Lin Yuan to meet her boyfriend's family to meet the parents. Gifts don't have to be too expensive, food is best, just don't milk nuts, Lin Yuan said. Oh, got it. After the call between the two ended, Lin Yuan called his mother, Lin Shanglan, and said that he was going to bring his girlfriend home the day after tomorrow, so that he could buy more vegetables and come back. Upon hearing that her son was going to bring his girlfriend home, Lin Shanglan was overjoyed and quickly agreed. Son, mom is now in our hometown in the countryside, I'll hitchhike over tomorrow, just to the villa side, right? No, just in the old house will do, when you pack a room out on the contrary. Lin Shanglan agreed. Waiting for tomorrow's dawn, we'll go to clean up and tidy up the house, buy more dishes to go home, give the future daughter-in-law's red envelope are ready. The next day, Gu Renin was busy preparing gifts for auntie, asking Lin Yuan what would be a better outfit to wear there. Any of your original dressing styles will do. Lin Yuan could tell that Renin was nervous and looking forward to it now, after all, it was her boyfriend's mother that she was going to see. First impressions were important, one couldn't afford to leave a bad impression. I'd better wear something plain then. How about just baggy jeans with a white top? Gu Renin asked Lin Yuan for his opinion. Fine. Lin Yuan had no opinion. After a day of preparation, Gu Renin was ready. At dawn, Lin Yuan was waiting outside Gu's house. He called Gu Renin so she could come out. A few moments later, Gu Renin quickly stepped out of the Gu family's house, still looking left and right from time to time, worried about being seen by her acquaintances. Today, she was dressed in a cool outfit, with a white t-shirt that had Lin Yuan's little baby printed on it. This top, but will be her slender, without a trace of fat belly cover. The lower body was a pair of jeans, not tight, but also covered her long and white legs. Today, Gu Renin was very plain and didn't wear any makeup, just her plain face was enough to kill a large number of Netflix beauties with makeup. Lin Yuan felt that this kind of her was plain and unadorned, and her radiance was introverted, but she couldn't cover up the color she originally had. Gu Renin opened the car door and got into the car, complaining, why did you park the car here? What if someone you know sees it and talks about it? Lin Yuan started the car and said with a smile, it's fine, it won't do anything if you see it. Lin Yuan pointed at Gu Renin's clothes, couple's clothes are on you, isn't it obvious to tell others that you have a boyfriend, and the boyfriend is called Lin Yuan. Gu Renin looked down at the clothes she purposely wore out today, and only then did she react violently. Look at this head of mine, how could I forget such an important thing? It's a good thing that when I went out just now, I didn't run into anyone, or else I'd be in trouble if I was seen and talked about it everywhere. Well, her aggrieved look, cute. On the road, Gu Renin was nervous, a while and will have to see her boyfriend's mother, so apprehensive ah. Auntie will be what kind of person nah, will not be fierce me ah, will not dislike me clumsy. No, when the time comes, I must perform well, cannot give myself shame, must give auntie left a good impression. Gu Renin secretly cheered herself up, telling herself not to be nervous, to be calm and peaceful, and not to mess up on the spot. She asked a lot of questions on the way, such as auntie's personality, hobbies and interests, and what habits she had, just in case. Around almost 10 o'clock, Lin Yuan arrived at his old home in the countryside. The car drove into the concrete paved path and stopped at the side of the road. The two of them got out of the car, Gu Renin carried the gifts, took a deep breath, and followed Lin Yuan into a stone brick paved alley. After seven turns, they arrived at a large open space with a house nearby. We're here. Lin Yuan finished and knocked on the door, Mom, I'm back. Coming, coming. Lin Xianglan came over to open the door with her apron around her. Her eyes instantly fell on the timid girl behind her son. What a pretty girl, this is the girlfriend that my son said, how come she looks so pretty? Lin Xianglan. Surprised, son is also too capable, how did he chase such a handsome little girl? Auntie good. Gu Renin walked up and politely greeted her. Good good good, quickly come in and sit in the house. Lin Xianglan hurriedly greeted her as she entered, the more she looked, the more she liked this girl. After entering the door, Gu Renin hurriedly took out the prepared gifts, Auntie, this is the gift I prepared for you, a small token of appreciation, please accept it. Good, you child has a heart. Lin Xiang Lan smiled and accepted the gift, pulling Gu Renin, the two of them chatted idly. Lin Yuan watched silently from the sidelines the entire time. Such a picture made his heart calm all over. After a while, Lin Xiang Lan had to go prepare to make lunch. Auntie, let me help you. Gu Renin got up and hurriedly said, No need, I'll be fine on my own. Lin Shanglan rejected her and went to the kitchen alone. Gu Renin's nervousness just now was now much better. Auntie was also nice, and had even secretly slipped herself a red packet. It's fine, I can help you wash the dishes. 
Gu Renin insisted, then walked into the kitchen and helped wash and cut the vegetables. The two chatted word for word. Lin Yuan, on the other hand, took the luggage from the car and moved it to the room. The room was cleaned up and the items were neatly arranged. After sitting in the room for a while, Lin Yuan got up and went to the kitchen. In the kitchen, Gu Renin was clumsily slicing vegetables, the potato slices were sliced so thinly and thickly that Lin Yuan was really afraid that she would cut her fingers. Renin, there's something I need to talk to you about. Lin Yuan snatched the kitchen knife from Gu Renin's hand and pulled her outside. In the room, Gu Renin was puzzled, what kind of things do you want to talk to me about? Silly girl, I can't let you stay in the kitchen and help out all the time. I'm fine, it's nothing, auntie didn't even say she was tired, how can I just leave, I'll go back and continue chopping vegetables. Gu Renin finished speaking and went back to the kitchen to help cut the vegetables. Lin Yuan couldn't help but cry and laugh, since she liked it, just let her go. After a while, Lin Yuan made another trip to the kitchen. Gu Renin's forehead was sweating, washing vegetables in the pool. She suddenly had some regrets, just now her boyfriend kindly took himself away, why did she come back ah? Renin you're tired, wash these dishes and then go out, auntie will be fine on her own. Lin Xiang Lan smiled, she was very satisfied with this little girl, already treating her as a future daughter-in-law. It's fine auntie. Gu Renin raised her head and smiled. She inwardly sighed, how can I say I'm tired, how will auntie look at me, what if I can't even wash a dish and dislike me? At this moment, she saw Lin Yuan standing in the doorway, as if she grabbed a lifesaver, immediately her eyes hinted to him to take herself away. Lin Yuan pretended not to see it and stood at the door watching Gu Renin wash the dishes. Gu Renin was in a hurry and opened her mouth to speak silent words, the words corresponding to her mouth shape were, take me away. She was wrong, really wrong, and would never fail to appreciate Lin Yuan's good intentions again. Renin, let's go, I'll show you around our village. Lin Yuan finally came out to relieve Gu Renin. Oh, good. Gu Renin was as if she was relieved, hurriedly putting down the work in her hands and obediently following Lin Yuan out. I'm exhausted. When she arrived outside, Gu Renin stretched her somewhat sore body. It turned out that cooking was so tiring just washing dishes. Still, her boyfriend was gentle, considerate and understanding, so it was good that she didn't let herself continue to be tired. Lin Yuan raised his hand and gently wiped away the sweat on Gu Renin's forehead with his sleeve, I told you to take a break, but you still don't appreciate it, it's right to know that you're tired. I was wrong. Gu Renin stole a glance at her boyfriend and realized that Lin Yuan was looking at her with soft eyes. Today was a cloudy day with no sun. There was a gentle breeze that brought in wisps of coolness. Lin Yuan joined hands with Gu Renin and slowly walked through the village. This Longan tree was there when I was very young, back then, my little friends and I, we climbed the tree with our bare hands to pick Longan, it was so sweet. Everywhere Lin Yuan walked, he introduced to Gu Renin about his life and experiences as a child. This house is inhabited by an old couple, they hate dogs so much that whenever a dog passes by the door, or if they see a dog, they will drive it away. When I was a kid I didn't know any better, I sneaked in front of the couple's house with my buddies and put dog poop in the doorway and I was scolded for good measure. Gu Renin laughed out loud after hearing this, not realizing that when her boyfriend was a child, he was so naughty. Walking alone, the road met the village elders, Lin Yuan would stop to say hello. Lin Yuan you're a kid who's made a fortune, found such a pretty girlfriend. You were so dark when you were a kid, you can't even recognize you now, alas, time flies, we're all getting old. Whose kids are you guys? Lin Yuan called out to a group of children walking by. When he was a kid, he was often asked this as well. At that time, he was annoyed that adults asked him this, but now that he was an adult himself, he finally understood why those adults asked him this in the first place. I'm from Wang Danio's family. My dad is Li Dihai. My mom is. One by one, Lin Yuan matched the numbers, so it turned out which villager had a second child, which child was so old. Even an elementary school classmate who was the same age as himself, all only 18 years old, actually had a child, Mr. Unmarried Ah this is. The village is not big, less than half an hour to finish. On the way back, a bearded youth with very long and messy hair came up to him. Lin Yuan recognized the other party. It was one of his elementary school classmates, who dropped out of middle school and didn't study, and there was no news of him after that. When acquaintances met, there were no excessive pleasantries, only a faint nod of the head. The latter obviously recognized Lin Yuan as well, first slightly stunned, then looking at Gu Renin beside Lin Yuan. He was stunned, two people holding hands, this was his girlfriend? So pretty. Listening to the people in the village, Lin Yuan's family seemed to have developed and become very rich, the news was unintentionally revealed by Lin Xianglan when she was chatting with the villagers. It wasn't long before the whole village and several villages next door knew about it. Since then, relatives and acquaintances who were originally not in much contact and had an average relationship, all came to the house to exchange pleasantries. Both sides do not move to rub shoulders. 
After returning home, the dishes were almost ready, Lin Yuan took the spatula in Lin Shanglan's hand and fried the dishes himself. Not long after, the fragrant dishes came out one after another. Five dishes in one soup, full of color and aroma, appealing to the taste buds. Gu Renin sat upright and looked at the dishes, silently swallowing her saliva. Auntie was there, so she couldn't lose her temper. In the past, she would have moved her chopsticks and eaten whatever she wanted. Eat eat eat, just treat it as if you're in your own home. Lin Shanglan gave Gu Renin a bowl of rice. Thank you, auntie, I'll do it myself. Gu Renin handed over her rice bowl, ladylike pinching food, eating, taking small bites. Lin Yuan gave her food and put it in the bowl. She then buried her head and ate, very formal and shy. After lunch was. After lunch, Gu Renin took the initiative to help clean up the dishes and clean the house, acting very diligent, making Lin Shanglan praise her. In the afternoon, Lin Yuan took Gu Renin up the mountain. The road up the mountain was originally difficult to walk on, so Lin Yuan had someone reclean the weeds and pour cement on it. The old tea tree had turquoise leaves and was surrounded by a barbed wire fence to prevent people from approaching. This is that tea tree ah. Gu Renin surveyed the old tea tree. Using its leaves to brew tea, it could refresh people's spirit and stop them from being tired, it was amazing, so it looks like this, the leaves on the tree are so few ah. This is a real money tree, if the village knows about it, I'm afraid that in a short time, the leaves will all go bald. Lin Yuan checked the surrounding traces, fortunately there were no footprints of people walking around. What are you counting? Lin Yuan came back and saw that Gu Renin was staring at the old tea tree, reciting words under her breath. Gu Renin didn't respond and mouthed 80 pieces, 90 pieces, 91 pieces. The feeling was that she was counting how many leaves the old tea tree actually had. Finish counting, there are more than 300 leaves in total. Gu Renin said excitedly, a leaf sells for $100,000, if there are more than 300 pieces. She stretched out her palm and counted and counted with her little fingers over there. In the end Gu Renin covered her small mouth in shock, just the leaves on the tree alone could be sold for tens of millions of dollars. Little fortune hunter, if the leaves are all picked off, the old tea tree won't survive. Lin Yuan laughed. After watching for a while, the two went back. The sky gradually darkened, and in the evening Lin Shanglan cooked porridge with the leftover vegetables from lunch to cope with the past. In the evening, there were guests at home. The seven ants and eight ants heard that Lin Yuan came back and brought a girlfriend back, so they all came to see what she looked like. Gu Renin had a high face value and was unanimously praised by the seven ants. They stayed for a long time, and Lin Yuan was so bored that he called Gu Renin and started a game to pass the time. After playing several games, an hour passed and the seven great ants were finally gone. Not waiting for the game to end, someone else came. It was the elementary school classmate that he met at noon today. Lin Yuan made tea to receive him, and the two of them talked about the past, sighing. This elementary school classmate dropped out of junior high school, went to the provinces to work, worked for two years to do not go back, and then in the county electronic factory for half a year. Now resigned, nothing to do in the village, belonging to the jobless youth. Chatting, this elementary school classmate said that he is now very confused, there is little money on the body, and no skills, chatting to the end, talked about borrowing money. Lin Yuan had guessed it. An elementary school classmate who hadn't been in contact for so long, suddenly looking for himself, must have a problem. Lin Yuan, you're rich now, how can we say we're elementary school classmates, so familiar, lend me some money to start a business, when I make money I'll double it back. Lin Yuan poured in tea until it overflowed the teacup. Gu Renin sat by the side and didn't interject. Alas. Lin Yuan suddenly sighed and said, I also have my difficulties, the money is my mom's and not mine, I don't have that right to say borrow or not. What's more, my mom bought a house in the county, the monthly mortgage is worrying me to death, it's not enough to spend, where else can I borrow money? Lin Yuan various excuses, has implied very obvious, no money, do not borrow. Are you looking down on me because you have money? The elementary school student said with a black face. Lin Yuan calmly looked at him and sneered, I don't think that way, it's true that I don't have any money, why don't I introduce you to a few online lending platforms, and I can also borrow some money out. Really can't, I have a naked loan, how about it? The elementary school classmate snorted coldly and without saying anything got up and slammed the door. The elementary school student just left. Lin Yuan didn't send his guests away, there was no need. Originally, he thought that it was just a pleasantry that he hadn't seen for many years, but in the end, he ended up in such a situation, making a bad break. Lin Yuan thinks he is not wrong, his own money, borrow or not borrow is his business. Besides, it was easy to borrow money but hard to ask for it. Nowadays those who ask for money are all grandchildren and those who pay back money are all grandfathers. It's getting late, let's go back and rest. Lin Yuan got up and looked at the sky, the time was almost close to 11 o'clock. Lin Yuan, your classmate how can this be? Gu Renin had been by Lin Yuan's side the entire time just now, and had also seen Lin Yuan's classmate borrowing money, and when he couldn't, he flung his face and morally kidnapped. 
seriously, she disliked people like this. Lin Yuan sighed and said, it can't be helped, a lot of people are like this, they don't cross paths if they can. The two then entered the house. The house covered an area of less than a hundred square feet, there were three rooms in one hall, one Lin Shanglan was living in, one was the bathroom, and the last one was occupied by Lin Yuan. We'll sleep in one at night, huh? After Gu Renin was dragged into the room by Lin Yuan, she looked at the room with only one bed, her eyes full of questions. How is this going to be a place to sleep? Lin Yuan pointed to the floor, I'll sleep on the floor. Oh, Gu Renin nodded. It wasn't like she hadn't lived in the same room as Lin Yuan before, so she didn't resist. She wasn't afraid of Lin Yuan messing around with her either, Auntie was staying in the room next to her, so if Lin Yuan dared to make a move on her, she just needed to yell out, Humph! Lin Yuan laid a cool mat on the floor, patted it with layers of quilts, put a pillow on it, and then lay on it. Gu Renin, on the other hand, lay on the bed, revealing a small head, gazing at Lin Yuan with unblinking eyes. What, heartbroken that I'm sleeping on the floor and want me to sleep on the bed? Lin Yuan joked. The corner of Gu Renin's mouth curled up as she said, is it comfortable to sleep on the floor? Lin Yuan shook his head, uncomfortable, not as good as sleeping in a bed, and with the low temperature and heavy humidity, the body is prone to problems. Ah, Gu Renin didn't think that sleeping on the floor actually had so many disadvantages. What if Lin Yuan slept his way out of a disease? Why don't Auntie and I sleep in one room and you sleep on the bed? I'm afraid you won't be used to it. Lin Yuan said, besides, my body is strong, it's fine to sleep on the floor for a night. Oh, Gu Renin faintly answered, before she seemed to think of something and her eyes became extremely bright. Lin Yuan, didn't you say that as long as I'm willing to meet your parents, you'll let me touch my abs? Don't back out. I'll let you touch them tomorrow, now go to sleep. No, I want it now. No. Why, are you trying to back out? Ranin, you're playing with fire, believe it or not I won't be able to restrain myself and put you on the spot. Gu Renin grunted, not afraid, Auntie is in the room, if you dare to mess around, see if I don't shout a voice. She had no fear, she climbed off the bed sharply and sat on her knees next to Lin Yuan, let me see. Don't. Lin Yuan shook his head, tugging at his little quilt. Be good, I'll just touch it. Gu Renin pounced on her and tugged on Lin Yuan's quilt. Lin Yuan was afraid that the sound of the commotion would be too loud, so in the end, he could only let Gu Renin get what she wanted and managed to touch his abs. How had he not realized that his usually well-behaved and cute girlfriend actually had a colorful side? Have you touched enough? Lin Yuan couldn't help but say as Gu Renin's hand couldn't stop touching his abdomen. All right, all right. Gu Renin reluctantly retracted her hand, nodding in satisfaction. I can't tell, you have such a good body. Lin Yuan smiled, sat up straight and reached out to embrace Gu Renin into his arms. One could feel the thumping heartbeat of the other party. Gu Renin reddened and snapped, I'm warning you oh, don't mess around, auntie is in the next room, as long as I, oh. Gu Renin couldn't speak anymore, her small mouth was blocked by Lin Yuan, and her two small hands had nowhere to rest. She opened her eyes wide before closing them in resignation. A moment later, Lin Yuan looked at her with a smiling face. Bad egg. Gu Renin glared at Lin Yuan and climbed back onto the bed, covering herself up with the quilt. Damn it, kissing people again, now, won't it be? Later? No no no, I'm still small, this kind of thing is absolutely not okay. Hey, 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 boyfriend abs are so good to touch, hard, no flab. Go back I have to ask Ling Wanqing, boyfriend like this or body, in the boys count what grade. Gu Renin was very active inside and couldn't help but heave and giggle. After 12 o'clock, she still couldn't sleep and whispered, Lin Yuan, are you asleep? Two seconds later, Lin Yuan's voice came to her ears, asleep. Bah, you can still talk to me when you're asleep? Gu Renin spat, boyfriend, what are we going to do tomorrow? Lin Yuan said, go to the village kiosk and buy some eggs, rice and noodles to give to the elderly in the village. These could be the village's intelligence officers, it was important to get on good terms, or at least make yourself available to the village again so that no one would gossip behind your back. You've also met my mom, let's go back tomorrow afternoon. Lin Yuan added, aha, Gu Renin agreed. The room was suddenly quiet again. Not long after, Gu Renin heard, frequently, the sound of Lin Yuan turning over. Did you sleep uncomfortably? She asked in a low voice. Well, the floor is flat and still hard. It's okay, make do for the night. Lin Yuan replied. Then, Gu Renin looked at the bed she was sleeping on which was quite big, hesitated for a few seconds, and tentatively asked, This bed of mine is quite big, why don't we both make do for one night? The corner of Lin Yuan's mouth gradually hooked up a smile, how embarrassing that would be. Gu Renin said, It's okay. Before she could finish her sentence, the crib she was lying on shook lightly and Lin Yuan climbed up. Gu Renin twisted her body and hurriedly made room to the side. Don't give an inch, oh. She warned Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan said, if I give an inch, you'll shout and call my mom over. Now Gu Renin was relieved. Soon after, Gu Renin felt sleepiness sweep over her and slowly fell asleep. 
Early the next morning, Gurunin was awakened by the sound of a rooster, a cockerel, crowing in the village. She slowly opened her eyes. Then she saw that she was so close to Lin Yuan's face that she was on the verge of sticking together. Gu Renin blinked. She subconsciously wanted to scream, and was gagged by Lin Yuan's quick eyes. A moment later, sleeping with you I simply suffered, not to mention that you took away my quilt, your hands and feet were still resting on me, removing them and then putting them back up again in a short while. Lin Yuan recounted how last night, Gu Renin's sleeping position was indecent, like an octopus clinging to herself. The more Gu Renin listened to her face, the hotter she got, not letting Lin Yuan continue. I can't control my body when I'm asleep, so what can I do? Immediately afterward, she held her chest vigilantly. Did you make a move on me last night? Lin Yuan smirked. Guess. Gu Renin was already fantasizing about the image of her boyfriend making a move on her last night while she was asleep. Frightened, she hurriedly checked her clothes for any signs of messiness. Don't look, we're both sleeping in the same bed. Why do we still care about this? Go, have breakfast. Lin Yuan combed Gu Renin's somewhat messy hair and softly said, I know, when you're ready go out first, I'll change my clothes. Gu Renin smiled shyly. Lin Yuan said, can I not go out? No, no, no. Lin Yuan went out and closed the door in passing. It so happened that Lin Shanglan came over with a boiled fried egg and whispered mysteriously, this girl is good, son you can't bully people, go ahead and marry them, I'm still looking forward to holding a child. Lin Yuan was embarrassed and said, mom, we are not yet 20 which, this is not urgent, you can rest assured, this daughter-in-law is the nail in the coffin. Lin Xianglan sniffed, misunderstanding Lin Yuan's meaning, she said seriously, you guys are still young, you can't mess around, what if you let other girls' reputations go bad? Lin Yuan was speechless, just now weren't you in a hurry to hold the child, how come this time there is no hurry? He nodded, I know. Not long after, Gu Renin changed her clothes and went out, first brushing her teeth and washing her face. She grew up with a golden key, and Lin Yuan was worried that she would be more or less unaccustomed to living here. Now it seems that Gu Renin isn't that fragile, at least she hasn't complained to herself about anything. At least she hasn't complained about anything to herself. Breakfast is kanji with fried egg and pickles. Lin Xianglan was worried that Gu Renin wouldn't be used to eating it, so she even went to buy some rice noodles, and bought intestinal noodles. Lin Yuan loved eating this when he was a kid and picked up his chopsticks to clip it. This is for other little girls to eat, you go eat your pickles. Lin Xianglan took away the intestinal noodles in one go and pushed it to Gu Renin's side. Mom, don't be so biased. Lin Yuan sighed, but in the end he silently picked up a fried egg, a bite of fried egg with two mouthfuls of white porridge. Gu Renin snickered, auntie is really nice. In the end, she took half of the leftover intestinal noodles and pushed it to Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan didn't mind and quickly finished it. After breakfast, Lin Yuan said he wanted to take Gu Renin out. The two first went to the village kiosk, bought small bags of rice, bought all the eggs from the store, borrowed a tricycle from the owner, and went door to door to deliver warmth. There weren't many old people in the village, so it didn't take long for them all to be delivered. After lunch, Lin Yuan said goodbye to Lin Shanglan and was taking Gu Renin back. This time it's you meeting my mom, one day it'll be my turn to meet your parents. Walking down the alley with Gu Renin, arm in arm, Lin Yuan looked over at her. My parents agree to disagree with you, it's still hard to say. Gu Renin looked sad. When the time comes, you tell your family about it, your parents and your mom will definitely agree. Lin Yuan swore, thinking that even if it was a door-to-door -door marriage proposal, it would probably work. Really? Gu Renin was pleasantly surprised, but felt that Lin Yuan was joking with himself, how could his parents agree? It must be Lin Yuan saying this on purpose to comfort himself. Lin Yuan saw through her mind and held Gu Renin's small hand tightly, I'm not lying to you, otherwise you pick a time, I'll come over directly then. I don't believe it. Lin Yuan smiled without saying anything, only that the smile soon faded away. He saw that the glass of the car parked on the side of the road had been broken. The car had also been maliciously scraped with many scratches. He was expressionless, it was a good thing that he hadn't put any valuables in the car, otherwise the damage would have been much greater. Who did this? It's abominable. Gu Renin was furious and took out her cell phone to call the police. Lin Yuan stopped her from dialing the phone and calmly said, don't rush to call first, the person who can do this must have a grudge against me. He quickly filtered through his mind, there was only one person who had a grudge against him, come to think of it. Go, come with me to meet someone. Lin Yuan came to a house made of bricks, the door was open, he directly walked in without a word. The elementary school classmate was teetering on his feet, watching TV. When he saw Lin Yuan's visit, he just turned his head and continued watching TV. Why did you do that? Lin Yuan stared at him, unable to read any expression. I can't understand what you're saying, the elementary school student said without looking back. I checked the surveillance, otherwise how could I have come to your place? Lin Yuan casually said an excuse. The elementary school student couldn't sit still, his face instantly grimaced. 
Hee hee, I'm sick of seeing your villainous look, I smashed the car, satisfied, want me to pay for it, no money. His tone was extremely arrogant, not the slightest bit afraid of being penetrated by the road. The big deal is to be arrested and locked up. It's not like he hasn't been in before. Lin Yuan sighed, former classmates, what exactly made him come to this point? Detected the host's current situation, please begin your choice. Choice 1, all classmates, heads up, heads down, just let it go, rewarded with the title of cowardice, the title allows the host to avoid exposure to dangerous events. Choice 2, can't stand it, let the elementary school classmate compensate for the damage to the vehicle, reward the amount of compensation received x 10,000 times. Choice 3, can't stand it, let the elementary school classmate know that he is wrong and apologize to you seriously. Reward the future news event x. Renin, call the police. Lin Yuan paused and said to Gu Renin next to him. Gu Renin nodded and took out her cell phone. You're very smug aren't you, thinking that you're high and mighty and that I'm nothing more than a small person. The elementary school classmate's temper gradually flared, pointing at Lin Yuan and swearing profanely. Lin Yuan didn't return the favor and watched silently. It seemed that because of the attitude he displayed, this elementary school student was so upset that he even grabbed a plastic chair and smashed it towards Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan stretched out his hand and steadily caught the chair with one hand, coldly watching him. His strength was far beyond normal, he could already fight one against many, and now he could fight even more. What's more, the opponent now was just a peer who was lazy, and complained about the sky and the earth, and not on his old age. Elementary school classmates do not want to think about anything, first beat Lin Yuan to relieve his anger, so that he does not borrow his own money, what's the big deal, the dog's eyes look down on people. His thoughts are absurd, and reality has taught him how to behave. Lin Yuan threw a punch, fist to fist, and the last person to scream was his elementary school classmate. He felt like he had punched on top of an iron plate, his hand was red with pain. I'll let you know that everything you're doing on your own right now is wrong. Lin Yuan looked at him. The elementary school student was defiant, his anger causing him to lose his mind, copying the glass ashtray on the table and throwing it at Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan dodged it and walked straight forward. He took down the elementary school student and pressed him to the ground, making him unable to move and keep swearing. Lin Yuan was unmoved, and finally the other party got tired of cursing and gasped for air. Many people in the village heard the commotion and came over to see what was happening. Lin Xianglan also heard the news and was furious when she inquired about the cause. Things came to a head when a police car came from outside the village and took everyone away. Lin Yuan also followed to the police station to make a statement. Simply tell what happened, elementary school classmates did not deny, admitted that he smashed the car scratched the car paint. The car store also came to the person, appraisal of vehicle losses, up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Such a huge amount, the average person simply cannot repay. What's more, the elementary school classmates have no intention of repaying. You guys want me to pay back no money, the big deal is to put me in jail. At this point in time, he still had a disinterested look on his face, not repenting at all, without any remorse. Lin Yuan frowned. Trying to get him to admit his mistake was not an ordinary difficulty, but it wasn't without a solution. The police officer's idea was to detain the person first and make a final decision on the trial. If there were no surprises, the odds were that he would be jailed, but compensation, given that the other party didn't have any money or a car, would be difficult to do and hard to get back. It's fine, Lin Yuan said indifferently. He still has a house at home and a few plots of land, it's almost enough to compensate me for my losses. The elementary school student said disdainfully, it's impossible to ask me to sell my house and land. Lin Yuan nodded, indeed it's impossible, but don't you still have a grandmother at home, when the time comes, I'll talk to your grandmother, I'm sure her old man will agree. How dare you? The elementary school student instantly became furious, Lin Yuan's words touched his backbone. Your grandmother is also pitiful, she's over 80 years old, her legs are inconvenient, and without a house, she doesn't know where she's going to live. Lin Yuan shook his head inside. At this moment, the grandmother of his elementary school classmate also begged for the villagers with motorcycles in the village to drive her over. After seeing her grandson, the old man trembled and came over, raising his hand to hit his grandson. You ungrateful son and grandson, what have I done to deserve this? Finally she pleaded with the police officer not to lock up her grandson. But this was not an ordinary incident unless Lin Yuan was willing to mediate. Then the old man walked up to Lin Yuan and made a move to kneel down for him. Lin Yuan hurriedly assisted her, he couldn't afford to kneel. Grandma, don't be like this, I'll be out in a few months after a big deal, don't just kneel down for others. Elementary school classmates anxious, can't bear to see a handful of years old grandmother, for his own to kneel to others. As long as you're willing to admit your mistake and apologize to me, I can consider mediation. Lin Yuan had done so much, the actual purpose would have been to make the elementary school student admit his mistake and apologize to himself. 
The elementary school classmate grunted coldly, his personality making him unable to apologize and admit his mistake at all. You unfilial child, quickly admit your mistake, you are trying to piss me off aren't you? The old man hated the iron, his body was already not good, and he was so angry by this behavior of his grandson that he almost couldn't catch his breath. Grandma, just leave me alone and hurry back, Junior advised. Then there's nothing more to say, compensate. Lin Yuan spoke indifferently. We'll pay compensation, how much do we have to pay? The old man took out a cloth bag from her body, and when it was open inside, it was the money she had worked so hard to save, some 100 bills, and a dollar and 50 cents. Old lady, you this money is not enough to compensate, people that car is expensive, appraisal of the damage is about three to four hundred thousand it. The police officer kindly reminded. What? To so much money? The old lady was stunned, so much money, how to pay ah? I'll beat you to death, you ungrateful grandson, you don't learn, you know how to play and get into trouble, I'll beat you to death. The old lady hit on her grandson, although it did not hurt, but the elementary school student's heart hurt. A trace of remorse was born in his heart. Suddenly, the old lady stumbled and made a move to fall. Grandma! The old lady fainted with anger. Elementary school students were anxious, calling out for grandma one after another, completely at a loss as to what to do. Get out of the way! Lin Yuan pushed him away, checking the old lady's condition and giving her first aid. The elementary school student was afraid that something might happen to his grandmother, this was the only relative he was close to in this world. Lin Yuan did a few moments of pressure, and the old lady took her breath away, slowly opening her cloudy eyes. She sighed and said weakly, Child, Grandma is only asking you for one thing, admit your mistake properly and apologize to the person. The elementary school student had to agree and said sorry to Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan shook his head, You don't have a sincere repentance, and your apology attitude is not serious, I refuse to accept it. If you really don't think about your grandmother, you can continue to do as you please, the big deal is that you'll be locked up for a few years, the house and land will be sold for compensation, and your grandmother will only be able to sleep on the streets. Is this the result you want? Lin Yuan appeared to be doing evil, but amongst other things, he was helping his elementary school classmates, making changes, changing those bad habits, and being a person that no one could pick fault with. I'm sorry. The elementary school student looked at his grandmother and apologized to Lin Yuan once again. This time, he really knew that everything he had done was wrong and wrong. He seriously apologized to Lin Yuan as well. Lin Yuan received his reward and nodded in satisfaction. In that case, I can leave this matter alone, but the compensation still needs to be paid back slowly, you can pay a little bit every month, this requires you to find a way to earn money on your own. This was the only way to keep the elementary school classmates motivated and not continue to be disheveled. Lin Yuan didn't mind being the villain. Lin Yuan left, the car was pulled for repairs and repainted, and needed to be picked up in a couple days. He and Gu Renin could only take a taxi back. In the car, Gu Renin wanted to say something, just now she was right next to her, witnessed what happened, and didn't interject a word the whole time. However, she felt that what Lin Yuan had done wasn't excessive, instead it was like he was letting a lost sheep get back on track. She smiled, gazing at the sight of Lin Yuan's face, just quietly watching. Lin Yuan sent Gu Renin back home and said goodbye after embracing each other. Don't miss me too much when you get back. Lin Yuan still had things to do next, so he couldn't accompany Gu Renin as often. Aha, uh -huh, I know, but you have to think of me often Gu Renin smiled playfully, with reluctance and longing in her eyes as she watched Lin Yuan leave. There was suddenly some emptiness in her heart. The days when her boyfriend was no longer by her side were like being in class and thinking about when class would end all the time, it was so hard. Lin Yuan went to Su Yan's company and held an impromptu meeting. The meeting was about the new mask. The publicity effect had exceeded the desired effect, and now they were waiting for the opening of the conference, after which it would be online and offline sales at the same time. This mask of ours, we decided to name it Moon God Mask priced at 18,888, mainly targeting high-end consumers. Su Yen was dressed in a white suit, looking competent and graceful. After she finished, she indicated that she would let Lin Yuan, the shirker, say a few words to everyone as well. Faced with so many employees looking at him, Lin Yuan only used three sentences to make them cheer. Lin Yuan's first sentence. I hope everyone will work more for the company and grow together. Second sentence. Once our masks are sold, I'm sure everyone will be even busier, so I've decided that I'll raise everyone's wages. Third sentence. I've decided to double everyone's salary in the company, and there's a year-end bonus at the end of the year. The last sentence directly made everyone present ecstatic and unable to sit still. Double the salary ah, and it was still everyone in the company, this was better than any other company's benefits. And there was a year-end bonus at the end of the year, this boss was too good. The female employees had stars in their eyes, thinking to themselves that they didn't know if the boss had a girlfriend, but if he didn't, he would have one now. After staying in the company for a while, wherever Lin Yuan went, 
there were people shouting at the boss, serving tea, pouring water, and pretty female employees were making secret glances at him with a warm and welcoming attitude. Lin Yuan could not stay, and quickly left. Next, it was time to look at the two future news events that were rewarded after completing the selection. Future news event one on October 9th, during the demolition of an old mansion in the streets of the Southern District, a cellar was accidentally found to contain treasure chests filled with gold, as well as antique faces, paintings, and other items. Future news event 2 On October 15, our country, at the customs, captured a spy who wanted to escape from our country. The spy, on the night of the 12th, in a rented house, transmitted information about our country to an enemy country, resulting in the leakage of important information about our country, causing unimaginable losses. Two future news, with a very long article underneath detailing the time period, along with accompanying pictures and so on. Lin Yuan frowned as he read them. The first future news was fine, the second future news, made him heavy-hearted. Our country was originally a great country, and had hoped for peace, living peacefully with other countries. But even so, or by some countries hostile, worried about our country beyond their countries. Therefore, a variety of target provocation, pressure, and even make a bribe to let our people, to them as spies, will lose our important information, steal to them. Lin Yuan did not allow such things to happen. He looked at the time, as well as the location of where this spy was, two provinces apart. Through his navigation, he managed to locate, with the future news description, the location of the rental house where the spy was. The distance was over a thousand kilometers, and by car, it would take about ten hours. Lin Yuan thought about whether he could just call and report it. A phone call would save our country from leaking important information without having to personally intervene. However, Lin Yuan was uneasy. This was no small matter. In the end, he felt that it wasn't too late to deal with the first future news incident before dealing with this. It was still early, so he first went to the vicinity of the old mansion that was about to be demolished, confirmed the location, and knocked on the door of the old mansion. Not long after, the door opened. The one who opened the door was an older man, suspiciously sizing up the youngster. Lin Yuan opened the door and said, Uncle, it's like this, I want to rent this old mansion of yours for a few days, is that okay? This mansion of mine is going to be demolished in a few days, I'm packing up and moving somewhere else, what are you still renting this old mansion of mine for? The uncle really didn't understand how at this time, someone wanted to rent a house. Lin Yuan explained, actually, it's like this, I have an elder that used to live in an old mansion like yours, and is particularly nostalgic for the old days, so I want to rent this old mansion so that this elder of mine can come over and stay for a few days and be nostalgic. Lin Yuan casually found an excuse and finally made an offer, look at it this way, how about this, you're going to move out anyway, I'll rent it until the day before the demolition and move out, how about giving you $500 a day? The uncle was moved, $500 a day, the house is empty anyway, it would be better to rent it out for a few days and earn a few cigarettes. Good, I'll move out this afternoon, you can have your elders move in then. Lin Yuan took the keys to the old mansion and gave the uncle a painful transfer of the rent for the next few days. Uncle was also a fastidious person and directly called a car over and quickly moved everything out. Lin Yuan was now the only one left in the old mansion. He closed the door and looked for the entrance to the cellar. He searched for the cellar, uncle had lived here for so long and didn't even know there was a cellar, it must be hidden in a very secret place. Lin Yuan walked around the old mansion, searching carefully. An ordinary person might not be able to find it, but Lin Yuan was different, he possessed the eye of truth, able to see through anything real underneath the disguise. Not long after, he stopped at an open space next to the old mansion. The ground under his feet became transparent, revealing a dark hole below. The cellar had been found. Lin Yuan didn't find a hoe or other digging tools in the old mansion, so he had to go out and buy them. This trip took 10 minutes. He carried the hoe tool and dug straight away. Pfffffffffffff. The dirt piled up into a pile under his feet, and gradually, the hole was dug out, able to accommodate two people to go in at the same time. Lin Yuan was in no hurry to go down, first letting the air circulate below. After a while, he took the flashlight he had just bought, the ladder, and walked down to the cellar. The cellar wasn't very large and could be seen at a glance. There was a wooden box piled up in the corner, a few bottles and jars, and jars with oil paper wrapped calligraphy and paintings stuck in them. It seemed that this was those gold antiques. Lin Yuan first took out the vases one by one, and when he finally carried the box, he felt a bit heavy. Of course, with his current strength, this weight was nothing to him. Moving everything inside the old mansion, the box was unlocked and Lin Yuan slowly opened it. A box of finger-long, yellowish gold bars was exposed to the eye. With the current price of gold, so many gold bars, one would have a few hundred grams, how much money would these gold bars have to be? Next was the antique vase. Lin Yuan didn't understand this, but guessed that it must be worth a lot of money as well, at least six figures at the bottom. Finally, he removed the oil paper, revealing the ancient calligraphy and painting. 
With the protection of the oil paper, the paintings were not damp. Lin Yuan spread out a painting and what was displayed in front of him was a picture of a snowy landscape. There was a man in the snow, with a knife on each side of his waist, walking alone in the wind and snow. Then he opened the second painting. It was a picture of mountains and rivers, painted in a majestic and majestic manner. The third painting, a word painting, was written with an ancient poem and a nomination at the end, and the author was actually Li Bai. This is the word painting of the great ancient poet Li Bai? This poem Lin Yuan checked with his cell phone and found no traces about it. In other words, it was a poem that Li Bai hadn't released for show. Lin Yuan thought, if this was really Li Bai's poem, its value might be higher than this box of gold combined. The most crucial thing was that paintings and calligraphy were not like gold, it could add some more ink to go up in our country's history. Collecting these things, Lin Yuan was carrying a heavy treasure, not caring about the trouble, calling Su Yen, asking her to drive over now. Half an hour later, Su Yen finally hurried over. Following Lin Yuan's instructions, he found the old mansion. When Su Yen arrived at the place, although she was wondering why Lin Yuan had asked himself to come to a place like this, she still didn't ask many questions. The boss had doubled everyone's wages, and so had he himself, so he had no complaints about working harder. Boss, what did you call me here for? Su Yen curiously surveyed the old mansion, could it be that the boss is ready to buy the land here? Go, follow me into the house. Lin Yuan was secretive, causing Su Yen to evoke curiosity, without thinking too much, she followed Lin Yuan into the house. After entering the house, she saw, the boxes, bottles and jars placed on the floor. What is this? It looks and feels dated. Su Yen wondered, could these be antiques? She was very smart and guessed it right away, she was just a little skeptical. Lin Yuan nodded and said, indeed they are antiques. Saying this, he opened the box with the gold bars, revealing the yellow gold bars, if these gold bars are sold, it's estimated that they can be close to 90 million dollars or hundreds of millions. Although Lin Yuan didn't lack money, he wouldn't mind too much money either. Su Yen had already covered her mouth in shock. So many gold bars, where on earth did the boss get them from? She voiced her doubts. Lin Yuan said, you don't need to care how I know, come help me carry everything to the car. Lin Yuan shouldered up a box of gold bars and carried it to the car. Su Yen held the antique vase and carefully placed it in the back, securing it with something to prevent it from being damaged. Soon the things were moved onto the car, Lin Yuan thought about it and decided to put them over to the villa first. He would come back afterward to deal with it. When he was done, the time was already late, in order to thank Su Yen for her help, Lin Yuan decided to treat her to a good meal. Downtown, Hei De Leo. The two ordered quite a few dishes, there was beef, vegetables, meatballs and so on. After the dishes were cooked, both of them hadn't eaten dinner and were a bit hungry, so they immediately opened their stomachs to eat. During the small talk, Lin Yuan learned that Su Yen was the only daughter of her family, with a strong character, she came out to start her own business after graduation, and experienced a lot of setbacks. Because she is busy with her career, she has never had a boyfriend. Lin Yuan asked her if she wanted to talk to someone, he could give her a vacation. No need, so far there is no man I have my eye on. Su Yen was not only pretty, she had a successful career and was in very good condition. There were really not many men who could catch her eye, and even if she did, the other party's conditions were definitely not bad, and most of them had a date. Plus Su Yan's age is not small, in the next year will run three. Her family was very anxious, repeatedly urging her to get married, wanting to hold grandchildren. Lin Yuan could mostly feel Su Yan's thoughts, not willing to casually find someone to marry, after all, there is a reason why the divorce rate is so high now. As they chatted, Lin Yuan's cell phone suddenly rang. He opened it and saw that it was a video call from Gu Renin. Lin Yuan glanced at Su Yen, if he connected the video now, how was he going to explain to Renin? After a pause, he decided not to answer it first, he would call back after he finished eating. The cell phone stopped ringing after a while, Su Yen was puzzled, why don't you answer it, is it your girlfriend calling? Lin Yuan looked at her in surprise, how did you know? Su Yen laughed, you're eating hot pot with me right now, your girlfriend suddenly checked in, it's not good to answer. Lin Yuan was speechless. Lin Yuan saw Gu Renin send a few messages. Boyfriend are you busy? Why don't you pick up the video? Remember to get back to me when you see it later, I want to talk to you. He smiled. Su Yen quickly ate her fill and said she had something to do and left early. Lin Yuan knew that she was not wanting to keep her girlfriend waiting for too long. He then checked out and left, and on the way, he videoed Gu Renin back. In the cell phone screen, Gu Renin was wearing her pajamas, lying on the bed, smiling. I didn't see you video me just now. Lin Yuan said, you're going to sleep here? It's not even 10 o'clock yet. Gu Renin said with a cheeky smile, early to bed and early to rise is good for the body. Lin Yuan, are you outside right now? She saw that Lin Yuan seemed to be on a street with the sound of vehicles traveling. Lin Yuan said, yeah, I just finished dinner and I'm ready to go back. Dinner? Dinner with who? 
Gu Ringying interrogated. Eating with a big beauty, she even asked me if I wanted to go to her house to play, how about it, are you jealous? Lin Yuan joked. He he. Gu Ringying didn't believe it, she was so good looking, how could her boyfriend go and dabble with women? The two chatted for a while longer, then ended the call. Lin Yuan took a taxi back to the villa and lay on top of the big soft bed, calculating what to do next. When the car was fixed, he would personally drive across two provinces, to a thousand kilometers away, and find that traitor. Then report it, must see the other party caught with their own eyes before they can rest assured. The next day, the car store called and told him that the car was fixed and he could come over to pick it up at any time. Lin Yuan immediately set off and went to the car store to pick up the car. The car had a new glass, and the scratched paint was repainted. Driving away from the car store, Lin Yuan first went to a gas station to fill up and drove directly to the highway. The next step was a thousand kilometers. Along the way, Lin Yuan walked and stopped, and at noon the next day, he left the toll booth and arrived at his destination. The spy's hideout was found. Instead of beating the bushes, Lin Yuan called in a report. Not long after, several cars pulled up downstairs and a group of uniformed police officers quietly entered the building. Not long after, they escorted a man, got into a car, and left the place. Lin Yuan witnessed the whole process from not far away and breathed a sigh of relief. Just as he was about to leave, a woman with a panicked expression ran out of the building. She was carrying a bag, which seemed to have something important in it as if it was being held in her arms for dear life. Lin Yuan felt something was wrong and hurriedly followed. The woman called a car and left in a hurry. Lin Yuan drove behind. It turned out that there was not just one spy, but two. He immediately called in another report, informing the woman of the license plate number of the vehicle she had gotten into. Himself, he continued to chase down. Following to an urban village a dozen kilometers away, the woman got out of the car, looked left and right, and walked inside the village. Lin Yuan got out of the car and followed closely. Only the roads in the city village were complicated and there were especially many alleys. Lin Yuan followed for a while and then lost him. He was anxious, looking around like a headless fly. Little brother want to come and play, 200 at a time, 308 for the full set. While passing through a certain alley, a young woman winked at Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan stopped, glanced at this aunt, and decisively pulled out $200. Tell me, did you see a woman with a nervous look and wearing? A dress pass by here? You said she ah, I know, lives near here. The young woman took the money and said slowly, saying that she stretched out her hand and grabbed Lin Yuan's arm, let's do the business first, and after that, what do you want to ask about the bed? The young woman was all smiles and was about to pull Lin Yuan into the house. However, she suddenly realized that no matter how much strength she used, the boy in front of her, who didn't seem too big, didn't move at all. What are you shy about, kid, you've paid for it, come in with your sister, she'll show you something nice. The young woman thought that Lin Yuan was shy, and intentionally put her body close to tease the little boy. But who knew that the other party was taking two steps back and looking at herself expressionlessly. Tell me where she is, and the $200 is yours. Hey, alright, he rented an apartment in the building in front, I'd better take you there. Lin Yuan nodded and signaled for her to lead the way. Not long after, following the young woman into a building, he took the stairs to the third floor and stopped in front of one of the rooms. She lives in this one. Lin Yuan signaled that she could go. The young woman's eyes were grumpy and she gave Lin Yuan a blank look. Could it be that she wasn't that charismatic that she couldn't even attract a little boy? Lin Yuan stood at the door and raised his hand to knock. After waiting for a while, no movement came out of the room. Could it be that there was no one inside? Lin Yuan frowned. Just as he was wondering, he suddenly heard a faint sound coming from inside the room. Someone was inside. He didn't move, and instead of continuing to knock on the door, he turned around. The sound of him descending the stairs came from the hallway. But soon, Lin Yuan tiptoed back to where he had just stood without making a single sound. He had already called in a report, and all he needed to do was wait until the relevant people arrived, and then he could go. Only after waiting for a few minutes, the door in front of him suddenly opened, and the woman he had seen earlier seemed to have something urgent to go out. Only when she looked up, she met Lin Yuan's eyes, giving her a big scare. Don't be nervous, I just have something to ask you. Lin Yuan blocked the woman's way. Who are you and what do you want to do? The woman stared at Lin Yuan warily. She looked to be in her twenties, her skin was very well maintained, white and tight, and she also had a few good looks. You don't need to know who I am, as for what I want to do, this sentence should be for me to ask you, don't you have any points in your heart as to what you yourself have actually done? Lin Yuan asked rhetorically. Get out of the way. The woman seemed to have become extremely nervous because of these words, desperately wanting to leave. But Lin Yuan was blocking the only way out, and if you wanted to leave, you had to go through him first. The woman tried to force her way through, but her strength was too small, and after a few attempts, it was to no avail. Ning Lin Yuan just looked at her coldly. Someone come quickly, someone is trying to molest me. 
The woman suddenly shouted, wanting to lure the others so she could take advantage of the chaos to escape. Lin Yuan was very strong and went up and covered the woman's mouth, not wanting her to continue screaming. After that, he brought the woman to the room and used something to block her mouth, then drew out the shoelaces of the room's shoes and tied the woman up. The woman whimpered and screamed, her eyes filled with begging. After doing this, Lin Yuan clapped his hands together and inside the woman's bag, he found all sorts of fake documents. He left the room and walked out of the building, waiting up outside. It wasn't long before a group of uniformed, of police officers hurriedly arrived and rushed into the building. A few minutes later, the woman was taken away by them. Lin Yuan left the place after doing a good deed without leaving a name, hiding his accomplishments deep in his heart. He went to a nearby restaurant and had a good meal as a reward for himself. A day later, he saw on top of his cell phone the news that the police had received an anonymous tip from the public that they had captured two spies and discovered important information about our country that had almost been leaked. Days passed day by day, and in the blink of an eye, less than two days were left before school started. On the day the school year started. Originally, Lin Yuan and Gu Renin had agreed to report together when school started. However, Lin Yuan suddenly had something to do, and his mother, Lin Shanglan, suddenly called and asked him to hurry back. Lin Yuan had no choice but to apologize to Gu Renin and ask the school for a vacation, so he would come back to school another day. Since he was the top student of the college entrance exam, the principal personally spoke to him and gave him the privilege to allow him to do so. When Lin Yuan returned home, he saw Lin Xianglan sitting in the living room in a state of disorientation, not saying a word. Mom, what happened? Lin Yuan had a premonition that something bad was going to happen, otherwise Lin Xianglan wouldn't be like this. Lin Xianglan's eyes were a little red, as if she had cried, son, just now your real father came over. Lin Yuan didn't half fluctuate inwardly when he heard that. His own biological father, the mother he abandoned before he was even born, was nowhere to be found, he had long since disowned this father. What's he still coming back for? Lin Yuan's eyes were cold. Son, whatever he wants you to do, don't agree to him, got it. Lin Xianglan seemed to know something and solemnly instructed Lin Yuan. In fact, there was no need for Lin Xianglan to say that even if his own father wanted to recognize each other, he himself wouldn't agree. Don't worry mom, I'm not a little kid anymore and know what to do. Lin Yuan assured. That's good, that's good. Lin Xianglan repeatedly chanted these three words. It seemed that the appearance of Lin Yuan's real father had hit him hard and his spirit was a little confused. Lin Yuan hurriedly sat down and comforted his mother, using the leaves of an old tea tree, he brewed a cup of tea for him to drink, which made him feel much better. At this time, a knock suddenly sounded outside the door. As if one of Lin Shanglan's nerves was touched, she raised her head and stared straight at the closed door. Mom, I'll go out and take a look, don't worry. Lin Yuan got up and walked over to open the door. The door opened and a man in a suit with a serious expression stood at the door. After he saw Lin Yuan, he looked at him with complicated eyes. Which one of you, what's the matter? Lin Yuan asked, in reality, in his heart, he had already guessed the identity of the man in front of him. All grown up so big. The man lamented, reaching out to touch Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan took two steps back to avoid it. The man didn't care, instead he smiled and also saw Lin Shanglan inside the room. I want to talk to you alone, is that okay? He said to Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan thought about it, but finally nodded in agreement. Son. Lin Shanglan's voice trembled as she called out to Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan turned around and smiled, Mom, don't worry, nothing will happen. After saying that, he closed the door and followed the man outside. The man gazed at Lin Yuan, paused, and spoke, I'm your real father, Zhao Zhixiong. Then he looked at this son he had never met before to see what his reaction would be. Lin Yuan didn't have any reaction, his eyes were cold, saying, my real father died a long time ago. Zhao Zhixiong didn't get angry and expected Lin Yuan to react like this. He opened the door and stated the reason for his sudden approach. I have a daughter, she has a serious illness, I want you to donate bone marrow to save her, I will give you two million dollars in compensation afterward. Zhao Zhixiong sighed inwardly, his daughter is very cute, with a pair of very beautiful eyes, himself and his wife, as well as family relatives, all very much like this girl. But fate is really unfair, his daughter suffered from a serious illness. Must have close people, donate bone marrow, and then bone marrow transplant, only a ray of hope. If it wasn't for this one thing, Zhao Zhixiong might never, ever come here again to see Lin Shanglan. He needs his son, whom he has never met, to agree to donate his bone marrow to save his daughter. Of course, a normal person would definitely not agree to donate bone marrow. So this time, Zhao Zhixiong had prepared $2 million, a huge sum of money that would be hard for a normal person to refuse. How about it? As long as you agree, I can give you $1 million first and another $1 million afterward. Zhao Zhixiong had inquired about Lin Shanglan's situation before this, and it seemed that she wasn't doing very well, working multiple jobs and trying to raise her son all by herself. Lin Shanglan was only 40 years old, 
but now she looked like an aunt in her fifties, and the one in her own home looked as if there was a difference of ten years. In his mind, this huge sum of two million dollars was enough to move Lin Shanglan's son to finally agree to donate his bone marrow. Lin Yuan laughed. The eyes were indescribably sarcastic. Actually, there's one thing I really wanted to ask you face to face when I was very young. Why did you suddenly leave without saying goodbye when my mother was pregnant with me? What exactly was the reason? Zhao Jixiong was silent for a few seconds and let out a long sigh. It was my fault back then. When I broke up with your mother, I didn't know that she was actually pregnant and gave birth to you. By the time I found out, I already had a family child. So I had to pretend I didn't know anything about it, not wanting to ruin each other's lives. Lin Yuan almost believed what he said. What was said wasn't even the same version as what his own mother had said. Lin Yuan believed his own mother, and the reason he asked the question again was because he wanted to hear it from Zhao Jixiong's mouth himself. I know. Lin Yuan didn't even bother to argue with Zhao Jixiong. He didn't have any feelings for this biological father, and now he wanted to take two million dollars and ask himself to donate bone marrow to save his daughter. It was simply ridiculous. He turned around and was about to leave. You haven't answered me yet. As long as you promise, I can personally give you another 500,000. Zhao Zhixiang shouted from behind. Host's current situation detected, please begin your choices. Choice 1, promise Zhao Zhixiang, donate bone marrow, reward two school district houses. Choice 2, reject Zhao Zhixiang. Refuse to donate bone marrow, reward mysterious physical objects X. Choice 3, reject Zhao Zhixiong, refuse to donate bone marrow, and the host will be entitled to one random draw every time he passes the strike against Zhao Zhixiong. Three choices, Lin Yuan chose the third without hesitation. His footsteps didn't stop, his head didn't turn back. What does your daughter dying have to do with me, asking me to donate bone marrow, I advise you to die of this. Behind him, Zhao Jixiong's face was ugly, but for the sake of his daughter, he gritted his teeth and offered a higher payment, too. Five million is too low for you, then I'll give you five million, is that enough? This money is more than you can earn in a lifetime, enough to clothe and feed you for the days to come. Scram! Lin Yuan only returned one word to him. Zhao Jixiong's face turned blue, clenching his fists, staring at Lin Yuan's back, holding back his anger. Congratulations to the host for striking Zhao Jixiong for the first time rewarded with a lucky draw opportunity. Lin Yuan's mind twitched, wondering what exactly would be drawn out of this lottery. I want a lucky draw. Immediately afterward, a semi-transparent light screen appeared in front of his eyes that only he could see. It displayed a circular carousel with various rewards on it. There were various rewards such as future news event rewards, mysterious realities, future technology, money, luxury goods, and so on. The dial then began to spin up quickly, after which it spun slower and slower and the pointer stopped on top of a line of words. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 30% of the shares of Tianping Technology Company Limited. The name of this company, Lin Yuan hadn't heard of it, but this reward definitely wouldn't be too bad. He returned home, Lin Shanglan was still sitting in her original position. When Lin Yuan opened the door, she raised her head and looked over nervously. Lin Yuan smiled faintly, Mom, you don't have to worry, I didn't promise him. Really? Lin Xianglan was uneasy, worried that her son was lying to himself. Lin Shanglan knew that her family was no longer short of money, but if Zhao Zhixiong sold himself short and told Lin Yuan how unfortunate his daughter was, she was really afraid that Lin Yuan's heart would soften and agree. However, what Lin Shanglan didn't know is that Lin Yuan's heart is even harder than a rock. Even if Zhao Zhixiong kneels down in front of him and sells himself all kinds of misery, and uses his daughter to sensitize him, Lin Yuan's will will not be shaken half a bit. What's more, he chose the third option, how could he agree to donate bone marrow? He even couldn't wait for Zhao Zhixiong to come over again and touch the ground. That way, it would be another draw. My son won't do anything stupid, even if his entire family kneels in front of me, I won't agree. Lin Yuan assured Lin Shanglan, and Lin Shanglan was then relieved. Because of this incident, Lin Yuan didn't even report to the university, his mood wasn't very good, and he didn't know how Gu Renin was doing, this girl shouldn't be unable to find her way. He was still uneasy and sent a message to Gu Renin. After 20 minutes, Lin Yuan's cell phone rang a few times. He opened his phone, and as expected, it was a message from Gu Renin. Don't worry, there are a few super enthusiastic seniors, showing me the way and helping me with my stuff. I'm already in the dormitory now, I have to report to my class later, so I'll stop chatting for now. These words made Lin Yuan even more uneasy. This time, Gu Renin didn't pretend to be ugly anymore and chose to report to the university with her real appearance. More than her face value, in the university, if Gu Renin said that her face value ranked second in the school, then surely no one would dare to say that she was number one. Only men know men best. What Gu Renin said, what those super enthusiastic seniors were thinking in their hearts, Lin Yuan, who was also a man, knew very well. But the good thing was that Gu Renin was fond of herself, and with her favorability reached, she could even do anything for Lin Yuan. 
Even if inside the university, a boy who was more handsome than him and very good in all aspects suddenly appeared and wanted to pursue her, Gu Ranin would definitely reject it outright. But even so, as a boyfriend, Lin Yuan was still more or less in a sense of crisis, and just wanted to hurry up and finish dealing with this side of things, report to the university, and talk to all the males in the university, telling them, I, Gu Ranin boyfriend. Only, the biological father suddenly appeared and asked himself to donate bone marrow to save his daughter, this matter couldn't possibly end so quickly. Lin Yuan believed that Zhao Jixiong would definitely use any means he could to save his daughter, if soft didn't work, then it was very likely that he would come in hard. Lin Yuan had to prepare for the worst. Sure enough, in the evening, during dinner time, Zhao Jixiong came again. Outside the door, Zhao Jixiong was accompanied by a woman. On the other side, every piece of clothing she wore, there were four or five figures, she was also carrying a designer bag, her skin and figure were very well maintained, and she didn't look like a woman in her thirties. She was Zhao Jixiong's wife after joining the family of a wealthy family. Zhao Tsui Mei. Lin Yuan, today's matter, I hope you reconsider, you can put up conditions, as long as I can do it, I will definitely fulfill them, I just hope you can have mercy and save my daughter. Zhao Jixiong spoke in a very touching manner, and even reached out to wipe his eyes. How about this, if you kneel down and apologize to my mother for what happened back then, I can consider it. Lin Yuan let Zhao Jixiong make his own choice, either leave or do as he said. Zhao Jixiong's face was expressionless, it was impossible to tell what he was thinking right now. Jixiong, there's no need to stoop so low, if it gets out, it'll affect my Zhao family's reputation. Zhao Jixiong's wife, Zhao Chui Mei coldly said. Two and a half million is too little is it? I'll give you five million, satisfied. Her eyes carried contempt, it was just a wild boy who hadn't seen anything big in the world, bored of a mother but not raised by a father, giving him five million dollars was already very much a handout. Finished? Get lost when you're done. Lin Yuan was always indifferent, he was now worth a mere five million dollars, it wasn't even enough for one of his fingers. This woman just wanted to take this money and ask herself to agree to donate her bone marrow, I'm afraid it's not whimsical. With a bang, Lin Yuan didn't give any face at all and directly closed the door. Zhao Tsuimei, who had touched a snub, clenched her palms tightly and was furious. She kicked the door hard, I advise you not to be ungrateful, five million dollars is enough for you to spend for the rest of your life. Buying a bit of your bone marrow with this money won't kill you, is your head kicked by a donkey? Five million you still think it's too little is it? Then I'll give you ten million, is that enough? Don't you hurry to open the door. Zhao Tsuimei's family is prominent, there is no lack of this ten million, she only wants to hurry to cure her daughter, this money is considered cheap this wild boy. Only she waited for nearly a minute, the door still did not open, let her very angry. Zhao Jixiong, look at the bastard you and that woman gave birth to, give him so much money and don't want it, is not the brain intelligence has some defects. Luckily our CC is smart, unlike him. Zhao Tsuimei was at the doorway, constantly criticizing Zhao Jixiong. Zhao Jixiong did not dare to talk back, he is only a son-in-law of the Zhao family, if he really talked back, Zhao Tsuimei's father, will not peel off his skin.